Mind the road now. There are dogs on the loose around here. We're out here awfully late. True, but I'd say the meeting was worth it. With all the homeless around these days, there's no shortage of mouths to feed. And tonight marks a big step forward in solving that. I suppose you're right. But dear, I did want to talk about Bryce. <laughs> What happened? Someone's out there. No! Time for your reward. Just how long is this gonna take? Oh, I'll be done any second. Just need to give this a once over. And that should do it. <laughs> Your resume's in good hands, Sasaki san. <clears throat> my name is Ichiban Kasuga, and finding you work is my work. Now, let's get you something good. Yeah, let's. Big celebrity ought to have big connections. I wouldn't say that. I really no big deal. So, what kind of work you got for me, Kasuga-san? Well, before that, Sasaki-san. It says here you work for Moroi Industries. Yeah, that's what it says on the paper. To my knowledge, Moroi Industries is a front company that processes waste for a syndicate called the Hiwatashi Clan. All their employees are Yakuza. Hey, you know your stuff. It also says here that you were let go from your position there. If I'm not mistaken, this is because the business shut down after the Hiwatashi Clan disbanded last month? Is that correct? <sighs> yeah, what about it? Taking into account that you worked at Maroi Industries and the fact that you have quite an intricate tattoo, can I assume that you're an ex-Yakuza who just recently got out of the trade? You're telling me that matters? You'll need to indicate that on your resume. Listen, buddy. What I did or didn't do before coming here is my own business. At the very least, it's information your employer deserves to know. <sighs> Come on, how about you drop the silly little act already, eh, Kasuga-san? You think I haven't heard the rumors? Rumors? About what? About you finding good work for ex-Yakuza, like me. Those rumors. People from all over have been calling you a savior. Afraid I don't know what you mean. I'm just a regular guy at a regular job. I thought I told you to cut the crap. I don't have time for games here. All right, then. Let's start by rewriting your resume. 
Do you have any special qualifications you can list? Uh, they'll help you cast a wider net when- What I say? Knock that humble servant shit off! If I can ask you to please keep your voice down, loud noises might be disturbing to the other customers. <laughs> Sasaki-san, our job is to find the ideal match for both our customers and our business partners. However, with your behavior today, I doubt you'll be getting a job anytime soon. You may have left the Yakuza, but it hasn't left you. I have no jobs to offer you at this time. I'll have to ask you to leave. You bastard! Hmm. <sighs> you got more to say? Damn it! Some help you turned out to be. Waste of my goddamn time! Apologies for the disturbance, everyone. We should be okay now. Next customer, please, come to counter four. Go. Oh, uh, thanks. Nice work today, Kasuga-san. Uh, you okay after all that? Oh, yeah. It was no sweat. Didn't mean to make a scene. Sorry about that. Oh, not at all. I just feel bad you have to put up with all that. Uh, sorry to place it on you. Oh, it's all good. Really, I'm just happy I can make myself useful. It's the least I can do. Especially after you guys bothered to take me in. Wow. You really are the hero of Yokohama. We're glad to have you around. Come on, you don't have to call me that. Why not? You exposed the crimes of both the governor and the police department. You're a man of the people. No, oh, that's really too much. Besides, that was a while ago. Well, we're proud just to share a workplace with you. You ought to be proud of yourself too, Kasuka-san. <laughs> I appreciate the kind words. Anyway, I'm heading out for the day. I'll see you later, yeah? Something I can help you with, Sasaki-san? You saw me, huh? <laughs> Should've guessed. Uh, I just wanted to say sorry about before. I wasn't exactly reading the room. Huh? It's about money, right? I thought as much. You might be a savior. Saving people ain't free. Uh, uh, 50 grand ought to do it, right? <laughs> I hit it big at the boat races today. 50k a job, though. Damn good racket you've got there. Can't say I ain't jealous. You've got the wrong idea here. I'm not in this for myself. Huh? Hey, hold up. What's your deal? Uh, what, you want more or something? How much I gotta give you to get a job? The five-year ex-Yakuza clause. That's what's left you high and dry, right? Five years of red-taped hell follow a Yakuza on his way out. You can't open a bank account, or even rent some rat hole apartment. A cell phone plan's basically a no-go. You can forget about health insurance. Of course, it's made that much worse by the fact that no one wants to hire someone like that. Yeah, you clearly get it. So help a guy. All the people who were thrown out into the world after the Omi and Tojo dissolved are working their asses off just to get by. You think you can just slip a guy some cash, and that's that? Get real, pal. Things don't work that way. 
Look, I didn't follow you out here for a lecture. Just take the stupid money, will you? Huh? Hey, cut it out! My money! Oh, uh, what the hell, man? You have to rest now. Just take your money and go. Yeah! Quit acting all high and mighty. When it comes down to it, you're just like me. This shit ain't fair. Let's do it. There's no choice. Let's cool you out a bit, huh? Sorry about that. You were kind of wide open. Cool. Washing out this stink. Oh, shoot, where's that other bill at? Ah, gotcha. What the hell's he doing? <laughs> Yo, take a look. Your money's safe and sound. <laughs> oh, but at what cost? Oh, I think this suit might be a goner. <laughs> Here. Probably don't want to lose this, right? Hey. Were the rumors even true? A bunch of dudes told me you could hook me up. That you'd give me a job for 50 grand. Well, it's partly true. I am helping those who left the Yakuza find work. And as for that 50 grand, I did get that from someone about a year ago. Wait. Then that means... But it wasn't for the job. I got a phone plan set up for him. He was just paying me back. Uh, phone plan? I got him a job at a pharmaceuticals manufacturer. They were looking for someone to help deal with resellers. Masks, cold medicine, antiseptic. Back when people were hoarding those, it left a lot of others hurting. Whenever crooks like that try to cash in online, it's his job to put in fake bids and shut it all down. There are really jobs like that out there? It's kind of a gray area thing. Still, resellers are a huge thorn in those company sides. That's where the fake bids come in. Sort of tricky if you don't have a phone handy, you know? And as you're aware, ex-Yakuza aren't allowed to sign up. So you signed up for him? Yeah. Just to hold him over until he can find a better job. Ah. <sighs> Everyone's gritting their teeth to get through this thing. I got no work to give to someone who waltzes up all cocky and shoves cash in my face. <sighs> it's tough, jumping back on the straight and narrow. I know. I went through all that life has to offer, just like you. I know how hard that shit is. But, if you're prepared to try, to put your head down and crawl your way back up, if you really, truly want that, then I'm right there with you. What do you say? You know, when you were down there gathering up all my money just now, I was sure you were going to steal it. But you didn't. I, uh, uh, well, for the first time in my life, I actually felt pretty, uh, pretty ashamed. It made me realize that I half assed just about everything I am. Please, please help me. I, I want to start over. I'll do whatever it takes. Okay, it's a deal. But do me a favor and stand up, all right? You're gonna be the one to do it, Sasaki-san. You're gonna put in the work. All I can do is give you a little push. Still, I'll do the best I can. Oh, thank you! Right then. Come on back to Hello Work tomorrow. All right, this here's your stipend. As to how you use it, well... It all depends on you. Right!
Okay, time to eat. Another day, another chance to make a difference!
Yamago-san? What happened to you? Oh, <laughs> Ichiban. You're a sight for sore eyes. I almost didn't recognize you there. Cleaned up quite nice since I last saw you. <laughs> well, not much has changed on the inside. Anyway, you fall or something? Yeah, sure did. Was just capping off an all-night bender and, well, my legs gave out. Do yourself a favor and don't get old. You gonna be okay? I don't mind walking you home. Huh? Oh, I'm fine. It's not that bad. I get little bumps like this every day. I'll just walk it off. You sure? Doesn't seem like a little bump to me. You're imagining. Besides, don't you finally have a job? If I were you, I'd get there on the double. What, and leave you to limp on home? <laughs> I'm not some invalid. I can take care of myself just fine. Now go, run along to work. After all, steady income isn't something you could take for granted. You know that, right? I know. Just go see a doctor when you can. I will. Thanks for the concern. All right, then. Good luck with your interview. Next in line, please. Um, my name's Shinya Sasaki. A pleasure to meet you. Welcome. Take a seat. Did you happen to bring a resume? Yes, sir, I did. Sasaki-san. May I inquire about your criminal record? Mm -hmm. uh, it was theft. Watches and cosmetics and the like. I would steal anything valuable I could get my hands on so long as it was small enough. I had a buddy who fenced stuff on the black market, so I usually sell it to him. I see. Does that uh make things too difficult? Sasaki-san, may I ask you something? Sure. I don't see any record of punishment on here. In that case, why put your criminal history at all? Because I did those things, sir. If I'd hid my record to get a job, I'd only make trouble for the company if it ever got out. I really want to start fresh. I can't go around acting like that never happened. That's a great way to think about it. On that note, don't worry. I have just the job for a man like you. Really? What kind of job? Well, simply put... Shoplifting! Excuse me, would you be a dear and point me to the mouthwash? Uh, oh, sure. It should be right this way. Pardon me, but 
Do you think I could see this up close? Sure, one moment. Good eye. This one's a top seller. Isn't it just perfect, honey? It's nice, but it's almost time for the movie. We should take a rain check. Oh no, it's that late. We'll swing by after. No trouble. I hope to see you again soon. We're all done on our end. How'd it go? Got everything you asked for. Plus, a couple other big ticket items for good measure. Ah, damn. Glad I went to the pros for this one. <laughs> Okay, sunglasses, some cosmetics, a wallet, condoms, what else? Long story short, every shop had a ton of blind spots, what with how they were set up. Of course, it's been ages since somebody had to rely on the fake arm routine. Get caught pulling something like that and uh, there's not much you can say. It's why it's common for thieves to uh, work in teams nowadays. Usually that means two roles. A lookout, or a decoy, and then the thief. A little division of labor can go a long way. A uh, smaller cut in exchange for safety, huh? Well, it certainly beats jail time. Good work today. I'm heading home. Hey, you as well. Hope I can count on you again. Yeah, thanks for everything. Oh no. This was my first time helping someone steal something, so... I was really nervous. Anyway, I'll see you two later. See ya. So, that's why you were saying you needed a hand. Yeah, the job's much easier for two than it is for one. She made for a pretty great actress, too. I guess listing the job as extra worked out. Better than we could have hoped. But I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed with your performance. You really know your stuff. Although... That last shop you hit up. And from the look of it, they put a lot of money into their security system. I mean, the shop itself was fairly small, with cameras in every corner. Not only that, there wasn't much in the way of cover, meaning little to no blind spots. So how'd you swipe a high-end wallet out from under them? Well, sometimes those stores have fake cameras, but I could tell these were the real deal. We were also the only customers, so the shopkeep always had an eye on us. That said, there was a camera above the register, and it was pointed more downwards than the others, meaning it wasn't getting a full view of the floor. Maybe they wanted it to focus more on the register, or it was just a mistake during installation. But either way, that right there was our blind spot. No kidding. Well, once I saw that, all I had to do was play the waiting game. Of course, the shopkeep realized what went down the moment we left, but the cameras got nothing on tape. The deed had already been done. You really figured out all that on your first trip? I made off with some goods to boot. <laughs> I think I like this guy. I'm just amazed there's a job like this out there, especially considering my past and all. You know, they say 1.2 billion yen worth of merchandise gets stolen every year. Now, for most retailers, it's a life or death issue that could sink your business just like that. And despite that, a lot of business owners think all they need is a security guard or a few cameras. And that's just not true. All that really does is add a few blind spots you didn't have before. In fact, it could actually make it easier to steal things. Right. That is where we come in. It's our job to sniff out the gaps. As you might have figured, if you'd failed today, that would mean their security systems were all squared away. But, as we can clearly see... 
Yep. Then from here, I'll summarize their security flaws in a report and submit it to their managers. Now that should do it for work they hired us for, but for my money, there's a real business opportunity here. Uh, meaning? Meaning now, I can offer them consulting, get a contract going, and I can advise them on where to place cameras or even introduce them to reputable security companies. Huh, makes sense. Actually, once I uh, get this business off the ground, I'm thinking of starting up my own security company. Uh, the goal is to have a firm that can handle everything from investigation to consultation to basic security. Wow. Howdy, fellas. Hey, Kasuga. Well, Adachi-san, how's Sasaki working out? Well, if you ask me, he's a real pro. Already can't afford to lose him. Can I take that to mean he's hired? Yep. Glad to have him. Ah, thank you. I know I have a lot to learn, but I promise, I'll work real hard. Hey, hey, hey. Look, your days of bowing like that are over, pal. Oh, sorry. Force of habit. Haha! <laughs> we'll make a working-class civvy out of you yet. Uh, what's the book? Oh! I found this over at a nearby bookstore. Security industry certification? Right now, all you can do is steal and investigate. But that won't be enough. I was thinking you could study and get yourself certified. That way, you'll be ready to help out when Adachi-san expands his business. Sure, that'd be a big help. Give it a read when you get some time. Uh, Kasuga-san, tell me, what's your goal in all this? Hmm? Huh? I mean, at this point, it's just weird. You must want something, right? Who goes that far for a stranger? You don't have some ulterior motive. Motive? Well, I, I guess you could say that. This is actually my way of repaying a debt. A debt? Everything I've done is what my patriarch in the Arakawa family was trying to do. It's the job he left behind when he passed on. He wanted to build a safe place for all the ex-Yakuza, those with nowhere to turn. Carrying out his will is everything to me. More than that, it's my reason to live. Still, I can really only handle a tiny piece of it. <sighs> all in all, I'm just doing whatever I can. For real? <laughs> Man, you are one of a kind. Anyhow, I ought to get going. Do right by Adachi-san here, okay? So soon? Come on, you just got here. Ah, I've still got work to wrap up. All right then, good luck with everything. Thanks. You still on the clock? I never knew Hello Work was so busy. Nah, Hello Work's done for the day. This, something a little different. Huh? There are a whole bunch of former Yakuza and Ijincho that Kasuga's helped out, same as you. Once he's done at the office, he typically heads out to check in and see how they're doing. The two biggest Yakuza organizations in Japan, the Omi Alliance and Tojo Clan, were completely dissolved. And that day, no fewer than 30,000 Yakuza were spit back into the real world. A lot of them likely couldn't find work, and weren't left with a whole lot of options. Kasuga, he's dead set on rehabilitating every last one of them. Every single one? Is that even possible? Well, not normally, no. But seeing him give his all, well, it makes me feel like even the impossible is possible. It's hard not to help out a guy like that. Yeah, honestly? I think I feel the same.
Hey! Let's do it! Anything useful around here? すみませんでした。ありがとうな。Number. You come here straight from work? Yeah. Uh, I've been on my feet all day, so this is just what the doctor ordered. Bartender, another round. On me. <laughs> well, you've certainly moved up in the world. How have you been holding up, Sachan? The club's still running? Running like it's on its last legs. All things considered, though, I guess you could say we'll survive. Well, that's good. One thing's for sure. I won't let everything Nono Mia worked for go to waste. Mm. Someday, it'll be the hottest club in all of Yokohama. You guys are welcome to visit any time, you know. <laughs> sure. Just don't go up charging us, huh? You know that's not how I do business. And if it was, you bums couldn't pay up anyway. <laughs> she ain't lying. The beer's here. <laughs> oh, oh, right on time, boss man. <laughs> they just picked up us. Tonight, I say we get plastered. <laughs> Just so long as you don't end up on the floor. Yeah. All right. Then what say we have another toast? Cheers! <laughs> time. So, Xiao said he couldn't make it, huh? Yeah. Same with Junki Han. 
Man, what gives? This is our first time grabbing beers in six months. Ah, oh, they're just looking out for us. They're still part of the underworld, so they can't exactly pal around all the time, you know? <sighs> it really is a shame, though. Yeah. Either way, Kossid is right. We were living in two different worlds that just aren't meant to cross paths. Especially if we want to keep these new lives we've built for ourselves. Plus, it's not like we'll never see them again. It's like they say, no news is good news. Yeah. So, how's everyone been holding up? Still keeping at it with Arakawa-san's parting gift? Well, I got a long road ahead, but I'm chipping away. Adachi-san's already helped out a ton. <laughs> You're telling me? Rinky Dink op like mine can't just pull jobs out of thin air. No, really. I'm grateful. Ah, I'm just ribbing you. You're doing great, pal. <laughs> Not that you're any richer for it. <laughs> you never change, do you? Nope. But in a way, that's what makes him cool. Oh, <laughs> you think? <laughs> Hey, I'm gonna use the restroom. Uh, the restroom's unlocked, right? Well, how are things going with Sachan, huh? Huh? You two, uh, gone on a date yet? Wait, what, what are you talking about? Uh, that settles it. He hasn't done squat. Oh, you know, I figured you might be too busy to date, but I didn't think it was that bad. <laughs> what a bust. Hey, hold up. What's with you? Kasuga, you got a thing for Sajan, right? I... Uh, well... Uh, uh, like we wouldn't find out. Your face says it all. Don't tell me you didn't notice all that extra space we've been giving you. You what? Well, don't worry about all that. The important thing is, if you're gonna make a move, now's the time, huh? You're both living pretty stable lives at this point. You ought to be able to think about stuff like that now. Yeah, but... Hey, you can make excuses all you want, but that won't help if someone else swoops her up, will it? I'm sure Sachan's got a few deep-pocketed regulars here and there. You might have more competition than you think, huh? Oh, I'm no good with that kind of stuff, though. I wouldn't know where to start. <laughs> yeah, let's just hope Sasaki doesn't see you like this. But seriously, you should ask her out when we leave here tonight. Something like, you want to hang out together, just the two of us? That's enough for now. Hey, good thinking, Itachi-san. Guess a veteran knows best. <laughs> What now, Adachi-san? Got some new scheme in the works? <laughs> I might. Oh yeah, Sachan. The other day... Whew. Yep, I'm drunk. You all right, Namba? We're zigzagging. All right, easy. I'll go with you. I gotta head to the station either way. No, I'm fine. Honest. Maybe on the inside. All right, we'll see you later. Let's do this again sometime, huh? Sure thing. <laughs> see you around. You got one life, pal. Aim true, fire away. A dodgy son. Come on, Namba, let's roll. Hey, hey, slow down. You think I'll be all right? <laughs> oh well. Guess I should go too. See you later, Ichiban. Uh, Sachan! Hmm? Um, 
Nothing. Come on, spit it out. No, forget I said anything. Okay. Well, good night. Sachan! Ichiban, seriously, what's gotten into you? Sorry. Listen. Do you maybe, uh, want to hang out sometime? Huh? <laughs> what? You already planning our next get-together? <sighs> we decided to do the next one at my club, remember? Uh, no, uh, not like that. I mean, just us. You know, like, together. I blew it. Oh, I blew it. Man, what now? Oh, shit! Uh, 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 hello? Sorry, I, I sort of panicked. I didn't I expect that. No, uh, I'm sorry. It was rude of me to spring that on you like that. You know, I'm free next Saturday. Uh, uh huh? We're gonna hang out, right? Just the two of us? Uh, wait, you mean... I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> anyway, see ya. Yeah! I did it! She said yes! <laughs> <laughs> What's up, John? Yo, good to see you, man! Whoa, whoa, whoa! What the hell? Cut it out, will ya? What's up with you two? Hey, buddy! Guess what? I did it! You did I finally what? did it! You reek of food! <laughs> Oh, come on! This is huge, fellas! <laughs> Don't spoil the party! Come on, Dad! Dad! Hallelujah! 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 Just roll with it, man! Just roll! Oh shit! And she really said yes? Good for you. She's a hell of a girl. So why do you look so down? Well, it's just... I was locked up from the time I turned 24. I don't have much experience dating. Especially not with a grown woman like Sachan. Oh. Are you that nervous? Hey, end of the day, dates come and go. No need to stress out. But what if it all goes to hell and we never recover from it? But what if she never wants to see me again? Don't forget it, I'm calling the whole thing off. And she'll definitely hate you if you cancel on her now. What am I supposed to do? Where do we go? What, what do we eat? What do we talk about? I've never thought about this stuff before. <laughs> all right now, take a breath. Leave all that to the experts. <laughs> oh yeah, we got this. Wait, can you two really help me out here? Sure, who's got more experience than us? But this is your big chance after all. We're gonna help you make the most of it. You guys, teach me your ways. Okay, let's get started then. 
What is first when it comes to data prep? Easy. Before you do anything else, relax. Dates are nothing but people getting to know each other. It's all just human nature. Act natural. I guess that makes sense. Human nature. What? No, that's not it. Huh? But, um... A woman's not looking to just chew the fat on a date. You want to woo her. Give her a night she'll remember. Forget acting natural. You stay sharp and be the perfect version of yourself. Okay, right. I need to make everything special. Uh, but how do I do that while acting natural? Like Namba said. Look, I'm the most experienced here, yeah? Just listen to what I tell you. Oh, hell no. The only thing a dachi is more experienced in is paying for it. Wow, you little... Look, exactly how many girls did you take back to the old cardboard box, huh? Oh, so that's how it's gonna be. Uh, guys? Uh, it's this room. That's too hard to think in here. Let's hit the town. That'll get Namba and me inspired, yeah? Of course, as to which of us you listen to, well, you can make that call. Good idea. I'll show you just how to win a woman's heart. Let's go. Okay. I, uh, I appreciate it. So, um, what are we doing here? Shh, 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 shh. Kasuga. Class is in session. Uh, what? Lesson one in the art of love. Waiting. Waiting for what? Listen up. The date's begun the moment you reach the meeting spot and assume position. It is vital to arrive ahead of time by an hour, maybe two. And then you wait like a man. Remember, when the girl arrives, she's going to take one look at you and register a full impression. That impression doesn't wash off. It can take years to fix. I get it. First impressions, yeah? Makes sense. I have to admit he's right. So, show us how you'll wait for Sacha. Okay, sure. Wait, 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 what do you mean? I'll just, you know, stand? No, too stiff. Every fiber of your body looks nervous. You want Sacha to feel at ease. Oh crap, really? Uh, then, uh, how should I stand? Who said anything about standing? Hey, why don't you park yourself on that bench there? Maybe even doze off a bit. Uh, what? You want me to fall asleep while I'm waiting? What did I say earlier? Dates should be natural. Now listen, who in the world has seen your sleeping face besides people you trust and have opened up to? Uh... My cellmates, maybe? Forget about all that. The point is for Sachan to think, Wow! Ichi must feel so comfortable with me. Oh, and he looks like a British puppy when he's shooting. She'll want to protect you. Are you sure about this man? What do you think, Adachi-san? Dozing off on a park bench? Huge mistake. What did we say before? A girl wants to feel special. That all starts with your posture. How do you make someone feel special with your posture? Remember the rule. 30 minutes early, at least. Then you stand, silent, like a statue. Don't look around. Just hold your gaze firmly in the direction she'll be coming from. When Sachan shows up and gets a load of that, she'll be putty in your hands. Ichiban, she'll think. I've never noticed how manly and passionate he seems. Get it? Okay, yeah. Maybe it'd be good to show her that side of me. Whatever. Ichi, you can't do both. Which of our strategies are you going with here? Oh, I have to choose. Going with you, Namba. I figure sitting down while I wait will help me conserve strength for later. <laughs> right on the money. You always keep as much in the tank as you can. Oh, hold on a second, Kasuga. How do you feel getting to the meeting spot, right? And there's Sachan, conked out, snoring. Oh, I guess I'd think she was exhausted from 
working all day. Oh. Yep. She finds you asleep while you were waiting for her. You're no puppy dog. You just look like every other sad sack salary man. She'll spend the whole day wondering if you're really awake or out on your feet. Oh, damn it, you're right. <laughs> that, my friend, is why you stand firm. You're a proud soldier on your way to win the war. Um, I don't know if that's really how I want to imagine this state, but I, I admit I didn't get just how much my posture would matter. I'll be sure not to look tired or sloppy. Thanks. Ah, there we go. So, how about lesson number two? Art of Love, lesson two. Location, location, location. Yes, that's exactly what I need. Someplace fancy we can go. Huh? Fancy? Yeah, the date should be special. That's what you said. So, like, a nice Italian or... French restaurant? Oh, jeez. You guys are kidding me. A fancy restaurant? Oh, Ichiban, it's like you're studying some kind of date manual. Exactly. It's too obvious. You'll make her feel like you're running on autopilot. Kasuga, you need a spot that says you picked it just for her. Someplace just for her, huh? Like what? Hmm, like, uh, ooh, Indian curry. A curry place? Not just any curry place. That one has a secret menu. You can order a curry there, spice level 100. That's 1.2 million on the Scoville scale. 500 times spicier than Tabasco. 500 times spicier? Yep. Even the most spice-hardened bastards run from those numbers. No one's ever finished a whole bowl. Now you tell me, what'll Sachan think when you conquer that beast right before her eyes? I'm not that into spicy food, man. Moron! That makes it even better! Suffer for her. Let her see you wiping the sweat from your brow. It's the struggle that's sexy. How oh, she'll be buddy in your hands. Really? Idiot. What happens when the curry wins? You'll just be a quivering, snotty mess. That's true. Listen to what I'm trying to tell you. Act natural. Don't be someone you're not. And don't trip over yourself finding somewhere new. Go somewhere you always go. Maybe, but for me, that's mostly just beef bowl places. Well, have some beef bowls. Come on, what? A beef bowl date? You think it's against the law or something? All that matters is that you stay relaxed. And right now, that means beef bowls. That's true, I guess. I would be nervous heading to some Italian or French place. Dumbass! Beef bowls don't win hearts. Show her you're a champ. Spice level 100. Are my only options really beef bowls or the hottest curry on earth? Or you could always just give up. Wallow in indecision, grow old and alone. Make a choice. Uh, seriously? Uh, fine. If I've got to choose, then... Uh, the curry place. Sachan likes curry, at least. And no matter what happens, I bet trying that level 100 curry will be something to talk about. Exactly right. Now we're planning a date. Wait, wait, Ichiban. What's your end goal here? Huh? Is it about the food or a way to look cool? No, of course not. If it's a date, you want to have fun spending time together. You think Sachan's really eager to sit in silence watching you scarf up hot curry? Ah, oh, damn it! I admit, showing off your tenacity might be smart, but not if it means you lose sight of her enjoyment. You guys got a point, I guess. So you figure we do something we both enjoy? You're probably right, but in that case, it's not beef bowls either. 
They might help me relax, but it wouldn't be that special for Sachan. I guess I've just got to find a spot we'll both like. Uh, yeah, precisely. <laughs> yeah, now you get it. You saw through my trick and realized the true lesson underneath. You know, he's really not that clueless. Oh, you're right. Maybe all he's actually missing is confidence. Gotta say, I, I wasn't sure about this before, but you guys really do have me feeling readier for this date. So, what's next? <laughs> right, then it's time for the final lesson. Here we are then, the final course in the art of love. Oh, okay, I think I see what's coming. Give it to me. What's wrong with how I dress? I mean, this suit's natural, isn't it? Yeah, far from it, I'm afraid to say. Highly unnatural. How? Is that a natural fabric color? Remember, we're after human nature here. Try something like this. This is a date outfit? It doesn't look that stylish. Nothing's more stylish than au naturel. What's trendier these days than an organic lifestyle? These clothes, they're pure cotton and hemp, not an ounce of artificial color. An environmentally friendly ensemble. I, I get it. It's another way of keeping things natural. But Sachan, it won't it surprise her? I mean, she's never seen me dress this way. Stop worrying. The call of nature affects everyone. Sachan will know on a primal level that this is sexy. Don't you see? It's written in our very souls to love those who love nature. Oh, uh, really though? Look, I get the value of being environmentally conscious, but... Hey, come on, quit humoring this whack job, Kasuga. You try to win a girl's heart, not save the whales. Cosplaying as some kind of burlap beatnik isn't about to make Sachan go gaga for you. Okay, Adachi-san, what do you recommend? Aha! Feast your eyes on this masterpiece of sartorial seduction. Holy shit! You don't think this is a little too flashy? Kasuga, why does the firefly illuminate in the darkness? What? It's the male's method of courtship, obviously. Dazzling your beloved, captivating them. It's an instinct every living thing on Earth shares. Obey your instincts, Kasuga. Light up her life, and Sachan will be putty in your hands. Whoa! Oh, when you put it like that, this suit is pretty amazing, isn't it? Yep. Now, don't you want to show up in that instead of Namba's crap bag? Damn, you're right. We gotta choose again. You both made good points. It's all right, Ichiban. Just go with your heart. Okay, I will. I'm wearing this one. Namba, it's yours. You've been telling me all along to keep it natural. This outfit is the ultimate way to embody that. <laughs> all right, I've said my piece. Go get her. Make this the best date ever. Damn right. We've done everything we can. You've got this, Ichiban. You two, watch. I'll make you proud. Not at all. 
but actually, uh, I just got here. <laughs> Look, you don't have to be so nervous. Oh, wow. I can tell you went all out for today, Ichiban. Oh, you mean the guys helped me pick this out? <laughs> is, is it weird? <laughs> no. I think you look nice. So, where are we off to? Oh, uh, first things first. We're terribly sorry. Please come again soon. Oh, they're full too. Well, it is lunchtime, so I guess it makes sense. Let's try somewhere else. Sorry. Those were all the places I had in mind. Oh, really? I guess we should have made reservations ahead of time. Oh, I'm sorry. I should have thought about that. Uh, Sachan, is there anywhere you want to go? Me? Well, actually, yeah, there is. Oh, then, hey, let's try to get a table. Oh, it's, uh, not a place to eat. Huh? What is it, then? What, do I have to spell it out for you? I mean, you're the one getting all fidgety. We've been walking all this time, right? Let's stop by. What? I assumed you were feeling the same way. But it's still light out and, and stuff. Since when does that matter? Day or night, I could really use it right now. You know, Sachan, hmm? I, I don't mean to wuss out here or anything, but honestly, I'm a little scared. Scared? Oh, well, yeah, I think I know what you mean. I get scared too sometimes. Huh? You do? Yeah, I mean, it's risky, especially when you think about the future. Well, then why jump straight to a hotel? What? A hotel? Where did you get that idea? Huh? Isn't that one? I meant I could use a cigarette. A cigarette? There's a smoking area a little ways up ahead. See? Oh, 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 oh right. Duh. Yeah, smoking. I, I knew that's what you meant. But sure, let's smoke. Heck, maybe I'll have two. Are you okay, Ichiban? You know, I wonder what Namba looks like without his glasses. What? <laughs> Why? Oh, well, it's just I realized I've never seen him without him. Hey, you're right. Well, now I'm kind of curious, too. What if he's actually super hot or something? <laughs> Aw, that's kind of mean to Nanchan. Still, he could use a little spiffing up. <laughs> Get his hair done and stuff. I know. We should plan the guy a makeover one of these days. Adachi-san can help out too. <laughs> yeah, that sounds fun. <laughs> hey, plan on it then. Say, wouldn't you rather spend more time with Nanchan and Adachi-san than be on a date with me? Huh? I mean, you seem like you really perk up whenever you talk about them. Oh, no, I, I didn't... Just something we have in common, is all. 
<laughs> I'm only kidding. Oh, right. Speaking of those two, I just remember. They were telling me about a place near Jinai Station that's supposed to be pretty good. You maybe want to go there now? <laughs> sure. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, look at this counter. Is that real Hinoki Cypress? Sh sure is. Everything okay, Ichiban? Yeah, I just assumed the place would be a little more casual, seeing as Namba and Adachi suggested it. I doubt those two have ever actually been here. Actually, come to think of it, all they said was that the place had good atmosphere. Here, let's order something. Uh, okay. Yeah, let's look at the menu. All right, I think I'm gonna try this. I'll have the Shunkokugyo, please. Oh, miss, that's actually read Harutsugeuo. Oh, really? I... Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> this is embarrassing. All right, what should I get? I don't come to these prim and proper places too often. Uh, let's see. Hey, so they got meat dishes too. <laughs> huh? Uh, I say something funny? No, no, I just appreciate how considerate you are, Ichiban. And what would you like, sir? I'm gonna go with meat today. Um, how about some of this kawabuta? Kawabuta? Oh, uh, isn't that what it says? Sir, that's read as fugu. Huh? Since when was this fugu? <laughs> uh, the two of you may want to review your kanji. I <laughs> guess we both embarrassed ourselves. Oh no, please forgive us. The kanji used in Japanese cuisine can be extra tricky. We were actually wondering if we should add the pronunciations to the menu. Please allow us to offer some Anmitsu on the house as an apology. Really? Oh, I love Anmitsu, thank you so much. <laughs> Guess it pays to be rusty with your kanji now and then. Nice assist, Ichiban. Oof. Who knew Capo style was so good? Seriously, that was delicious. I don't know if I would have ever gone there if not for our date. Thank you so much, Ichiban. Oh, really? Hey, I'm just happy you're happy. Ugh, no way. What's up? See that guy walking toward us right now? You mean those three guys? The one leading him? His name's Tanaka. He used to be a regular of mine. At your cabaret club? Yeah. He's president of an IT venture firm, but money or not, it doesn't make up for how he acts. He would lie to all the other customers saying I was his girl, so I banned him from the club. But even after all that, he'd wait for me at the back door. So I made up my own lie and told him I had a boyfriend. Jeez, that's pretty bad. Yeah, but he doesn't give up. He'd tell me, you're lying, or there's no way you have a boyfriend. And worse, he still hangs out back sometimes. 
Think he sees through you, or do you just need to be more convincing? I'm not sure, but he says he can read people like a book. Anyway, this is perfect. Ichiban, play along, okay? Huh? It's all up to you. Now, act like you're my boyfriend. Boyfriend? Uh, but this is so sudden. Huh? Saiko-san, what a coincidence. What are you doing here? What, isn't it obvious? I'm on a date with my boyfriend. Boyfriend? You mean the dressed up caveman? Hey there! My name is Ichiban Kasuga, and I'm dating Saiko-san. Jeez, way to be subtle. Do you believe me now, that I have a boyfriend? Of course not! Come on, you know I can read people like nobody's business. This poor guy doesn't look even remotely your type. No way, no how. So, you're Saiko-san's boyfriend. Okay then, and what do you do for work? Well, actually, I'm a contract employee at Hello Work. A contract employee? Ha! You're a temp! And you think you can land a girl like Saiko-san? <laughs> As if I'd care about that. All right, let me ask you this, Mr. Boyfriend. If Saiko-san ends up 10 million yen in debt, are you gonna pull her out? I can pay that off in my sleep. Can you? I don't have that kind of money, so no, I can't. I thought so. You don't have what it takes to protect her. But I can listen to her and share in her worries, wherever, whenever, for as long as she needs. Isn't that what a boyfriend's supposed to do? Hmm. Ichiban. <laughs> and what the hell does that solve? You'll sit around and stress out. The end. Except it's not the end. It's comforting to have someone worry alongside you. Knowing they care can give you the strength to keep going. It's like how multiplying two negatives gives you a positive. That's the kind of man I'd want. I'm glad Ichiban is my boyfriend. You serious, Sako-san? You're really telling me this scruffy-looking oaf is your boyfriend? You didn't hear me the first time? But, no, 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 no. How can I lose to a dumpy guy like him? Yep, you lost. So can you please promise to stop following me around? Sure, I'll promise. Right after I teach you two a lesson. What? You want to crush my heart? Fine, I'll crush you. Let's beat him down. <laughs> Open one! Break yourself! Here we go! Open one! Break yourself! That's right, some trash for the trash! Oh, man, what an asshole. Wow, at the very least. It looks like he's done following you around, Sachan. Thanks, Ichiban. Way to play the part. Your little ad lib at the end was amazing. <laughs> hey, my pleasure. Still, that jerk totally ruined your new clothes. I'm so sorry. Ugh, it's all my fault. Nah, they're just close. But, um, I should probably go freshen up. If it's all right, would you mind waiting a little bit? I'll go change. Okay, I'll be right here. Great, be right back.
Hey, sorry. Couldn't find a vending machine. No worries. <laughs> you know, I wasn't sure how this was gonna go, but I had fun. Thanks, Ichiban. Oh, uh, sure. Happy it all worked out. <sighs> you okay? So listen, I know I used to be a Yakuza and all, and now that I quit, I'm basically just scraping by every day. I Ichiban, what, what is this all about? I'm not very bright, and I suck at studying too. For real, Captain Zawashiro's been calling me a dumbass since the day we met. But still, I'm working a steady job now, and I take it really seriously. I think I even got a good reputation at the office, too. Physically speaking, I'd say I'm pretty strong. I mean, I'm nothing compared to a guy like Kiryu-san. But I definitely know how to hold my own. I don't drink or smoke too much either. And I can't say I don't gamble, but, well, it's mostly just a hobby, you know? The point is, I don't really have too much to offer. But when it comes to you, I give everything I have just to make you happy! So, uh, let me ask you... Will you... Will you marry me? I swear on my honor as a man, no matter what happens, Sachan, I will always be there for you. Listen. I know how hard it is to go it alone, especially as a woman. To run things at the club like you do, all while looking after your dad and sister? That's incredible! But if we're together, you won't have to bear all that on your own anymore. I'll help you look after your dad. And if anything at all happens with Nanoha, I'll be right there. I'm serious. You won't even have to work. You can hang at home and leave the rest to me. And I wouldn't push all the housework on you either. I'll clean, cook, do laundry, shop, whatever you want. And if we have a kid, you can bet I'll raise him right. And then one day, maybe we could all visit Arakawa-san's grave together. I'd tell him, look at this happy family I've built. You can rest easy up there, because I'm doing just fine down here. Sacha? Thanks again, Ichiban. Today really was fun. Wait! Uh-huh! Hey! Hang on a sec! Sacha! Did... Did I say something wrong? Uh, no. No, nothing like that. I just need to get home. Up early tomorrow, you know? <laughs> it's probably the same for you too, right? Anyway, let's just keep at it. Um, but I... Uh, what's your answer? Good grief! What kind of moron proposes on the first date? Maybe it's some sort of late bloomer panic. I don't know what to say. I mean, uh, I could see you're getting turned off or something, but I doubt Sacha would be mad about it. But, well, no, she wasn't mad, I don't think. She just said she was leaving all of a sudden. Idiot. That means she's mad. Possibly fuming. Dare I even say seething? Well, that's it then, boys. Game over. Let's put the old dream out to pasture. Hey, quit screwing around and help me out. For real. I got no idea what's what anymore. 
So the date itself, that all went fine, right? Yeah. I mean, I was really nervous and awkward at first, but eventually Sachan started having a lot of fun. At least I think she did. You know, now that I think about it, maybe she was already fed up with me at that point. Oh boy, this is where it all starts. The doubt's rolling in. So much for the hero of Yokohama. Look, hang on, this is Sachan we're talking about. If she wasn't feeling it, she would have called it real fast. In that case, she must have said something pretty stupid in that proposal. What all did you say? Give us the spiel, huh? What? Now? It's kind of embarrassing. Look, dumbass, if we don't know exactly what you said, then we can't help you. Now, spit it out. Uh, um... Oh, well, first, I talked about how I'm poor, uh, and how I used to be in the Yakuza. I mentioned I wasn't too smart, but that I was working an honest job. I said I don't drink, smoke, or gamble much. Yeah, that was a good chunk of it. Hmm, so far so good. No red flags or anything just yet. So, then what? Uh, then? Uh, right. I said I didn't have much going for me, but I swore I'd make her happy. And yeah, after that, I proposed. Uh. What? That was it. Listen, Ichiban. Sachan might be working her ass off, but she's out there living her dreams. You think a girl like that really needs someone to gallop on in and save the day? Oh! Uh. Look, I know you didn't mean it like that, but if there was ever a way to screw up, that was it. Uh. Sounds like we got our culprit. But just to be safe, what else did you say? Uh... After that... I said I love that she's so responsible, how, how it's really impressive uh, for a woman to do what she does. Wait, what? You really said, for a woman? <gasps> Was that bad? Stuff like, for a woman, or even though you're a woman? That kind of talk can come off as pretty sexist, even if you're just hanging with us guys. Really? Oh boy. You raised a whole bunch of red flags, huh? I got a bad feeling about this. <sighs> Me too. So, was there anything else? Well, uh, I mentioned her dad and sister. She really goes out of her way for them, you know? Because of that, I said I'd take care of the bills and she could just hang out at home. Oh, shit. I'm sure you meant you just wanted her to take it easy. But you don't think Sachan's at the club just for the money, do you? I, I, I know there's more to it than that. Maybe, but the way you said it might have been misinterpreted to mean otherwise. I get you were panicked, but there had to be a better way to phrase that, right? Oh, man! Oh, what I wouldn't give to go back and do it all over! Well, let's be doubly sure there is not more. Did you say anything else after that? I did. I said that even if Sachan did stay at home, I'd help out with the chores. And that if we ever had a kid, we could all visit the boss's grave together? Uh, is that finally it? You didn't add any more fuel to the fire. No, that was the last of it, I think. Well, you sure went out with a bang. So you said you'd help with the chores. Noble, but I doubt it earned any points. That more or less gives the impression you think chores are a woman's job. And depending on the person, talking about having a kid can be pretty shaky territory too. Some couples can't even have kids, so it's not like marriage is all about starting a family. And you topped it off with a planned visit to Arakawa's grave. That almost sounds like you want to marry her just to make the old man proud. Hey, come on. You're saying every single thing I said was wrong? Oh, it's 
sucks. Seriously, what the hell do I do now? Well, might just have to apologize. True. She might be fed up with you and all that, but it's better than saying nothing. Okay. Just gotta make things right. Hey. Bye. Hey, Ichiban. What a coincidence. Oh, no. I was looking for you. I wanted to apologize for yesterday. Oh? Apologize for what? I wasn't thinking about how you felt at all, and I ended up saying a whole bunch of terrible things. So, yeah. I want to apologize. Was what you said that terrible? I talked to Adachi-san and Namba about it afterwards, and things became pretty clear. First off, I made a bunch of weird assumptions saying stuff like, for a woman, and junk. And even though I know you take the club really seriously, I spouted off about how you could quit your job, you know, if we got married. Oh, and also, I said I'd help out with the chores as if you'd automatically be the one doing all that. There's more. I, I was talking about having a kid, like, that was a given, too. And then, on top of that, I said we should visit the boss's grave and put him in ease. Th that wasn't a lie, but I didn't mean to make it sound like I only want to get married for Arakawa-san's sake. Uh... I know I panicked, but it wasn't cool that I disregarded your feelings like that. Really. I'm so sorry, Sachan. That's it? You came all this way just to say that? <laughs> You're silly. I wasn't worried about that one bit. Huh? But I... I mean, sure, maybe those weren't the most tactful things to say, but no biggie. Work at a cabaret club long as I have and you hear a whole lot worse. Well, then, why did you...? Well, it's just that we first met in kind of a weird way, you know? We're like partners in crime, you and me. Just think about how much we've been through. I guess at some point it started to feel like having you around's a given. <sighs> and, well, I think a little romance might get in the way of everything. In that sense, I think it'd be better if we went back to being friends. Don't worry, though. I'm with you to the very end. Sachan. That's all there is to it. So don't beat yourself up, okay? Like I said before, let's just keep at it. See ya. Ah. <sighs>
Damn it! <sighs> okay, Ichiban. Right. Come on! Time to make some moves! Hey, good morning. Oh, uh, Kasuga-kun. Morning. Let's give it all we got today, yeah? Uh, sure. Uh, listen, uh, can I talk to you for a second? Huh? Oh, is this about organizing the warehouse? Don't worry, I'm on it. Uh, no, you, you see, uh, there's something you should know. Why don't we grab a meeting room? Huh? Uh, okay, sure. Huh? My contract's been terminated? I know. Uh, crazy timing. Uh, remember how it was supposed to renew end of next month? Well, I thought about trying to get you a raise, but just yesterday, City Hall went and denied the renewal. Uh, uh, w was there a problem with my quality of work? Oh, no, 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 no. Kasuga-kun, you've done an outstanding job. But... Apparently, the city's budget is getting pretty tight. It seems they've no choice but to start cutting back on contractors. Right. I see. Understood. Well, uh, let me just say, thank you for putting up with me. I'm guessing I'm done after this month. Well, for what it's worth, I'll be sure to finish strong. Uh, no. Uh, we'd actually like it if, uh, if today could be your last day. You want me to use my PTO? I mean, it's true I never took any, but I don't think I have that much stored up, do I? Oh, well, you won't have to worry about that. Uh, they made an exception, and will mark the rest as PTO as well. <laughs> They hardly ever do something like this. Oh, jeez, I, I don't deserve that. You don't have to give me any special treatment. I, I can just work until... I'm really sorry. This is just what the higher-ups have decided. Just know I'm grateful to you, all right? Okay. Well, with that, thank you for everything you've done for me. No, 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 no. Uh, uh, thank you. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Excuse me. Thank you. Excuse me.
So. Thank you. Come on, get a grip. Everything's right back to how it used to be. Okay. That's him, right? Yeah, that's him. No doubt about it. Well, it's about damn time. Welcome home, Kasuga-san. Huh? Who the hell are you? We just want to do a little interview, that's all. You're basically the talk of the town. And why is that? You take bribes from former Yakuza, then ship him off to do shady jobs all over town. So... What say you fill us in? What is this shit? Come on, the secret's out. Hello Works, a hookup for the Yakuza. The guys who broke up the Omi and told you have been off living the good life, right? <laughs> You're no exception. What? Who told you that? You can't just believe everything you hear, you know? <laughs> All right, simmer down. <laughs> now, be real. Just how much are you making? Nobody wants a bunch of former Yakuza wandering around. Doesn't that weigh on your conscience at all? Back off! <laughs> Ow! Oh, oh. Did you see that? Oh, he's out of control. The real Ichiban Kasuga's on the loose! Well, they may call him the hero of Yokohama, but deep down he's just another Yakuza! Yakuza feeding off other Yakuza, no less. Oh, honor and duty, my freshly bruised ass! Okay, cut. I <laughs> oh, wasn't smart of you to get rough on camera like that, Kasuga-san. Well, you're in big trouble if this ever goes online. Toss a million my way, however, and it's yours. Have it ready by tomorrow. You think I'm gonna give into this crap? You think anybody's gonna buy your stupid act? Oh, a little editing goes a long way. Wait and see. Couple of clicks here and there, and everyone will think you threw a regular haymaker. Yeah, well, best of luck, pal. You sure? I mean, you're already going viral as it is. Ask yourself, do you really want to throw oil on that fire? Viral? Do I look like I'm sick to you? Huh? <laughs> oh, come on. Have you not seen how people are talking about you online? Can't say I have. Not a big web guy. Oh, seriously? Ugh, what a pain. Hey, show him the video. What's up, people? Tatara Channel coming at ya. Let's get to it, ladies and gents. Our perp of the day. <laughs> this man here is Ichiban Kasuga, a former gangster who was heavily involved in the dissolution of two major Yakuza factions four years ago. On top of that, some people even call him the hero of Yokohama. This exclusive footage was secretly recorded in Yokohama at a real hello work. Here we see none other than Ichiban Kasuga brazenly working the front desk. Meanwhile, the man sitting across from him is yet another former Yakuza. The hell is this? Sasaki? This was like a misunderstanding. 
Ichiban Kazuga seems to be whispering orders to his ex-Yakuza cohort. Then, having received his instructions from Kazuga, the ex-Yakuza leaves Hello Work. Only to make a beeline for... A mini-mart, a drugstore, and a fancy boutique! We catch him stealing things right off the shelves, even going so far as to use a fake hand! Hey, hold up! That ain't right! Finally, it looks like Kasuga then buys the items from his personal thief at a deep discount. According to our extensive research, in just this day, a whopping 2 million yen's worth of product was stolen. Kasuga bought the lot for an unheard of 20 grand. In other words, he's having down and out ex Yakuza steal for him, then making a tidy profit reselling the stolen goods. This is the secret. No, the true face of the hero of Yokohama! Hey, what the hell? Which one of you made this? <laughs> like she said, it's the Tatara channel. She's pretty much a god, and with five million subscribers at that. I mean, if anything, you should be proud you made it on her show, Kasuga-san. My ass I'm proud. This whole thing's bogus. Bogus? <laughs> Dude. They got the whole thing on video. <laughs> oh, I see now. It all makes sense. That's gotta be why I got let go today. It's just got to! Anyway, look. We got you on video, so... You gonna buy it off us or not? Like hell I am! I haven't done a damn thing wrong, you bastards! <laughs> <laughs> uh, what a shame. Guess we got no choice. How about we have this guy take a little nap, then move on to the next target? <laughs> next target? Who's that? All right, you're up, Mr. Bodyguard. So, you want me to beat this guy down? Yep. Just enough to gonk him out. Oh, uh, try not to put this one in the hospital, okay? Who's this dude? I met him online. I have him lend a hand whenever we're doing a risky shoot. Wait, you don't know? Top Street Fighter online sensation Asakura channel? Ring any bells? <laughs> Man, he's trending like crazy right now. Oh, hey, Asachi, here's an idea. Why don't I record you knocking him flat like a pancake, eh? <laughs> I'll feature you on my channel as a guest, huh? What do you say? Sure, whatever. As long as I get to fight. Hell yeah! Oh, we are jumping straight to the front page with this one, huh? <laughs> All right, let's get footage, then go hit up that Sasaki creep. Wait, Sasaki? Why are you bringing him into this? Why do you care? He's just a chump from the Hiwatashi clan. And, I'm afraid, he's next on the chopping block. <laughs> We're gonna give him a little interview as well. How does it feel to have quit the Yakuza and have it blasted all over the internet? You asshole. Couple that footage with this fight, and we're talking at least oh, five million views easy. Knock it off! <laughs> he's giving everything he's got to rebuild his life right now! You're not gonna get in the way of that! 調子乗ってんじゃねえぞ The battle is on! Cool! Break yourself! Gotta say, you're pretty tough. <sighs> Thanks. You can relax. You proved you're the real deal. Let's go again soon, yeah? And next time, we do this legit. Now smile for the cameras. <sighs> that guy means business. As always, Tatara Channel is on the case, ready to research, reveal, and rebuke the crimes running rampant around the world.
the Tara channel. <laughs> Adachi-san! Hey! I was just about to call you. You'll never guess! I'm sorry, Kasuga. He pains me to say, but I have to close up shop. Huh? Yeah. Namba's coming over to my place. Apparently, he suddenly got fired, too. What the hell? Seriously, what's going on? They gave me the same speech as you, Kasuga. I got into work, then immediately got called in by my boss who said I didn't have to come in anymore. I got a call from the bank. They told me I couldn't take out another loan and there was nothing I could do to change that. When I asked why, they said their assessment standards are a company secret. And I'm barely hanging in there as it is. If my financing gets cut off, I'll have no choice but to throw in the towel. Damn. When all three of us either lost our jobs or got abandoned by the bank. Yeah, not to mention those jerks who started picking on Kasuga. It can't be a coincidence. Right. Now, as to what caused all this... Just who the heck is she? A content creator. Supposedly, she specializes in call-out videos. Call-out videos? Well, thanks to smartphones, these days anyone has a chance to be a whistleblower. Next thing you know, the video's racking up views on a channel just like this. One day, they might show a video from a woman trying to get back at an abusive celebrity. The next, you might see a tip toward political corruption, usually from some kind of secretary. Okay, so it's kind of like a tabloid? That's a simple way to put it, yeah. Thing is, anonymity is super prevalent on the internet, so not many stories are true. It typically falls to the channel's user to sort through the trash. The more well-researched and credible the stories are, the more popular the channel. Our so-called Tatara channel is apparently at the top of the heap when it comes to credibility. Guess she even helped solve a real-life crime, and all because of a video. As you can imagine, the politicians and police follow her pretty closely. And the video of me, what about that? That was a total load! Well, that I'm not so sure about. Maybe there's a tip so incredibly well-crafted, even Tatara couldn't see through it. I wonder who gave her the tip in the first place. Uh, she never reveals the identity of her sources. That's why she always gets the big scoops. So when exactly did the video get put online? Three days ago. Since then, it's hit three million views. And now that it's on the Tatar channel, you can bet the world believes every bit of it. Do we have any way to get in touch with her? Sure. You can always try and DM her. I already did, though. No response so far. But even if she did take the video down, what's done is done. Once something gets uploaded, copies of it start spreading like wildfire. And what makes this whole mess even sadder is, those who eat this stuff up don't even really care about the truth. They don't? Then what the hell's the point? Really, most people just want a target. A punching bag for their own problems. You can't go around trashing innocent people, but if it's someone who's proven to be evil, well... That's a different story. So it's bullying, rebranded for the modern era. Well, on the other hand, this stuff has actually served as a bit of a crime deterrent. We uploaded Ryo Aoki's confession four years ago, remember? The cultural climate's been changing ever since. Uh, now it's our turn on the chopping block, is that it? <laughs> Talk about irony. Oh, I'm sorry, Adachi-san. Namba, this is my fault. Huh? If I hadn't been so naive, none of this would have happened. Hey. You two turned your lives around and I went and ruined everything. I'm so sorry. Yeah, truth be told, I had a feeling you'd take it that way. 
Why would this ever be your fault, you dumbass? The problem's obviously whoever spread the lies. And what's more, don't underestimate us. We've ridden out rougher storms than this one. I'll say. Compared to sleeping outside in the snow back when I was a bum, this is a regular slice of heaven. Come what may, I'll crawl my way out of hell as many times as it takes. Pretty sure you'd do the same, right? Guys! Thank you! But just know, I won't be able to help you get ex-Yakuza back on their feet anymore. Yeah, not like you could, seeing as you lost both your source of jobs and the means to hand them out. I feel like a joke. Especially after all that talk about carrying out the boss's legacy. Well, look, right now, just do your best. Besides, it's fair to say more Yakuza are gonna come looking for help. You'll have to explain all that's happened. Yeah, you're right. Um, excuse me. Are you Kasuga-san? You know, Ichiban Kasuga, the hero of Yokohama? <sighs> That's me. Oh, thank goodness. I heard you got work, that maybe you might have a job for me? Uh, yeah, about that. As you can see, I too used to be in the Yakuza. I've got a wife and two kids. The older one starts elementary school next year. They've gone through hell because of me. But I at least want to provide a good life for my family. The, uh, word on the street is that even a guy like me could find some honest work and turn things around. Please, is there anything available? <sighs> I'm sorry. Hmm? You see, I actually just lost my job. As such, I can't do a whole lot for you. Huh? I'm just here to break the news, tell everyone what happened. Just know I'm really sorry. You're serious? Man, no matter where I go, it's the same thing. I was planning to end it all, but that changed when I heard about you. I'm really at the end of my rope. <sighs> now, now you're out too? You're in the same boat as me? Is this some kind of sick joke? Damn it, you gave me hope, you know that? You can't just toy around with people's emotions like this. Come on! I'm sorry. Please, I, I'm so sorry. Damn it! <sighs> Excuse me. Oh, uh, Kasuga-san. Hey, good to see you. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to cause a scene. Uh, that that's okay. Do you, um, think I can ask you a favor? Provided it's not too much trouble, could you put up a sign saying I'm not here anymore? You see, there's a good chance more people will show up looking for me. Y you mean more Yakuza? Former Yakuza, yes. Would you do that for me? Otherwise, I'm worried they'll just cause trouble for you. Uh, oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I, I certainly don't want those guys waltzing in here and harassing people. I really appreciate it. Uh, furthermore, uh, don't think that hanging around will make us change our decision. Uh, also, were you fighting out here? I won't have anything like that on the premises. Not one bit. I'm sorry. I'll leave right away. Guess I'll go see Sasaki. He should know what's been going on.
Oh, hey, Kasuga-san. Sorry to bother you all of a sudden. There's something I... I heard from Adachi-san I'm getting let go at the end of the month. I'm sorry. It's my fault for not having my act together. Yeah, yeah, it's all right. Actually, this whole thing's helped me come to terms with it. I put all that effort into having a change of heart to rebuild my life, and then something like this happens. I'm starting to think that someone up there must really hate me. Sasaki... <laughs> it's no big deal, really. <laughs> I'd say you look a hell of a lot worse than me, huh? <sighs> Thanks for uh, letting me dream for a bit. Anyway, I probably ought to start packing this place up. Right. What do I do now? Kasuga, you there? It's Adachi. I'm here too. Yo, Adachi son. Namba? Hey, sorry to barge in. You got a minute? Yeah. Time's about all I got these days. Sorry, I hope you guys are fine with just water. The water's never a bad thing. Much obliged. So, what's up? It's just that... Something's been on my mind. Have you, by any chance, gone past Hello Work recently? Yeah, uh, nearby, at least. I thought maybe there might still be some guys looking for me. Oh, any luck? Anybody end up swinging by? Got a couple guys the first few days, but no more than that. Guess word's gotten around that they can't count on me anymore. I see. Well, it turns out there might be more to it than that. What do you mean? Well, lately our old friend the Seiryu clan's been acting mighty suspicious. The Seiryu clan? I think back a bit. You remember how Captain Takabe became the chairman after Hoshino died? Yeah, that made sense, given how the clan's set up. And did you know that Takabe went to prison? No. That's news to me. Right. So here's where things get interesting. Rumor has it, the Yakuza left behind by both the Tojo and the Omi have started gathering under the Seiryu banner. But we're not just talking 10 or 20 guys here. Huh? You mean... I mean, the Seiryu clan's been boosting their numbers in a big way, and neither Hoshino nor Takabe would have okayed that. However, with Chairman Hoshino dead, and Takabe in the slammer... Exactly. Somebody in the Seiryu clan must be plotting something while their boss is out of commission. So all those guys who are trying to go straight, they're going back in under the Seiryu clan? Nah, that's not all. Frankly gets even worse. Huh? Apparently, Sasaki's one of them. He's joined the Seiryu clan, too. Sasaki? Losing his job really took its toll, I guess. We can't rule out the possibility that he gave up. Living as a civilian might have been too tough. Ugh. So he went and joined the Seiryu clan? Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah, I heard it from one of my buddies at the homeless camp. Look, I'm pretty sure I've got no right saying this. In fact, I know I don't. I can't stand by and watch Sasaki get dragged back into the Yakuza. After all, he made a decision to earn his life back. I saw him do it with my own eyes. I want to help him, however I can. Well, 
I figured you would, and I'm glad. <laughs> <sighs> You're heading to Seriu Clan HQ, right? Count us in. <laughs> but guys... Oh, but nothing. We're with you on this. Besides, there's no guarantee they'll be willing to hash things out. After everything, you really think we'd leave you to the dogs? Mm-hmm. Uh, san Namba. You're stuck with us. <laughs> and just like that... The party's back together. Let's say we set off on another adventure. Yeah, Mr. Hero? Yeah. <laughs> well, any hero worth his salt needs a weapon to match. So, where'd you stash it? Sash what? <laughs> like you forgot. Your hero's bad. Don't tell me you tossed it out. Oh, yeah. It's, uh, well, uh... Seriously? Uh, what the hell is that? Well, I, I needed to hang stuff, so... Uh, then buy a rack or something, man! That thing deserves better! Sure does. Uh, and after my little speech... <sighs> Honestly, it's a hero's bat, right? Time to go to work. Right. All right. Let's roll out. Actually, can we hold on a sec? What for? <laughs> if I'm going on an adventure, then I'll need to look the part. Suit back was a good call. I know, right? Gotta say, it's funny. The three of us kicking things off again. <laughs> what did you expect? We're in it for the long haul. If I'm being honest, I think part of me's been waiting for this day for a long time. <laughs> All right, it's hero time. Nanba, Adachi san. We made names for ourselves as the heroes of Yokohama once before. Let's remind this town just what we're all about, yeah? Hell yeah. Right behind you. Yeah! I gotta say, that bat really takes me back. It was right around here you plucked that thing out of the ground, yeah? Yeah, and me and Adachi-san couldn't get it to budge. Remember how you said only the chosen hero could pull it out? Oh, yeah. You were calling it a holy sword or whatever. I knew you had a childhood fantasy thing going on, but at that point I wondered, is this guy okay in the head? <laughs> and I haven't changed one bit. Ha! I will be the savior of this world! Check it out. He's doing it. Get her done, hero. Always here to save the day. <laughs> hey, you old farts done LARPing around? Then how about you give us some spending money? Yeah, you won't get much from us. We're dead broke. You're telling me the three of you don't have a single yen on you? I think you're feeding me some bullshit! Now fork over some cash! Not every random guy you see is loaded, you know. Hey, hero. I think I see a slime approaching. Ready to put that holy sword to work? <laughs> I was just thinking it's been too long. Namba, Adachi-san, you ready? Yeah! yeah. Let's do it! Huh? 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 Whoa! Did these guys just transform? Huh? Transform into what? Didn't he say something like that back in the day? How? Once he became a hero, the bad guys would change during battle? Oh, oh yeah. Well, when it comes to fighting, you do you. 
Don't get delusional on us. Wait, so am I the only one? Oh well, more fun for me, I guess. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on. Chicken time. <laughs> What's that? Yo. Oh. Okay. Excuse me. No. <laughs> oh. Wow. 
Never thought I'd see the day when we'd all join forces again. The party's back and better than ever. Well, better than ever might be a bit much for a bunch of jobless dudes over 40. Ah, who's keeping score? I say you're the best pals a guy could have. And so what if we're out of work? We're heroes in our hearts. Let's hold our heads high. You know, despite you having absolutely zero basis for saying that, I respect your optimism. Aw, oh, man, you flatter me. That wasn't exactly a compliment. <laughs> I swear, it's never a dull moment with you two around. Anyhow, let's put our backs into it, eh, comrades? Hell yeah! Aren't you Risa Unai? Whoa, a real TV announcer in the flesh. <laughs> She's even hotter up close. <laughs> uh, thank you, I'm honored. Well, goodbye. Wait, hold on. Can we like take a picture so I can show all my friends? Seriously, dude, forget that. Hey, do you have a boyfriend? How about one of us? Who do you like better? Me or him? Uh, I'm in a bit of a hurry, actually, so excuse me. What, you think you're some kind of celebrity? I wouldn't piss us off if I were you and I, son. So she's a TV announcer, huh? I better help her get away from those sleaze balls. Hey, fellas, can't you see she doesn't want your company? Huh? Who the hell are you? Well, how do you know she's not in this, huh? Looks to me like she wants a piece of action, don't it? My dude, if you think she looks like she wants a piece of you, no wonder nobody's into you. You talking shit, old man? What's so wrong about getting to know a hot TV announcer? If you won't let us get close, we'll just have to take you out. The battle is on! Okay. Watch this! I'm up! What? What's with him? Wanna keep going? No! No, please, no! Uh, I'm so sorry! <laughs> Freaking scumbags. You all right there? I am, thank you. I really appreciate you saving me. So? TV announcer, huh? Yep. I'm Risa Unai from TBS. I'm Kasuga. Ichiban Kasuga. Nice to meet you. I guess you famous people got it tough, getting pestered by creeps like that. Oh, I wouldn't say that I'm famous, but I do get harassed by people like them sometimes, yes. Well, this is one hot dumpster fire of a town, so just be careful around these parts, yeah? Anyway, you heading to work? Right you are. I'm on my way to a radio show, actually. Oh, yeah? Yes, indeed. Have you heard of TBS Radio? The first time I've heard of it, but I might have a radio cassette player lying around somewhere, so I could probably tune in. Then please give us a listen. You can also try tuning in with a phone app, too. Uh, what's the show about? Oh, all sorts of things. Food, music, you name it. Sometimes we even talk about things overseas. I join as a co-host every now and then. We end up talking about games pretty often when I'm there. Are oh, you like games too? I used to play them a lot when I was a kid. I always wanted to be a hero. Oh, uh, a hero, you say? That sounds... cool, I guess. 
Is this guy some kind of LARPer? I haven't been able to play any games recently, though. Well, maybe I ought to use the radio to study up on what's new. That'd be great. I could even talk about how you saved me on today's segment. Oh, no, it's cool. What I did's not worth mentioning on the radio. Well, take care, Unai-san. Stay safe, and good luck with your radio show. Will do. Thank you again, Kasuga-san. Radio shows, huh? It's been a while since I've listened to one, but maybe I'll give it a shot with my radio cassette back home. She mentioned they also have a smartphone app or something, so maybe I'll download that, too. Hmm. <sighs> no. Guess so. Hey. Yes. Yes. Huh? That's so. No. 
Wow. Just leave me. I can't swim anymore. It's like we can get up from there. Hang in there, Nama! Uh, uh, can we really get to the Siryu clan HQ through this rat hole? Yeah, no doubt about it. Still, I have heard some rumors about some real weirdos shacking up here. Stay on guard. Sabi Sabi Alpha, you're going right down. Cool. Break yourself. Yeah. Have fun with this. Hey. Totally. Looks like we were able to sneak in. Where are we? The Seiryu clan courtyard? The chairman's room's up there, right? Yeah, no way I'd forget it. Man, that takes me back. It was just us three. First time we came here. Whoa, hey! The hell'd you come from? Uh-oh. So much for getting nostalgic, huh? Right. Guess it's a fight then. Now let's rock and roll! Adachi san! Namba! Bring it on! Okay. Have fun with this! Safe to say, they'll be hounding us. That just means we don't gotta sneak around anymore. We're going all the way to the top! The battle is on! Yeah. Watch this! Let's do it. Yeah! In here, nobody sneaks into Seryu HQ and gets away with it. You three are dead meat. Damn it, German's room's right there too. Oh, shit, 
What's the plan, Ichiban? This guy's on a good one. <laughs> He's just what we wanted. After all, every dungeon needs a tough boss at the end. Let's do it! What's this? Help me out! Cool! Brace yourself! Trust you! I'm up! Don't get caught! Chairman's just passed here, yeah? Yeah. Stay on your toes. All right. We'll see that it's settled before next week's meeting. Precisely. We'll accept their proposal. Is that all? Very well. I'll be in touch. <clears throat> My apologies. I had to see that through. I've been managing things in Chairman Takabe's absence. I am Ebida, the clan captain. It's a pleasure to meet you, Ichiban Kasuga-san. So what? You hear about us from Takabe or something? Yes. I've heard a great deal, too. And Takabe? He's still locked up, right? In short, one of ours got busted and the chairman took the brunt of it. He's set to be released in two years. And what about you? You're filling in for him while he's away, right? I don't remember seeing you around before. I'm a new addition. I didn't join the Seiryu until after the Great Dissolution. And you're already captain? You sure climbed the ladder fast. Based on that, you must be pretty good. You flatter me. But you see, with the death of the previous chairman and the chaos that followed the Great Dissolution, well, the fact of the matter is we were short-handed. To be even more blunt about it, my promotion was based entirely on how well I earned. As a Yakuza, however, that's not really something to be proud of. Hey, you're humble, at least. <laughs> Let's get back on topic. Chairman Takabe told me what you did for the Serio clan, among others. The Ejin Three are all very much indebted to you. Please excuse me for not reaching out sooner. Yeah, appreciate you rolling out the red carpet. We take security matters quite seriously here. Unless I give explicit permission, any intruders are to be eliminated on sight. Unfortunately, it seems there was a delay in giving orders, even after I'd confirmed it was you. you maybe relax your grip on the place then, huh? One wrong move and we'd be feeding the fish right now. Huh. If I told my men to stand down first thing, I would never have seen our heroes of Yokohama in action. As acting head of the Seryu clan, it's my responsibility to determine who we do business with. Surely you understand. Well, I guess we're the ones who barged in. Wouldn't be right for us to complain about it. <laughs> you have my thanks. Anyway, Ebina-san, the reason we came here... Yes, I'm aware. It's about Sasaki-san. Is that right? <laughs> that certainly saves us some time. Where do you think we're headed? Maybe the mountains? You know, so they can bury us in the woods? Far from it. We're en route to a warehouse at the wharf. And we gotta go all the way to the harbor just to talk about Sasaki? 
Well, seeing is believing, as they often say. After the Great Dissolution four years ago, even some Seryu clan members were ready to leave the Yakuza life behind. Chairman Takabe, in light of this, encouraged them to do just that. However, one major obstacle stands between an ex-Yakuza and the outside world. The five-year ex-Yakuza clause, right? Yeah, correct. As long as that's in place, former Yakuza are unlikely to find decent work, forcing many onto the streets. Knowing what might await them, the first thing the chairman did was provide a way one might make an honest living. And what's that? You'll see. In fact, we're almost there. We bought the warehouse the Liu Mang had been using some time ago. It's here we gather trash from all four corners of the globe. Trash? I say trash, but in reality, it's a little more complicated than that. Rather, it's things one can no longer afford to keep. For example, we might receive evidence of a president's adultery or illicit money transfer records. A scholar may call them pieces of history, but to others, they are cursed objects meant to be destroyed. As to our part, we secretly store these controversial trinkets for safekeeping. And should the client request it, we'll dispose of their trash without hesitation. It's our duty to make clients feel safe, that they might entrust their disposables to this island nation we call Japan. So, it's like a giant safety deposit box. Precisely. Each storage container is lined with lead, so even x-rays can't make out their contents. In addition, the interiors are also vacuum sealed to prevent degradation. Naturally, that demands a rather high premium, but we still find ourselves with new inventory almost every day. I swear, what'll you Yakuza think up next? Oh, this isn't just some Seryu clan racket. It's our front corporation. Right, so this is where you're sending those who want out? Yes. The Omi and Tojo's dissolution changed everything. Many Yakuza who are unable to reintegrate into society have since returned. Not everyone can weather those five long years. And thus, the Yakuza is all they have. Whatever their reasons, it's estimated they number over 10,000. There's still that many? Far as they're concerned, the best option is to side with smaller local groups like the Seryu clan. Provided at least one organization remains, they will no doubt continue to seek them out. For this reason, Chairman Takabe plans to coordinate with all remaining Yakuza clans and quickly dissolve them as well. What? You mean all at once? The Yomei Alliance of Hiroshima, the Kitikata family of Hokkaido, the Ryudo family of Okinawa. Those are just the start, as he's secretly in touch with many other groups as well. He's aptly called this plan the second great dissolution. Should it succeed, then the Yakuza will truly be a thing of the past. I have been acting on his behalf, carefully advancing the plan while he's away. Never knew Takabe had his sights set so high. In order to avoid the hardship caused by the first dissolution, the second will only be carried out once we've secured enough jobs. To that end, we've been expanding our business in numerous areas. Frankly, not all of them have been successful, but we can't afford to let that slow us down. We must give all we have to the task at hand. So the second great dissolution. When exactly are you guys planning to pull the trigger? When the time is right. 
That's all I can say for now. You've told us so much already, even though we just met. But seriously, it means a lot. Kasuga-san. Adachi-san. I am well aware of all the work you two have done in rehabilitating former Yakuza. That said, I am also aware of your current predicament. Uh? Despite this, let me assure you that our goals are the same. Masumi Arakawa's last wish. His incredible dream of giving every last Yakuza a chance at normal life. Would you entrust that to us? Kasuga-san, Adachi-san. Sasaki! Guess you really were here after all, huh? Uh, I'm sorry, I, uh... <laughs> well, uh, to be honest, I came here with the intent of joining the Seiryu clan. Uh, but thankfully, Ebina-san said I could stay a civilian. You've got nothing to apologize for. If you're okay with this, then you have my support. We will take responsibility and look after Sasaki-san from here on. Is that all right with you? Honestly, it's amazing what you guys have done. Makes me wonder why I even bothered trying to do it on my own. Anyway, Abina-san, I ultimately just want to say thank you. This might sound kind of presumptuous of me, but if I may, could I ask you see this through? That no man gets left behind? Yes, of course. I'll see that it's done. Kazuka-san. Hmm? Provided you still have time, there's someone I'd like you to see. Yeah? I mean, sure. I've got nothing but time right now. Glad to hear it. In that case, allow me to give him a call. That won't be necessary. <laughs> well then, it would appear he's already here. Hmm? No way. It's been a while, Ichi. Holy shit. Captain Sawashiro. Hmm. It's fine. Old habits die hard, huh? <laughs> Captain Sawashiro! I, I thought you were in the slammer. W what are you doing here? You were found guilty. You killed the Seiryu chairman. As far as Ebbing is concerned, you're public enemy number one, right? At a glance, I'd say he's treating you like the opposite. You know, for a dumbass, you're pretty perceptive, huh, Ichi? And I see you're at it with that. Would it kill you to be nice for once? <laughs> I guess old habits really do die hard. So they do. So, uh, what exactly is going on? Well, long story short, I wasn't the one who killed Chairman Hoshino four years ago. What?
awful late to the party, aren't you? <laughs> Seems even Hoshino got sick of waiting. Young master, what have you done? Yeah, I should be asking you. The ruthless Captain Sawashiro I once knew never dragged his ass. But I have a theory. You let it slip that someone was after the old man's head. Didn't you? If all went according to plan, Ichiban would come save the day before you made the hit. That's what you were banking on, right? Well, change of plans. I see. So you sent a guy in ahead of me to ensure the job was done. I'll make sure the credit goes to you. If it gets around that you off the Sei Ryu clan chairman, <laughs> well, you're sure to impress a cellmate or two. So then... That means I'd lost your trust some time ago, young master. You're wrong there, Sawashiro. You never had my trust to begin with. So someone else got to him before you even had the chance. Right. Then the young master played you as well. And even knowing that, you still took the fall. Well, I can't deny I was on my way to kill the chairman. Maybe I did pray for a sort of miracle. That by some chance I wouldn't have to. But it would have been too shameless of me to plead innocence. You had your reasons. I'm sure a lot was going through your head at the time, yeah? Well, that's true. I suppose I was trying to atone for my sins somehow. <sighs> it was clear the young master... No. My own son... was only sinking deeper into the abyss. I spoiled him. And Arakawa-san's death was a direct result of that. In truth... I might have prevented it, but instead I pushed him to do it. Once they put me in prison, I thought I'd just be counting down the rest of my days. But someone put that countdown on hold. That someone was Ebina. A man claiming to be his attorney came to visit. He told me he could prove me innocent, that he wanted to appeal for a retrial. So Ebina knew the truth? Did he know about Chairman Hoshino? That there was another killer? Yeah. He's a sharp one, that guy. Real young, full of energy type. He did everything he could to get me out of prison. It was all to serve his goal, to start up the Second Great Dissolution. You even heard it yourself just now. Arakawa still had a lot more to do before he passed. I get it. You couldn't be the one Yakuza left out of all this. <laughs> no way. I'm the guy that turned from the Tojo to the Omi, incited a war and went on an all-out rampage in the process. Get someone like me on your leash, and even a fresh face like Ebina's sure to turn a few heads. To keep the strays in line, you need someone who can bark over them. I suppose that's why he brought me in. Sounds like you got the short end of that one. I'd say it's the perfect job for me, <laughs> all things considered. If nothing else, it sure beats pretending to atone for my sins in some cell. Captain... I had asked Ebina to bring you here tonight, but... 
It wasn't so I could talk about myself. I know I have no right, Ichi, but I have a favor to ask you. A favor? From me? It's a rush job, too. Let me hear it first. I don't exactly want to bite off more than I can chew, you know? Well, as I understand it, you're fresh out of a job, right? I'm sure you'll find the time. <sighs> so, Sawashiro asks you a favor, and without any clue as to what it is, you run off and snag a passport. Sir, yes sir, eh? That's one way to put it. Well, whatever his favor is, I imagine you'll be heading overseas, right? Passport ain't good for much else. He's gonna fill me in later today. Said he'll be waiting at Heian Tower. Are you gonna be okay by yourself? I mean, can we really trust Sawashiro? You know, I think if he was gonna hurt me, he'd have done it by now. That's a fair point. Not only that, I'm out of work, with plenty of time to spare. Figured I'd just go meet him. I'd feel bad turning him down at this point, especially after he came to me for help. Guess we're all going to Heian Tower then. <laughs> You're not the only one with time on his hands, after all. Ah, to think there'd come a day when we'd share a meal here. I'll say. Still, I assumed it'd just be us. Actually, they're here on Ebina's orders. <laughs> I made a lot of enemies before getting arrested. Plenty of people out there still hate my guts, it seems. Oh, I did what you asked. Got my passport right here. Ah, excellent. So, uh, what's this favor you're asking? I'm sending you to Hawaii. There's someone there who wants to meet you. Hawaii? Uh, who is it? Well, it's your mother. What? She's the one woman the boss truly loved. Akane-san. Huh? Wh wh wait, that's... Just so we're clear here, yes, you are indeed the boss and Akane-san's child. That fateful day 40 years ago, I saw everything with my own eyes. On that day, two babies at the coin lockers were sadly mistaken for one another. In a perfect world, you would have been raised as Masato Arakawa, the boss's own flesh and blood. You were, of course, replaced with... <sighs> the son I abandoned. If you hate me for it, you're welcome to say so. You have every right. You know, I've always had two fathers. Jiro Kasuga at the Shangri-La Soapland, and by oath, Masumi Arakawa. For what it's worth, that's all I needed. Maybe you're right. That said, what about your mother? Right, uh, so, uh, this Akane-san lady is... Yes. She's your mom. No, but Akane-san, I, I heard she was killed. Heck, Arakawa-san told me himself. The Hikawa family hunted her down. You know, the guys Arakawa-san used to run with. Right, well, that may be what the boss believed. But it's not entirely true. 
Prior to the boss's departure, the patriarch of the Hikawa family hoped marry Arakawa-san to his daughter. That's how much he liked him. You might even say the patriarch wanted him as his heir. But as fate would have it, the boss was already together with Akane-san. So he had to fearfully turn down the offer. Right. That was it. And the Patriarch's rage upon hearing the news was more than the boss could have ever imagined. In a sudden turn, he tried to kill both the boss and Akane-san, who at the time was pregnant with you. See, the boss had heard Akane-san was caught by the Hikawa family, but he never saw her body for himself. He kept believing she was out there, and so he strung up one Hikawa member after another. But by then, it was too late, and the order to kill Akane-san had already been passed on to the contractors. Contractors? Professional hitmen. So now they were on the hunt, too. The Hikawa Patriarch was playing all his cards. All that to kill Akane-san? Just her alone? Crossing the Yakuza carries a heavy toll. Surely I don't have to tell you that. <sighs> it was then Arakawa made one last move. And in order to save your mom, he raided the Hikawa family HQ, all by himself. Arakawa! You're going straight to hell, you damn traitor! Is a cutting! 
No longer in the country, she's bound for the Philippines, stowed away on some shady-looking cargo ship, it seems. <sighs> Imagine a pretty little thing by her lonesome, with hardly a yen to her name. Surely she has to earn her keep somehow. I hear life at sea is quite demanding, but it's the men that see you I'd be concerned about. <laughs> Bet you they're lined up as we speak. Shit! You piece of shit! <laughs> Tell your men to stand down! Or they'll be dead just like you! Hikawa! <laughs> That's the spirit, Arakawa. Oh, I've been wanting to see that face. To hear you scream like that little brat you are! Make the call! Do it already! <laughs> One really has to wonder, though. How bad is your bitch holding up? <laughs> the boss continued torturing the Hikawa Patriarch until he breathed his last. But no matter what he did, the madman kept on laughing. Till the bitter end. And in the end, he never found out where Akane-san was. And now he had no chance of calling off her pursuers. But wait, he knew she was headed for the Philippines, right? There had to be something he could do. There was. He flew to the Philippines as soon as possible, and once he formed his own family, his subordinates joined the search. But nothing ever turned up, and the years just kept passing by. He came to believe that if Akane-san were alive, she would have contacted him. That day never came. So he and the rest of us assumed the worst. Though no one ever said it out loud. It's the photo of Akane-san the boss had us carry around. What? I can't imagine you've seen it. This is her? Akane-san? Oh. She's native Hawaiian. Albeit with some Japanese blood mixed in. Then I have that blood too? Guess that's how it goes. Ten years had passed since Akane-san went missing. Then, one day the boss got an emergency call. It was from an officer of a Filipino group we had dealings with. He found a girl in Hawaii who looked just like her. Then that mean... maybe she moved back home at some point? Yeah, we'd been looking at that angle too, as you might have guessed. But the boss never knew where exactly in Hawaii she was born. That might be why we still came up short. So you went there to take a look? To find Akane-san? Soon as I got word, I was on the first flight out. It was just me, though. The boss stayed behind. Why? What? Why didn't he go with me? If I can afford to be blunt, it's because he was afraid. He'd had enough. A man can only have his hopes built up so many times. The stronger and more promising the lead, the bigger the hurt when it all fell through. I see. Makes sense. Anyway, off I went. <sighs> Eventually I found her. It was Akane's son, no doubt about it. And she was safe and sound? She was. 
about as safe as you can get. Granted, uh, that presented a bit of a problem for me. Huh? Say all went well, and she returned to the boss. Akane-san would inevitably want to meet her child. And in that case, she'd quickly see that her son's been living with a handicap since the transfer at the coin locker. Now, she might at first say that just being able to reunite is enough. But eventually, she'd want to know about his condition. And she'd probably ask how that happened. Before long, she and the boss would be comparing their memories from that night. Then it'd hit. They'd realize they transferred their baby at different lockers. How then would they treat Masato Arakawa, the young master, the boy they believed was theirs? Uh, well... No one truly knows what would have happened. But I did know this. As long as Akane-san kept out of Japan, everything here'd stay the same. Neither I nor the young master would have to suffer. Wait, then you... You flew out to Akane-san, too. Exactly. When I saw Akane-san, I was planning to kill her. <laughs> Even I couldn't help trembling. I had every intention to get rid of the woman the boss loved. However, I ended up walking away. All thanks to something she said. If anyone asks, I've been dead a long time. And Akane-san has kids out there? It shouldn't come as a surprise if you think about it. A young girl on the run from hired killers, with absolutely no hope of contact from the man she loved. Who could blame her for anything? From then on, it was her life to live. So I decided to honor her wishes. I gave word to the boss that Akane-san was dead. I told him the Hikawa family had reached her first. That all I'd found was her lifeless body. Nothing more. The boss quietly accepted my report. The search for Akane-san was called off. And she was never spoken of again. After that, I stayed in contact with her, though sparsely. I needed some control over her so that she wouldn't suddenly get homesick for Japan, you see. You're a certified asshole. Still, I get that this all started because of what Akane-san said. I'm not saying everything you did was wrong. Well, with the boss now dead and me out of prison, the situation has changed. I wrote a letter to Akane-san. I told her everything there was to know. How I betrayed the boss, and that Ichiban Kasuga, the boy who grew up in a soap land, was her child. Ironic, isn't it? Neither I nor Akane-san were finally free until long after the boss was gone. <sighs> Anyhow, Ichi, Akane-san, she tells me she wants to meet you. She does? Me? Akane-san's home address. It's right there on the front. Is this a letter from Akane-san? It's just the envelope. The letter was to stay between me and her. I'm afraid I can't show it to you. Sure, I get that. Sure, it must be strange to be in your 40s and be asked to meet your mom for the first time. But Akane-san's only getting older. 
A son ought to set his mother's mind at ease before she passes on, don't you think? Well, yeah. This is just one more way for me to atone for all I've done. I'll be booking your flight to Hawaii. You'll leave tomorrow night. All that's left is how you feel about it. Will you go? Not for me, but for Akane-san. Please, won't you see her, Ichi? Captain... I beg you. You know, I never thought I'd see the day you bowed your head to me. All right, I'll go see her. Well, I would have killed you if you'd said no. What's up? Yeah. I see. Okay. Hey. Okay. Okay. Sure. Yep. Hold on. Yeah. Listen.
Got it. Thanks. Listen. Yeah. I'm taking off, boss. I'm gonna go meet her. Akane-san wants to see me. No clue Akane-san was still alive. Nor that you were actually his son. You never knew about any of it. You know, whether I'm the boss's blood or not, I can't actually say. Honestly, does it even really matter? Huh? To the boss, I'm just me. And to me, the boss is just the boss. His blood, my blood, it's not important. It doesn't change a thing. And that's why you won't take a DNA test? If it were me, I don't want to set the record straight. For all I care, I got two dads. I've got the boss right here, and I've got Jiro Kasuga, the man who stepped in when no one else would. That's good enough for me. If you say so. Man, you always gotta be so stubborn. Say, by the way, what's that in your hand? Oh, um, I've got some of the boss's ashes in here. Huh. You get that made somewhere? I want to give it to Akane-san. Uh, you know, provided she'll accept it. So that was it, huh? That's what made you decide to go? Maybe. For what it's worth, I thought it might make the boss happy. So, what do you think, boss? Nancy? That's my pet crawfish, of course. Nancy. I sort of bargained for her life with a homeless fisherman. She's been with me since. Damba stuck her in a clay pot as a joke, but turns out she finds it pretty cozy. Oh, yeah. If I'm going to Hawaii, Nancy will need a sitter. Wonder who I could ask. Uh, Adachi song, maybe? Huh? That a no? Listen, if my stay in Hawaii goes long, you might dry out by the time I'm back. <laughs> Fine, have it your way. We're in this together. You want to come to Hawaii with me? <coughs> yeah, yeah. Be a good girl, keep cool, Nancy. Just another crazy off the streets. Nothing out of the order. Huh. Does it feel like we've had this conversation before? <laughs> Whatever. We know how to handle this. Roger. Come on! Okay. Don't get caught. Don't get caught. <laughs> 
Let's go! Want some Okay. Man, what was his problem? I swear, this city's just as ugly as it ever was. Oh, ho! Oh, a turncoat titillator. Classic. You've not lost a step, Kasuga. How fortunate for us all. Uh huh? It's been a while, my boy. You! Uh, who were you again? <sighs> It's me, you fool! Professor Morikasa, the bloody Sujiman sensei Oh, right! I was just kidding. Of course I remember you, sensei! Sujiman sensei This guy a friend of yours, Kasuga? Uh, you were with me when I met him, I think. He took us over to his, um, Sujiman center, right? Come on, man. It's hard enough to remember the names of cute girls these days. Much less scarred up cue balls. Uh, if you say so. Uh, listen then, this guy's the Sujimon Sensei, the creep who researches other creeps. Let me fill up a whole catalog of data on them, the Sujimon. <laughs> Guilty as charged. More monster than man all, and inclined to make passers-by feel super jittery. Sujimon! Uh huh. Okay, yes. It's a stretch, but a necessary classification. For society to rid itself of these violent creepazoids, research and categorization are vital endeavors. You see? As ever, my ultimate goal is world peace! No shit. This world. Despite all my efforts, it's still rotten with criminals and degenerates. Just look around you for proof. And so I collect data on them, their behaviors, their habitats, to help good, honest citizens stay clear of danger. That's why you needed Kasuga's help? Since he's always getting his ass kicked in the seediest parts of town? Right! It's coming back to me now. Well, Kasuga? Will you take up the Sujimon cause once more to be the very best? Huh? Uh, sure. You do still have the Sujidex installed on your phone, of course, don't you? Hey, hold on! You... you deleted my Sujidex app! All that data... gone! Hey, man, those things don't have much space! There's no cloud backup! Ugh. Nothing to do but reinstall it. Oh, what a pain in the ass. Enough whining. You want to keep the world safe, don't you? Wait, I forgot. I'm planning to go to Hawaii soon. Will this thing even work overseas? Huh? Well, it should, in theory. But why are you headed there, might I ask? I've got some stuff to take care of. My boy. Hawaii is known far and wide as a Sujimon paradise. Huh? Really? Mmm. One could call it an entirely different region of Sujimon. A tropical dreamscape, yet a land of shadows, blessed by the sun and the moon. In fact, I've even heard tell of some sort of Sujimon tournament there. Uh, how would that even work? Perhaps. We'll speak more of that when the time comes. Away now, my boy. To Hawaii you go for priceless Sujiman data. Remember, gotta dispatch them all. Become the Sujiman master again. Whatever you say, Sensei. Going to Hawaii, huh? This might be my one chance to get it all back. Okay. 
Hey, Ichiban. You sure you got enough stuff with you? I mean, it's Hawaii. Not a day trip up to some hot spring. You stay in there at least a few nights, right? Bring enough change of clothes? Hey, if I run out, I'll buy some. I hate dragging luggage around. Look at us. First we're homeless, and now we're stressing about extra clothes. Hey, you're right. We really moved on up. This might just be the R&R &R you needed. Take the time to enjoy it. Oh, and I'm good with any gift. But Macadamia does. Sure. Thanks, guys. Well, guess I'm off. Happy travels. like a sunrise in Hawaii. <sighs> On behalf of all of our crew, thank you for choosing to fly with us today. We hope to see you again soon. If I take over? Yes, please. Thank you. No need to be so gentle with it. Just lift him by his belt here. Like a sumo in his loincloth. See? Thanks for lending a hand, sir. We appreciate the help. No. If anything, I was being too nosy. I wouldn't call helping a stranger out nosy. I take it you've done this before? Well, an old friend of mine spent most of his life in a wheelchair, so... Ah, uh, yeah, that would do it then. Anyway, you here on vacation? Uh, you could say that, yeah. Right on. Well, let's make the most of it, huh? Later. Thanks again. Oh, uh, hui ho! Uh, who what now? Uh, uh, hui ho. It's like saying, until next time. No. okay. Oh, we ho! Aloha. Aloha. Uh, this mean anything to you? Hmm? Uh, do I speak Japanese? Oh, you can read it! <laughs> you just come in from Japan? I got you. Now, uh, hop in. Hey, all right! Uh, where to? Here's the address. Look familiar? Hmm, uh, that's a good ways away. Oh, really? Is it gonna be a long drive? First time in Hawaii? <sighs> yeah. Cool. Welcome to the island. Uh, hope you have a nice time.
Hey, so you're from Japan, right? Man, I'd love to get out there one of these days. <laughs> you say that to everyone who flies in from Japan? Like this is a sales pitch? Nah, that's how I really feel. Japan's a wonderful country. It's super peaceful. It's a great food. Yeah, but what about Hawaii? This place is supposed to be heaven on earth, right? Well, the warm weather all year round is nice. But, uh, yeah, Hawaii's got its problems, too. Ah, uh, go figure. And truth be told, we love Japanese guests out here. Uh, they make great customers, and we used to get a lot more before. Maybe you ought to bring your friends next time. Maybe. This time around's kind of personal. You know, you're a pretty upbeat guy, huh? <laughs> that an islander thing? <laughs> no, I, I get that a lot, that I'm easygoing. But I'm not all Hawaii. My dad was from Japan. Oh, really? Then is your mom from here? Yep. Huh. Hey, I guess you're the same as me. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Actually, I only found that out just recently. Uh, hey, uh, sorry, but mind if I see that envelope again? I, I want to check the address. Oh, sure. <sighs> we almost there? I could have sworn it was more toward the suburbs when I looked it up. Oh, is that right? Because somebody did their homework. Get out. See, this is why I love the Japanese. Butter them up just a little, and they'll trust almost anyone. Should I be putting my hands up? Eh, you can stay as is, as long as you're quiet. I'll want your wallet and your smartphone. And you know what happens if you say no, don't you? You're gonna shoot me? You? Really? You bet your ass. I ask because I don't think you can. Uh, uh-huh? A lot of people say America's some gun-crazy cowboy country. But I doubt many of those cowboys know what it really means to pull the trigger. The, the, the hell's your point? Hey! You want to know if someone's gonna shoot you? Look at their eyes. A little practice, and you'll get the hang of it. Didn't think Japan would know how to strike back, huh? Maybe now you'll think twice. God damn it! Don't get smart with me, asshole! We're gonna clean you out! The battle is on! Cool! Open wide! Crush you! did your job, you'd have got a fat tip. But now all you get is a fat lip. Oh, and give me my envelope. Uh, envelope? The one with the address, man. Uh, uh, oh. oh, yeah. Uh. <laughs> now what? You gonna turn yourself in? <laughs> Actually, it's uh, you I'm turning in. Huh? Yo! That's a Kane saw! What the hell is wrong with you? Spit it out! Uh, 
I don't know what you're talking about. You taxi robbing dick. The fuck? Officer, help! I am being robbed! This hooter wore my money and he pointed a gun right at me! Wait a sec! Don't tell me you're seriously buying this crap! Are you? All right, all right, smart guy. Put your hands in the air and turn around! Okay, hang on. I, I'm doing it. Get on your knees. Right now! I can explain. I swear I just got into town. I haven't robbed anyone. Come on, uh, arrest that scumbag. I'm pissing myself over here. Damn it. Why me? This is bullshit. <laughs> Better luck next time, asshole. Hold on, officers. That man is no thief. Oh, hey. You're the Ahuijo guy. Who you should be arresting is the driver. He's the real thief. And if you need proof, I recorded the whole thing. Here. Hey, you saved my ass. Not even here a day and I almost land myself in jail. Sorry you had to go through all that. I was surprised myself. Yeah, but what are you doing here? Well, actually, I was following you. Following me? <sighs> That's right. As we were leaving the airport, I noticed you had hopped into a suspicious looking taxi. It looked suspicious? You could tell just by looking at it? And the thing is, I was born here. As it stands, I've got a bit of uh, a sixth sense for it. I can tell if a driver's out to scam tourists or not. And he was setting off the alarm, huh? It's not like I was 100% certain about him. But you were so nice to me on the plane, and I imagined what might happen to you, and... Frankly, I just couldn't leave it alone. Well, thanks, man. You really saved the day. Oh, I'm Kasuga, by the way. Ichiban Kasuga. Kasuga-san? My name's Mitamura. Eiji Mitamura. Hey, that's a good name. So, Kasuga-san, where were you headed, if I may ask? I... Oh, shit! That's right! The address was on the envelope! The envelope? Was that what that driver ate all of a sudden? <laughs> yeah. Did you copy the address somewhere? No. I didn't think I'd lose something that important. I see. Actually, hold on a moment. I might have something. Huh? You know what? I might be able to work with this. What? Are you serious? I can see the envelope in the video I just took. It's too rough to read as is, but I can try tweaking the footage. And then we can read it? Yes, I think that should work. You'd really do that for me? Of course. In fact, I'd say this was meant to be. But I won't need my laptop to enhance the video, so... If it's no trouble, can I ask you to come to where I'm staying? Oh, sure! Well, I owe you big time, eh, chan Eh, chan You're AG, right? So you're eh, chan Sorry, did, did I get a little too chummy? Oh, no. It's just been a while since anyone gave me a nickname. Anyway, should we get going? Actually, Kasuga-san, aren't you hungry? Oh, yeah. I haven't eaten anything since I got here. Could definitely grab a bite right now. In that case, why don't we do that? I haven't had anything either. All right! First big Hawaiian meal, let's do it! There's a place I used to go to pretty often. We can go there if you'd like. Uh, is there anything you'd rather not eat, Kasuga-san?
Nah, I'm game for anything. People tell me I act like it's the best thing I've ever tasted, no matter what I'm eating, so... <laughs> well, that's good to know. Cha! If you're picking the place, then I'm ready to chow down. Just maybe we keep it cheap, because, you know, I'm kind of broke. Oh, no worries. It's a casual little place. Yeah, <laughs> we're in business then. Oh, man. Going on a trip's great. You meet all kinds of new people. Shame about the first guy waving a gun in my face, though. Could have done without that. I hear you. Still, all in all, that kind of thing doesn't happen too often. Honestly, I wonder if he's all right. You don't think he got shot or anything, do you? You're worried about him? A guy like that? Well, I mean, the guy didn't seem evil. Not entirely, at least. <sighs> You're one of a kind, Kazuga-san. Not everyone could admit something like that. Especially about someone who tried to rob you. You don't think? <laughs> Maybe it's the island. The bigger the space, the bigger the heart, you know? Kasuga-san, what's the thing you think of when you hear Hawaiian food? Oh, uh, let's see. Loco Moco, I think? Oh, I know I've heard that one before. I mean, hamburger patties and sunny side up egg on rice? I'd bolt that down in two seconds. Oh, <laughs> it is tasty. And these days, it's not just with hamburger. You can get it with chicken or even mahi-mahi. Mahi-mahi? Oh, it's a type of whitefish. The big ones get up to about six feet or so. Wow, so is that like a Hawaiian specialty? If I caught a fish that big, I'd never shut up about it. <laughs> it makes for a good story. On that note, Kazuga-san, how long are you planning to stay in Hawaii? I don't know. I haven't decided, but I doubt I'll be here for too long. I'm not exactly here for sightseeing. Oh, then what for? Work or something? No, it's not for work either. Oh, yeah? Well, we've come this far, I guess. My mom and I were separated at birth, and apparently she's still alive. She lives out here now. I came out here to see her. You were separated? Hard to believe, right? It hasn't really hit me yet either. Oh, it's any wonder. I can only imagine how difficult that must be. Wait, then, the address on that envelope you lost... Was that hers? Exactly. Would have thought some guy would eat the friggin' thing. You sure have been through a lot. <laughs> you know, one door closes, another opens. I mean, here I am now, having a great meal with my new pal. Pal? You mean me? If it's okay with you, yeah. You've been a great friend so far. Kasuga-san. <clears throat> All right. I guess I'd better get you that address then. I can't let my new pal down, after all. Yeah, I'm counting on you. Thanks. That's right. Yeah. Hmm.
I see. Yeah. Okay. Leave it to me. <laughs> sure. Excuse me? <laughs> Sorry.
啊！啊！No. Sure. Got it. Wow. I see. Hmm. 
What? Kasuka-san, now's your chance! Oh, million, come on, Let's come get on. it done! Brace yourself! Get lost! Uh. Uh. My bad. I see. Excuse me. Sure thing. Thank you. Man, Hawaii's awesome. It's gorgeous everywhere you look. I'm glad you're enjoying it. If I wasn't stuck in this chair, I'll show you a few other places, too. Nah, no, this has been great. 
Have you been in there a long time, Achan? No. Uh, I was in an accident after work one day. I guess it's been about four or five years since. Oh, an accident, huh? That must have been rough. Yeah, I suppose. Uh, what about your friend, Kasuga-san? You mentioned him earlier. Oh, yeah. He was in an accident, too. He lost his ability to walk when he was just a baby. I met him when I was a teenager. Wheeled him all around town for years. I think I wanted to be the legs he never had. Still, that wasn't what he wanted at all. I really wish I would have known that sooner. Kasuga-san? Hmm? Oh, oh, sorry. Talking to myself. He's a dear friend to you, isn't he? Yeah, he is. He's more like a brother, if anything. A brother? Well, that's how one of us sees it, at least. Oh, also, am I going the right way here? Oh, yeah, this way's fine. All right. Kasuga-san, if I had to guess, I'd say you have a lot of friends. There's something about you. And you're incredibly easy to talk to as well. Hey, thanks, eh, John? I'll introduce you one day. Maybe once we're back in Japan. Oh, no. I would just get in the way. Nonsense! We've got nothing better to do. So, you and your friends, you said you're all in Yokohama? Yeah, Ijincho. I ended up there after getting shot this one time. Woke up in a garbage can. A buddy of mine who was homeless at the time wound up saving my life. <laughs> You're making things up now, right? It's the truth. Honestly, I've never told a single lie in my life. <laughs> you sure that wasn't a lie? <laughs> <laughs> See, look! You're on my chest. You've still got the bullet wound. You're kidding. Oh, wow. Is that really a bullet wound? Yeah. And the guy who saved me is a good friend. Has been to this day. He did eventually find work and stuff, but as I said, we're all back on the job hunt now. Yeah, that's right. Sheesh, it's all coming back to me. Everything was my fault. I'm why they lost their jobs. Is everything okay, Kasuga-san? Yeah, sorry. Uh, just some baggage I haven't let go of. Well, I don't know any of the specifics, but if they're your friends, I'm sure they've gotten over it. <laughs> you sure know how to cheer a guy up, eh, Sean? Uh, <laughs> don't mention it. Here we are, Kasuga-san. This is the place. Oh, we're here? Okay. Thanks for having me. How's it look, eh, Sean? Can you pull it off? Well, I'm gonna run the image through analysis right now. We'll know soon enough. Unreal. I'm totally clueless with this stuff. Well, I could never fight off some lunatic cab driver. Okay, analysis complete. As for the address... Huh, I think we got it! Holy crap! How did you do that? Hey, I'm just glad I could help. You're the man! Thanks so much, Achan! <laughs> hey, it's you! From the taxi! <sighs> it's like a meat locker in here. So... These were the ones giving you grief, Tomizawa. Uh, yeah, there, there's no doubt about it, my son <laughs> Dude looks like a modern-day pirate. Hmm. You know, your face looks awful familiar. Yeah? Now where have I seen you before? Oh, that's right. You're Kasuga. 
the hero of Yokohama. Huh. I'll be darned. Don't tell me you boys don't know. Kasuga here starred in the great dissolution of the Yakuza. What? I take it you didn't come for an autograph. Your little taxi scheme went south, and now you want to settle the score, is that it? While it is true that Tomizawa here botched the job all by himself, the car he got impounded belongs to my syndicate. Oh yeah? You trying to tell me there are Yakuza in Hawaii? <sighs> Not exactly something you'd find in a guidebook, is it? <sighs> On that note, someone's going to need to reimburse us. At a glance, I'd say you're strapped for cash. You do seem rather lively, though, so I'm sure we can put you to work. A level with you, you my son. I have no idea how the Yakuza operate out here in Hawaii. What I do know is you've got it ass backwards. If anybody's gonna reimburse you, it should be him. <clears throat> I do see your logic. The problem is... He's worthless. Oh, does somebody not drink his milk? A light tap like that and your bones go crunch. Fragile little thing. How could you? This bottom feeder used to owe us money, you know. And so, I gave him work because he claimed he had no income. So, if anything, he should be thanking me. Hmm. Hmm. That's some fine-looking tech you got there. Don't you goddamn dare! If you want to fight, you got one. But leave Achan out of this. Kasuga-san, all that's left of your envelope is on there. I didn't think to back up that image, so if they take my laptop... Got it. But don't worry, I won't let him anywhere near you. It seems we're at an impasse then. Ooh, I'm freezing my ass off in here. Freezing? How are you not sweating your ass off? If only that were the case. Unfortunately, this tropical weather does nothing for me. Nobody understands. However, this might warm the blood. Kasuga-san, let me take support here. Thanks, Eitan. Kasuga-san. By all means. Let's get it done. Yep, to move it. John? I'm fine, but I'll need time to recover. Cool. Brace yourself. Get lost. <laughs> Cool. 
Tough one. I'll show you. Are you all right? Yeah, you stay cool. <laughs> Sorry, H. John. No telling if there's more on the way. We gotta go. Right. The laptop safe, and the image of the address is secure. I just sent it to your smartphone. Really? Jeez, you're in this scary mess because of me. You got guts, eh, Sean? Not at all. I just didn't have much of a choice. <laughs> when the going gets tough, the tough get going. Thanks, eh, John? I mean it. You're my hero. Ichiban Kasuga, eh? Well, Kasuga-san, thanks for everything. You kidding? No way, thank you! I dragged you into all that crap. No, 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 don't worry. Honest. It was an experience, and an invaluable one at that. If I'd heard I'd one day get into a Yakuza brawl, I'd have never believed it. <laughs> got me there. Also, Kasuga-san, you treated me like a regular person. You look at me being in a wheelchair like it's just a difference of being right or left-handed. Honestly, it was refreshing. I really enjoyed our time together. I'm not so good with praise. <laughs> Go on, keep it coming. I gladly would if we had the time. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for everything, Achan. Let's meet up again. Uh, once things quiet down. Definitely. Best of luck with everything. Yeah, take care. A hui ho. <laughs> yeah. A hui ho, Kasuga-san. So, this is where Akane-san lives. Excuse me! Akane-san! My name is Ichiban Kasuga! I came here all the way from Japan! Actually, Captain Sawashiro sent me! Is anyone home? Maybe she's out. Excuse me! Hello?
So, you just woke up on the beach out of nowhere. Yeah. Balls swaying in the breeze. Yeah. On top of that, you have no idea how it happened. No. <sighs> okay. I'm gonna need you to cut the crap here. I can make a better bullshit in my sleep. Sleep that I never get. Thanks to all you Japanese folks running around, needing help, or making trouble. <laughs> I know it sounds like bullshit, but I'm telling the truth! <sighs> and why would I be lying? I'd just be digging my own grave! Well, at least you're not a druggie. Nothing crazy on your report. Guess you're just another sick pervert. But hey, your country's famous for weird shit. <laughs> like the anime porn or the panty machines, huh? Would you just listen? I'm telling you, I'm the victim! Call it robbery, grand theft even! My passport, my wallet, my clothes, my underwear! She did me so dirty! Excuse me! Hello? Just a sec. I'll be right out. Here comes my mom. Okay, thanks for waiting. Akane-san, it's so nice to meet you. Hang on. Who are you? Mm. Man, this is delicious. Aw, oh, thanks. I wish I could offer you something a little fancier. Are you kidding? The food's amazing. Not to mention the view. But yeah, uh, sorry I just showed up out of nowhere. <laughs> no worries. I'm just happy to finally meet Akane-san's son. Her son, huh? Whew. Wish that didn't sound so awkward. But to be honest, I'm not really feeling it. Feeling what? I mean, I've never heard from her or seen her face once. Not since the day I was born, anyway. Besides, all the old ladies around town brought me up. In that sense, I had more moms than I can count. So, yeah, I don't really know if I need Akane-san to be my mom. To me, she's just my boss's main squeeze. Anyway, I came out here to give her this. What is it? What's left of the man she loved. Sad to think this is their first reunion in ages. But maybe it'll offer some closure. Maybe. Gotta say, I'm surprised, though. I never knew Akane-san was the type to have a maid. Oh, <laughs> I wouldn't call myself a maid, per se. I just do her shopping and help around the house. I'm studying abroad here, so it helps me pay tuition. Cool. Oh, yeah, I didn't catch your name. I'm Ichiban Kasuga, uh, if you didn't hear me yelling it before. <laughs> I'm Chitose. Chitose-san, good to meet you. So, when's Akane-san supposed to be back? Oh, not for a while, actually. She told me she'd be here tomorrow. You know, you could always spend the night. 
We have a guest room ready and everything. Sure, if it's not too much hassle. So, tomorrow's the day. <sighs> Maybe I'm not ready for this after all. <laughs> I know what'll help calm those nerves. Oh, uh, thanks. <sighs> Seriously, pineapple wine? <laughs> the God's gift to man! One of Hawaii's many specialties. <laughs> I'm glad you're taking a shine to it. Oh, heck yeah! The drinks are fine, the food's divine. Hawaii's like heaven on earth! Yeah? Then maybe you'll appreciate this. <sighs> Hawaii's pretty famous for its rum, made with sugar grown right on the island. This one's the best of the best. Ooh, and I have to gear myself up here. I take it you're a pretty big drinker if you can handle stuff like this. Not as big as you from what I can see. Speaking of big, those arms. <laughs> a guy's gotta be built, don't you think? <laughs> you think so? Hey, uh... Chitose-san, think you might be a little close? <laughs> Am I? Well, yeah. A sweet girl like you, alone with a scruffy old goat like me. There are guys who might get the wrong signal. What if that's the signal I had in mind, though? You're one of the nice ones, Kasuga-san. I feel like I can trust you already. Wow, you really are swole, aren't you? Do you box? Uh, no. I do throw punches every now and then, but... Uh, that's not the point here. Whoa! Okay. <laughs> You're so easy to read, Kasuga-san. Mm, by the way... Yes? <laughs> Did I mention we have the house to ourselves tonight? Uh, listen, Shitose-san, I feel like the luckiest guy in the world just being here. And I appreciate you taking care of me. But I'm sorry. There's somebody else in my life. Huh. A girlfriend? Uh, if only I could call her that. If only she didn't hate my guts. And what's the problem? Besides, what she doesn't know won't hurt her. Yeah, well, it'll still hurt me. Hope you understand. <laughs> you are just the sweetest guy, aren't you? <laughs> Gosh. Uh, look, I'm sorry if I went too far. All I want is for you to be comfortable. And you know what that means? <laughs> A toast to being an honest man! Ah, <laughs> uh, sure. Uh, that's the same rum we've been drinking, right? Hope it doesn't kill me. <laughs> Come on, it's just one little sip. <laughs> man up, Ichiban. <laughs> uh, all right, we're doing this. <laughs> to honesty, then. Oh, wow. This is kicking my ass. Chitose-san, how are you still hanging? Oh. The hell was that? Think I should have eaten more. Sorry, Chitose-san. The glass just slipped. Chitosei, son. Should have done this from the start. <sighs> Sweet dreams, Kasuga san.
control. Oh my god! A streaker! <laughs> what was that all about? A weird lady. What's everyone staring Whoa, at? Oh, serves up, dude. What? Yeah, dude. Hang loose, bro. This is so crazy. Yeah. Is it the tattoo? It's okay, I'm not the Yakuza anymore. After that, you wandered around for about a half an hour before our boys rounded your dangly ass up. And that concludes our story. Look, I was just trying to get back to Akane-san's house. Right. Akane-san. The mother you never met, then you claim some mystery maid took everything you had. Officer, you gotta believe me. Believe you? Do you even understand your situation? You've got no passport, no wallet, not even the clothes on your back. That effectively makes you a John Doe. How do you like your new American name? Point is, no one's gonna believe a single word you say. <sighs> I'll give you one chance to unfuck yourself. You call up that so-called mother of yours and get her to pay your bail. I'll even be so kind as to lend you a phone. <sighs> There's no point. I don't have a way to get in touch with her. Oh, no one's on your side, huh? Well, that's a crying shame. <sighs> now, what do I want to put you down for? Don't want to waste you on something petty. But when was the last big... Hey, what are you mumbling about? Oh, yeah! That one case. It happened a half a year ago on River Street. Some money-waving tourists got mugged. Lost nearly everything on him, including his life. Took him three months just to get off the respirator. All right, what's that got to do with me? Oh, I'm getting to that. See, to this day, we don't have a clue who did it. It's our job to protect the peace. But when a crime like that goes unsolved, that's a problem, right? Well, that's your problem, not mine. <laughs> Buddy, you are slow on the uptake. I'm saying you are that culprit. What? Right now, you don't have a single shred of proof to defend you. So I can turn you into any criminal I want. <laughs> but hey, you'll be doing society a favor. Us cops can recover our image, and the public can sleep better at night. You bastard! Yeah, that's more like it. Go ahead, take a swing. No, no, really, make my day. Because when the courts find out you assaulted a cop, you're grave. Gets that much deeper. <laughs> you really are the perfect criminal. <laughs> now that I think of it, a few other cases ran cold too. Wouldn't be hard to pin those on you either. Let's see. Add it up. You just earned yourself at least 20 years in the slammer. And while you're rotting away, I'll be celebrating with the top brass. Maybe even get that big promotion. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Shit. You know, I grew up in a pretty shitty neighborhood with some pretty shitty people. But I've never met anyone so full of shit in my life. Music to my ears, asshole. Now get up. You'll be cooling in a cell till hell freezes over. That's right. Just keep your head down and your mouth shut. Unless you want a longer sentence. <laughs> Thought so. Hey, officer. What? 
Why'd you want to be a cop in the first place? <laughs> to protect and serve, what else? Any other stupid questions? You're about what I expected. I should tell you, I had a history with the Yakuza way back when. Oh yeah, your back was all inked up. Fitting image for a violent, reckless scumbag. Maybe so. After all, we Yakuza can be reckless. And we do get pretty violent. Oh? Uh, holy! Suck on that! Stop right there! Hey, we got a runner! Stop! Damn! Shit! Would I end up in this mess? My ass is grass if I'm caught. Better get a move on. Breathe! What the hell? We sent a patrol car over already? We got around that fast? You're not getting away! Freeze. Hands up. A fitting end for the hero of Yokohama. I doubt Masumi Arakawa would approve. Long time no see, Kasuga. Whoa. Kiryu-san? Is that you? <laughs> Who else would it be? Well, it's just... You seem a lot different than before. How about now? <sighs> yeah, that's the Kiryu-san I know. But why are you even here? Now's not the time. For starters, let's see that other hand. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, oh, much better. But hey, have you always been this handy? More or less. Let's move. Man, am I glad you're here. Kiryu-san, allow me to give you proper thanks. You made me a fugitive's accomplice. Not sure a simple thanks will cut it. Uh, Kiryu-san, please forgive an idiot like me! <laughs> I'm kidding, Kasuga. I heard you got set up. Doesn't feel good, does it? Uh, not at all. But wait, how'd you even know where to find me? Well, I'm actually here on a job. I came to Hawaii to find someone, so I've been hitting the streets for intel, and that's when I heard about you. I guess I'm lucky your job took you here then. You saved my ass just now. By the way, when you say you're on a job... Guess I should start from the top. You know I'm dead on paper, right? Yeah, I heard it's to protect your family. Ever since I made that choice. There can't be a trace of me anywhere. And to prevent any slip-ups, any move I make is under watch. The Watchers are the Daidoji faction. They keep our economy flowing and our leader's hands clean. At least, on the surface. Sounds like fun people. Well, they requested that I take a certain job. I'm here with an assignment. An urgent one. You are to find and detain the person in the photo. Doesn't look like your average terrorist, at least. Who is this, anyway? I do wish you learned your place by now. Have I ever answered those questions? <sighs> well, figured it was worth a try. We'll ready you a passport by next week. 
under an alias, naturally. And why do I need a passport? Be a vacation, of course. Your target is in Hawaii. Hawaii? <laughs> Piqued your interest, have I? So that's what brought you. Must really be something big to drag you of all people out here. More or less. And right when I was getting down to work, I ran into you. Guess trouble always finds me in the end. I promise I'll make up for it somehow. Okay, then why don't I return the favor? I can help you on your search. You'll be the cool-headed advisor, and I'll, I'll be the hot-blooded muscle. Thanks. But don't you have enough to worry about? You assaulted and evaded an officer. Pretty sure that adds up to a felony. In fact, I imagine they have a warrant out for you as we speak. Though, in the end, I guess you're safer sticking with me. If it's money you need, I can help. But I can't do much about your passport. No worries. I'll get back what's mine. Couldn't forget the little thief if I tried. And on that note, I've got a couple words she needs to hear. You know where this thief of yours might be? I... have no idea. But, I was thinking Akane-san's house might hold some clues. You know, since the thief was working for her. Do you remember how to get there? Uh, uh, yeah, I should. Why? Because I'm gonna need directions. Wow! You're really gonna take me? Man, you really do go the extra mile. You, uh, need a shoulder rub? Do that, and I'll probably crash this thing. Thank you. No. I'm sorry. Make this quick. Right! Let's see you You're try. in it now! Let's see you try! Here we go. Hey there.
Ага. It's me. Welcome back. I see you've brought company. Kasuga, meet the bartender. I know it's pretty desolate in here, but at least it's good for gathering your thoughts. Hmm. Desolate, he says. Uh, I'm Ichiban Kasuga. Kiryu-san here has been all sorts of help to me lately. Hmm. Is that so? Well, the pleasure's all mine, Kasuga. Now that we're all acquainted, how about we have a drink? Sure, it'd be an honor. Kasuga. Yes. Well, that helped take the edge off? Yeah, sure does. Sorry to make you pay for it. I feel like such a dumbass. But man, ain't nothing like drinking up and chowing down in Hawaii. Glad to hear you're enjoying yourself. Oh, yeah, well, it's been a hell of a journey so far. From the moment I came here, I've had nothing but nonstop madness. But you know, seeing you here makes me feel a whole lot better. Getting sucked into local trouble's never easy, is it? That's for sure. Anyway, I'm gonna make it even, for everything you've done for me. Okay, but I won't be holding my breath. Seriously, I'm not talking out of my ass here. For me, getting to help you is a privilege. So whatever I gotta do, just say the word and it's done. All right. <laughs> I can tell you mean it. Thanks for the offer, Kasuka. Hey, any time, Kiryu-san. It really is an honor. Well, here's to our strange reunion. Right on. Cheers! Oh. Oh. You gonna sleep all day? It's getting close to noon. What? Kiryu-san? Why are you here? Hell. Why am I here? For reference, we never left the bar. After you passed down at the counter, I had to lug you up here myself. No, oh, my bad. Strange. I can usually drink way more than that. Guess you're pretty exhausted. A good night's sleep can help. Yeah, I'm feeling 110% now. Good. Then it's time we headed out. Right. To Akane-san's house. I left the car out in front of my hotel. We'll take that to get there. Sounds good. You're up early. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Didn't mean to park my ass upstairs my first time here. Honestly, it's no problem. I used to charge per night, but that was long ago. Nowadays, that room's only good for storage. If you ever need a rough over your head or a place to speak in private, feel free to make yourself at home. Really? Awful kind of you, man. <laughs> you know, I never thought I'd say this, but a friend of his is a friend of mine. So swing on by anytime. Yeah, you bet. See you around. D. Hmm?
Whoa. Are you a customer? Aloha! Aloha! <laughs> Aren't you a friendly one? <laughs> Just doing what I can. Hey! Are you a customer? I don't think we've met before. Oh, yeah! I'm Ichiban Kasuga. Kiryu-san said this place was his favorite, so I wanted to check it out. Kiryu-san? Are you two friends? Oh my god, isn't he the coolest? Kiryu-san, I mean, he's so refined, but also so dark and doleful. The way he sits at the bar mulling over his drink, like the whole world's hanging over him. I know better than to pry about his past, of course. But nothing gets by me neither. I can promise you that. Fact is, I just melt into puddles every time he looks into the distance and goes, Soka. Of course. Don't think I haven't noticed he's got that cute, naive side to him too. Like, like... Oh, sorry. I got kind of carried away there. Don't tell him I said anything, okay? <laughs> Did I introduce myself? Okay. I work here at Revolve. Nice to meet you, Ichiban. Likewise. I just got here, so I got no idea where things are, and I'm kinda all alone. Think you can give me the lowdown? That's so? Then I know the perfect thing for you. You know, Aloha Links yet? What's that? Only the trendiest fucking community app we got here in Hawaii. Everyone's using it now. So it's for, like, people around town? Yeah. It's basically our own little social network. And you can friend people on it just by saying hi. Hawaii's so easygoing. It makes sense something so casual will get popular, you know? All you need to do is walk up to someone and give them an aloha, and the app takes care of the rest. Works like magic. See, I'm not from here originally. For a while, I had trouble fitting in. And I was like, what the hell? Whose ass do I have to kick to meet some motherfuckers around here? But with the app, I made a bunch of friends practically overnight. Now I feel more at home in Hawaii than I did back in Georgia. Oh, no kidding. Well, it definitely sounds interesting. Any chance you can put it on my phone too? Bet your ass I will. Let me install it for you. <laughs> hey, thanks. All right, guess I'll give it a go. What are you guys chatting out here? That mean you're done shopping? Oh, hey there, boss. Perfect timing. Go ahead and give it a whirl on the bartender, Ichiban. Huh? Oh, for real? He uses it too? Oh, yeah. You wouldn't know it looking at him, but he's crazy about it. Try flashing him a greeting real quick. All right. Aloha. <laughs> Aloha. <laughs> the old man's got a pretty open mind for this stuff. I like that about him. Go ahead and take a look at your app now. You should already be friends. Whoa, you're right! This really is cool! 
right? Pretty fun, huh? Check out the profiles of the people you greet. It's a great way to learn more about them. Try doing favors and shopping locally, too. Before long, I bet you'll have friends coming out of your asshole. Right on. Okay, then. Guess I'll cruise around and make some friends. Heck, maybe I'll try going for a hundred. Why not? Ha! That's the spirit, motherfucker! Hey, if you two are finished, get back to work. Yes, sir. Catch you later, guy. Sure. See you around. Oh, Dawn. I completely forgot. Huh? Oh, uh, what's that? My friend request. I mean, we're friends now, too. Aren't we? Bye-bye, Ichiban. Come again if you ever need some big-ass shoulder to lean on. And bring my husband to with you. Yeah, I'm there. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> See you later, friend. I get ya. This is it, Kiryu-san. You're sure this is the place, Kasuga? Yeah, I'm sure. I'd have been pissed drunk, but my memory's sharp as ever. Doors open, Kiryu-san. Hey! Is anybody home? It's just the same as it was that night. Kiryu-san, you find anything? No, I can't say I have. But let me ask you something. What's up? You're sure this is Akane-san's address? The place her mother lives? Uh, it should be. Not that I've actually seen her here, but... How about this, then? Is Akane-san the woman in this photo? What the...? She looks older, but yeah, that's her. But wait, what are you doing with her photo, Kiryu-san? What's going on here? Remember how the Daidoji ordered me to find and detain a certain someone? Akane-san's that someone. What?! You're telling me some government spy rings after my mom? I don't know why, but that seems to be the case. <clears throat> Yamai! What's she doing here? Hmm. Causing trouble, no doubt. You know him? He's pretty infamous in Hawaii. At least in the underworld. Well, seems we've got company. Nice ride. Ah, oh, shame I had to do that. Go. Tomizawa! 
Don't disappoint me this time. I, I, I won't. Guess we're doing this. <laughs> Too bad they don't know who they're dealing with. Ready to bust some heads, Kiryu-san? Not today. Let's slip out through the back. Huh? Uh, Kiryu-san? Around back. Business. Get in, Casca. Don't move. <laughs> you again? Oh, show me Zawa, right? Looks like your mind got you pretty bad. You healing up okay? Just shut up and stay put. All right. If, if I don't take you out right here, it's all over for me. His hand's shaking. I doubt he has a shot at this range. On my signal, you get in the car. Hold that thought. There's something I need to do first. What are you saying? Uh, hey! Kasuga! One more step, and these bullets go right through your brain! My advice? You put that down and get yourself over to a hospital. Actually, we could even take you. Oh yeah? Is that some kind of threat? <sighs> Tell me, did you swear an oath to Yamai? What? Yeah, so what if I did? I say you slap that oath back in his face. Uh. In the Yakuza, your boss calls all the shots, whether it means life or death. That also means he better be worth your blood on his hands. So tell me, is Yamai worth it? I can't just... Look, I don't have a choice here, man! If I back out now, he'll kill me. You don't know him like I do. We can help you. Huh? What? What'd you say? I said, we can help you, and I meant it. We'll make sure your mind never lays a hand on you again. You can count on that. Why? Why, though? After everything I did to you? Do I look like a fucking moron? <laughs> you look like you're about to shit your pants. Believe me, though, I've been there. <laughs> Where all you want to do is scream for help, but you know no one will answer. That's a dark place to be. <laughs> Thing is, sometimes you will get an answer. I learned that from a man who bailed me out when I was just a young punk on the streets. So I figured I ought to pay it forward. And now would be the time. <sighs> Had a boy, Tomizawa. That's more like it. Let's see who we're dealing with. Oh, this fool again. Yeah, this fool. Why the hell are you here? Took the words right out of my mouth. Where's the old lady? I don't gotta tell you shit, man. Oh, you'll wish you had. Tomizawa. Shoot him on the count of three. After that, we can try your buddy over there. Say, I know you. Boss? No, perhaps not. 
Back to business. One. You still have a choice here. Two. Tomizawa! Some choices you can't undo. I would know. So if you're gonna take us out now, get ready to carry that weight for the rest of your life. <laughs> and three. <laughs> Tomizawa. Holy shit! Holy shit! I would shot him! Hey, but you didn't, all right? Now don't worry. We're gonna get you out of this. Ain't that right? Yeah. The man's made a bold step forward. Let's do our part and clear the path ahead. Okay, boys, listen up. I want one man maimed and the other murdered. Doesn't matter which, but save Tomizawa from me. I'll make sure he wishes he was never even born. Show me what you got. Guess I'll teach you some manners. Cool. Are you getting scared? Break yourself! Get lost! Here we go. Yeah, let's go. Time to take out the trash. You're done. Get in! Uh, okay. Kazuma Kiryu. You're alive! The dragon rears his head once more! Originally, Yamai was in the Tojo clan. It's part of the Tabata family. Tabata? How come that's not ringing a bell? They dissolved around when you swore up. And their members all went to other families. Oh, yeah, that happens. The Daidoji faction told me about him before I left Japan. The main reason the family broke up is because Yamai killed Shuji Tabata, his patriarch. It was patricide? No way. Something I'm no stranger to? Well, that's all in the past. Oh, I mean, I, I wasn't trying to accuse you or anything. Don't worry about it. Anyway, from the look of it, the murder was a crime of passion. Huh. Hard to imagine Yamai being passionate about anything. That's what the police said anyway. Apparently Yamai had feelings for Yui Tabata, the patriarch's wife. No wonder that didn't end well. Yeah, and when her husband found out, he got into the fight that ended his life. Yamai then tried to assault Yui, who was present at the scene. After the dust settled, she testified everything he'd done to the police. What happened to him then? He was branded a traitor to the Tojo clan, and everyone went after his head. But by then, he'd up and disappeared. Nobody'd seen him since. Years later, he surfaced over here in Hawaii. While back home, the Tojo clan was crumbling. 
Guy's got a hell of a backstory. By the way, why'd he show up at Akane-san's in the first place? Uh, we were supposed to grab her, or at least you know, turn the house inside out looking for clues. I don't really know any more than that. So one thing we know is Yamai's definitely after her. The hell would the Yakuza want with Akane-san? If I had any idea, I'd tell you. But like you said, the boss is the one calling the shots. All right, before my brain explodes, let me just lay this all out here. I started off by visiting Akane-san at her house, right? Uh, but instead of seeing her, I met a girl named Chitose. I thought she was her maid at the time. At first, I thought she was cool. But that was before she got me drunk, took my clothes, stole my wallet, and tossed me on the beach butt naked. Then, after waking up with sand all over my junk, I got arrested. They were gonna blame me for all these crimes I didn't do, but I escaped. That's when I ran into Kiryu-san. After catching up a bit, we went back to Akane-san's house to find clues on Chitose. But then Yamai showed up, and now we know he's after Akane-san too. Oh, and that's not all! That night, Chitose said Akane-san would be back the next day. But we were just there, and she was nowhere to be found. So for some reason, Akane-san's been in hiding. And since she wasn't home today, she's either still on the run... Or she's already been found. And since it's not by us or Yamai, then is somebody else after her too? I wouldn't be surprised after what we saw. Damn it! What do we do? If Akane-san's being chased around by a bunch of lunatics, we can't let them get to her! Unfortunately, we're a little short on leads right now. Not to mention, the day's grown long. You two can stay at my hotel, and we'll try again tomorrow. Yeah? That'd be okay? Not like you have anywhere else to go, right? Uh, no kidding. Thanks. That worked for you, Tomizawa? I, I'm pretty much dead if I go home now. You might probably got it under watch. Then it's settled. We'll call it from here.
Bye. Hold on. Yes. Whoa, where'd this rain come from? I heard Hawaii gets a lot of sudden showers, but I didn't expect it to be this quick. Here we are. Really is a nice hotel you've got. I don't know how people sleep here, let alone afford it. Sorry, bud. Jeez, careful, man. Damn it. Got my wallet. What the hell? Hey! You can't just go around stealing shit! Ugh. Get your ass back here! Kasuga, he probably knows the area better than us. Only way to do this is to split up and corner him. Little Japan's still under construction, so let's drive him south toward the beach. Okay, south toward the beach it is. Kiryu-san, Tomizawa, you guys ready to do this? Yeah. yeah.
Stop! Uh oh. Oh, oh. End of the line. Oh, shit! Sure, he didn't pocket anything, Kiryu-san. Yeah, thanks. I don't recognize you. Did you come from the mainland, or? Yeah, not here. A guy like me won't die of exposure. Hey, there's work here too. At least that's what I heard. Kasuga, why don't you let him go? You sure? Last thing I want to do right now is drag him to the station. I'd rather just get to bed. <laughs> so the legend's as kind as he is strong. You hear that, buddy? Beat it. And don't do it again. <laughs> Will this happen a lot in Hawaii? Just another day in paradise, right? Oh, fun fact. Hawaii's got the largest homeless population in America. Yet the cost of living here is absurd. You know, according to rumor, some states even send their homeless over here. Come start your miserable lives over beneath swaying palm trees, sparkling waves in the background. And once they get here, it's too late. What the mainland's really doing is shunting all the problems they can't or won't solve on us. As a result, you get people like our friend just now. So your country treats this place like a dump? That's messed up. Let me put it another way. There are four major currents in the North Pacific Ocean. And Hawaii sits right in the middle. So when it's time to pump the trash out to sea, where do you think it ends up? Oh, you guessed it. The Aloha State again. <sighs> so yeah, pity him all you want. He's just gonna do it again. It's the only way he knows how to survive. What? Akane-san's been missing for ten days? Then where the heck has she been? I don't know. I'm just telling you what the Daidoji told me. Well, that's not at all what Shitose said. That's the mate who set you up, right? Yeah. And based on what she told me, Akane-san was only gone for that day. Not sure why you believe a word she said. And, and was she even Akane-san's maid? Uh, like, you would have to be the dumbest chick in the world to rob your employer's own son. But then, why was she even there? <laughs> Hell if I know, man. Then we need to ask Chitose herself. That's the only way we'll get to the bottom of this. And get back your passport while we're at it. Right. Tomizawa, how would you turn a stolen passport into money? Well, we do have a black market for that sort of thing. Oh yeah? Sure. I mean, people buy up stolen goods all the time. And if it's passports, I know just the guy. Who? His name's Jeff. He runs a taco truck over on Waikiki Street. His tacos? Yeah. Tastes like ass. But that's beside the point. His real customers are pickpockets and homeless. So he buys up stolen passports, and then what? No, no, he must be reselling them somewhere. Mm, then Chitose might have sold his passport to Jeff. He does see a lot of Japanese people. It's how he got to be so fluent in the language. How soon can you take us to meet him? What, you think it like right now? Yeah, we should act before the trail goes cold. Well, I'm afraid that won't work. It's 10 on a Monday night. I wouldn't want to... You know, get caught out there right now. Caught? By who? We take a good look and you'll see. Damn. Who are they? A local mafia. They call themselves the Barracudas. As you can see, they got the run of the place. In terms of manpower, 
Yamai and his goons are just small fry. And what's interesting about them is they don't discriminate when recruiting. Yeah, you know, since mafias tend to stick to one language or ethnicity. Then what brought these guys together in the first place? Well, once upon a time, they were all homeless. Or at least most were. All those years of getting kicked around, ignored, and spat on by society must have triggered something in them. And at some point, they decided to band together. I guess anger runs thicker than blood. Every Monday night is like this. They come out of the woodwork and strut around till dawn. It's like their way of saying, we own this place. <laughs> and it works. Unless you want them turning you into poke, don't mess with them. Huh? They'll do what? Is there no way around? Can we just steer clear and make for Jeff's? No. Not unless you want to risk your life. Uh-oh. We got trouble. Oh, no, dude! Don't do it! Oh, not to them! Yeah, I'll take care of it. Hey! Excuse me. Not so fast, asshole! Uh, beg your pardon. Thought you'd get away with it, huh? What's in your hand? My wallet, right? Take him around with that. See what's up, Eric. See what's up, Eric. Fuck with us. Hey, hey! Are you nuts? Shit! I should have just said nothing! Oh, yeah. Not a world knows a pair of Show that bitch yeah. right! Yeah, that's how you handle things. Hey, come on, bro. Leave his ass. Ah, oh, shit. Hey, hey. Hey! You still with us? Hold it. What's up? You guys don't want to see this. Trust me. Uh, 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 what? Is he okay or not? Uh, hey! <sighs> Insane. They just cut him wide open. The last thing we want is to join him. We need to move fast. Hurry! <coughs> Get up, man. We gotta go. You saw it. That was how the Barracuda sent a message. Before, I'd only heard stories. Never thought I'd have to see the real thing. You all right there, man? Hell no, I'm not. We could have gotten killed just now. And no one would even miss us. The cops would just walk away, leave the case unsolved. You saying they let a pack of killers roam free? As they say, let sleeping dogs lie. Same as the Yakuza in Japan, right? Take it from a local. We really need to call it a night. Tough as you two are, even you guys can't take on a whole army. Yeah, all right. Hmm. All right. Got it.
Nah, I'll give you 50 bucks for it. Oh, come on! This is a genuine driver's license. It's gotta be worth at least 70. Brother, 50 bucks, take it or leave it, yeah? I doubt someone else would give you the time of day. Oh, fine, tight ass. Jeff, how's it hanging? <laughs> well, if it isn't Eric Tomizawa, you hit upon a camera? Or did you want some carne asada? No, and hell no. Huh, who have we here? My passport got stolen three days ago. You see it? Ah, <sighs> gee, I don't know. Let me ask my manager. Dude, you really gonna hold out on us? Last time I checked, bro, I wasn't running a charity. Ah, oh, pretty please. I accept all payments in cash. Come back when you actually have business, huh? Well, you heard the bastard. We're gonna need to pay him up front. How much is he gonna want? Eh, somewhere around 30 bucks. Might be able to haggle it down, though. Ugh, still pretty steep. Guess I'll need to come up with some cash. Well, whatever. If that's what it takes to find Chitose, I'll do it. Hmm. Chitose? Hey, you two. Over here. Huh? I happen to over here. You looking for a woman named Chitose? Uh, yeah. You got any info? I might have an idea of where you could find her. <laughs> Pretty young thing, right? Got her hair and braids like a dancer? Yeah, yeah! That's gotta be her! Where'd you last see her, old-timer? Take this. This is... more sex work? Like an escort service? Well, can't say you're asking the right guy, but my guess is it's for scoring some intimate time, if you catch my drift. See, the other day, while I was dozing off around here, a guy dialed up the number on that flyer. And then, that Jertosik girl showed up. Oh man, she was unforgettable. I just couldn't take my eyes off her. From what I heard, she's that company's top talent. Sounds like we have us a lead. Let's give him a ring. And, and hey, good looking out. But I gotta ask, why bother helping a couple of strangers? <laughs> Always happy to assist my fellow Japanese. Not to mention, Jeff's a douche. Makes me sick to watch him profit off of what he does. Well, guess what? You're a lifesaver, man. Thanks. Eh, don't mention it. If you do find her, Buy me a drink next time you pass by. Got it. Heck, I'll even take you bar hopping. Okay, you ready? Do it. Yes, hello. You've reached Gary's love camp. Hi. Uh, hello. I, I saw your flyer and decided to call, and I'm... I'd like to invite a, a woman over. Huh? Congratulations! You're our hundredth customer. To celebrate, your service today is on the house. Luck is in your favor, my friend. Oh, for real? Thanks! Now then, could you please provide your name and current location? The name's Casca. I'm, uh, next to Chef's Taco Truck. Oh, that's quite a sketchy spot. I completely understand your concern. Huh? I, I wouldn't say I'm concerned, exactly. Okay, well in that case, I'll send you one of our up-and-comers. Still wet behind the ears, but get the job done. Oh, wait, hold on. Actually, I was wondering if I could request Chitose, if possible. You want to request Chitose? Uh, just a moment, please. Hmm. Today really is your lucky day. As our rising star, Chitosi's usually all booked up, but she does have an opening right now. Oh, what a relief. If you could, please send her on over. 
Of course! She'll be there lickety-split. Thank you for your business. Did it work? Yep, Chitose's on her way. She'll be here lickety-split, the guy said. Good. Strange, though. I thought these businesses only sent someone to your hotel. Not that I'd know. Come to think of it, yeah. Maybe it's more like a dating service. Like where you meet up somewhere and go to the hotel later. Or that's a thing these days. <laughs> you sure know your stuff. You, uh, do this pretty often? Oh, not at all. It, it's just, I was raised in a soap land, so uh, this kind of deal's second nature to me. No kidding. You learn something new every day. Yeah, it's nothing special. Oh, sorry to keep you waiting! Oh, looks like she's here. Huh? Where? Are you Mr. Kasuga? Uh, yeah, I, I'm Kasuga. Nice to meet you. I'm Chitose. <laughs> Can't believe we found you so quickly. What a flawless plan. Nice going, Kasuga. What? what? <clears throat> hmm? That's not her at all! What? We've got the wrong one? Yeah, this chick's completely different. What the hell, old man? Huh? Don't blame me. Isn't this what you're looking for? Her name's Titose. It's similar too. I mean, yeah, the hair's the same, and, and that name sure is a coincidence. But uh, our Titose isn't so... Uh, chiseled. What? Am I not good enough for you? Talk about rude. No, look, it, it's not like that. We're plenty good. Uh, Chitose-san? Hey. You shitheads making a racket! That's it. Time to shut you people up! We can figure this out later, Kasuga. Let's take care of these guys first. Uh, right. Hey, Chitose-san. Things are about to get rough, so stay behind us. Why? I ain't afraid of little boy over here. And besides, isn't this what you called me over for? Huh? I I'm not sure I understand. You requested me, Chitose Buster Homes from Poundmates. Poundmates is a unique service that deploys fabulous fighters to help combat your pugilistic problems. Sorry, what? Hey, nobody fucking annoys me and lives to speak about it. You bitches are dead! Let's do this, Kasuga. Hell yeah! You're really pissing me off. Okay, you asked for it. Here's the one! Hey! You've reached found me! Oh, oh yeah, yes, thank you! Delivery! Special delivery! Been looking forward to this one! Let's see you try! It's Go to hell! Here we Let's go! Let's see you try! <laughs> Bro, who the hell are these dudes? And that chick, she's a monster. So, gonna run like a chicken? Or do we still got beef? What's it gonna be? Ah! Oh, please, please don't hurt me. And that does it for your free trial. Next time I'll have to charge, but I hope to see you again soon. Uh, sure. Alrighty, toodles. What was that all about? Well, that was pound mates. Whenever you're in a pinch, press pound to order some backup. You really do know your stuff. You do this often, too? I may have gone through a phase. <laughs> Good old pound mates. Never would have guessed they'd expand all the way into Hawaii. Talk about going global. Now, she wasn't the Chitose I expected. But she was a damn cool Chitose in the end. 
What? Hi. Yes. Totally. in Hawaii. I mean, Ijincho had a bunch, but there feels like more here. Chickens, too. And the birds' behavior seems subtly different. If you eat outside, before long, they all start closing what? in on you. Kiryu-san, you ever have a meal stolen by a pigeon? No. I've been surrounded by 20 ones, but I held my ground. Though, it was a 10 standoff. Wow. Even pigeons respect Kiryu's glare. Around here, you said? This place has delivery jobs? It should, anyway. And hang out for a while. They'll show up. I, I, I'm gonna take off. Uh, good luck to you. That's it? Figured you were staying. I don't know why you thought that. I am a taxi driver, not some pedal pushing bike boy. Take it sleazy. A job, bro? Huh? Uh, uh, yeah. All right, all right. Hmm. Wild fro, unique face. Getting a real wholesome moron vibe from you. Crazy, I dig it. You got a problem? Who the hell are you anyway? Me? I'm from the company you applied to. Crazy Eats. Food so fast, you'll think you've gone crazy. Call me Charlie. You're from... Seriously? Um, uh, sorry. My name's Ichiban Kasuga. I'm flat broke, so I need any work you've got. I beg you. Nice, nice. I like a guy who just lays it all out like that. You might just have what it takes to be crazy. Okay, you're in, Ichibro. Welcome aboard. Huh? 
Uh, hell yeah! Just like that? Sure, we've got the goods. More importantly, we're short staff. We'll hire anybody these days. Dogs, monkeys, bugs, shit, you name it. I, I uh, okay. Well, uh, thank you. Yep, now, enough chit chat. Let's get you low. Sure, so, um, what's the job like? I only know it's some kind of food delivery. Yeah, that's right. We pick the food up and bike it on over to customers. The real money is in tips, by which I mean the only money you keep is from tips. More deliveries, more dinero. All right, deliver the food. The faster I go, the more I make. You know, when I was really hard up, I used to bike around for empty cans. I got this. <laughs> That's wild, man. I should tell you, though, there's one other way to earn moolah on this gig. Something that'll boost my pay? Hell yeah, I'm all ears. Well, I'm talking about delivering crazy. What does that mean? I mean, we're crazy eats, aren't we? A crazy delivery is what we strive to embody. Crazy is captivating. Crazy is captivating? For example, consider how I made my entrance just now. Jumping, spinning around, screaming. It's captivating stuff, wouldn't you say? Seeing our delivery associates act fun and funky is exactly what Crazy Eats is all about. The extra service we provide. We want to make the people of Hawaii laugh and smile with our outside-of-the-box way of doing things. That's how Crazy Eats disrupts the entire delivery industry. Look where we are. People come here for a reprieve from the dull and ordinary. Do you really think food delivery in paradise should be the same as it is everywhere else? It's a nice idea, but writing like that? Wouldn't all of it just spill? That's where your skill as a contracted deliverist comes in. Ride as fantastically as you can without making a mess of the food and go fast. Somewhere in all that chaos lies the brilliance of a true crazy profession. And listen, even if the food does take a spill, we got insurance for it. Customers will hopefully be understanding. Of course, we don't insure the deliverer, so look after yourself. Anyway. Sound good to you? You in? Sure, I'm in. Okay. That's more than enough onboarding. Learn by doing, I say. How's about you give it a go right now? Are you ready? Let's get crazy! Good delivery! Anytime! Good delivery! Thanks again! This is crazy! <gasps> That's it! Ooh, that's the last of it. Excellente! Ichi, bro, that was sick! You almost never see someone disrupt so hard on their first go. My man. Crazy deliveries might just be what you were born to do. <laughs> Thanks. It was tough, but once I got into a groove, pretty fun. Oh, <laughs> isn't it? The rush of speed, the danger of failing, the insanity of your presentation. Oh, it's like ecstasy. You can't get that feeling from just riding a bike. You need the pressure of delivering. For most people, it's too much. Adrenaline demons like you, bro, you're gonna master it and get rich! Work hard and become the craziest delivery associate we've ever had. Oh, hey, let me give you this. Something to commemorate your first run. Thanks. Glad to be working with you, Charlie. Ditto, bro. This is your calling. I know it. Remember, ABC, always be crazy. Totally.
Mm. Shred waves on the pavement with a street surfer. Would you like to take a spin? Right now, membership is totally free. Hey, excuse me. We're currently having a promotion for the street surfer. Membership is absolutely free. Are you interested? In a street surfer? No way in hell I'm setting foot on that death trap. But wait, it's not defective anymore. Just give it another chance. Uh, nobody understands. Beauty that is my street surfer. Well, what's a street surfer? <clears throat> Ah, good sir. How about a cruise on a new and improved street surfer? We're currently doing free trials, and membership is free too. It's a world-class deal. How about it? Um, I'm gonna need some more information. What exactly is a street surfer anyway? You've never heard of it. Strange. It was blowing up all over the place before. Okay. Yep. Then. Let's not get hung up on the details. I'm Oka, inventor of the Street Surfer. Patent pending. Uh, all right. I'm Ichiban Kasuga. Kasuga-san, good to meet you. And thanks for being willing to hear me out. Well then, <clears throat> the Street Surfer is an all-electric, eco-friendly light vehicle. Two decades of painstaking R&D in the making. Oh, uh, so you ride this thing? Looks a bit funky to me. Oh, contraire. This baby here is gonna revolutionize the industry. Forget about e-boards and e-bikes. For starters, there's no kicking or pedaling involved. Just chillax and enjoy the ride. Believe me, it's the most user-friendly mobility tech out there. The only effort you need is to hop on and go. Huh, well, that does sound handy. But if it's so great, why was everyone avoiding you just now? Oh, well, the truth is, I made a teensy little blunder during development, and, uh... And? <laughs> you see, remember when I said my invention blew up? News about it spread across the entire island. Uh, sure. I may not use the internet much, but I know all too well when something blows up on it. That's what happened, right? Uh, no. I mean, yes, I did get raked over the coals online, but you see, it blew up in more ways than one. Meaning? Well, there were a few kinks and hiccups to be ironed out with the street surfer back then, and uh, the thing had the tendency to uh, explode. So the damn thing blew up for real? I nearly died of humiliation. Uh, but I assure you, that's all in the past. After some deep soul searching, I decided to fix all the bugs and do the test runs myself. That's 500 million instances of trial and error right there. I nearly lost my life pouring blood, sweat, and tears into this invention on numerous occasions. But it was all worth it, because now this thing runs like a champ. It's the safest, most innovative vehicle to hit the market. However, my past failures haunt me to this day. I can't shake all the bad press, so no one will give it a chance but I have absolute confidence in the latest model. If I could just get people to give it a shot, I'm sure things would take off from there. I get it. Sounds like you're in a tough spot. Well, if those battle scars are any evidence, it shows you're at least passionate about your product. So, what do you say? You take a leap of faith? You're the first person to hear me out in ages. I'm sure you won't regret giving it a try. You, you sure that thing's not gonna blow sky high? I swear it! <clears throat> These lacerations are proof of progress! Gotcha. And challenge accepted. Let's give it a whirl. Alright! Thank you so much! Now please, when you change your mind, right on! Sure beats running around. Catch. I must say, you're a natural. So, what do you think? Well, it's a lot cooler than I expected. It's almost easier than walking. And that's saying something. Music to my ears, good sir. 
You don't know how much I've been yearning to hear those words. Oh, what have we here? That street surfer wannabe's at it again. What a dumbass! Not only is that shit lame, it's a ticking time bomb! Sorry, can I help you? Or perhaps clear something up? While there were some development issues in the past, I can assure you, the Street Surfer's current incarnation is as safe as it gets. What? You calling me a liar? Just for that, I'm gonna junk this thing! No, stop! You're hurting it! <laughs> All right, and who we got here? A satisfied customer. See, I just had a blast on the Street Surfer. Might even sign up as a bona fide member. So why not treat it with a little more respect? Or, you know, at least have the stones to try it out. Are really talking to me about respect? Okay then, how about I jump you first? Don't get too cocky. All right, let's go. Cool. Something wrong? Open wide! Get lost! <laughs> Allow me. Legs <laughs> are like jelly. Alright. You're in Here I come. You're in the <laughs> Kasuga-san, are you all right? Oh, you really went out of your way. I'm so sorry. Ah, don't worry about it. Guys like that bug me anyhow. More important, is the surfer still intact? They kicked the living crap out of it, but it'll survive. Alas, better safe than sorry. It's back to the lab with this one. If all the damage caused another malfunction, that'd be the end for sure. Right, good point. Hey, so, um, uh, earlier, you mentioned considering a Street Surfer membership. You still on board? Yeah, I've honestly taken a liking to it. And it's free right now anyway, right? <laughs> Plus, you seem to be in need of people, so... Oh, wow, that's so great to hear! In fact, it's a dream come true! So when I register, I'll be able to ride these anytime I want? Yes. Except in places where recreational vehicles are banned, you can basically ride them wherever, whenever. However, they run on electricity, so after using it for a while, you'll need to charge it up. This you can do at one of my specially branded charging stations, an Oka Charger, located sporadically throughout Hawaii. Now, street surfers do cost money to recharge, but the more you charge at once, the more bang you get for your buck. You can also modify the appearance and functionality of your surfer at a charging station, so please tinker to your heart's content. Got it. Hawaii is pretty big, so I was kind of worrying about transportation. Oh, this will be a huge help. I'm so glad to hear that. In the meantime, I'll be working hard to expand my services for your convenience. Well then, guess I'll leave you to it. For sure. Take care. Yeah, you too, Kasuga-san. Yes? It seems that kicking the device triggers combustion. Uh, but not to worry. I will fix this. Somehow. You. I've got your money. Is this enough to get you to talk? Hmm, I suppose. What should I be talking about again? My passport got stolen three days ago. I want to know if someone brought it by. Hmm, someone sure did. Really? She was Japanese, and not to mention gorgeous. No doubt that passport was yours. <laughs> I couldn't forget that thuggish face or blown up hair if I tried. Okay, so she sold it to you? 
Oh, no. She wasn't here to make money. She just wanted to know if it would get her into District 5. District 5? Uh, that's the Barracuda's hideout. Their hideout? You mean the guys from yesterday? Yeah, they got a squatter encampment across the river. It's all fenced in, with guards posted up at every corner. And if you're not one of them, huh, no good luck getting in. Or out. Okay, and how's my passport supposed to get someone in? Well, they have an interesting rule. If you're an outsider, they tell you to go steal a passport. Why is that exactly? That's how they make their money, fabricating passports. Apparently, the only way to make a good fake is by altering an original. Every passport I buy, I sell to them. Though not directly, of course. So someone else's passport is your ticket to District 5, huh? Pretty much. <laughs> and the girl who came by with yours, that ticket's probably long gone. Though, a girl like her should not be anywhere near District 5 by herself. Oh wait, I tried to tell her, but no. Nobody listens to Jeff. Then what would make her even want to go in there? Beats me. But I doubt you'll see your passport again, brother. Once it's in District 5, it does not leave. Well, I need it back. And I've got business with the thief who took it. Yeah, well, you can kiss your thief goodbye, too. Unless you follow her into District 5 somehow, your adventure ends here, pal. Well, you heard him. I'd rather live to see tomorrow, so... Listen, Akane-san's mixed up in some real bad stuff. Someone might even be holding her captive. And right now, Chitose's our only lead. Hmm. Can we get into District 5 another way? <laughs> I mean, maybe. But you're better off just swiping a passport. Hey, if there's another way, just tell us. Look, bottom line. District 5 is an impenetrable fortress of bubbles. But, if you're a cop, you could probably get in. A cop? Yeah, <laughs> they do a monthly sweep there, claiming it's for safety reasons. But they just walk in and out, ignoring all the atrocities inside. They're just doing it to keep up appearances. All they care about is that, and donuts. Anyway, if you want to know the guy in charge, his name is Roman. He's probably in deep with the Barracudas. So we'll ask Roman to bring us along on patrol. That could be an option. Man, I never want to see a cop again. True, you're still a wanted man. Maybe leave the talking to me. Hmm, guys, you gotta realize. Roman's gonna flag this as a risk. And he's a greedier jerk-off than me. Expect to pay him 50,000 bucks. Uh, a buck's like a hundred yen, right? That'd be... Five million in yen? Please don't bring him yen. And besides, there's no way you can afford it. Is it clear you're wasting your time yet? No, I'd say this is our chance. What? <laughs> you have a mattress full of money lying around? No, everything is negotiable, that's all. Huh. Well, I don't know who you think you are, but what's the harm in trying? He drinks every night at Diamond Head, a bar by District 5. We Akamai now? Sure. Hey, are we really doing this? Hey, guys, could you hold up a second? Why? Something wrong? You really shouldn't go to District 5. I'm saying this for your own good. Waltzing right into Barracuda Turf? It's practically suicide. We're aware of the danger, but we don't have time on our side. If going into District 5 is the quickest way to solve things, then so be it. Right. And it's not like we're out to wreck the place. We're just gonna look for Chitose and get out. Yeah, if things play out right, we might not have to deal with the Barracudas at all. See? It's exactly that kind of thinking that's gonna get us all killed! <clears throat> Maybe you're right. Maybe they're more dangerous than we realize because we're not from here. But what's this really all about? Something tells me you've got more to say. You have 
history with the Barracudas? Is that it? You know, you can always tell us. What makes you think we wouldn't help? He's right. And until you talk, he'll hound you to the ends of the earth. You know how persistent he is. You really gotta put it like that? <sighs> so, this is far from a fun story. And not a short one either. It all happened a few years back. I was just a simple taxi driver. No Yamai, no cons, nothing like that. So you really were an honest cabbie, once? Yeah, well, I also wasn't rich, but I, I was happy. I had a woman to love, and man, did she love me. I believe we almost had a kid, and look it back. Those were the best days of my life. Huh, never knew you had a family. And my girl, her name was Marie. She was astounding. And you guys would have loved her. Anyway, she was nearly six months pregnant when it happened. And the cops showed up at our place with a warrant for my arrest. They came to arrest you? For what? They said I held up a cab and stole a bunch of money from some executive. What the hell? I was being framed, obviously. But the witnesses kept pouring in. And before I knew it, the judge gave me five years in prison. And the attorney had told me if I tried pleading innocent, they'd lock me for 15 years instead. So you pled guilty then? Yeah. It was... Either I swallow the five years, or take the risk and triple it. And I was too broke to hire a better lawyer. It was like a nightmare I couldn't wake up from. I had my whole life ahead of me, and then in an instant, it was gone. <sighs> I never even understood why. That is, till I got to prison. Turns out I wasn't the only one screwed over like this. They told me so themselves. You mean, the guys in prison? Yeah. Apparently, the Barracudas get away with so much shit because their boss will set up innocent people instead. They'll bring in a bunch of fake witnesses or buy out the police if he has to. You remember Roman, that cop Jeff mentioned? He's the guy pulling the strings on the law side. <sighs> Seems not a lot's changed since then. So the Barracudas have the police in their pocket. Uh, how'd Marie take it? When I got locked up, she only came to see me once. She told me she miscarried. No. And she was under so much stress. Should have seen it coming. I doubt she was eating right or getting any sleep. Her eyes were sunken. She was thin as a bone. All because this bullshit that happened to me. And that was the last I saw of her. When I got out, I couldn't find a single trace of her. Honestly, I just hope that she's out there doing okay. I told you this wasn't gonna be fun. And that's only half the story. Once I was free, I started hanging by this fancy restaurant in District 5. Why? Because word inside was that it was the favorite haunt of the Barracuda's boss. So I spent every last cent I had to my name bought a gun. Shit. For revenge? For Marie. For a child who never had a chance at life. I knew what the boss looked like. I'm not sure anymore how long it took, but I kept watching until the day he showed his face. When I was locked up, I always imagined it going the exact same way. I rushed past his goons, stepped right up to him, and Empty my whole clip, point blank. And the moment came. I was shaken. Couldn't move. <sighs> he even had fewer guards than I'd pictured. Should have been easy. Bastard walked right past me. He didn't have a care in the world. I'm a fucking coward. Maybe. But that's why you're alive today. If you'd gone through with it. 
you would have been killed. Just another gutted corpse. At least I'd have been killed for a reason! What am I now? A ghost? Robs tourists with a gun he hasn't got the courage to shoot? Isn't it better to die for something than to live for nothing? Tomisawa. With all my money gone, I fell in with Yamai. Pay my debts. He's the only man left in Hawaii still stupid enough to compete with the Barracudas. What's that say about me? Huh? I'm even stupider for following him. Or maybe I was hoping he'd be able to take them down someday. But I knew it'd never happen. So that's my story. Hope you realize now who you're dealing with. Not just the Barracudas. With scum like me. Well, you sure set us straight about how bad the Barracudas can get. Yeah. Their ties with the police are worrying. But listen, you've got yourself all wrong, Tomizawa. Huh? You're not a bad guy. And you're no coward. I saw you walk away from Yamai. That took real courage. He might have killed you, but you knew it was the right thing to do. Come on, man. You talked me into it. That doesn't matter. You made the decision. It was your call. Nobody else's. Now, no more robbing people, okay? Can we agree on that? <laughs> yeah. Huh. After all you've been through, I get that this may be a fight you want to walk away from. But if you really think you're scum, that you're just another criminal, this might be the only way to change that. A way to start living again. <sighs> Look, killing the boss of the Barracudas or not, that's another call you'll have to make yourself. All I know is that I'm not gonna stand by and let them keep getting away with their shit. And if you're up for it, I know you'll be able to help us take them down. <laughs> you want me? <laughs> if you haven't noticed, our English is pretty rough. We could use a translator. Besides that, we need to find Akane-san fast. That means going to District 5. And I don't know anybody as well acquainted with the Hawaiian underworld as you. Help us out, and maybe get the chance to set things right. Not a bad deal, is it? What do you think, Kiryu-san? Hmm. Maybe dangerous. But it could also be your one path to redemption. <laughs> you two are some lousy salesmen, honestly. If you're still planning to take the Barracudas on after all you've heard, we are. And fine. I'll go with you. Do gooders like you? The Barracudas will eat you alive without me. Yeah. <laughs> eat you alive. I get it. <laughs> Glad to have you on board, Tomizawa. You're both nuts. Fine. First things first. We find Roman. You have a good eye for teammates. <laughs> It's not hard to tell when someone needs a friend. Let's do this. Well, at least the crowd's friendly. Gonna guess you're Roman? And I'm gonna guess you're new in town. Welcome to Hawaii, pal. Seems you're quick to make friends. The taco guy told me all about you. Uh. Yeah, he said there's some real snaky people trying to join the Barracudas. <laughs> Good old Jeff. Always looking out for his fellow citizens. This guy's already pissing me off. Do all American cops love to hear themselves talk? Jeff, you dirty, stinking asshole. I'll tell you right now. We're not interested in joining a gang. All we want is to get into District 5 and get out. We heard you could make that happen. Oh, you did? Well, I do lead a regular patrol there, but come on. Do I look like the type to go around making backroom deals? And you? You're that John Doe who bolted out of the station. I don't think you're in any position to be asking me favors, especially concerning District 5. Tell me something, Roman. You a family man? And why should you care? I just thought a bright, honest cop like yourself might have a family winning at home. I envy that, you know? Well, I do have a bombshell of a wife. 
But my son, there's my pride and joy. Kid's turning 20 this year. How <laughs> time flies. It's funny, he keeps asking me for a sports car. What he wants is 50 grand. Can you believe it? I mean, I'm just a glorified beat cop. You know how little they pay me? If only there was someone out there, some kind soul who could grant my son's wish. Oh, but surely there's no one that generous. <laughs> Did he really just ask for 50 grand? <laughs> Maybe Jeff's not such an asshole after all. What's it gonna be? Feeling generous today? The way I see it, you boys don't have much of a choice. I'm sure you noticed, but me and my guys run the show here. One wrong move might land you a trip to the coroner's office. <laughs> Whatever happened to protect and serve, huh? <laughs> Roman. If all you're after is money, You'll have to try someone else. Now, I suggest you take us to District 5 before things get out of hand. <laughs> what did you just say? Also, we'll need his record cleared of any and all false charges. You're hardly the first cop I've seen point a gun. But the ones I know only do it to save a life, to uphold the values they believe in. Stay back. Maybe I have no right to say this, but seeing scum like you hold a badge, it makes me sick. I said stay back! Well, that was reckless. All I'm doing is talking, and yet you pop one off. Don't just stand there. Tomizawa. Ready for action? Huh. Never been more ready. No need to go soft, boys. I want to see these fuckers in a coma! You gonna cry? Mommy. The battle is on! Yeah! Here's the one! Hey! You freak found me! Oh, yeah, yes, thank you. Delivery! Thanks so much for waiting. Been looking forward to this one. Huh? Oh. Oh. Hey, there you go. I'll take you on. Break yourself! Oh. How about another? Why'd you do that? Uh, do what? You nearly got your head blown off just now! Oh! <laughs> True that. Close one, huh? <laughs> More than close, dumbass! How the hell can you just throw your life away? The hell? <sighs> no brainer, man. I'd take a bullet for a bud any day. Huh? Oh, uh, which reminds me, how's the hair? Ah, oh, shit, don't tell me. Kiri-san, I don't have a bald patch, do I? 
And I think the bullet ripped a chunk out. Does it look bad? Hmm. Can't say I see any difference. The tips are a bit burnt. But... Your hair looks like it's seen more bullets than one. What? Because it's standing up on end? Look, pal, I'll have you know this is a custom job, okay? Special order, top of the line cut. I paid money for They're this. on another level. Let me get this straight. Not only are you a Barracuda pawn, you've been using your position to frame people? I asked you a question. Yeah, that's right. And Tomizawa and Kasuga here are two of your latest victims? <sighs> yeah, what of it? Goddamn son of a bitch! Tomizawa, save that anger for the Barracudas. You'd only be wasting it on him. Uh, fuck! Listen up. You're gonna wipe every last charge your boys gave me. Right now? I can't even take a step on this beautiful island without looking over my shoulder. And that pisses me off. All right. Fine. Thank you, officer. Don't forget. We also need access to District 5. You don't know what you're asking. It's not some asinine tourist trap. Believe me, we're not here to play around. We're looking for a girl who's in there. I'll level with you. I can get you in, simple enough. But if the Barracudas found out, there'd be hell to pay. <laughs> you saying they're a bigger threat than I am? Think about that carefully. Okay, okay, let's just be cool here, yeah? Meet me tomorrow in front of District 5. Be there at noon, on the dot. That's more like it. In Hawaii, public indecency's a thousand dollar fine, right? Here. Sorry I won't buy you a sports car. <sighs> Here you son. I don't have the words right now, man. Finally, I can walk around free. Looks like you're off the hook for now. Maybe thank Tomizawa sometime. Hmm. All right. I think I could uh, sleep for a week. Uh, oh. I hear you. <sighs> Me, I could sleep for double that. Oh. How are you still on your feet, Kiryu-san? Uh. I guess you're just built different, huh? I wouldn't say that. I'm barely holding up myself. <laughs> you know what? After today, I think we all could use a drink to lift our spirits. There is ice in the freezer. As for glasses, you can find some in the bar. Oh, yeah! <laughs> I'll just grab a couple of these. <sighs> Thanks. <sighs> you really held your own today, Tomizawa. <laughs> I've been around the block, man. And one morning, I'm rolling with you by. Next day, sharing a roof with you two. And soon, we'll be deep in District 5. It's crazy how life switches it up on you. Sorry to drag you into all this. It's a lot. You didn't drag me into nothing. Yeah, I figure this is just part of getting my life together. For real, though, you guys really did save my life. Maybe even my damn soul. And damned or not, I'm not just gonna bail on you. Not after what you did. So, 
sorry for the inconvenience, but you're stuck with me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll drink to that. Though, you sure you're okay with what happened? Cutting ties with Yumai and all? <sighs> Remember what you said at the house? I had a choice, and I made it. Only reason I joined his little syndicate in the first place is because I couldn't pay back what I owed him. And then before I knew it, I was 30, with nothing to show for it. Age doesn't mean squat. It's never too late to turn a new leaf, no matter how heavy it is. You, you think so? Totally. Just look at me, man. I was locked up for 18 years, and when I got out, I was in my 40s. And ever since then, it's been... Uh, how should I put it? <laughs> it's been one wild ride. So chin up, Tommy. I'm sure you'll be just fine. Did you just call me Tommy? Yeah, Tommy. As in Tommy's hour. Dude, that's lame as hell. I mean, you could just call me Eric. What? Uh, Tommy's perfect for you. Kiryu-san, back me up. <laughs> Can't say much for the nickname thing, but you're right about turning a new leaf. As long as you stick to it, you'll find yourself in a better place. Uh, oh, sorry. I, I should have poured you in first. <laughs> uh, you good with it on the rocks? No, thanks. I like to feel the heat. <laughs> Anyhow, just be aware that everything has to end sometime. You can always turn a new leaf, but you can't turn back the clock. All you get is the precious time you're given. That's why you've got to live every last moment to the fullest. I figured I knew that well enough already. But to my surprise, I still had a lot left to learn. Uh, Kiryu-san? Did something happen? Yeah. If anyone deserves to know, it's the guys who have my back. Thing is, I've got cancer. <gasps> Seems I've got half a year left, at most. Too long ago, I was working in a temporary waste storage facility for decommissioned reactors. The forklift driver had a sudden heart attack. One accident led to another. You got a death wish? Forget the rest and get out ASAP! The drums weren't filled with much. Contaminated dirt, worn out components, protective suits. As far as radioactive waste goes, it was low risk. Low enough for no immediate harm, as far as experts were concerned. In light of that, there is no certainty it was the cause. The cancer could have come from just about anywhere.
Hold up. What were you doing in a friggin' reactor? This is nuts. This is how I chose to make amends. Leaving my old life behind meant living in the shadows for good. Every time I stepped into the light, the people I loved got hurt. It had to stop. Trouble is, there's not a lot you can do in the dark. Not a lot of good, anyway. So, this was your answer to all that? Yeah. This was something I chose. Hardest part was convincing the Daidoji to let me do it. And this is much bigger than me. Right now, that reactor's full of people willing to step up and do the work that needs to be done. All I wanted was to play a part however I could. Otherwise, I probably would have wasted away into nothing by now. That's about the smartest thing I could think of. You know, being educated on the streets and all. Uh, you sure there's not some mistake? All you've got is half a year? Yeah. The last thing I wanted was to make a big deal out of it. But then I figured it wouldn't be right if I kept this from you guys. Yeah. I don't know. You seem like you're in good shape to me. <laughs> well, I can still haul ass when need be. <clears throat> that said, I need to pick my battles wisely for my health. Uh, so, is that why back at Akane's, you weren't exactly spoiling for a fight with Yamai? Yeah. <laughs> Though, I am a bit hurt. <laughs> you really think I'd pick a random fight that easy? This shit's unreal. you son Of all people... Man! You don't have time to be out here wrecking yourself like this! What you need right now is a doctor! Believe me, I've gone. Apparently the cancer spread. Metastasized, they called it. Nothing any surgery can fix. They gave me some pills to ease things, but that's it. Still, if you're sick, then you need to be getting your rest. You said it's the Daidoji faction calling the shots here? Well, I've got some words for them. Kasuga. No, I'll make this right! Kasuga, it's not like that. <sighs> my being here and everything. That was my decision from the start. If it helps, I'm not just following orders. And don't feel like you dragged me into this either. But then, why? I just don't think retirement's in the cards for me. Sure, maybe I could stop and settle down. But I'd rather put what time I've got left to work. Work? Doing what? Running around on the government's leash? Instead of that, how about you stop running away from reality? <sighs> Think I'm gonna hit the shower. <laughs> when I'm out, we'll rock, paper, scissors. See who gets the floor. Is he for real? Hey, Kaska. You okay? Yeah. I know the guy's basically a superhero or whatever, but that's just crazy. I mean, he's got cancer. Once he's out of the shower, let's try to convince him to go to the hospital again. There's a pretty big one here in town. No, it's useless. No one be enough to stop him now. Huh? Kiryu-san, 
He had the same look in his eyes as Arakawa-san. See you tomorrow, Ichi. I see now. They're the same. He had already made up his mind, too. What, 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 what do you mean? Who did? Uh, actually, it's kind of hard to explain. Anyhow, if that's how Kiryu-san wants it, then there's only one thing we can do. We get this taken care of quick as possible, then get him to a hospital. Sound good? What? Man, I just don't get you guys. Think about it. If you up and die, it's all over. <sighs> All right, let's get moving. What? Are you still upset? No, I'm not upset. Still, it did catch me off guard. I just didn't want you guys to worry. Sorry. Guess I only made you more concerned. Well, I mean, how could we not be? But cure you, son. Hmm? Seriously. Thanks for telling us. If I didn't know and something happened to you, I would have never been able to forgive myself. To be honest, I'd rather drop everything and take you to the hospital straight away. That said, I know how stubborn you are. So, for my sake, do you think you can rely on us a little more? Rely on you? I'm not about to treat you like you're on your deathbed, but we're here too, you know? So, share the load. We got your back. This way, you won't push yourself too hard, and we'll stay happy. Right? Right. Hmm, I see. All right. Yeah, I'll try to do that. For what it's worth, your help means a lot. Both of you. <laughs> Just doing what we can. Yeah? Definitely. Happy to help. Right, enough chit-chat. Where to? Good question. We still have a bit of time before our meeting. There's no telling what we'll be up against. Make sure you're ready for anything. Tomizawa, is there a good place to go shopping around here? Hmm. How about the Anaconda Shopping Center? Close to District 5, and they got pretty much everything. Cool. We'll stock up there first. Hey. What's up? I see. Thanks. Yeah. Hmm. 
Hmm. This is the garage the bartender told us about, huh? Hey, what do you want? Huh? Where'd that voice come from? Yeah, I'm over here. Huh? Whoa! Customers, what seems to be wrong with the vehicle? Oh, uh, actually, I'm here about my baseball bat. Well, there's your problem. That's not a car. Yeah, I realize that, uh, but... Wait, hold on! Revolve's bartender sent us. He said there's a one-of-a-kind mechanic here. Hmm... Ugh, why didn't you say that up front? I wasted a whole song and dance on you. Oh, so... Am I in the right place? If the bartender sent you, yes. We can offer a selection of non-vehicular maintenance services. Name's Julie. Amichi Bon Kasuga. Nice to meet you. Uh, so, shall I take a look at this bat? Please. Wow! Guy your age still walks around with a skullcracker like this? That's old school. In a cringy kind of way. Thanks. You can help, then? I'm used to modding guns, swords. <laughs> A bad is child's play by comparison. <sighs> oh well, let's get on with it. What were you thinking? Show me. What if I tried... Ha! Huh! Shut up! I'm thinking. A little more... This is even better. Good. Holy... It's barely the same bat anymore. I got bored halfway through fixing it up, so I made some improvements. Better leverage here. It'll be a much deadlier instrument now. So, satisfied? Yeah, I'm satisfied. It's so much easier to handle. I feel stronger somehow just from holding it. You're a miracle worker. No wonder the barkeep said you're the best he knows. Well, that was nothing special. Certainly nothing he couldn't do. What'd you say? Nothing. You heard nothing. Hey, Missy. I'm helping someone else right now, but the exit door is free to assist you. Don't test me, honey. I'm not going anywhere till I get some service. As I've already told you, we only work on vehicles here. Come back when you need an oil change. Enough bullshit! Everybody knows this is a weapon shop. Quit screwing with me! Even if this were the place you think it is, I reserve the right to refuse service to whomever I so choose. Leave. Fucking crap. This how you want to play it? <gasps> now give me some goddamn service, girl! Hey, you need to calm down. Hell, who are you? Just a customer. She's replacing my alternator. Settle down, and I'm sure she'll be with you soon, yeah? You fucking tourist. <laughs> you got no idea where you are, do you? All right. How about I shoot you? Then I won't be cutting the line. Well, damn. That does sound reasonable. Let's try it. <laughs> You're a dead man. Someone's a dead wish. Show me what you got. Here we go. This shop's off limits to you from now on. Got it? <clears throat> Got it. Sorry, you won't see me again. You okay? <sighs> Happens sometimes. Work gets around. The kind of men who look for trouble are good at finding it. Still, I can usually turn them away without much difficulty. Appreciate you taking the bullet from me, though. So to speak. Oh, yeah, sure. I guess with skills like yours, a lot of guys would be interested in coming here. Mm-hmm. But, my rule is, only people the bartender gives the okay to. Huh. You and the bartender go back long? No, not very long, but... Well, a lot's happened. I'm renting the space from him, actually. He's technically in charge. Is that right? He owns more than Revolve Bar, then, huh? 
Anyway, if it isn't clear, I'd like to keep our weapons work under wraps. I expect your discretion. Well, I suppose if the bartender trusts you, I should too. <laughs> we good, old man? Yeah, of course. All right if I come around again? Sure, you were useful today. I'll help you out. Only thing is, next time I'll have to charge, and you'll need to supply your own materials. If that's fine by you, come again anytime. Oh, one more thing. Over in the Anaconda Center, there's a colleague of mine. I'll let them know you're allowed there too. Got it, thanks a lot. Looking forward to seeing you again, Julie Chan. Julie... Chan? Oh, sorry, of course it's habit. Does that sound strange? No, no, I get it, it's a Japanese thing. I've just never heard that applied to me. I'm kind of flattered, honestly. Yeah, well, just let me know if it's weird. No, don't worry, it's fine. Cool, Julie Chan it is then. <laughs> You're a funny guy, I'm surprised. Mm. Yeah. Yo, Kasuga, aloha. Don't aloha me. What are you doing here? Didn't I tell you? Hawaii hosts a notorious Sujiman tournament. It's a professional obligation that I attend. Make no mistake, that's the only reason I'm here. This is no vacation, my boy. This is entirely in the interest of... Uh, Suji science. So, what's the tournament like? In cases such as these, seeing might prove necessary to believing. Follow me. Okay. Ah, hello there. How can I help you? Who's that Sujiman? Understood. Please take the elevator. Sujiman Stadium. I can hardly believe it. Home of the Suji League, where rival Sujiman trainers come to compete. The guests put money down on who'll win. Really, it's not all that dissimilar from underground gambling in Japan. Honolulu has strict gambling laws. It's ironic. Those restrictions only drive certain kinds to create such remarkable facilities as this. Hawaii has more to it than meets the eye, huh? Of course. The matches are broadcast worldwide on the dark web. The wealthy can watch and gamble at their leisure. Look! There's a match going on right now. What a fight! The challenger Masato is struggling against the mighty Discreet Four's Jack! He's down to his last mon! Oh no! Come on, hang in there, buddy! <laughs> Is that really it? Finish it. Kill him if you want. <laughs> no, buddy! That all you got? Give up yet? <laughs> no. <laughs> I quit. It's over! Like the rest of the foursome, Jack's team of Sujimon remains untouchable! Oh, this really is the Suji League. Jeez. 
Battles are fought with teams of three non, led by their Sujimon trainer. Victory goes to the trainer who Sujimon defeat their opponents. A three-on-three -three Sujimon clash is considered the classic Sujimon battle. Hence, the Suji League uses these to determine their greatest trainer. Trainers, of course, are the brave adventurers who catch Sujimon, develop their skills, and create a cohesive team. Finally, the trainer commands them in battle and leads them to victory. That one we saw, Jack, is among the League's highest-ranked trainers and a member of the fearsome Discreet Four. And sitting atop that hedonistic foursome, the ultimate Sujimon master, King. King, huh? Look at him. Oh, no time for that now. The match is starting. Good luck. Thanks. Wait, huh? Good luck doing what? Now we present a rookie match. In the silver corner, a man so saddled with debt He's resorted to Sujimon battles to stay afloat! Koichi Idano! And his opponent in the gold corner, the former Yakuza Kum Taurus who never stays down, Ichibon Kasuga! Uh, me? What the hell's going on, Sensei? I'll admit I've always been the type to beg forgiveness then ask permission. I'll explain later. You just need to win! Wait, win? But this is a Sujimon battle, right? Sensei, I haven't got any Sujimon. Worry not, my boy. I've called in some old friends. Here they come now. Hello, Sensei. Oh, hello to you, chum. Hi there. Name's Yasuo Sodachi, at your service. And from the Sodachi Dojo, me, his student Karaki. And I'm his most positive and energetic student, Yokawa. Who the hell are these guys? Yasuo Sodachi-san and his students. Sodachi-san was my closest confidant when I was champion, and a Sujimon in his own right. Back in those days, I ran a gym, but it sorta... went bust. Thankfully, the Sujimon sensei came to my rescue. And now that he's offered to cut me another check, I'm here to help him out once more. Sodachi-san was a master of his dojo. He excels at training and strategy. A beginner could ask for no better ally. So, you're Ichiban's Kasuga. Nice to meet you. Ichiban Kasuga. Oh, shit. Must have been a bad connection. Anyway, have no fear. Even a Suji League novice is in good hands with me. <clears throat> I hate to interrupt, but Kasuga team, everyone's waiting. Your opponents don't look so tough. Just give Sodachi-san and his boys some guidance and trust them. You can win! Seriously? Jeez. You better not give me any crap if I lose. And without further ado, this Sujimon League rookie match is on! Let's give it everything we got! Do it up! All right, boys, charge! Whoa! I'm so glad we won! Come on, guys! Gather around! Say cheese! The winner is... The Kasuga Team! Oh, we did it! Sweet, sweet victory! Whew! How the hell did we do that? <laughs> well done, my boy. I knew you had what it takes. Knew it in my bones. Hmm. Couldn't be. Wait, that guy. That's Professor Morikasa, isn't it? Ah. Oh shit, it's really him. The former champion. I thought the Suji League expelled him, didn't they? But he's back now? Or isn't he? How intriguing. The Sujimon League's prodigal champion, Morikasa, has returned! Bugger all. Time to go, Kasuga. Uh, okay, okay. Hmm. 
Morikasa-san. <sighs> that got out of hand, Kasuka. I'm sorry. No shit! What the hell was all that? I need some details here, Sensei. Right, I owe you that. The truth is, I'm the former Suji League champion. Oh, <laughs> it was a different time. The gambling wasn't so rampant. Back then, the League was a true test of skill. That was the Suji League that I loved. I was proud to be its champion. But since the Suji League committee was established, gambling's devoured the soul of the competition. The Suji League committee? Did you see those folks in the weird pervert masks? That's them. They run the bets and skim off the top of every battle. Gradually, they started fixing matches to accommodate their wealthiest clients. As soon as I heard, I rallied against them. But they were too powerful. They exiled me from the League and claimed total authority. I can't believe all this. Truthfully, my plan from the start has been to restore the League. Make it the place of honor and glory it was before. I loved it once, my Suji League. I can't stand seeing it corrupted like this. So then, what's the plan? There's only one option. Be the very best, become Suji League Master, and win the championship! The champion's influence can be immense. If one wins the favor of the crowd, they could oust the committee itself. But you said they exiled you before. That's why I need to battle in your place? That's right! Please, Kasuka, will you do this for me? Why does it have to be me? What about Sadachi-san here? He's got way more experience than me. Sadachi-san's not a bad trainer, but he's never been popular with the fans. I mean, doesn't he just have that dull-witted creator-wrestler look about him? Is that really how people see me? Kasuga, though, you have a knack for Sujiman and charisma to boot. Putting together a team is what you excel at. I don't know. The committee possesses terrifying wealth, you know. They've ruined the lives of countless poor Sujiman, all swallowed up by the system. And I am the Sujiman Sensei. As I told you before, I seek world peace. Not only for normal folk, however, for my Sujimon brethren as well. I want to break the cycle of mistreatment and exploitation of my kind. I'm asking a lot, I know, but you're the only one who can help. Hmm. All right. When you put it like that, I can't just walk away. Kasuga, you're really in? Uh, frankly, I don't understand all the details here, but... I know you're not a bad person, Sensei. If you say this matters to you, I'll help. Asuka, words fail me. <laughs> hey, hey, come on, old man. It's all right. <laughs> but I'm just so happy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So, for the most part, I get how the Suji League works, but I'll still need more Sujimon, right? Hmm, you'll want three starters and three for the bench. That's at least six in total. So Dachi san and his pupils are three, so I've got to double my stock, basically. How am I supposed to do that? <laughs> That's easy. Just smack them around until they give in. Kick them, punch them. Violence takes care of everything. What? It really has to be that rough? Well, his explanation is somewhat crude, but not entirely wrong. Sujiman classically obey those who assert dominance. This will be easier to learn by doing. Oh, it seems there's a raid happening nearby. A raid? 
It's a gathering spot for strong Sujimon, where they battle one another to establish a native pecking order. Kasuka, go over there and flex. D why? Look, raid dwellers respect strength. They naturally defer to the most gallant among them. If you don't want to flex, find some other way to display your vim and vigor, and then win their hearts. Just start by introducing yourself, all right? Oh, and take some of these. What are these? Suji gifts. I model them after traditional year-end presents. Didn't your parents give you any as a child? Wait. Right. I'm sorry. Anyway, get to it, Sujimon Master Kasuga! I'll give it a shot. Here's a little something from me. Are you serious? Are you trying to pay me off? Guess you're the boss now. All right, I caught a Suji bond, uh, or or something like that. <laughs> well done, Kasuga. That's the way. From now on, if a Sujimon hangs around after defeat, try recruiting them to your team. Just remember that not all Sujimon will join you. Consult this list here to see who's eligible. Take a look at it now. I think I get it. But don't I also have to help them get stronger? A simple way to improve your Sujimon is to shove some Sujimunch down their gullets. However, it's better to raise them up in battle. If you spot rival trainers in the city, try taking them on. As you defeat other trainers, your ranking in the league will increase. At a high enough rank, you can even challenge the fearsome discreet four. The current champion, King, sits at the very top of that peak. You'll have to dispatch the rest first. It's gonna take long, you think? Nah, with me by your side, it'll be a cakewalk. Let's go grind, knock out the four, and then we'll all take a trip to Suji Land. <laughs> there, there's not really a Suji Land, right? So don't you say. One more thing. Let me install the Suji League app on your phone. You should find it quite useful. All right. Guess I'll give it a shot. Thank you, Kasuga. This is it. You must travel across the land, searching far and wide. Catch Sujimon, become a man. I'll wait here inside. Uh, are those lyrics? It, it's uh, something I've been working on. Uh, forget it. Go catch those mons, Kasuga. Sorry. Yeah. Hey, you made it. Finally feel like doing your job for once? Piss off. So you can really get us into District 5? Call me out all you want. Either way, it's time. 
no more of this standing around. Let's go. Besides, he's our only lead right now. You got me there. Well, after you, Roman. Shit. You sure it's cool if we're here? Here's a question. The hell you want with District 5 anyway? My passport got stolen. Guess the thief used it as a bargaining chip to get inside. Huh. <laughs> well, you're wasting your time, then. Once something's in the Barracuda's hands, getting it back is practically suicide. I'm actually after the person who stole it. I'm gonna catch him and ask a few questions. Oh, that right? Hey, what's the holdup? Get this thing open already. Who the fuck are they? Uh, just some Japanese tourists with more money than sense. So they want to see a different side of Hawaii. Hmm. <laughs> Come on. Not like you've got anything to hide in there, right? Open the gate. Get your asses ready for a special guided tour. Let's hope this tour's a round trip situation, yeah? Don't lag behind. Unless you want to end up as a casualty. <laughs> uh... This area was slated for redevelopment, but it got delayed due to a dispute over who owns the land. Still, no matter what country you're in, once something's abandoned, a home must come knocking. This place became a shanty town in the blink of an eye. It's close to a lot of tourist attractions, so the government's almost always trying to clear it out. But with people coming in from all over the world, their little game of cat and mouse just keeps on going. Then the Barracudas rolled in, and, well, you can see how that turned out. Yeah, Hawaii's the last place I'd expect something like this. You would think, but a lot of these people come here on a one-way trip. They give their passports to the Barracudas in exchange for a stable place to live. If they give up their passports, then how do they get back home? They don't go back home. District 5's got everything they could ever want. Shops, a hospital, cafeteria. The Barracudas have set up their own laws and infrastructure here. From the government's point of view, it's more convenient for the homeless to be under Barracuda control than to let them roam the streets. Yeah, but doesn't it cost money to use the shops and all? Where are these people getting the money? Ah, uh, they have their ways. So, you got any leads on your passport thief? Yeah, she's a 20-something Japanese woman. Her name's Chitose, kind of hard-headed. <laughs> yeah, sure. That ought to narrow it down. Hey. Did you see a Japanese woman come through here? Goes by Chitose? Japanese? I actually might know something about that. What do you got? A few days ago, some guys got into a scuffle over in West Block. Apparently a woman showed up out of the blue. Not every day you see a little Asian cutie like her in a dump like District 5. Anyway, she was all by herself with nowhere to stay didn't have a mind to bring a tent. As you can guess, a fight broke out real quick over who got dibs in that one. Huh. Who'd the gal end up staying with? Don't know. Wasn't there to see the mayhem. Best bet is to ask around West Block. <laughs> it just had to be West Block. Huh? What's West Block? A sector all the way at the ass end of District 5. A lot of bums like to drink and gamble there. Real rough crowd on a good day. You really think so? Is she gonna be okay? Actually, it's a smart move on her part. Pal up to the strongest guy on that end, and it's easy living from there on. Of course, nothing comes for free. 
even in a rat hole like this. <laughs> and you seriously call yourself a cop? <sighs> anyway, West Block's waiting. Let's go. Hey. Still good to go. Sup? Yeah. Uh-huh. Thank you. Not quite. Sup? Stop. Hi. Uh, Kiryu-san. I get ya.
Thanks. Who the hell are you? You Japanese? You're Jose, right? We're looking for a woman named Shitose. You know her? You got a thing for my girl? You just say his girl? Look, I I'm not here to mess with whatever you got going on. I just want to ask her something. So, can I see her? Buzz off. I decide who she sees, and I say no. Come on, man, this is important. The girl stole my passport. I just want it back. I see. You're from the outside and came to steal her back, that it? No wonder I didn't recognize you. Well, you better think twice, pal. No way I'm letting that sweet little thing go. Man, what part of I just want my passport do you not get? Open your ears. I just want to ask her something and go. We're done here. Hey, boys! Get rid of these clowns. Hey, hang on. We got the police with us. Hey, Roman, do something, will you? <laughs> like I'd throw myself between a gang of homeless goons and some no-name foreigners. I only serve the American public. Friendo. I am an American, you ass! Gosh, you full of shit! Yeah, well, you brought this on yourselves. But hey, best of luck. If you pull through, we'll keep on with the tour. Here you, son. How are you holding up? <sighs> Aside from wishing I'd kept my mouth shut? Might help to stop asking how I'm doing every five seconds. Hey, can you blame me? Don't worry about me. Let's just end this quick. Right. Oh, cool. I can do this. I can do this. Now, have at him. You're really pissing me off. Okay, you asked for it. Looks like I'm up. Allow me. Yeah. All right, Jose son. <sighs> if you're really in love with Chitose, you gotta choose your words carefully. Understand? Huh? For starters? Don't ever call her your girl, not even by accident. You don't want to mess up like I did, right? Uh, sure. So, where's Chitose? Uh, well, you see, she, well, she ran off. She ran off? It was that first night. She was offering me drinks. 
got a little carried away and sipped one too many. I've heard that story before. Hey, she drugged me, okay? And wait, if that happened on the first night, then... All right, look, I didn't bang her or nothing. You happy? She was gone before I knew it. Uh, yeah, you still went around bragging like she was your property. What an asshole. Anyway, then what? She was asking me about the Barracudas and how she could meet them and whatnot. So I told her how to get to the underside. Wait, you told some girl who just wandered in how to get into the underside? More like I let it slip out, yeah? Oh, idiot. Well, hold up. What's the underside? Sorry, boys. The tour's over. Just, just forget about the girl. Oh, man. Wouldn't that be nice? Heh. <laughs> but we come too far. What the hell's the underside? Hey, cut down, you moron. Look, let's just call it here. You stick your neck out any further, and the axe is gonna fall real fast. We can't do that. I'm taking back what's rightfully mine, and she's got some answers to give. We don't have much time. If Chitos is in this underside, then show us how to get there. Sorry, but you don't get a say in this. <laughs> Fine. But promise me one thing. From here on, no more funny business, you hear me? You move when I say so, and keep your mouths shut. That depends on what kind of place we're going. Now, show us the way. Shit. Okay. Follow me. Hey, Roman. The way you talk about the underside. Is it really that bad? Oh, uh, what? The scowl on my face didn't clue you in enough? Come on, let's just try to get along. You know, I'd be a lot more agreeable if you just gave up. That'd be easier, sure. But this isn't a game for us. Is that right? Then at least shut up. We're going down. Party of four. The boss give you the okay? Don't give me that shit. You want me to take you out of here in cuffs? This is it. The gateway to a damn near parallel universe. Sewer, huh? Thought <laughs> you said parallel universe. Just stick close, smartass. Roman. What the hell do you want? Nothing. Just a bit of sightseeing. And who are they? Sightseers. What else? Okay, hold on. You even run this by the boss? Hey, do me a solid, won't you? I promise. We'll behave. <laughs> Behavior only gets you so far. The Anaconda Shopping Center? I see. So this is the underside of District 5. It used to be an air raid shelter, built after you boys bombed our asses at Pearl Harbor. But it went untouched, and now it's just another relic of the war. 
Fast forward a half century to when the Barracudas came across it. Remodeled it in no time flat. <laughs> Why'd they want to recreate a big famous mall underground now? And who the heck are all these customers? Who's doing their shopping down here? Take a closer look. A fashion show? Whew. Designer brand, too. She's all decked out. Uh, is she? Oh, you serious, dude? The code itself is easily worth 10 grand. And them? What are they doing? Bidding. The stuff she's wearing is the merch, and the audience surrounding her is the buyers. The, but, but then, why would anyone come down here just to shop? Uh, hang on a sec. Is all this stuff stolen? <laughs> I'd say stolen's putting it lightly. Everything you see here, no matter how real it looks, is a District 5 original, made in-house. There are knockoffs? Oh, they're more than just your average knockoffs. These are perfect replicas, down to the very last stitch. Patterns on the fabric included. Crazy bastards smuggle it out of the actual factories. How? I have no idea. That is crazy. One could almost say they do designer brands better than the designers. And that's what makes this the greatest counterfeit market on Earth. As well as the biggest. The world's biggest counterfeit market. And the buyers? They're aware of that? Of course. And not only that, but they're legitimate employees. They're the actual buyers for the department stores you know and love. They come in from the mainland, Japan, heck, all over the world. You mean everything they buy here goes up on the shelves? Yeah, the buyers pass them off as the real thing and sell it straight to the stores themselves. And the difference in price goes directly into their pockets. A single trip could net them hundreds of thousands of dollars. No matter how good of a buyer you are, I'm sure it's hard to resist the appeal. Meanwhile, the customers don't have a clue. They throw money left and right without even batting an eye. The best part is, they don't even care if it's real or not. For most of these people, all that matters is that they bought an expensive brand from a famous department store. The act itself is what keeps them going. Uh, wait. Uh, here's a question. How'd all these people even get down here? You telling me they trudge through the sewers dressed like that? <laughs> They have their own special way in. Can't tell you more than that, though. Is everything in that window a counterfeit, too? Yep. They've got a factory pumping this stuff out 24-7. I see. And they're putting the homeless up top to work. Bingo. The pay outright sucks, but it's enough to make it by in District 5. Well, it's wild. I'll give you that. Still, where the heck's Chitose? I don't see her here. Well, let's dig a little deeper. So this is where they cook up all the counterfeits. Looks like no one's home. I thought it's supposed to be running 24-7. Yeah, it's supposed to be. Oh, Roman! Hey, who you got there with you? Oh, these guys? <laughs> they're, they're, they're no one. Anyway, what happened here? You shut the whole place down? Yeah, didn't want to stain the merchandise. Stain it? <laughs> oh, come on, man. You don't think that I would come <laughs> Really thought you could bring in outsiders to the core of our operation, Vendeo? I take it you're no ordinary tourists. 
Now start talking. Or would you rather spill your guts for real? All right. We're looking for a girl named Chitose. You ever heard of her? Kill him. I'm gonna put you in your plate! Show me what you got. Bye. Here we go. Time to put you down. I'll take you on. Okay. I think that's all of them. All right. No turning back now. Got to keep moving. Yeah. Glad to have you with us. How big is this place? Sheesh. Oh, beats me. Oh, curious son. Hey, you okay? Yeah. Shoot, we got company! We'll hide in there. Where'd they go? They're gone! They've gotta be in here! Find them! Like that at all. What now, though? We've been winging it so far. We need a plan. <sighs> yeah, we do. Believe me, you're not the only one. <gasps> it's been a minute, Kasuka san. How's Hawaii treating you? Chitose san! <gasps> Chitose? You mean this is her? This is the girl that tricked you and stole your shit? More importantly, she's the only person who has a connection to Akane-san. I didn't expect her to come to us herself. These two are new to me. Friends of yours, Kasuka-san? I'm Chitose. Nice to meet you. Oh yeah, pleasure's all mine. So what are you even doing here? The surface is one thing, but this is something else. Well, I've got my reasons. But if you want the quick version, the Barracudas are after me. The Barracudas want you? The heck did you do? If I had to guess, it's because I know too much. About their counterfeiting gig? Huh? No, Akane-san. They're after her too, you know. Wait, they're what? Kasuga, don't you remember what Yamai said? Right. He was also looking for Akane-san. Man, what the hell? What, is every lowlife on the island in on this? Jitose-chan, do you think you could tell us more? Got it. Hmm. 
Hello. Uh huh. Right. Probably should go through things in order. I was at Akane-san's four days a week. She hired me to do housework. But about ten days ago... Actually, it's been twelve days. She up and disappeared without warning. Twelve days ago. Were there any signs you could see it coming? Nope. That day I went to her house like always, but the door was locked and nobody was home. I thought she just stepped out to run an errand or something, but the next day and the day after, she was still gone. Did you call the police at all? No. You see, exchange students in Hawaii aren't exactly allowed to have part-time jobs. If I'd reported it, they might have figured out I was working here illegally. Meaning, when I went to the house, Akane-san was already long gone. So, wait, what were you still doing there? Akane-san never gave me my last paycheck. And it was a whole month's worth, too. I went in to get it for myself. Akane-san told me where she kept the money, and also how she had a spare key under the doormat. Sure enough, that was when you showed up. If that was the case, why didn't you just tell me what happened? Right, like you would have believed me with all that? <sighs> yeah, good point. If you reported me to the police, I'd have been screwed. That's trespassing and robbery. All things considered, I had to get you out of there. And that's why you got me wasted off my ass and dumped me on the beach? Eh, more or less. Okay, but was stripping me down really necessary? Thanks to you, my naked ass got jumped by the police! That was the plan. You'd be so caught up in trying to protect yourself, you wouldn't even have time to chase me down. Guess that's one way to do it. Anyway, what are you doing here in District 5? Well... Oh, what? Don't clam up now! You guys gotta promise. Not a word of this to anyone else, okay? You want us to promise? You got any idea what we've been through? All right, we promise. Hey, uh, Kazuga! Sure, she might have set me up, but it's got nothing to do with the fact that she's got a secret to keep. Right now, our priority is to find out what's going on, yeah? <sighs> That's how you see it. I guess an outsider like me ought to hush up. Hey, you're anything but. Thanks, Tomizawa. All right, we promise to keep quiet. Can you tell us why you came? <sighs> okay. But remember, you don't tell anyone, got it? Got it. Don't sweat. The boss would always compliment me on how well I could keep a secret. Huh? Sure, whatever. The reason I came to District 5... It has to do with my family. Your family? Back in Japan? Do you know the name Fujinomiya at all? Uh, can't say I do. Hang on. The Fujinomiyas are major players in Japan's economy. <sighs> Figures one of you would know. If only everyone were more like Kasuga-san. Things wouldn't be so tough. <laughs> Sorry to hear that. So... So, I'm the eldest daughter of the Fujinomiya family. And, as it turns out, I'm the top candidate for their successor. Wait, so like, you're some super sheltered rich girl? Well, if you want to put a label on it. But yeah, basically. Sure, coming from a famous family has its perks. But in reality, they're all just a bunch of lunatics who will do whatever it takes to keep up the family name. That's a prestige thing, huh? That's not too different from the Yakuza. If you ratted me out to the police, and my family found out about my part-time job... Just thinking about it, I... It's terrifying. Of course, I knew District 5 was dangerous coming in. But I heard that once you're inside can essentially disappear. Even the police can't get their hands on you. 
That's why after I got you zonged, I immediately skipped over here. Word around town was that you needed a passport to get in. Oh, so the reason you took all my stuff was partly to get at my passport. Yep, that's right. Yeah, I get it. It makes sense, but man, that's one reckless stunt you pulled. I was desperate, and it's not like I don't feel bad, you know? One thing I don't get. Your family's totally loaded, right? Why would anyone bother to go through all that trouble for a month's pay at a part-time job? Your folks can just wire you however much you want, right? Here's the thought. Why do you think rich people actually get rich? No clue, actually. It's because they're stingy. Okay. Well, it's pretty clear why you set up Kasuga. Next, let's hear about why the Barracudas are out to get you. I'm sure there's a story there. Okay, so apparently it's rare for someone like me to turn up around here. Soon as I entered District 5, they took me straight to the guy in charge. Wait, wait. You mean the Barracuda's boss? Yeah. And after we talked, he seemed to take a liking to me. Oh, yeah. Well, you don't look too unhappy about it. What then? Well, then, the boss decided to keep me at his hideout. And by keep, you mean... Look, I'm sure you can piece it together for yourself. Anything was better than having my family find out. At least, that's what I told myself. But it was kind of a bust. He never even made a move. I mean, maybe he's just been stressed out or something. <laughs> the hell do I say to that? They gave me a room and everything, but I was bored out of my mind in there. They told me not to leave the room, but I snuck out and explored a bit anyway. Next thing you know, I find this in the boss's study. That's... Akane-san! There's all kinds of info about her on here. Dress, phone number, height, facial features... Ew, hey, wait a, wait a second. Yamai had this too! Right. He's after her, same as these guys. What's it all mean? Why are all these gangsters chasing after Akane-san? I don't know. But it's worth noting I found this in the trash. That probably means he doesn't need this anymore, right? More than that, couldn't it mean the Barracudas actually got to her? Ugh. With that in mind, I thought there might be a chance they were holding her somewhere nearby. That's why I started snooping around all their factories and stuff. But a bunch of lackeys caught on to me, and now I've been branded some kind of traitor. <sighs> Long story short... Talk about reckless. Really, I'm just glad I was able to meet up with you guys. You're on the run too, right? Why not team up? I'll show you the way out of here. And in exchange, you guys will be my bodyguards. Sound good? Whoa, slow down a second, all right, princess? Kasuga, whatever you decide to do, I'm with you. The Barracuda's boss and I got a score to settle. And I say it's time. All the more so. Now that Roman is dead. Cure you, son? It's your call. I'll follow your lead. Okay, Chitose chan. Can you show us the way? But not the way out. I want to see the boss man first. What? Did you hear a word I said? What, you want to take the scenic route for this guy? No. Actually, I'm choosing this for myself. Kane san might be my flesh and blood mom, and I'm not gonna abandon her. Simple as that. And if you're too scared to go back, could you at least point us in the right direction? Are you serious about this? 
Yeah. Truth be told, I'm worried about Akane-san too. If she hadn't hired me, I'd probably be face down in a gutter somewhere. Then... That said, there's no point in rushing to our deaths. If things get dangerous, we bail. Okay? Okay. Counting on you, Chi-chan. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Chi-chan, it's a nickname. <sighs> You've never had a girlfriend, have you? Wait. Don't you know that? <laughs> Never mind. Let's do it, Ichiban. Okay, follow me. Kasuga. Hey, don't sweat it. I told you. I'm doing this one for me. Mind lending a hand? Right. Thanks. Chichan. I'll sue you! Let's do it! Okay. Let's go! Are you getting scared? I'm sure taking your time! Hi. Uh, hey, we're back at the shopping center. What happened to you taking us to the Barracuda's hideout? What do you mean, what happened? See that runway? Keep going past that, and there's an elevator that leads right to it. It's over there? Looks like it's deserted. We've got a clear shot. Ha <laughs> ha! A warm welcome to our impromptu guests! Now let's get this show on the road! First up, we got an all-access look at our newest collection. And it's not just hot, it's to die for! Damn it! You assholes call this a fashion show?! We're not here to turn heads. But I'll be happy to oblige. <laughs> I'll press you!
Get in. So, where does this thing go? You'll see when we get there. Where are we? This is Crystal Aloha. Crystal Aloha? Crystal Aloha Resort Hotel. It's the swankiest hotel in Hawaii. What? <laughs> Crazy, right? This hotel's been top of its class for a hundred years. There's over 500 guest rooms, and the top floor's got views of the whole beach, all the way up to Diamond Head. It's practically the face of Hawaii. Man, what a trip! To think that elevator would lead all the way up here! At first, I couldn't believe it either. You saw the bidders down there, right? The ones who were all dressed up? There you go. This is how they get down there. Oh, so that's how they do it. So does the Barracuda's head honcho live here then? Yeah. He's got the whole top floor rented out as his own personal palace. And that's not even half of it. He keeps all of his top dogs up here too. If they're holding Akane-san captive, this is where we'll find her. This elevator only goes up to here, though. You mean we gotta switch to another elevator? Right. There's a guest elevator just outside. We can take that up. Follow me. It's you! Hey! It's them! The guys who are stirring up shit underground! Seriously? Busted already? Hey, yo! Hey, yo! Man, fuck that! Don't let any of these assholes leave! No getting around them. Let's break through! Let's go! Okay, you asked for it. Okay, I'm up. Let's go! Let's go! Oh, come on! Come Bring on. me already! Something wrong? Feeling good. Oh, hold up. Oh, hold up. There's an elevator just past here. We can take that up to the 15th floor. Okay. We're right behind you, Chichan. Hey, do you really not have any doubts? About what? Everything I'm telling you. Who knows? Maybe I'm following the boss's orders and leading you right into a trap. That ever cross your mind? I told you he was keeping me in his room, remember? I mean, think about it. I ripped you off once already. For all you know, the elevator's packed with a bunch of dudes with machine guns or something. Well, we'll go from there then. I'm sure it'll work out. What? I'm serious. I made the decision to trust you, after all. If that bites me in the ass, so what? <sighs> What's up, Chi-chan? Sorry, I made a wrong turn. Huh? This whole area kind of runs together, so I made a mistake. We need to go this way. Hurry! Uh, right! Hey, this is just a dead end. Don't tell me you're lost. So you think, right? Now get a load of this. 
Wow! The secret passage. Between this and all those lasers underground, the Barracudas must really want to keep people out. You have to if you want to survive in Hawaii's underworld. In we go. Still good to go. Whoa. I get ya. You don't wanna miss this meat! Show me what you got! Damn it. Even standing still wearing me out. Right. We send these assholes packing, then make a run for it. Come out! Don't play. Not bad. Oh, damn it, there's no way. Ready when you Here are. I come! Armed and ready! See you in hell! <coughs> it spilled up the whole room! Move your ass, Kasuka! Keep track! Get it along and you're good as dead! This is the door to the boss's suite. There's a good chance he'll be inside. And he calls the shots, huh? Must be a real scumbag. Let's make sure we're good and ready before we head in. Pretty nice, huh? A perfect view of paradise. What's funny is until last century, this place was nothing but a taro field, far as the eye could see. Agriculture was about the only industry keeping this island afloat. Then the white man came along and saw an opportunity. They crushed the fields, brought in sand by the boatload from sunny California. And what was it all for? Some fancy ass resort built for some fancy ass sons of bitches. That paradise you see, it's all smoke and mirrors from sea to shiny sea. Yeah, what's your point? It ain't obvious. <laughs> I'm saying a fate can hold more value than even the genuine article. Ichiba Kasuka. High time you met the head of the Barracudas. Name's Dwight. Nice to know I've made a name for myself out here. I actually hold quite a bit of respect for the Japanese people. About a hundred years ago, a number of your people immigrated to my country. They helped plow our farmlands and our country prosper. How about that? Nonetheless, I'm surprised you made it this far. That being said, it's not you I'm surprised with now. The real surprise is your spunky little friend. You got guts betraying me like that. Sorry, Ichiban. You know how I told you I escaped after they found me looking through the boss's study? That was a lie. The truth is, I actually got caught. And just in time, Kasuka. It was right as you barged in. So I gave Chitose here a choice. She could die then and there, or she could do me a favor. A favor? Remember what I said? About how I might be leading you guys into danger or a trap or something. That? 
I am... Um, I meant it. What? She did. And it seems our deal fell through. She led you away from my trap. And as a result, you ended up here, face to face, with yours truly. I see. That was at that elevator. All right. She said she made a wrong turn. I may as well ask. Chitose, why a change of heart? <sighs> Kasuga seemed like the better choice. Not much more complicated than that. I mean, have you seen how dumb this guy is? Huh? I've never met someone so sincere in my entire life. I had no way of knowing whether you'd keep me alive, even if I did follow your orders. Kasuga, however, is a different story. I don't think he's even smart enough to cheat someone. Gee, how nice. Really? Tell me this. Do you know what happens to those who betray me? <laughs> who gives? Dios mío. Who would have thought? A Fujinomiya would be such a troublemaker. You must cause your parents a lot of headaches. How did you know? Did you expect me not to? The Barracudas have businesses with people all over the world. We would be remiss not to keep tabs on those in power. Besides, it was obvious from the start. The moment I first saw you, I knew you were just another spoiled brat. I figured I could use you. So I kept you around. <laughs> I could kill Kasika and the others anytime. But I drew you in for one simple reason. Their deaths would have been on you. And few things are so obedient as a guilty conscience. So it goes, I suppose. Don't worry, I won't kill you. No. <laughs> I'll make you my bargaining chip and bleed your family like a stuck pig. <laughs> you bastard! Appreciate the kind words, Chichan. Here you go again, Ichiban. You sure you're not mad? What for? I made the choice to trust you, remember? <sighs> you really are an idiot, you know that? All right, enough chit-chat. Hey, 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 hang on. I still got unfinished business. Dwight, remember the robbery that happened on October 7th, 2012? The target was Connie Tanaka, CEO of a well-known real estate company. On her way to visit a business partner, her car was attacked, and a bag of money was stolen. And what's that to you? I'm the one they took in for it, even though they had next to no evidence. Oh, you were the fall guy. <laughs> you saved me a lot of trouble. So you admit it? You sicked Roman on me. Had him pin your crimes on me. <laughs> hey, who can say? <laughs> Dwight, there's something I want to ask too. You were looking for a woman named Akane, right? Be straight with me. You guys have already found her, haven't you? Only thing I'll do for you is offer you a way out. In fact, it's the quickest way I know. Cut to pieces and stuffed in a body bag. You know what this baby is? A machete. One of the most useful tools there is. It makes short work of the jungle. Not to mention animals. And here in Hawaii, it's perfect for gutting fish. Bring it on! I think it's time I showed you what this blade of mine can do! Ready to bleed?
All right. Let's make this quick. Ready when you are. Feeling better. Open wound here. Gotta hold it together. Brace yourself. Is Akane-san here or not? All right, all right. I'll be straight with you. We were looking for her, but she never showed up. If you don't believe me, feel free to search the whole floor. What do the Barracudas want with her? Honestly, I don't know. You're looking for her and don't even know why? It's not up to us. We got a request to look for her. We're just doing what we were asked. Request? Request from who? I don't know that either. They reached out to us anonymously. Sent it directly to my address. Seriously, info like that doesn't leak easily. And they sent a million dollars down payment. If we succeed, we would have another nine million coming our way. That's ten million. Just to find some woman. <laughs> sure. It was shady, but who would pass on that? Damn it. You don't know anything else? About Akane-san? About who the hell's chasing after her? If I knew any more, I would have told you already. Ain't that something? That's the most real thing you've said all day. I assume that about does it for all your Akane-san business, Kasuga? Yeah. Great. Then I guess it's my turn. You give me a yes or a no. That crime I got locked up for. Was that you? Both the setup and bringing in a fall guy? It was your call? Answer me! Okay, okay! Yes, damn it! All right. So it was you. Do you have any idea how bad you fucked me over? And not just me! <clears throat> wait, wait, stop, stop, wait, wait. Roman might be gone, but I can still wipe your criminal record easy. Just say the word. And I got money. A million. No, 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 ten million dollars. Oh, okay, okay. Hey, hey, that'll give you a clean slate. And then some. You'll be set for life! Like hell I will! You think money's ever gonna bring my kid back? You think money's ever gonna bring you back? Say's name and face. You're gonna get rid of all the intel you have on her. She was never here. You got it? If you can promise me that, you're free to go. Well, it's your call! Uh, okay, okay, it's a deal. Uh, I'll get rid of everything, and I won't tell anyone either. Uh, I swear it, I, I swear! All right. Just know, if you ever go back on your word, I'll put this thing right between your eyes. Oh, yeah. And this lovely little number here goes viral. That's my promise. <sighs> Well, I think that about wraps things up. Let's roll. You good now, Tomizawa? Honestly, I'd love to see him fry. But that it means sinking to his level. Plus, it's not like taking him out, it spelled the end of the Barracudas. 
We don't know who might leak info about Chitose, right? Better to leave him alive. Keep everyone else in line. But why do this for me? <sighs> because, believe it or not, you saved my life too. <laughs> I may not get why, but you still betrayed Dwight and led us right to him on top of it. We wouldn't be here without you. So, how about we call it even? Between you and Ichiban, I had enough debt as it was. I figured I'd strike one off the list. <laughs> when the hell did you get so cool, Tomi? <laughs> I've always been cool, smartass. <laughs> <laughs> cool how we ended up here after going through a dump like District 5. How can you be so chill? We nearly got chopped up by the Barracuda's boss with next to nothing to show for it. Only one who got any business done was me. Yeah, but ain't that worth it? A win for you is a win for the team. Speaking of... Our team just grew by one. Hello, everyone. Yeah, you got a funny definition of teamwork. Oh, is that how it's gonna be? I helped you in the end, didn't I? Yeah, and because of that, we're still breathing. You did us a solid there. My pleasure. It's nice to meet someone so open-minded. I'd say Tomi here has his work cut out for him. Damn it, Ichiban. You'll pal around with just about anyone, won't you? She did risk her life to save ours, even if it didn't start out that way. Besides, we want to find Akane-san. We'll need all the help we can get. Sounds like you're in my corner, then. Sure you won't ditch me the moment you find her? <laughs> I should hope not. Personally, I don't mind a loose cannon, as long as they're on my side. I suppose I should take that as a compliment. Ah, fine. I guess if anyone's guilty of anything, it's me. <laughs> I even held a gun at Ichiban at one point. See? Even backstabbers like us can come around. Yeah, that said, it still doesn't mean I have to trust you. Or like you. Uh, why not? I like you, Tomi. Yeah, sure. You gotta be hiding something. And I'm gonna find out what. I can smell a secret from a mile away. Oh, come on. The girl's gotta have at least one good secret. Or two. Here, oh, why don't we just start over? <sighs> okay, but I'll be watching. One slip up, and it's over. Watch me all you want. It <laughs> looks like mine. I'm used to it. Ooh, she got you good. How do you like that burn, Tommy? <laughs> Screw you. <laughs> Guess that settles it. Chichan, you're one of the gang. Good to have you. Good to be here. Don't tell me I'm supposed to make a speech now. <clears throat> the name's Chitose Fujinomiya. There. Kasuga-san. Thanks. Huh? 
Hmm. You're looking at everything we know about Akane-san. It took an entire organization to gather this. But all it really amounts to is a birth date and an address. <sighs> that doesn't sound right. Kiryu-san, I thought that agency was all... 007, like with spies and stuff. Shouldn't they be able to write the entire books on someone? Yeah, what gives? Could be she's harder to track as a member of the general public. Whereas if she kept a higher profile, there'd be no shortage of news coming in. Ah, good point. Chitose, it can be the tiniest detail. But if you know anything that's not on here, we need to know too. Actually, one thing does come to mind. Oh yeah? What is it? None of this says anything about her career. Her career? Yeah. Akane-san's the director of an orphanage. She's been there, like, forever. No kidding. Well, Captain Sawashiro never mentioned anything like that. Maybe he didn't know either. I haven't been to the place in person, but I do know where it is, if you're interested. You bet I'm interested. That orphanage might have the clues we need. Agreed. Let's head over there. Yo, tell me. Mind if I join you? I was just hoping for a drinking partner. Ha, ah, then I'm your man. Whoa. Some days it really hits the spot. You much of a drinker, usually? Kinda. Except when I came to Hawaii. I got so wasted my clothes were stolen. Hard to claim I can hold my liquor after that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Why? What about you? I've cut back lately. A while ago, I was going way too hard. Yeah, trying to forget. Oh, forget about Marie, you mean? Yeah, more or less. Yeah, but, you know, hey, time heals all wounds is what they always say. Even being stripped bare-assed in public. Now, you'll laugh about it in a few years. <laughs> I've been through worse, honestly. But we won't get into how the family used to treat me. Like, family family? Well, my boss's son was especially rough. He once got everyone calling me Ichi Bad Kasuga. <laughs> <laughs> Veteran of hard knocks, I see. The Barracudas ruin way more lives than just mine and Marie's, you know? I mean, that frame job scam was old hat by the time they got me. It's just... Hard to imagine anyone else took it at their happiest moment. You know, like I did. The girl I loved was having my kid. I would have given anything for one more day with her. Sorry. I shouldn't have brought it up. Eh, don't be an idiot. I'm always thinking about it anyway. So, the night that Marie and I first met? Oh, uh, you want to talk about this? Do you mind? It's been a long time since I told this story. Let me get through it. Oh, well, I, I'm happy to listen, I guess, if, if you're okay. Oh, I can't believe it was over a decade ago. Ugh, means I've been cabbing that long, too. Back then, I'd spend my nights at clubs, picking up girls. Which, of course, went nowhere, usually. Usually? <laughs> That that word's doing some heavy lifting. <laughs> Do you want to hear my story or not? <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Sorry. One night, I hit on this girl. With a boyfriend. I wouldn't normally do that, but I was dead drunk. And the boyfriend, like, is this massive, 
pro wrestler looking lifter. And he dragged me to an alley and he kicked the shit out of me so bad, I thought I might actually die. That's the worst pickup story ever. Does Marie really show up in it? Stop interrupting, I'll get there. So I'm lying in the alley, hurling out my guts. And then this woman finds me and cleans me up. Marie happened to be there that night with one of her coworkers. And we'd never seen one another before. But there she was, caring for a total stranger, staining in her nice clothes with my blood. Wow, well, that's something special. Yeah, probably the worst night of my life. Before she made it the best. Sure as hell, I made a move on her. I mean, how could I let someone like that slip away? All right. You know, it's funny. Now, I say it's the best night of my life, but down the road, it's what ends up ruining hers. Wow, Tommy. When we found out she was pregnant, she quit her job. Six months later, I was in prison. All because a scumbag like me couldn't let her go. She could have had so much better. You can't say for sure her life was ruined, can you? I guess not. I'd love to know she's okay, but I'll never be able to find out. Why not? Can't you look her up? <sighs> hey, Tommy. Do you ever think about trying to locate her? You said she would visit you, right? In the beginning, at least? Of course I tried looking for her. First thing I did. And no luck. When I got back to our home, everything of hers was gone. Not a trace left behind. Don't follow me. Doesn't get much clearer. <sighs> I left this amazing woman to suffer all on her own. She'd lost a child. Whatever the circumstances might have been. You can't go on with someone after that. <sighs> know what? I'm a pretty bad judge of character. Huh? Why, why, why you say that? <laughs> the first time we met, you pulled a gun on me, remember? If you asked me then, I'd have said you were nothing more than a petty crook. But now, listening to you, I think everybody's carrying something you can't see right away. Everybody out there. <laughs> I'd almost forgotten about sticking you up. Did I ever apologize to you for that? It doesn't matter anymore. No. Some things do matter. Huh? I am sorry for the way we met each month. Well, you're forgiven. If you buy the next round. Let bygones be. And just don't rob anybody else either. <laughs> I'll do my best. D. Thanks. Hey, Chichan? Yeah? What kind of person is Akane-san, anyway? <laughs> Why do you ask? Oh, uh, you know... No matter what I feel about her, Akane-san meant the world to my boss. And when it comes to him, well... He was everything I ever wanted to be. So, I guess I'm just curious what he saw in her. Okay, and we'd better find Akane-san quick. That way you can get your first impression directly. The last thing I want to do is put thoughts in your head. Is that how it works? That's how it works. Must be nice, though. What is? Wanting to see your mom, despite not knowing how to feel. That's more than I could ever say about mine, let alone my whole family. That right. Oh, hey, I think we're here.
Ah, oh, check it out. It's the flame of Palikana. Palikana? Yeah, you know, yeah, they're a volunteer group. You'll see them all over Hawaii. Doing soup kitchens, picking up trash at the beach. It's real charity stuff. Huh. Never knew you'd be interested in volunteering. Oh, I would know. Because I showed up at their food bank one time. Really? Yeah. They gather unsold food from all the local stores, and they divvy it out to the people who need it the most. Tommy, you help feed the poor? I'm impressed. Nah, man. I was there getting fed. Ah, uh, should have known. Excuse me, can I help you folks with anything? Oh, uh, yes, actually. Uh, we're here to ask about a lady named Akane. Uh, is she all right? Did you find her? Sorry for the outburst there. I had assumed you were with the police. No need to apologize, ma'am. If anything, I'm sorry I got your hopes up. Uh, let me introduce myself. I'm Dana, one of the caretakers. I've been working with Akane 20 years now. That's a long time. Yes. And for her to disappear so suddenly, it's just... Unheard of, right? When'd she up and disappear? As of now, uh, it's been 13 days. All she left was a single note behind, and that was it. 13 days. That lines up with what Chi-chan said. Yeah. Dana, what'd the note say? I resign due to unforeseen circumstances. Nothing more. Hakane's always been so responsible. I immediately thought that couldn't be right. But the handwriting was definitely hers. Did you report anything to the police? Of course. But after the handwriting analysis confirmed the note was hers, they dropped the case. We couldn't get them to look into it any further. I'm sure you've been asked this a bunch of times already. But do you have any idea where she might have gone? Unfortunately, I don't. All right. Miss Dana, you won't believe it! Yeah, the tomatoes we planted turned out huge! Oh, wow! I see that. Why don't you share some with our guests? Okay! okay. Huh. Here you go! Wow, thanks! It looks delicious! We grow them in the garden ourselves. Huh. Um, who are they? Oh, uh, they're friends of Miss Akane's. Really? Does that mean Miss Akane's coming back? Oh, sweetie, that's still gonna take some time. Oh, how long? I really want to see her again. I wish I could give you an answer. Hey, I know. Why don't you go fetch a watermelon, too? Find the biggest one you can. On it! <laughs> You really care about her, don't they? Yes. Akane was the closest thing to a mother these kids ever had. In fact, she may have raised over a hundred kids during her time as director. That's why people often tell her she has the biggest family on the island. That's a lot of love there. Oh, yes. She's been here 40 years, after all. 40 years? That would mean she started working here not long after leaving Japan. Right. Which is around when Captain Sawashiro met her. Did she choose to stay in Hawaii for the kids? Dana, how much do you know about Akane-san's past? Uh, her past? Well, nothing. She wasn't one to talk about herself. <laughs> <sighs> Did she ever have problems with people, or seem like she was in trouble? I certainly can't imagine her having enemies. No one abided by the teachings more than she did. The teachings? The beliefs Palekana holds sacred. You may not know this, but 
Fundamentally, we operate as a religion. Really? I always thought Polycana was a charity organization. Charity is a key part of what we do, but our roots as a religion trace back hundreds of years on these islands. Whoa, so you guys got a lot of history then. I'd like to think so. Polycana centers its worship on Nele, a volcano goddess. Hmm, volcanoes, huh? That's definitely something Hawaii is known for. Indeed. Volcanic activity has also shaped the fabric of our lives, especially in ages past. On one hand, volcanoes are a symbol of fear and destruction. But on the other, they represent balance and restoration. I think it's only natural to see a spark of the divine in such an awe-inspiring presence. Right. That's similar to Japan's early volcano worship, too. I guess it's universal. Seeing something awesome in nature and being inspired. Yes. And that's why we strive to coexist with nature. So that Nele might look down on us with peace. Were we to abuse her gifts, of fire and the land we call home, we would surely invite destruction. I'm assuming that's why Palikana has the flame logo going on? That's right. Fire is a very sacred element among us. As a reminder of our faith, we always keep a fire lit, taking care not to let it burn out. Now that you mention it, I remember Akane-san had an LED candle in her bedroom. Was that a part of her faith? I'm sure she was just being careful for a woman of her age living alone. Besides, the candle itself is only a representation. What really matters is how you tend the fire in your heart. A sacred element, huh? Is that why the kids took it slow around the candles? So you noticed. They're taught to protect the flame from when they're little. Huh. Actually, I was wondering. Why do you guys run an orphanage? That's based on another belief of ours. As a religion grounded in nature, we feel called to treat the land and those who live in it with compassion. Doing so will help the community grow and bring our hearts closer as one. And helping kids grow is a part of that. I'm impressed. We also run several other facilities, including a homeless shelter and transitional housing for families. You know, the one time I went to a Palikana food bank, it, it was real nice. No, they just fed me without any preaching at all. <laughs> well, we're not in the business of preaching. So, you have for nothing in return. <laughs> Kudos to whoever's in charge. The children here seem like believers, though. Well, it's not like we indoctrinate them. We hope that by exemplifying the teachings in our daily lives, the children might see our faith in action and believe. And in that regard, Akane was unmatched. Everyone admired her for her spirit. Huh. So she was a woman of faith. Yes. And there wasn't a selfish bone in her body. All she wanted was to help the weak and less fortunate. That's what drew so many to her. And why I have a hard time believing she had enemies. And for her to just leave without a word of goodbye is just bizarre. <sighs> Dang. Guess they don't know much more than we do. All right, Dana. We've grabbed all we can, so I'm gonna haul this over to the food bank. Hey, thanks, Callan. Any chance we can throw in some meat or fish to go with it? I wish, but I don't see any fishermen or butchers around here. Think we're good to go with what we got? Well, I guess this'll just have to do then. Mind if I ask what's going on? Oh, well, today it's our turn to donate to the food bank. We always have plenty of vegetables, but I'd prefer to offer a full range of nutrition. Akane was always the one to call up stores, and they'd bring us more than enough. But since she went missing, the donations stopped coming in. To be honest, I think they just liked interacting with Akane. <laughs> when it's us, we don't know how or even who to ask. It's like starting from scratch. I get it. Then why don't we lend you a hand? Oh, yeah? 
Why not? We'll go across the island and back if we have to. Uh, that's quite... sudden. Well, it's not like I want to volunteer out of nowhere. I just thought we could help people and maybe learn about Akane-san in the process. Huh. I mean, that could work. Tracing her daily routines might lead to something new. Then why not give it a shot? I don't see any other options right now. So long as we don't stir up any trouble while we're at it. Of course not. We're gonna give it all we got and then some. <laughs> well, you're quite the energetic one. I suppose I should take you up on your offer. Callan, would you mind taking them over to the food bank? Ah, not at all. Okay, the rules are very simple. You go and collect food, then bring it back right here. But the most important rule of all? It can't be just anything you find on the shelves. It has to be made in Hawaii. So, only Hawaiian-grown foods? Palekana stresses the importance of aloha aina, a love for the land and its people. Even when it comes to donations, the idea is local production for local consumption. So whether it's fish or meat, make sure they're native to Hawaii, okay? You got it. Then let's get down to work. Hmm. Leave it to me. You know, Hawaii uses soy sauce way more than I expected. I always figured soy sauce wasn't big overseas. Pleasant surprise. Might just be a Hawaiian thing. Japanese immigrants brought it over. Ah, never knew that. Uh, but then, it tastes different from Japanese soy sauce. Well, consider that its taste varies between regions of Japan as well. Is it really? Kyushu soy sauce tastes sweet, for instance. Sweet soy sauce? Yeah, I was surprised too. It's used to make some stew sweeter. By now I've developed a taste for it. I even get a craving for it sometimes. Huh, no kidding. That means we might get used to Hawaiian soy sauce and end up craving it too, huh? Huh, <laughs> imagine that. What's up?
Wait! Totally. I'm gonna put you in your place. The battle is on. Okay. I'm gonna put the hurt on you. Huh? Don't blame. <laughs> Follow my lead. Stone was down now. Follow my lead. I can do this. Thanks. Wow! Finally beat the snot in a can! <laughs> Shall we have some steak tonight? That mom and her kid look so happy. I can't tell you how thankful we are you came along. Just look at what your hard work has done. <laughs> and that makes it all the more worth it. Hard to see so many in need of food, though. Hurts, doesn't it? <sighs> Hawaii's inflation gets worse every year. The rent being worst of all. An average family pays 3000 a month just to live in a tiny apartment. $3,000? That's... 300,000 in yen? Well, back home, you could get a frickin' penthouse with that. A lot of people have multiple jobs just to stay afloat in this economy. Whew, take it from me. It is rough out there. I'm barely scraping by as it is. Yeah, but not everyone's as lazy as you, Tomi. <laughs> Shut up. Man, I, I always had this image of Hawaii as perfect, but I guess reality hits hard, even in paradise. Right? And now, more than ever, we need to put Aloha Aina into practice. That's why I do what I do at Palekana. Feeding the hungry, helping the needy. Ah, if only I could do it like Akane did. Speaking of which, how'd we do? Anyone find any leads? Nope. Not on my end. Same. I asked as many people as I could if they knew her. 
But all they could tell me was how nice she was. Things like that. Same here. Guess we all struck out this inning. Ah, <sighs> sorry to hear it. Kalinson, what other kind of work did Akane-san do? Well, she'd also pick up trash off the beach, and then finish the night with a leisurely patrol around town. All in a day's work for her. Then can we help with that stuff too? As long as you're cool with it. Hey, I'm cool if you are. Today we'll be cleaning Aloha Beach before sunset. We could definitely use the extra help. So if you could join the rest of our group, we'd really appreciate it. I'll come by after closing up shop here. Perfect. Then see you at Aloha Beach before sunset. You're pretty excited about all this, huh, Ichiban? I mean, isn't it nice to help others in need? Plus, we can look for clues while we're at it. What's so weird about that? Hmm, nothing, I guess. Hey, man. Let's do it! <laughs> hey, Chichon. A travel agency you were mentioning. It's around here, right? Yeah, at least I'm pretty sure it was. Whoa! Whoa! Ow. Ow, my bad. I wasn't looking. Uh, are you okay? Whoa. Whoa. What is this thing? Hello, happy. What? Hello, happy? Oh, are you by chance here to visit us? Huh? Welcome to Ella Happy Tours. Allo Happy Tours? Sorry about earlier. Allo Happy here should have been more careful. Uh, sure. Oh, Allo Happy's his name. Got it. That's right. He's our unmistakable mascot. Known for being wildly unpopular! <laughs> <laughs> so he's not popular? Well, anyway, this is a travel agency, isn't it? Yes! This is a Japanese travel agency built and run by Japanese people for Japanese tourists visiting from Japan. Here, all our Japanese-speaking staff slave away for chump change by preparing tours and activities unabashedly geared towards Japanese taste. My name is Elizabeth, and I'm the manager here. Granted, Elizabeth is just a nickname. My real name is Ari Yamada. Elizabeth is based on Ari. Get it? Elizabeth? <laughs> <laughs> right, well, uh, we heard about this place. Uh, thought you could help us get the full Hawaii experience. You mentioned you had some activities, right? Can you tell us more? Oh, you're interested in our activities. Well, Allo Happy's got you covered. Whether it's shows, water sports, or just appreciating nature, we've got a volcano's worth of activities offering the very best of Hawaiian culture. And for a limited time, your first experience is totally 100% free! From dorky little kids to grouchy, impatient seniors, it's a chance for the whole gang to have fun at no cost. It's your lucky day, valued customer. Oh, okay. Well, free is good. Yeah, all right, sign us up. Okay, let's get out. 
yellow happy. Water, here we come. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you think you can surf? I wonder. Here it comes. Whoa, whoa. Everything you dreamed of? Amazing. Uh, seriously, that was awesome. And it was like, this revelation came to me. Like, I can take on the bad guys in a whole new way. Uh, take on the bad guys? You okay? Oh, yeah. It's hard to describe, but if you ever qualified for a new job at Hello Work, it's kind of like that. Hey, I think the Allo Happy Spirit might have gone to his head, huh? Yes. So, it sounds like you were inspired? I heard that can happen when you're having fun, especially when you're trying something new. And there's plenty more activities to enjoy, so don't miss out. Though we will have to charge you next time. Sure, I'll be back either way. Oh, and as an incentive to keep regulars chained to us as lifelong financial supporters, we have an Allo Happy Room for you to use, free of charge. Allo Happy Room? It's a private space made special for you. Use it anytime you want to change your outfit or just snag a little R&R. &R. Oh, it's pretty handy, so when you're feeling up to it, give it a try. Huh, all right. So, how was it? Allo happy, are we? Man, this really is handy. Consider me sold. Allo happy rooms are all over Hawaii. We have offices in the Anaconda Center and even in Japan, ready for use at any time. Well then, see you on your next adventure! Asuka, you made it. Thanks for coming. Sure. Were you guys praying just now? That's right. We were sending our thoughts toward Nele Island. Nele Island? Uh, it's sacred land to us in Palekana. One of the small islands out there bears the name of our goddess. Legend has it, that's where Madame Nele rests her head. Ah, so is it like... Some kind of sanctuary of yours? That's right. It's been protected since the Hawaiian dynasties. And even today, it retains its spiritual purpose. When I think of the ideal life, I think of being one with nature, nestled in the island's untouched bounty. The ideal life? I guess everyone's got a different idea of luxury. Yeah, you think? However, only our sage is pure enough to set foot on the island. Along with a select few who have demonstrated their virtue. Of course, I've never set foot on the island myself. Or even seen it with my own eyes. Maybe if I became a Haku, that would change. A Haku? Haku is a title or a role given only to those with great merit and extreme devotion. They alone can live on Nele Island, and only the Sage decides who's worthy. Yeah? Well, with all the work you do, I'm surprised you're not one already. <laughs> That's very kind of you to say, but 
My faith is far from pure. Even my wish to become Haku is tainted with selfish desire. Huh. So off the coast of Hawaii, there's a paradise waiting within paradise. You think Akane-san was trying to be a Haku? I sincerely doubt it. Unlike me, she never showed concern for herself. She never sought recognition, rewards, none of that. In fact... What? Oh, well, this one time I asked her directly how she was able to be so kind and dedicate herself to others. What she told me, I'll never forget. She said it was her way of atonement. Atonement? For what, I wonder? Cutting out that Arakawa guy? Guess we'll only find that out in person, right? Yeah. Anyway, shall we get started on our activity? <sighs> I'd say that looks pretty clean. <sighs> Kane-san sees this every night, huh? <laughs> you done spacing out over here? Don't just sneak up on me. So, you find any clues? Huh? Oh, no. You? Mm, nope. All I found was the virtue of cleaning up trash. At this rate, we'll work our way up to Haku before we ever see Akane-san. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wouldn't that be something? <laughs> hey, Ichiban. Huh? When you do meet Akane-san, say you do find out she really is your mother and all that. What then? Uh, hmm. I haven't thought that far ahead. I doubt we're gonna cry our eyes out or anything. For now, I'll hand this over. And keep the rest short and sweet. I see. I envy you, you know. Huh? Why's that? I told you about my home life, right? About my family? In my eyes, all that stuff about family, togetherness, that's bullshit. People always say your family is your foundation in life. But to me, they're a curse I can't get rid of. But you... I want what you have. To live free. <sighs> Sorry. Didn't mean to dump my personal problems on you or anything. You know, Chichan, you could always run. What? Just pack up and go. I'll even help. Trust me, I once pulled off a night flight when I was in the Yakuza. <sighs> oh, please. I thought you could tell I was being serious. And I'm being serious, too. When you say, I want to live free, I say, let's make it happen. <sighs> no matter how big or how bad the Fujinomias are, there has to be a place they can't reach. And that's where I'll take you. Remember, you saved my life. <laughs> Figure it's the least I can do. Um, uh, uh, Ichiban? Yeah? Uh, not to be rude, but it sounded like you wanted to elope with me just now. Uh, huh? That wasn't what I said at all! <laughs> I know, but dude, it's how you said it. <laughs> oh, F me. Uh. I should just keep my feelings bottled up inside. First I proposed to Sachan like an idiot, and now Chi-Chan gets the wrong message. Oh, damn it. Hey, you can stop with the pity party, oh, okay? Oh, sorry about that. Just falling apart at the seams. You know how it is. I really didn't mean to scare you off there. I'm not always the best talker, for sure. Even so, 
I want you to know I'm here for you. Uh, please don't get the wrong idea about that. I'd love for us to stay friends, you know? Okay. God, how clueless can he get? Huh? You say something? Guys, thanks a ton. Today's cleanup was a cinch with you on board. Uh, hey, happy to help. And nothing like a nice, clean beach, right? Ichiban. Uh, yeah? Thank you for that. <laughs> well, at this point, we know next to nothing. Any tiny detail could be of help. For instance, I was thinking maybe a san could have slipped onto a boat during one of these trash pickups. But then I realized the water's too shallow. Plus, there's nothing here to give you any cover. So, at least we can rule out the idea that she sailed out to sea somewhere. Wow, what a detailed thought you had. You must be a certified genius. You don't have to be an ass, you know. Let's hear what you found. Then. Not much. I went around looking for things she could have dropped. But of course that went nowhere. Same with me. I asked around, but didn't get anything useful. Callan, what was that other thing Akane-san used to do? She'd patrol the town every evening. Even though Hawaii is one of the safer states, it still sees its fair share of crime. What we do is check out any tourists who've been drinking or guys just hanging around. Make sure everyone's safe. Kanisan did that too? She really did, just about everything. Okay, then we know what we gotta do. We'll patrol the night away. Ho ho ho! Do I sense some enthusiasm? What? This is how I always am? Hmm. We'll step in for a Kanye's on this round. What routes do you guys usually take? Tonight, we'll be going around the Aloha Bridge and the art walls. We'll be starting by Aloha Bridge, so you'll want to head over that way. Guy named Romero is going to be in charge. Talk to him when you want to get started. I still have some cleanup left to do, so I'll join you by the time you're at the art walls. Got it. And we'll go see Romero. I'll be fine. Hey, a hermit crab. What a good deal. You can go home whenever you want. Is it really going home? More like lugging your whole house around. Huh. A big shell? Must be like a four-bedroom estate. Man, you need some backbone to walk around with a four-bedroom. Yeah, but imagine what it says about your crab status. Any guy with a four-bedroom shell must be pretty popular. Sorry, what exactly is a four-bedroom shell? Uh, forget it. This crap crab's a reminder to work hard and save up. In this economy, that shell's probably a rental, if anything. Oh, that's true. Or maybe he inherited his shell from his rich parents. <laughs> Marine biologists don't think this deeply about crabs. Hey.
Is this the place Romero told us about? The labyrinth? He said they cancelled construction partway through. Left it abandoned. Only it's not abandoned anymore. <laughs> Looks dicey. Ready to check it out? He told us to steer clear of this place specifically. You're just going inside? I mean, we're on patrol. Aren't we supposed to investigate danger? <sighs> Maybe, but... Whoa there. Seems you're considering venturing into the nether. Don't tell me. You're after the great reward. Come again? Know ye not? This building stretches deep into the bowels of the earth. They say any who reach the bottom will find treasure beyond description. Many have entered, seeking riches and power, glory and truths unknowable. Most have never been seen again. Seriously? Hey, is that why we heard people go missing in here? Perhaps. The labyrinth obeys not the laws of this world. It thwarts any with hubris enough to think it navigable. Those who cross the threshold to that underworld oft find their path distorted and return ever unattainable. Of course, were I them, I'd count myself lucky to simply be ransomed or killed by the scoff. Taken harm inside. Uh, okay, wait. So the building does have people staying in it? Ah, tis a sinner's hive therein, a lawless sepulchre. Authorities have long since given up on maintaining order. Turn a blind eye. Man. Moreover, it's said that those who meet their ends inside. Join the curse which keeps the maze air twisting. Tis truly some horror movie shit. You're saying the layout of the place changes? Such is its dark legend. Further, fouler details I know not, for I am merely a watchman. Take heed of my warnings if your lives be about. What now? Mm. Ah! Huh? Wait, did you hear that scream just now? Mm. Are we gonna check it out? Like I said before, we're here to patrol. You can't ignore something like that. Yeah, figured as much. Thanks for the story, old man. Ha! Ah, as you will. Uh, by the by, think you might spare a dollar for my spiel. Huh? I'm not some kind of video game character. It takes time and effort for me to hang around here warning people. You are a big help. Here you go. What? Seriously? This much? Oh, you're a living legend of generosity, fella. Shit, I really hope you don't die in there. Appreciate it. Right, let's go. like that old man was right. It's easy to lose your way in here. No wonder people go missing. You could spend days in here and not learn the layout. Maybe it's true. Maybe the place is cursed after all. Please, save me. They sound close by. Let's find them.
Okay. Sup? Okay. Thank you so much. Take care. Yeah. Steer clear from now on. Got it? Jeez, they were right to call it the Labyrinth. This place is hella cursed. Maybe. But if there really are stronger enemies in there... I can't think of a better place to test our skills. And there's that treasure too, I guess. Fine. If you're sure, I'm down to come by again. Hey. Got it. Right. Oh, for the longest time, this place was all factories and warehouses. It was pitch dark at night and attracted a bad crowd. But then it all got redeveloped about ten years ago. We left the wall open for artists all over the world to come and draw what they wanted. And now look. All the young folks come by to check it out. Oh, look at all the places you can eat, too! Yeah, the eateries are a big hit with the tourists. 
They started popping up here as the inner city became oversaturated. Oh, please, stop! I I'm begging you! This place is my livelihood! Your livelihood? Huh. Did no one tell you we're the new owners? What's wrong? Is, is there some sort of trouble? Who the hell are you? We're with Palikana on Neighborhood Watch. Palikana? Oh, thank goodness, please, you have to listen. I've been running this cafe for 30 years now, and I never once have endured such violence. Yeah, quit bitching. If you'd have paid your debt, we wouldn't be here. But I never even borrowed money from you. Oh, we know who you borrowed from. Thing is, this morning, we bought that lender out. So as of now, your debt and this shithole is ours. Even so, you can't just budge in here like this. The previous lender agreed I could pay off my loan in installments. We had a deal. You're a native Hawaiian, aren't you? What difference does that make? Well, cheer up. We're turning this place into a boba shop and your ass can run the register. The Howleys ought to eat that shit up. Now let's get renovated. That's enough! Aren't you Polycana people supposed to be volunteers? Volunteers should stay the fuck out of business. Strong-arming helpless shopkeepers is hardly what I call business. Now I'd like to ask you to leave, and trust me, you'll be hearing from our lawyers. Oh yeah? How about you scram, or you'll be hearing out your asshole? I'm staying right here. Oh, you sure? Then maybe we ought to tear you up first, huh? Threaten me all you want. I'll never budge. <laughs> Get a load of tough guy here. He thinks he can stand up to us. <laughs> all right. Let's see if you're still standing after that. I don't know who you assholes think you are, but anyone who'd hurt an innocent person deserves to get shut down. What the? You another poly kind of prick? Nope. Just a heathen prick off the streets. And as far as religion goes, I admit, I don't get the appeal. But Callan, I think you guys do it right. You might even make it seem cool. Kasuga. God damn! Can a man not shake someone down in peace? Boys! We're wrecking these bastards! Show me what you got! Okay. You're in it now! Something wrong with getting scared? It's a lot! You're mine! <laughs> Don't get caught! <laughs> well, I'm waiting. I won't hold back. Don't put down <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, let's go. Ready when you are. Follow my lead. Time to put you down! <laughs> I can do this! Fucking son of a... Fricka, look what you done to my shop! Whoa! That does it! You should have listened while you had the chance! <laughs> Don't do it! Eat lead! Huh? What's wrong? Goddamn trigger stuck. The hell? Is it jammed? Uh, shit! Cease this at once. Madam Nailey, you see, forbids the use of fire in human conflicts. Oh. Who the fuck are you? Now, be good and hand me the gun. Attempting to shoot will only make things worse for you. Get the hell away from me! <laughs> 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 
<laughs> what did you do? Such a pity. Allow me to tend to your wounds. Get the fuck away! He's a monster! I swear he's a goddamn monster! <laughs> that had to be a miracle. And I got to bear witness. Bryce truly is blessed by the goddess. Who's this dude? The sage of Palikana I mentioned. That's Bryce Fairchild himself. <sighs> so that's him. A miracle. Good grace is a miracle. Rejoice, for Madame Nele has extended her divine protection to you and your establishment. Madame Nele, mahalo yo oi. And you, my child, I trust that you're unharmed. What a fascinating story. Now I see why you're all eager to find Akane. For one reason or another. Yeah. We came by because we heard she was the director here. And that's what makes her disappearance all the more concerning. Without her guidance, I fear this orphanage might have closed its doors long ago. That's why I visit as often as I can to see how things have developed. I was wondering something. Why did Kane-san join Polykana in the first place? I believe she left Japan because living there became untenable, one way or another. So she came to Hawaii to get back in touch with her roots. Right. Captain Sawashiro did mention that. However, she found no support from her relatives. That's when Palakana reached out to her. Shortly after, she was welcomed into the faith. Since then, she's been a model believer. Never have I witnessed such pure, unwavering faith in all my years. Then, was she chosen to be a Haku? Ah, I'm impressed you know that much about us. I did mention to her that she would be the perfect Haku candidate. But you know what she said? She said she'd rather stay at the orphanage until it's her time to go. <sighs> Father Bryce, guess what? I helped make dinner this evening. You did? Then I suppose it's time to dig in. How much would you like? Well, I'm supposed to be out on diet, but today's special. One big helping, please. Yes, sir. Ichiban, if you do find out where Akane is, please let me know as soon as possible. Sure thing, but aren't you usually hanging out on L.A. Island? I am, but you can let the staff here know so they can get in touch. All right. Well, think we ought to get going? I think so. Oh, won't you stay and eat with us? It's almost dinner time. You sure? I mean, I am pretty famished. What about you guys? Good idea. That's very kind of you. It's the least I could do. Kasuga, everyone. It's been a pleasure talking with you this evening. Likewise. To know Akane-san found a good place where she belonged, I'm nothing but happy for her. Yes. I'm convinced she felt the same. Hey, where'd Chichan run off to? Chitose! Where are you? It's dinner time! She's not over here, if you're wondering. Yeah. I've been sticking with Ichiban this whole time. Actually, it turned out all right. If anything, that helped me earn their trust even more, so... Hey! Chichan! Where you at? I get that. Look, I gotta go. Uh, 
I'm right Ooh. here, silly. <laughs> Man, I'm starving. <laughs> what are we having? Is there some reason I have to go outside every time we do this? It's the best safeguard against wiretapping. Well... So Akane-san was the director of a Polykana orphanage. Everyone in the organization seemed to know her. Yes. And even the Sage himself is concerned for her safety. Interesting. It seems your investigation's going well. If you've got something to say, then say it. Whatever you do, you report it to me. Don't think I didn't hear about your little tussle with the Barracudas. If you already know, then why do I need to report? You might want to rethink your situation a bit. Maybe you don't fear anything, seeing as your days are numbered. But you're a spider hanging by a single thread. Steer clear of the flames below. I'll be more careful. Hmm. Continue tracking the subject then. After all, you've got a lot riding on this. Uh, also... What? You're not done lecturing? I was going to ask if you did what you came to do. The woman you loved. Yumi-san, was it? I understand her dream was to get married in Hawaii. So you wanted to at least take her ring to the place she longed for. That's why you accepted this mission in the first place. Yeah. Then, with that out of the way, let's try to focus on the mission, shall we? I certainly hope you can. Sorry for the wait. What did they say? The Daidoji faction. They called, right? Seems like we're the closest to Akane-san. They had no other info on their end. The plan stays the same. We find Akane-san before anyone else, and we protect her. Gotcha. So, no clues from them, then? Nope. All they could do was tell me to stay in line. I'm sure. It's not like you're the easiest guy to keep tabs on. Dumbass? What's that supposed to mean? Come on. You really don't think so? He'd be a good boss, at least. Hey, take it easy, you two. You might hurt my feelings. <laughs> yeah, you look real hurt, Kiryu-san. Do I? Hi. Yes. <sighs> All right. <sighs> What's the plan for today? I wonder where you're at right now, Akane-san. About that, I think I might have a good idea. Wait. Really? But before I say anything, I need to make sure of something. She knows about you, right, Ichiban? That you're her son? Uh, uh yeah. Uh, Captain Sawashiro should have told her. Does she know your face, then? Is she gonna know you're the Ichiban? I think so. Uh, otherwise, she'd have no idea I'm actually me. Knowing the captain, he'd be pretty thorough about all that. Got it, got it. Good. You've checked all the boxes. Hey, what's up? Did I hear we got a plan? Kiryu-san, sounds like we're moving. What's going on? Chicha says she might have something. Go on. We all tried to find Akane-san on our own, to the best of our abilities. We tried Akane-san's house and the orphanage she worked at, not to mention the places she did volunteer work for. We even went deep into the heart of a Mafia hangout, right? Ah, you know, when you say it like that, 
I guess we've done some pretty crazy things. Right. Unfortunately, none of that has helped us find Akane-san. Yeah. Even the Daidoji faction hasn't found any more clues. It means one thing. We're running out of options. Finding her on our own is looking a lot less likely. Yeah, I guess so. Doesn't that also mean we've hit a dead end, then? Hang on. There's more to it. Our goal up to now has been simple. Find Akane-san. But what if she was the one who found us? <laughs> Get Akane-san to find us? Okay. How are we gonna do that? That's where he comes in. We put Ichiban in the spotlight. Slap a video on the internet. We'll make a video that catches as many eyes as possible. Show the world that Ichiban Kasuga's out there. All of Hawaii's gonna know his name. Just wait. All right. Sure. Not on board? No, it's a good idea. I mean, really, it is. But I don't know if you've heard. Ichiban went through some pretty awful shit in Japan, thanks to a video. The net chewed him up, spit him out. I mean, I doubt he'd want to jump back in. Well, you've got a point, I guess. What'll it be, Kasuga? Hey, Tomi, as far as gangs around here go, are the Barracudas the only ones in charge? Hmm? Why do you ask? And no, they're just a part of it. They only run District 5 and their counterfeit op. Honolulu's home to all kinds of gangs. There's a Chinese group that's similar, if not bigger. All right. Huh? Well, I think it's a great idea, Chichan. Believe it or not, I pulled a similar thing on TV a few years back. <laughs> he interrupted a live campaign speech, of all things. True story. Wait, you really did that? Well, it was kind of my only option at the time. Anyway, Tommy, thanks for looking out. I got no issue making a video. Oh, all right. Long as you're cool with it. That settles it then. No, if I just knew where to start. Jitose, are you good with this stuff? Leave it to me. In fact, I'll be the director. You sure about that? Okay. Well, I guess I'll come up with a cool script then. Ichiban, there's a lot you want to say, right? Might be tough to improv. Yeah. Hmm. I'll get some cue cards ready. <laughs> what the hell? Let's go for a million views. Maybe we even get one of those gold plaques, huh? This is still about Ichiban, right? No, I don't know much myself, but it sounds fun. Is there anything I can do? Oh, no, no. You just take it easy, Kiryo-san. We'll handle all the trivial stuff. <laughs> I may be dying, but I'm not dead yet. These bones still have some life in them, all things considered. Well, um, yeah, then, then you can... Oh! Okay, Kiryu-san, I know just the thing. I'm serious. If you're not the man for the job, then no one is. Anyway. A video's nothing without sound. Kiryu-san, you're the backbone of this whole thing. So this is what you call a shotgun mic. It's a good, strong name. No holding back now, Kasuga. I'll spread your voice to the world. Haha, <laughs> you got it! Kiryu sounds surprisingly playful, isn't he? Ah, those eyes are for real. He holds that mic like he's staring down a wild beast. Ah, oh, well, at least we know he's fully invested. Right, let's do it. Okay, we're good, Ichiban. I'm already rolling the camera, so go ahead and start talking. All right, the text size is good on these, right? Either way, this won't mean much if we don't catch Akane-san's eye. She's gotta know her son's out there looking for her. Do whatever you can to make that clear. Yep, we can't lose that. And not only are we uploading this to a fresh channel, but we're trying to make it explode. The bar is ludicrously high here. God only knows if we'll even come close. We need something that'll make an impact. Something to make the thumbnail pop, you know? We want an impact, huh? There's gotta be something. Oh! Ah, but should I...? Huh? What's wrong? Think of something good? 
Well, I did, but I'm not too sure about it. If you think it's good, then what's stopping you? They're not that rare in Hawaii. I doubt you'll scare anybody. Hear you, son. How'd you know? Let's just call it a hunch. Besides, it's how I figured out you were here. It's pretty hard to miss. Oh, yeah? Then let's go for it. Hey, time out. Huh? You two have some kind of secret language or something? Come on, spill the beans. Uh, my bad. Here, let me show you what we mean. Feast your eyes! <sighs> Normally, I'd keep this thing under wraps. But if it helps us get closer to Akane-san, it's worth it. So? Think this will make enough waves? <laughs> I think the crowd says it all. This thing's gonna make a tsunami. <laughs> all right, then keep that camera rolling. <clears throat> Allow me to introduce myself. I come from Kamrocho. Some would call it the armpit of Tokyo, Japan. Born and raised from the suds of an inner-city soapland, the name's Ichiban Kasuga. Some have even called me the hero of Yokohama. <laughs> Separated from my mother at birth, I am now on a quest to find her. And so I've traveled land and sea, only to find myself right here in Honolulu City. Mom? If you're out there, I just want to say I love you. And to everyone else, aloha! <laughs> He's a natural-born showman. Hey, don't just straight up ignore the cue cards. Dude, I put my heart into these. <laughs> it's fine. This is way better material. Now then, as this dragonfish on my back implies, I'm a former but forever rambling Yakuza. So while I search for my dear old mom, I'll be showing you all the sights this island has to offer. I call it Yakuza Kahuna Hawaiian Style. Yes, sir, from waddling around a Kamrocho soap land, I later grew up to have my own life in a jean show. But there was something on my mind, so I left Japan, landed here just the other day, and let me tell you, being my first time overseas, a whole bunch of crazy stuff's gone down. For example, right when I got off the plane, I had the pleasure of being robbed at gunpoint. Gunpoint, huh? You heard that right. And it was my boy Tommy Zawakun here. Dude, what the hell? This is a terrible intro. He was fluent in Japanese, so I picked his taxi. Who'd have guessed it was a small time crook? As you can see, however, we've quickly become the best of friends. Hawaii freaking rules! Even the crooks are laid back. Talk about island style. And the robbery wasn't the last of my Hawaiian hurdles. Soon after that, I got jacked and wound up butt naked on the beach. That didn't stop Ichiban Kasuga. No, I'm back in action. I came here for some big new adventures. Hawaii called me, and boy, did I answer. And cut. Man, did you have to call me out like that? You were way softer on Chitose. Yeah, my bad. Uh, but chi has got that thing. We don't want her family finding out, right? <sighs> chi, if only you thought that way about me. Eh, whatever. A few hot topics to get the people buzzing, at least. Also, holy crap, Ichiban. Since when were you that articulate? <laughs> I learned from experience. They used to have me host the family banquets. <laughs> Guess it pays to work hard while you're young. Anyway, let's hit the streets. Get some shots of Kasuga in the places that really scream Hawaii. Sounds good. Okay, Kasuga clan, let's get filming. All right, that should be more than enough material. Great! Now let's throw it all online! Uh, no, no, no. You're gonna have to edit it first. 
We want it to go viral, so it's gotta be the best it can be. You'll help me out, won't you, Tommy? Ah, <sighs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, it finally feels like I'm actually in Hawaii now. I mean, seriously. It's been trouble this, trouble that, back to back. <laughs> I guess that's true. But it's been fun on my side, too. Thanks, Kaska. Now, you ask me, this is just the beginning. I'm sure there'll be even more fun down the line. We're in Hawaii, after all? Japan's always talking about this place. We ought to enjoy every second, Kiryu-san. Aren't you forgetting why you came here? Not one bit! <laughs> Editing it all together is gonna take some time, so you two can hang back until then. Sure. If it's gonna take a while, I'll go rest up at the hotel. Yeah, maybe I'll go swimming, since we're near the beach and all. Roger that. See you soon. Ichiban. Awesome. That should do it for the upload. The video turned out really good, too. You sure know how to put on a show, Ichiban. You think you do this for a living. I don't know if I mention it, but despite my looks, I did run for an election once. <laughs> an election? For what? I mean, like, a real election. And this wasn't for student council or something? If they elected me, I would have been a politician. Seriously? Good grief, man. Is there anything you haven't done? Whoa, no way. We already got a DM. Wonder who from. What? Don't tell me it's from Akane-san. Uh, nope. Some guy named Eiji. He wants to know if we can meet him somewhere. Eiji? Wait a sec. You mean Eichon? Ah, uh, so we caught Eichon's attention at least. Tomizawa, you remember, right? Uh, you know, the guy in the wheelchair who chased you off when we first met? Oh, him. Yeah, I remember. So, what's the plan? You want to meet up with him? That all right with you, Kiryu-san? He's a buddy that helped me out my first day here. Knowing him, I'm sure he's just worried about me. Sure. You've got nothing pressing right now. Why not? Awesome, thanks! Okay, yeah, let's take him up on that. All right, I'll ask where's best for him. He said over by the Anaconda Shopping Center. That should be fine, yeah? Yeah, no problem. Now, where's Akane-san? It's too bad we can't meet her this easily. Kasuga-san! Yo, Eichon! I'm glad you reached out! Good to see you, buddy! Uh, um... Kasuga-san... Didn't this guy... He, he tried to rob you, right? <laughs> yeah, a lot's happened since. This is Tomi. And this is your first time meeting these two, I'm sure. Uh, hello. I I'm still confused. You're friends with him now? After all he did to you? Ow, let's find a place to sit back and I'll fill you in. I see. So, you still haven't met your mother. Not only that, but the city's gangs are after her. I don't know if I should even call her my mother. I'm still trying to figure that out, too. So, Akane-san's being pursued by the Barracudas. And Yamai's still in the picture as well? And let's not forget the Daidoji faction from Japan. They got business with her too, right? The Daidoji faction? They were said to run nearly all of Japan at one point. I'm here to find Akane-san on their orders. I... 
I see. Oh, yeah, I, I still haven't introduced them. This is Kazuma Kiryu-san. He took great care of me back in Japan. Uh, hello. I'm Mitamura. Right. And this is Chichan. I'm Chitose Fujinomiya. Pleased to meet you. Chitose-san, was it? Yes. Pleasure to meet you as well. <sighs> hmm? <laughs> well, I must say, you've gathered up quite a party since we last met. Yeah, Hawaii's blessed me with all sorts of friends. Of course, that includes you too, eh, Chan? <laughs> Not sure if I would have made it on my own. You're the only one that's ever said that to me, Kasuga-san. Flattery or not, I'm honored. Nah, I'm not one for flattery, personally. Well then, is there anything I might help you out with? Huh? It's just, I've already gone this far. And I know the internet. I figure I can be of at least some use. Hey, I, I appreciate it, but... Achan, don't you have your own life and stuff to worry about? Right. I hadn't mentioned it, had I? What? The truth is, I lost my job over in Japan. That's why I came back here. Naturally, I feel awkward going home. If it's no trouble, Kasuga-san, I'd like to be a part. No, no trouble at all, but, uh, I can't promise there won't be trouble later. Like I said, there's a few gangs involved. Kasuga. What's up? Be glad you didn't make that promise. We're surrounded. Huh? He's not kidding. Check it out. They're all looking our way. Yeah, they are. We've met before. With the Barracudas too? I don't think so. This is someone else. Ganja, maybe. Ganja? It's unlikely you've heard of them, Kasuga-san. They're Chinese Mafia. They often have turf wars with the Barracudas. First the Barracudas, now the Chinese Mafia? Why is just full of surprises, isn't it? They're getting closer. Looks like there's about 20 of them. What do you think they want? Who knows? Either way, it doesn't seem like they'll let us go. They made sure to surround us before closing in. This was planned out. Ichiban Kasuga, how about you come with us? The rest of you are free to go. We've only got business with him. Shame we didn't make the cut. We're looking for this woman. With luck, we'll put some heat on her son and she'll come crawling out. Is that Akane-san? They're looking for her too? What the hell? Who is this woman? Huh. So these guys bit first. Huh? If the others would care to leave, now's your chance. This is your final warning. You ready for this, Kasuga? It's pretty clear there's no other way out. Yeah. What a surprise. All right. Let's throw down. The edge out water with you. Bring it on. Okay. Come on. Oh, come on. Bring it. Come on up. Don't blame <laughs> <laughs> everyone chasing after Akane-san? What do you plan to do once you find her? 
we're just just doing what we were told. I don't know the reason, <laughs> but I do know what we're gonna do to you. Say what? No matter where you run, where you hide, we'll find you, we'll slice you up till there's nothing left. You don't have time for that kind of talk, Kaska. If I had a guess, these guys are just grunts. They don't know a damn thing. We'll be in trouble if more of them come. Better move while we can. I'm sorry to rope you into all this, eh, Chan? No way I can leave you alone now, though. Mind sticking with us for a while? Sure. Forgive me, that wasn't my plan. We should head back to my room for now. Let's get a cab. Goodbye. Thanks. Hold up, Ichiban. Huh? First the Ganja, and now it's Yamai. Mm. Best to assume they found our hideout. Kasuga-san, behind you! <clears throat> Allow me to introduce myself. I come from Kamurocho. Some would call it the armpit of Tokyo, Japan. Born and raised from the sons of an inner city soap land, the name Zichiban Kasuga. Some have even called me the hero of Yokohama. <laughs> Separated from my mother at birth, I am now on a quest to find her. Hawaii is treating you well, I see. But what does that matter? I'm here for this one. It's a great honor to meet you, Kazuma Kiryu-san. Kiryu? Never heard of him. <laughs> and he's a terrible liar, just as they say. My thanks. Now I don't have any doubts. You are the real Kazuma Kiryu, all right. You know, I'll agree with you. He is a bad liar. <laughs> And here I thought it gotten better. I knew you wouldn't die so easily. I just knew it. And to think I'd run into you here of all places. The head of Kazuma Kiryu. What better trophy than the head of a dragon? <laughs> you sound like an ancient barbarian. And their age is dead. Gone. Far as death goes. It could be our turn any minute. <sighs> well said. It's coming for you right now. Try not to disappoint me. Kazuma Kiryu! Atama Kachu! Ready to rumble! Kachu with the dragon of Dojima! I... <laughs> so... Woo! Done! Let's go! Yeah. This better be fun. Much better. Okay. Looks like I'm up. Got you now. Well, I'll be. 
You really are a dragon. At least, that's what I'd like to believe. <clears throat> that was fun, but I think I expected too much. Tell me, are you really Kazuma Kiryu? Are you really the dragon of Dojima? Seems that you've lost your bite. Or maybe just that your legend's outgrown you. Sounds like you've got your answer. Hey, all I know is that you can't lie to save your life. Hey, Yamai, don't you ever lay a hand on Tomisawa again. He's with me now, and he's not coming back. Huh? Who's he? What? I tend to forget about things that don't interest me. You hear that? I just hope you're the real deal. <sighs> anyway, all this talk is boring me. Can't wait for the next one. Maybe then the beast will bear its fangs. Now, take care. He's letting us go. That's it? Yeah, I guess. Yamai's only got eyes for Kiryu-san now, apparently. Hey, so, uh... You think we'll be okay going back to Kiryu-san's room? No, we should probably try a change of scenery. So get a new hotel? No. Remember, we're dealing with the Barracudas and Gancha now. They'll both be looking for us. Hawaii's small, too. The hotel won't guarantee our safety, no matter where it is. But then where are we supposed to go? The Daidoji faction has a safe house here. It's for emergencies just like this. Are you sure about this? You don't have to take us there. It's fine. They're always trying to keep everything secret. Time they learn they can't. If it were really that special, they wouldn't have told me. Let's go. I feel bad. You've come through for us again and again. <laughs> you can repay me later. Now, come on. So this is the safe house? Yeah. There should be plenty of space. Even with all of us, we'll likely fit just fine. I guess this apartment was the only thing they built, huh? It looks like it, at least. A number of the faction's people will be inside. They're not the nicest guys around, but I trust them. Got it. So this must be Ichiban Kasuga. Who's to say? Hard to give a straight answer to one gun, let alone three. Fine. Have it your way. It's not like we've got manpower out here. We're basically helpless. As it stands, we can't do much without his cooperation. I'll say this now so you don't get your hopes up. This is all the faction can muster right now. Huh? It's just you guys? That's, what, four people? It's for the sake of the mission. We want this done without any attention from the U.S. government. They've been stationed here in Hawaii for some time. Only myself and Kiryu-san are here from Japan. This is my boss, Hanawa. No clue if that name's real, though. How intelligent. Not only do you drag outsiders into the mission, you even give them my name. Why am I not surprised? They're all invaluable when it comes to our success. Besides, we're the closest to getting to Akane-san, aren't we? <sighs> Though it pains me to acknowledge it, yes, that is the case. This is Ichiban Kasuga. And they're... Tomizawa-san and Chitose-san, right? Ah, I just met Kiryu-san earlier. 
I'm Eiji Mitamura. Greetings. The Daidoji faction offers you sanctuary. However, we ask one thing in return. Please tell us everything you know about Akane-san. We too wish to find her and keep her safe. As it stands, we share a common goal. You're letting us use this place. We'll help out however we can. Kasuga-san, I must say, I enjoyed that video of yours. <laughs> hey, thanks. Regrettably, its success carries a high price. You've now advertised yourself to threats all over Hawaii. Furthermore, you're no closer to Akane-san than before. All you really did was multiply the enemies you stood to gain, perhaps even tenfold. Yeesh, that's harsh. Kazuga, it's probably about time you told them, huh? What? Told us? What do you mean? Kasuga, when we first talked about shooting the video, you asked if there were groups other than the Barracudas. Right there, I could tell you had another goal in mind. Not only that, but it seemed like you anticipated that Ganja and Yamai would show up. Huh? Is that true? <laughs> Amazing, Kiryu-san. Of course you'd figure me out. The goal of that video, like we planned, was to have Akane-san come find us. That would have been our best case scenario. But apart from that, I was hoping for something else. Mm -hmm. If that video did its job, then we'd see everyone who's involved in this mess. Uh, huh? What do you mean? A guy named Ichiban Kasuga plops down in Hawaii. He's looking for his long lost mother. That info might have drawn attention. And if anyone was going to come after us because of it, well, they'd probably be pretty clued in on everything, right? That's true. Ichiban made it very clear who his mother was. Anyone interested would have to be after the same Akane-san. No one would care otherwise. Exactly! What's more, they would know I exist. They would have already known she's got a son. And if you didn't know all that, you wouldn't bother hunting me down. Hmm. Now, as to where we stand with everyone. The Barracudas, most likely due to Tomi's threats, are out of the picture. Yamai jumped us after seeing the video, but he's now completely zeroed in on Kiryu-san. He didn't say one word about Akane-san. That's true. Hard to imagine that was an act. Right. That means there's only one group at play here. Only one had all the pieces. That's the Ganja. No mistake in it, they know things. Things about Akane-san that even we don't. Huh. Ah, that's right! This has been bugging me this whole time. Looking back on it, didn't the Ganja guys know Ichiban was Akane's son? We're looking for this woman. With luck, we'll put some heat on her son and she'll come crawling out. Oh, whoa. Yeah, they must have. Right. Hanawa-san, it's true the best result would have been getting Akane's attention, and that was the plan. But regardless, we still managed to get a new lead. That's gotta be good for something, right? I see. Yes, well, I suppose things did work out once all was said and done. However, I ask that you refrain from pulling a stunt like that again. <laughs> I'll be more careful from now on. <laughs> well, that's a relief. But man, you should have told us! We're a team, all right? <laughs> hey, I would have felt stupid if it didn't work. You only fill people in if you pull it off. Hey, no fair. <laughs> <laughs> now, just where are the Ganja getting their info? Uh, that's the question. Captain Sawashiro's been in Ijincho the whole time, and I've only told the people here about it. On that note, it's possible there was a leak from somewhere or someone close to Akane-san. Whatever the case, asking the Ganja ought to clear things up. If we figure out who their source is, well, we'll be one step closer to finding her. Good plan. If you ask me, I say we nab one of their boys and make them spit it out. Right. Only thing is, we need at least an officer. It won't do us much good if they're kept out of the loop. Um, they're not an officer. But I know of someone with pretty close ties to the Ganja. The owner of the Nirvana Hotel. 
He's a local celebrity. Nirvana Hotel? Yes. Rumor has it. He's actually the head of the Ganja himself. At least, that's what made its way around the dark web. Just a moment. I'll find a picture. This is him. Wong To. Wong To seems to be a highly valued individual when it comes to the wealthy hiding their assets in Hawaii. On top of that, the Ganja rapidly expanded right around the time he opened the Nirvana Hotel. Wong To is, in all likelihood, an officer within their ranks, maybe higher. Then does that mean the Nirvana Hotel is our next stop? That would be reckless. As it's been said, the Nirvana Hotel is the Ganja's prime base of operations on the island. They've no doubt got it under lock and key, and Wong To is much sharper than Dwight. So it makes District 5 look like a walk in the park, is that it? All right. But with every second, Hawaii's gangs inch closer to finding Akane-san before us. Hanawa-san, there's gotta be something, right? Is there any way we can get close to Wong To? Well, there's no guarantee it will work. But there is one thing you might try. Ah, so you do know a way. Why didn't you say so from the beginning? I'll tell you why. Because it's wholly and highly unrealistic. However, seeing as it's all you've got, I'll fill you in. Supposedly, deep within the Nirvana Hotel is a secret casino set up exclusively for Hawaii's elite. Furthermore, Wong To is said to personally serve the guests there. So if we can get in as guests, we can get in touch with Wong To? We have our finish line. Now how do we cross it? The Nirvana Hotel is not the only casino in town. In fact, they say the Ganja have established similar casinos all over Honolulu. If you can prove you've got the cash at one of those, there's a good chance the Nirvana Hotel will open its doors. <laughs> They're not so stupid as to let go of an easy mark like that. So if we want to meet the Major League coach, we first got to prove ourselves in the minors. Is that right? Sheesh, you sure set the bar high. So these minor league casinos, where exactly are they? That's just it. We don't know. What? The local police have been stumped by it too. They're sure the casinos are out there, but they can't seem to find any hard evidence. Wait, really? Why? Who knows, man? But at least one thing's clear. The first task on our list, find one of these phantom casinos. Yeah, seems like it. Right. Hey, John, what about you? Actually, is it all right if I stay here? I'll be of more use to Kasuga-san and the others that way, I think. Sure. I don't mind. All right. Just call me if anything happens. Sup? What? <laughs> Tell me.
Hey. Oh, hi. Excuse me. Hey there.
Now. Wagata. What's up? I'm on board. So, this it? Yeah, at least it should be. Ah, damn it! Did he pull a fast one on us? Hang on. This does line up with a password. Fried dumplings from the mainland, remember? True. Anyway, why don't we go inside? Maybe we got it wrong? It's like a regular Chinese joint. My sincerest apologies. We just took our last order. We hope you'll stop by again. Huh? Oh, well, you see, we're here for some fried dumplings from the mainland. What now? You know, fried dumplings from the mainland? It, is it too late for those? Please, take a seat at that table there. All right, what's next? Couldn't tell you. Either way, I'm starving. Even if it's wrong, let's at least eat. Fried dumplings sound great right now. Actually, in China, dumplings are usually steamed. They don't fry them too often. Oh, that explains the password. Kiryu-san, look at you. <laughs> Trust me. I know all kinds of useless information. You know, they still haven't taken our orders. We call them over ourselves. Uh, excuse me! Man, that's loud. This was the spot after all. Hidden in plain sight. And it's probably not just here either. I'll bet there's a few more around town. No wonder the police were having trouble. Pardon the delay. Please enjoy yourselves tonight.
Damn it! Okay. Sorry. Here you suck. <laughs> Casca. I'm sorry. Hey. Yeah.
Welcome. Welcome one and all. Now then, if you need anything, I am the manager here. It seems you've Lady Luck on your side, however, so I don't imagine you will. <laughs> Thanks. Come to Hawaii for sightseeing, have you? Well, half business, half pleasure, that sort of thing. Oh, my, my. Say, uh, Mr. Manager, I've had a blast, but honestly, this just isn't cutting it anymore. Oh? And by that you mean... Tossing cheap chips back and forth. We both know that's not real gambling, is it? Actually, I have heard some rumors about the Nirvana Hotel. Yeah. Hmm. Now, I've got the money, but my company's still a newcomer in the industry, you see? I don't exactly have someone to put in a good word. And kind of funny, don't you think? Yeah, a guy with my kind of money's gotta wait it out to have some real fun. Hmm. You'll have to forgive me. As it stands, that location has a screening process that's well beyond my pedigree. For what it's worth, I doubt someone like me could get you in. Come on, be a pal. You're really gonna leave me hanging like that? I'm really counting on you here. Please. I'm sorry. <sighs> Has our luck run out then? Mr. Manager, I believe the Fujinomiya family has been in the care of the Nirvana Hotel in the past. Huh? And you are... Ah, uh, my apologies. I'm the eldest daughter of the Fujinomiya family of Japan. My name is Chitose. This guy here, he's with me. And so are all of them. So as long as they're with me, they're welcome at the Nirvana Hotel as well, correct? Chichon! Hey, think for a second. What if your family finds out about this? And you'll run away with me, right? Ugh. Besides, I really want to help Akane-san. Well, that, and I want to show you I can be cool, too. So, what'll it be, Mr. Manager? Run it by your higher-ups, and you'll quickly see I'm the real deal. Uh, just one moment. You're sure about this? They'll almost definitely contact your family. Well, this'll at least earn me a little more trust, right? <laughs> yeah, no doubt about that. Shit. You just had to act all cool. <laughs> Wasn't I, though? Terribly sorry for the wait. I was able to check with my managers like you asked. And? My sincerest apologies for any trouble, Miss Fujinomiya. You're more than welcome at the Nirvana Hotel. Great, thanks. All right, we're one step closer to Wang Tao. Step nothing? All we've got to do now is reach out. Thanks, chi -chan. See? I can be useful, too. So, what now? We head straight there? I'm sure we'd all like to. But remember, Wang To and his men are currently after Kasuga. 
To have him waltz into the Nirvana Hotel himself is like... ...leading him off to a flame? You're not wrong. Kasuga, you take support on this one. Wait, support? You sure? I mean, I'll be honest, I'm no tactician or anything. We'll handle things on the inside. You be our eyes. This is no ordinary hideout, with a secret casino inside Ganja HQ. Should things take a turn, we'll want an escape route. I'll ask Kanawa to get us some equipment. He'll know what we need. <laughs> so I'm on comms. <laughs> this ought to be interesting. Listen up. Thanks. Pardon? Okay. Miss Fujinomiya, we've been expecting you. Thank you. Man, this place is stuffy out the ass. Whew. How's the view? Crystal clear. Gotta hand it to the Daidoji. <laughs> this really is just like 007. If you say so. We're about to set foot inside. If we start to lose connection, let me know. Okay. Look after those two Kiryu-san. And be careful. Will do. Alright. Let's get this done. <sighs> Damn suit you can suffocate me, and these socks make my feet feel all itchy. And why doesn't everyone just wear sandals? Ugh. Can you grow up? We're on a mission. Right this way, Miss Fujinomiya. Mm. Wonderful. Well, Kiryu-san? Care to be my arm candy tonight? As you wish. Whoa! Oh! Damn! That was cool! Uh, hey, guys! What, what do I get to do? I don't know. Hold my drinks. What? <laughs> oh, come on! We're on the elevator. You still with us? Uh, a little spotty here and there, but it's fine. The security at District 5 was nothing compared to this. <sighs> no kidding. Chichon really came through for us. Thank you for waiting. Floor seven and a half. Good luck to you.
So, the casino's just beyond, huh? Right. The real game's about to begin. This is way cheesier than I imagined. No, this place is definitely catering to the VIPs. Take a look. What are those? Gaming plaques for all the high rollers. One right there is a hundred grand. <laughs> for one bet? Fuck that. Kasuga, you seeing this? Yeah. Anyone look like the kind of guy Wong To might approach? Someone really raking it in? Not yet. Hey, handsome. <laughs> but kill you, son! What the hell are you doing? Just giving you a little change of scenery. <laughs> Thank you. By doing that? How thoughtful. Well, we looked around, but didn't see anyone winning big or making a show. Most of the guests here are Asian. And look, they're all having a blast. Hey, I just overheard some of the other guests. Apparently the owner's gonna show up soon. The owner? That has to be Wong To, right? Yep, sure is. Seems he's here just about every day. You said soon. How soon are we talking? Well, I can't say for sure. <sighs> Actually, yes, I can. He's here. That our man? Welcome to the Nirvana Hotel. Your family's contributed so much to us over the years, Chitosi Fujinomiya. Oh, and our unannounced guest, Ichiban Kasuga. Nice to meet you. So you knew from the start. And I thought you might have noticed. Before you even stepped inside, we already run all sorts of body checks on you. No reason we can't sniff out a few spy gadgets, especially here. After all, we welcome VIPs from every corner of the globe. Oh, for VIPs. This crowd sure doesn't act like it. They're a special breed. The guests here have grown tired of the usual luxury, you see. They come here because they want to satisfy their superiority. Over what? Over this whole idealistic country. That's what. These people share a common thread. They were all chasing after the great American dream. A dream that prizes machismo and freedom over all else. The America they sought was too good to be true. Yet all the while, it told them they were vastly inferior. So to rid themselves of that feeling, they worked their fingers to the bone. But by the time their hard work might have finally paid off, the America they knew was long gone. This new America valued diversity, condemned masculinity, and now more than anything, put caution over freedom. Right. And you're dealing out the American dream in spades, is that it? Exactly. This is the America they held in their hearts. A place of promise they secretly hated just as much as they sung its praises. 
and we let our guests fulfill their heart's desires to the absolute fullest. Quite a concept, wouldn't you say? Enjoy yourselves, and I'm sure you'll agree. Unfortunately, we're not here for that. We're here for you. Well, that's quite the honor. You're most welcome. Especially this Kasuga I've been hearing so much about. Might I ask that he join us as well? Tell him to stay put. They're up to something. No. Whatever his goal is, he's threatening Kasuga right now. He's saying if he doesn't come, we'll all die. Ah. <sighs> <sighs> I see you know how this works. That's it then. You get all that? Yeah. I'll head up right now. Ah. Seems he's here. Jay, you guys all right? All good. I swear, I will never get used to this sort of thing. You don't think? Glad you could make it. Welcome, Ichiban Kasuga. Thanks for the invite. There's a lot I need to ask you. Not when I have questions for you. And I'm sure you know what those are. Akane-san, right? We're here for the same thing. That's fine. But it's a little loud here. Please, why don't we take this to the back of the house? Drinks are... Of course, on me. Not gonna let us enjoy the place a bit? We're here as your guests, after all. My apologies. However, a minute with me is rather expensive. Suffice to say, you might as well have hit the jackpot. Aren't we lucky? Just putting it out there. Anyway, let's go. Please. What the? Oh, wait, wait. This is it. This is the big boss's office? I heard of cutting corners, but man. We got an all access tour of your friends, the Barracuda's place, the other day. Their boss's pad is straight out of a mafia movie. Guess you like to keep things simple, huh? A long time ago. I was desperate to surround myself with expensive things. I worked for my money, so why not? But at some point, I came to see the truth of it all. If it had a price, I could get it. Whatever I wanted, whenever I wanted it. As long as I was sure of that, the possessions didn't matter. Have, have not, it makes no difference. This is all I need. The things that get the job done. For me, that's this desk, this chair, and this computer. The people out there rejoice and wallow over dice and cards. And with every passing bet, there's still none the wiser. So maybe the customer isn't king. But all that aside, I can't say I'm one for looking down on people. <laughs> Perhaps I said too much. I doubt there's very many who could relate. Now. To the matter at hand. Ichiban Kasuga, you're the estranged son of Akane, the director of the Palekana Orphanage. Do I have that right? Actually, I'm still trying to confirm that myself. But yeah, probably. We're looking for Akane as well. If you know her whereabouts, I ask that you please tell us. Naturally, you won't leave empty handed. Sorry, but I don't know. <laughs> Even if I did, I wouldn't tell you. Huh. You seem confident in that. Care to put it to the test? Huh? What do you say? Like it even matters. 
You fellas better get ready. He's gonna dodge every last one. Think you twice already? Time to put you down! Looks like your numbers were off a bit, huh? Now we can finally hash things out. You've got a lot to tell us, after all. I want to know why you're after Akane-san. What are you going to do once you find her? Also, who the hell told you I was her son? Maybe try one question at a time. Oh, it's your pick. You're telling me either way. Look, you're all out of chips at this point, see? Mod. Wangto, right? So then should I assume you're the boss of the Ganja? More like Commander. Oh, hey, my bad. All right, Mr. Commander. Why go through all this trouble to get to Akane-san? She's just the director of some orphanage. What's a nice lady like her got to do with you? Better answer while it's still me asking the questions. Kiryu-san's not as friendly as I am. You were tougher than I expected. So I'm actually a little worn out. Don't worry. A few minutes with me, and you'll practically be singing. Look, I'd prefer giving that mug of yours a break. Besides, you've got your boys watching you. Making you cry out in the open like this seems a little cruel, don't you think? I'd rather not embarrass you. We were asked to look for the old lady. It's the same with the Barracudas. It's a... a request from the Overseer. Overseer? What do you mean? Aren't you the Overseer here? I'm not talking about some pit boss who runs things at the Nirvana. I mean the Overseer of this whole state. Wait, all of Hawaii? The Ganja and the Barracudas may seem like competition on the surface, but in reality, we're all just cells of the Overseer. In the end, he's the one pulling the strings. <sighs> that meddlesome woman. She made off with the Overseer's treasure. If we were to get it back, then he'd owe us for all it's worth. In fact, I'm sure he'll pay that and then some. The hell? Tongshuai, <laughs> Huh? Hey, sit down! Lao板会成倍给您的,可不只是帮他干活的报酬。背叛时需要付出的代价,也是翻倍的。<laughs> <laughs> 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 
。你小子，难道是老板那边的奸细？你已经背叛了的事，很快就会传到老板手下的耳朵里。接下来，就由我来举火为号吧。Hey, say something we can understand. Understood him. What was he saying? That my betrayal would be known by all, overseer included. So the guy who jumped, he was one of the overseer's spies. What else did he say? He said something about setting off a signal, and he jumped. A signal. And is that why he jumped? Was his death the signal? My son's in danger. My son. What? 快联系我儿子在的那个房间，让人收好，谁也别放出来。Hurry up and untie them. My boy needs them now. Wait, huh? I, but I'm not too clear on it. But do what he says. It seems like an emergency. Oh, if you say so, Kiryu son. Please let me see my son. He's in the penthouse. It's it's on the top floor. Fine, but not on your own. We're coming with you. Then this way, hurry! Your son. He's only six. His mother left him some time ago. I've got a sitter with him. Six, huh? It's just a little guy. You must. Actually, you don't need to worry about it, Tongshan. Because the Lin Lang is now not in this room. That girl is also our person. We were there before you met us. We're too late. My son's already been taken. Then, are these guys? That's right. More pawns of the Overseer. Seems I have no one left to trust. It's clear that you were in the first place. This kind of behavior is the most dangerous thing to me. 我宰了你 ！OK， you asked for it。OK。哼。You're in it now。Oh come on。为什么？想动手吗？啊！哼！我。我。我。I feel great。Allow me。Ready when you are。走了。Allow me. It's over. Alright. Got you now. Armed and ready. Hunt. 
儿子带去哪儿了？你又对他做什么？<笑>比起你儿子，还是先担心一下你自己吧。你说什么？我会让你儿子死在你的眼前，然后再杀了你。所以你儿子现在没事的，<笑>放心啦。混蛋，居然这样和我说话，你怎么敢？Any idea where they're taking your son? No. And regardless, we need to get far away from this place. Please, you have to get me out of here. I'll tell you whatever you want. Right now, there's no knowing which of my men I can trust. Here, you son. Let's start by getting out of this hotel. Come on. We need to find a safe place to lay low. That guy might have been an ally, you know. At this point, who's to say? We've no time to worry about him. Wamto's left the hotel with Kasuga and his crew. They're heading south. So make sure you tell the cops they went north. Got it. Over here! Someone just fell out the window! Come quick! I've never seen anything like this! Hello? Yeah, Eichan? Kasuga-san, the news is all over the internet. What happened out there? An employee was thrown out of a window at the Nirvana Hotel. Kasuga? Sorry, Aton. We'll talk later. And the police? They're taking off. What's that mean? Simple. We're on our own. If the police didn't see it, it's not their problem. Damn it. That bastard. Is there anyone he doesn't control? Hey, tell me. Have you always been public enemy number one? No! I was... The Overseer played me. I never expected this. Well, maybe you should have. Shut your mouth! That's enough. Now stay calm. We'll make it out of this. Moment of truth. Let's go! Bring it on! Okay. Go with that now. Prepare yourself! We did it. Yeah. Ah! For a son of a bitch! Ah! Hey, Wong Tu! Shit! Chi Chan, you got a bandana or something? We gotta tie this up and stop the bleeding. Yeah. Hold on, I think I had something. Wong Toe's key here, and we'll need the time to talk. What's more, we need someone we won't get attacked. Well, for that, we'll want to get ourselves a car. Still, let's start by getting out of here. Hey, Ichiban, we're moving Wong. Give me a hand here. 
Yo, Ichiban, let's stop here for now. Give him a sec to breathe. Hey, you all right, Wong Toe? I'm feeling a bit lightheaded now. To think everything was fine before you all showed up. Yeah, must be hard. All right, I'll find us a car. No point trying to get him up on his feet again. Good plan. We'll get him patched up once we're at the safe house. Appreciate it. I'll come back as soon as I can. Yeah, Godspeed. Are you sure he won't betray you? <laughs> hey, maybe you can't exactly trust anyone right now. But Tomi will come through. Oh, well. Even if he does keep his word... It won't mean all that much to a dead man. Well, you look all right to me. Just hang in there. There's a lot we still need to hear from you. <laughs> and that would be... You were looking for Akane-san. That's because this overseer asked you to, right? You said Akane-san's on the run with some kind of treasure. Yeah. Who is this guy? Just who is this overseer? The overseer. He's got more control over the island than I'd ever thought possible. He placed spies in my organization, spies in the police. He's even got insiders with the Barracudas. And their loyalty, the lengths they'll go to, it's the real deal. You saw it, didn't you? The way that man jumped back there. He gave his life just so I'd be branded a traitor. For no reason other than calling me out. The Overseer, the one in charge, is Bryce. Bryce? As in the Sage of Polycana, conniving old bastard. He's the one who had us do the search. No way. I met him. He's the one behind this? Why? After everything Akane-san's done, all she wanted was to help people. And now, an entire religion's coming after her? Why? I mean, wasn't Polykana... Akane-san believed in that stuff too, right? Seriously? Why is Akane-san so important to these guys? See for yourself. We caught this on camera about two weeks back. Polykana. It's their orphanage, right? Sure seems like it. Yeah. This is where she worked. Look here, Kasuga. The picture that Daidoji faction gave me is the same photo. Whoa, you're right. Hey, tell me, who's this girl with Akane-san? She's not just some girl. You see, Bryce is really after her. Uh -huh. Her name is Lonnie. This island. Bryce may think of himself as its new god, but she could take that all away. The girl's his Achilles heel. Knowing how Bryce works, he'll do whatever it takes to track her down and snuff her out. Snuff her out? A poor little girl?
You said her name's Lonnie? What the hell's Bryce want with a kid like her? What's killing her gonna solve? Hang on. First, who is Bryce, really? How does one man control all of Hawaii's underworld? Care to explain that? I don't know the details myself. By the time I started gaining prominence here, Bryce was already the sage of Polycana, and well in charge. Right, okay. And how far back was that? This was 30 years ago. Fair to say Bryce was always here. His control over the underworlds lasted at least all this time. And get this. He looked exactly the same back then. 30 years ago? Wait, then how old is he now? Sounds like he's easily over 90. If that's really the case, he must be some kind of monster. Back in my early days, I had my sights set on expanding to America's mainland. In a sense, Hawaii was supposed to be a sort of stepping stone. Things were going well. I had driven out the existing Chinese presence and become the king of a new regime in Hawaii. And it's been Ganja ever since, huh? That's right. But something occurred, just as I was about to make my next move. You see, it was then I got a visitor. I speak for the Overseer. That was how he greeted me. The Overseer? By that, he meant Bryce? Correct. Well, I didn't know that at the time. Naturally, all I saw was a no-name fool spitting hollow threats. And given my newfound status here, I promptly sent him packing. That was a grave mistake. Huh? No more than a week later, I received a mysterious package. It was a small cardboard box. Even stranger, the sender was my hometown. <sighs> when I looked inside, I found a head staring back at me. And it wasn't just anyone's. It was my mother's. <gasps> to uncover my place of birth alone was by no means an easy task. But he'd quickly proven otherwise. I chose to shove it in my face. And it was then and there I knew what I was up against. And after that, it will side with Bryce or suffer the consequences. Right. Granted, I was always looking for a chance at revenge. Truly, I may have kneeled, but I could never let my mother's death go unanswered. To that end, I went to great lengths selecting men I could trust. There was no knowing what would make its way back to Bryce. And still... That suit, right? Bryce's spies were right under your nose the whole time. So it would seem. Furthermore, Palakana is at the heart of this whole mess. Bryce's spies, they're bred from within Palakana itself. What, like brainwashing? Exactly. He uses his position as sage to influence believers. And once he has their trust, he makes himself their object of worship. Those he lures in, follow his every command. Not even death is off the table, long as it's for his sake. You saw that for yourself back at the hotel. Bryce's role as Palakana Sage is everything to him. It's more than just a front, much more. Okay, Bryce is no joke, I get that. But back to my original question. Why the hell is this Lonnie so important to him? Well, I'm not sure. It's like I said before, as far as we know, Dwight and I are only following Bryce's orders. That's not to mention that we rarely receive those from the man himself. However, this time, we did. He told us to find the girl named Lonnie at all costs, and that Akane be with her. He said she was trying to keep her safe. That's all we were ever told, no rhyme or reason. Bryce had given the order, and with that, we had no choice but to follow. Ah, Dwight left that out. In fact, he was pretty vague about things. He told us an unknown client offered him 10 mil and that's it. Hmm. The Overseer's identity is the last thing he let slip. Wouldn't you know? He bought his story, hook, line, and sinker. Sneaky bastard. Who knew he was such an actor? Anyway, if this was some rare direct order from Bryce, 
And Akane-san and this Lani girl are special. You wouldn't pull out all the stops otherwise. And that's why you thought Lani was Bryce's weak point. Is that right? Yeah. I thought if I could get my hands on her, Bryce would be the one bowing down to me. But I was foolish. So we got mafia bosses and casino managers at play. Two grown-ass men with pretty major titles chasing after a kid with no real clue as to why. <sighs> and then there's Akane-san. She must have realized that Lani was being targeted. Fair to say, that's why she ran off with her. Yeah, that makes sense to me. Based on this, she looks about ten. That right? Yeah. She's just a kid. Her best hope was someone pulling her from the lion's den. If not for Akane-san, she'd have never stood a chance. Kiryu-san. She needs our help. Right now, it's darkness at every turn for her, and there's no end in sight. She needs someone to show her there's a way out. That there is a light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah. I'm with you on that 100%, Kiryu-san. They have my son, too. Polycana stole him from me. I won't abandon him. Ugh. Now what? From the looks of it, they aren't with me. Ahoy! Wong To! <gasps> we know you're still out there. You're still limping around. Must be fun, eh? Come on and show yourself. I'll fix you right up. It's Yamai. He must have sniffed us out. You saying he works for Polycana too? No. To Yamai, Hawaii's just another rock out at sea. He's nowhere on the Overseer's radar. He's too small time to be. Yeah? And what's he doing here? From where Yamai sits, the Ganja are collapsing. This is the perfect chance to wipe us out. And sure enough, he's taking it. You fellas are here too, yeah? Kasuga, Kiryu-san. Wong To's the main event tonight. Hand him over, and I guarantee you boys will go out in one, maybe two swings. Gee, how generous. Doesn't look like they're coming out, boss. Maybe they scampered off. Nah, not while the Gibbs still with them. Unless they've got a stretcher, they're not going anywhere. They're probably skulking around in the shadows. But boss, how the hell do we find him when it's this dark? What? Having trouble seeing? All right, then. Let me get a light. Uh, huh? Uh, oh, allow me, boss. Hey, I don't hear anything. You think they backed off? No way. Your mind would never give up that easily. That's for sure. Oh, come on. Huh? 
Well now, this ought to brighten things. Plus, it's warm. So, two birds, one stone. Shit. Cold out here. He's out of his mind. We're gonna get fried if we stick around. Let's move! Uh, 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 Kill Okay, so we take him out. Then what do we do? Not to worry, Chichan. We'll make it out. Tomi, I hope you're ready, pal. Right then. I wonder how you'll handle things this time around, Kazuma Kiryu. Let's see whether the dragon breathes fire or his last breath, shall we? Something fell down! I think it's from one of these trees. Maybe we can use it. It's too hot. The fire is out of control. Yeah, worst thing we want is to get too close. Here we go. Let's go! Time to put you down! Let's get it done! I'll take you on. Follow my lead. No holding back. That's picking time! Open wide! Feel the wind in your heart! Hold it up, okay, Kiryu son? Yeah, though not for long. If we don't move, we're dead. Well, we want to leave Wangto behind then? There's no way in hell we'll drag him out of here in time. Wait, come on, you gotta help me. Hey, we couldn't even if we wanted to. The only way we're getting out of this is. He's here! Look sharp, everyone! <laughs> Get in, quick! Here, give me a hand! Come on, try to push through it! Go and take the wheel, Chitose. Right! Legend ends, I see. Kiryu san! Kiryu san! Forget it! Just go! If we all get ourselves killed, Akane and Lani will have no one. Chitose, time to roll! No! No way! Not yet! I can take care of myself. Go! Kiryu san! chose to cut and run, eh? All that, and the only thing I'm left with is a dying fossil. You know, there was once a time when I actually looked up to you. What a waste. <laughs> Looks like 
they turned off Kiryu-san's phone. GPS really would have helped us out about now. Indeed. Just try to take it easy for now, Kazuka-san. Right. Sorry. From what everyone said, it's best to assume Kiryu-san's been captured. If they'd killed him, there'd be no reason to disable the GPS. Well, hang on. Kiryu-san still could have been dumped out at sea, right? I mean, I'd have shut his phone off real quick. I suppose that's possible, isn't it? Though your inability to read the room is truly remarkable. Huh? Uh, well, I mean, I just thought we should consider all the angles. Tell me, maybe consider shutting up first. Ugh. Kiryu-san wouldn't go down that easy. Still, right now he needs all the help he can get. And fast. Yes. In fact, our search for Akane-san and Lani will have to wait. His rescue should be our number one priority. Huh. I figured you'd say the opposite. You thought I'd write Kiryu off as a pawn and tell you to stick to the mission? It's true. He is being used by the Daidoji faction. However, he simply cannot be replaced. If our mission wants any hope of success, Kiryu-san must be brought to safety. Yamai has probably got him tied up at his hideout. And I think I know just the place. Pretty sure I visited once. Good. This will be quick then. Kiryu-san will be back before we know it. Yeah, well, that's easier said than done. We barely escaped our last battle with that lunatic, remember? And let's not forget that we're down Kiryu-san this time. It's gonna be tough. Hanawa-san, think we can count on you for backup? I get winded just walking up the stairs. Does that answer your question? We'll ask someone else. I can't believe Kiryu-san took orders from this guy. Oh, hi. No. Very well. Okay. Hey, Kasuga. Yo, it's your old pal. Adachi san? Who else? Aloha. <laughs> Care to guess where I am right now? Oh, uh, well, uh, 
I, hey, look, I'm happy you called, but I'm kind of busy right now. I don't exactly have time to chat. Oh, figured as much. In fact, I had a pretty big hunch. Huh? Where are you at right now? I'm ready to pitch in, so maybe come get me. I mean it. I'm walking out of the airport. The airport? Wait, in Hawaii? Hey, hey, I'm here too, Ichiban. It's your best buddy, Nanba-san. Hang on a sec. What are you guys up to? You know how boring things get when you're out of work? We figured you might need some help your first time out of the country. So we're here to please. You guys rule! I really, really need your help, like, right now. <laughs> Glad to hear it. You're at the airport, right? Uh, tell you what, how about we meet at the beach instead? Sorry to hit you with the drama straight away, but, um... I'm in a jam with the Yakuza again. We gotta save Kiryu-san this time around. Say what? Now that you're here, I think we might actually have a chance. See you soon. We got our reinforcements. Let's not keep Kiryu-san waiting, huh? You guys are pretty tough, huh? Tougher than us? Trust me, they're the best of the best. Anyway, let's move. I'll fill you guys in later. Yo, Ichiba! <gasps> Nanba! Adachi-san! Sorry to keep you. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are really here! Man, feels like a lifetime since we last saw each hey, other. come on. It hasn't been that long. What the hell you been doing out here? Better question. Who are the kids, huh? Oh, right. <laughs> uh, let me introduce you. <laughs> this is Chi-chan and Tomi. Yeah, how's it going? We've been duking it out with every gang on the island. Now, we're all pals. Hey there. I see. So they're the new party for Hawaii, huh? <laughs> all right, but what's this about gangs? How'd you even get involved in something like that? I thought you were here to meet your mom. Actually, it's kind of a long story. <laughs> yeah, where do we start? I mean, I was born and uh, raised I, and... I think that's going a little too far back. Uh, next time, yeah? Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Kiryu-san's locked up in enemy territory. Give me a sec, and I'll get you guys up to speed. Sure. Sorry to spring that, seeing as you just got here. Uh, this ain't the first time, and sure as hell ain't the last, right? Yeah, what else is new? Sure beats sitting on your ass. Plus, it's for Kasuga. If I gotta get jerked around now and then, so be it. <laughs> well... I told you, they're the best, uh, didn't I? Uh, you <laughs> were right. right, right. <laughs> yeah. Right, right. 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 Okay, we got a dragon to save. Keep that up, I'm gonna have to get some of that poke. <laughs> okay, I think I got it. Okay, so the place this Yamai character's hold up is called Night Square. Is that right? Kiryu san's gotta be there. Yeah. If we want him back, taking down Yamai's the only way. Ugh, oh, what a mess. <laughs> no time for sightseeing on this voyage, I guess. Kiryu san comes first, and then I promise I'll show you around. Let's go. Yamai's little castle's about to get stormed. Oh, it's a crazy plan, but still. It ain't half bad now, is it? Not bad at all. All right. High time Kiryu-san got rescued. Hurry your ass up, Ichiban. Clock's ticking, yeah? Yeah. Here we go. I'm counting on you. You hear? Expected. It's definitely not the rinsiest part of town. Still, Hawaii's nightlife practically lives here, and Yamai's gang controls every inch. As you can imagine, there's a lot of Japanese folk. And Yamai's cronies? Where do we find them? 
hey, we wander around enough, and they'll find us. If you recall, I'm already on their shit list for being a deserter. You okay, Tommy? You don't look too happy right now. I'm good. Actually, I'm more worried about Kiryu-san at the moment. Ichiban, there's a tattoo shop just ahead. The lady who runs the place happens to be an old friend of mine. Real in the no gal. She's no spring chicken, and she treats Yamai and his gang like a bunch of kids. He even respects her for it. Meaning? Meaning, if she knows something, Yamai's rat pack ain't gonna scare her out of talking. No kidding. Let's stop by. Welcome in. Hey there. My friends and I have a quick question for you. Got a sec? You guys aren't customers? <laughs> Sorry, just me. Tomizawa. <sighs> You've got guts showing your face around here. Yamai's gonna drag you through the street. I'm sure he'd like to. Anyway, look. Yamai's holding a friend of ours captive. What do you think? You hear anything about that? Couldn't tell you. Yakuza don't bring nothing but trouble. Honestly, anything would help. This guy Yamai's got, he's done everything for me. He's really sick, and he needs our help fast. Sorry, but I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. Yamai's goons are here. I'll be. So Hawaii's boys are keeping the classic Yakuza do alive and well, eh? I'd say it goes well beyond just the haircut. Appreciate the heads up. We'll see if these guys know anything. Be my guest. You got a lot of nerve running your mouth in someone else's turn. Hey, another surprise. A Hawaiian Yakuza with a Hiroshima twang. It's a dying breed even back in Japan. Crazy to think such an endangered species would find its way out here. <laughs> yeah, almost makes him kind of cute. Yeah. Ha ha, but let's not die here, okay? Kiryu-san's friends are here to get him. Know where he is? This chump's got some guts, doesn't he? Let's rip him out! So you Alright, let's go! Up. <laughs> what? <gasps> yeah! yeah. Have fun with this. Let's get it done. You want to fight? Oh, come on. Let's get it done. Looks like I'm up. I may talk big, but at least I can back it up, asshole. Shut your yap. I finished with you yet. Cut the crap and tell me where Kiryu-san is. Or do you want to get knocked around a little more? Come on, spit it out. Let's both walk out of here in one piece. All right, fine. The theater building. Theater building? I know it. Yeah, see, it's right over there. It used to be a big playhouse. Yamai runs things from the top floor now. You know, if you were gonna trap curious on somewhere, it really isn't a bad choice. I'll say, especially if Yamai's in there. But it's crawling with his boys, too. Yeah, but that won't stop me. Dolls and Devil's Playhouse? Interesting thing they hey, got going. You. Yeah, it's what a little more well-known nightclubs. They got these sexy dancers surrounding you while you eat, drink, chill, whatever. Dinner and a show, huh? I guess that's a thing over here too. Oh, let's check it out. You guys feeling brave enough? Uh hey, come on, there. how often are we in Hawaii? It's an experience. True, it would leave an impression. And hey, it might be fun. <laughs> I wonder what. Tell me, Kiryu-san's probably pretty well guarded, right? 
Yeah, if you ask me, best bet's the top floor. Only Yamai's confidants can get in there. And I've only been up there a handful of times myself. You've had run-ins with our buddy Yamai before, right? What's he like? Well, he's tough as nails, that's for sure. More than anything, he's just plain eerie. You never know what that guy's thinking. It's the eyes. You don't get a stare like that without some crazy story behind it. Regular devil, huh? Guess we better watch our backs then. Yeah, but there's more. He's got some kind of weird charm. A loyal bunch like them's hard to come by. I see. Sounds like we showed up in the nick of time. You sure did. Hey man, am I glad. Okay, let's rumble! Good question. Now you're going down. Let's go. Okay. Looks like I'm up. Got you now. Armed and ready. Pain in the ass. Oh. Yeah. So, their hideout's the theater itself, huh? Don't see that every day. Not like there's customers. No way with how they treat the place. Yeah, they've been using it a while now. It's basically their playground. Never know when they'll show up. Watch your back, yeah. In it for the long haul. You're going down. Let's get it done. No. up hey man
Huh? What's this? Looks like a cabaret on its last legs. Adachi-san, Namba, that would be a mine. Ah, get a load of him. Still, Stiggs could use a little dusting. Wasn't sure you'd make it up here. Give yourselves a hand. Where's Kiryu-san? Oh, so that's why you barged in, is it? He'd better be okay. Eh. Uh... What was that? Oh, ho ho. Tomizawa's tagged in too, huh? Little Tiger's got some scruff strutting back in here. Then again, maybe I'm just a joke to you now. Actually, I'd say the Tomi you knew is long gone. Now, give us back Kiryu-san. Come on. As if flapping your lips is all it'd take. Don't forget, you used to be one of us. You want to get your way, you gotta step up to the plate. Oh, great. Life lessons from Hawaii's resident psychopath. And plenty of bark from Kiryu's little fan club. Let's just hope you've got some bite, eh? Yeah, we got you covered. <laughs> oh, relax. Yeah. Why don't you just leave him be? That's right. Forget him. Uh, You're so uh, mean. <laughs> I'll finish it quick, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> Safe to say he's got the advantage. Have fun with this. Hope this hurts. <laughs> oh, got you now. Got it, sir. Don't worry. Gotta do something about this. Oh, come on. One more time. Kiryu-san, where is he? <laughs> and if I say I don't know... <sighs> and I'll make it so you do know, Yamai. Tomizawa. Choice is yours, but you know what you gotta do. Or do you want to be disgraced even more? Grace and I split ways a long time ago. Now then, you gonna take your swing or what? Toby! That's enough. Kiryu-san is safe and sound. Hey. That said, if you lay another finger on the boss, I can't guarantee he'll stay that way. How about that? You really do have a way with people, don't you? Now there's a keeper. Man, what I wouldn't give for a girl like that. What, like it's too late? 
If you're serious, I say go for it. <laughs> you better show up at the wedding. I'm coming in. We have guests. Keep your voice down. He needs to rest. So, uh, you've been looking after him? I just did what the boss asked me to do. Apparently, he used to look up to this guy way back when. Yamai did? He's been asleep ever since they brought him in. His wounds aren't too serious, so I'd wager it's something internal. Figures. If anyone's gonna push himself, it's kiryu son. First aid is about all I can do at this time. Now take your friend and get out of here. I swear, if I'd known about all this, I'd have called off the fight. Yeah, though he is still chasing after Akane-san, right? He hasn't given up on that, he's still trouble. Yamai. Yamai, what's your plan once you find Akane-san? Akane? Oh, you mean the old bat. Hey, have a little respect, will you? Anyway, why even bother going after her? Because the entire Hawaiian underworld's on the hunt. I got no idea what she's worth, but I'll find out once I get my hands on her. That's really all? I've been in Hawaii for a while now, but it's hard making yourself known. The Barracudas and the Genja, we're not fit to lick their boots. So if I can get my hands on their precious little prize first, I'll have a big cushy seat at the negotiating table. Negotiating? You act like it's a business deal. But really, don't you see you're just using Akane and Lani's lives to get what you want? Everyone's on the prowl, and you don't scramble like that without good reason. By the way, who's this Lani you mentioned? <laughs> I'm glad you asked. Means maybe you still have a heart after all. Let me explain. Whether you believe it or not, well, that's up to you. So, Pale Kana's golden boy is the big kahuna out here, and he's after this little Lani snot, eh? Boring story like that. It must be true. Y you mean you believe me? Tomizawa's switched sides. Kiryu's got your back. <laughs> you don't seem like too great a liar. On top of that, I now know why they're going nuts enough to chase some bird around town. Hmm, I'll leave the lady be. I'm not so strapped for cash I need to prey on a kid. Huh. <sighs> Once Kiryu's awake, pack up and get lost. You stay off my turf, and for good. We never see each other again. Deal. Yamai, I just have one more thing. Hmm? Kiryu-san pulled through, and for that, you have my thanks. I owe you one. <sighs> I had nothing to gain. You don't get glory from kicking a corpse. No, you're a better man than I took you for. Well, not that much better, but it's something. Sure. Keep thinking that. <laughs> to me, Kazuma Kiryu is family. Uncle Kaz! <laughs>
Where do you live? You don't have a home, kid? The orphanage. I snuck out. You live in an orphanage? Wait, kid. Hey, there she is! Get the girl! After her! Don't let her get away! Stop! Hey, stop! Just a girl. Keep your hands off her! Cure your son. You're safe now. We're looking after you. Kasuga. What happened? We talked things out with Yamai. It turns out, he didn't know anything. He was only looking for Akane-san to get a leg up on the competition. No other new info, though, I'm afraid. Even now, Akane-san and Lani are still out there. I see. Please, leave the rest of this to us. Hmm? Hear you, son. Think about it. You can't keep pushing yourself to the edge like that. Sorry to make an ass of myself, but I knew what I was getting into. I'm all good now. Still with the tough guy act? How are you in any way all good, huh? Here you, son! Look here, I used to be a nurse, so I want you to keep that in mind and listen to me. I know I don't have much time left. There's just something I need to do. You mean rescuing Lani and Akane-san? You don't have a chance in hell. What? Go back to Japan and focus on recovering. Anything else, and you'll just weigh Kasuga's son and the others down. <clears throat> My mission has always been to secure Akane-san as quickly as possible. Objectively speaking, your staying here would be a hindrance to the mission. Kasuga's son is clearly worried about you as it is, and it would only stand to slow him down. Ultimately, that may end up putting Lani in danger. <laughs> I doubt that's what you want. Lani and Haruka Sawamura are kindred spirits, wouldn't you say? Haruka Sawamura? As Kiryu-san might say, she's essentially his daughter. Once known as the girl worth 10 billion yen, she too was a poor child hounded by man's greed. Had Kiryu-san not protected her, she would have been all but erased, and with little fanfare. Lani's no different. Even in my eyes, her situation aligns with Haruka's in many ways. <sighs> Kiryu-san, I can see why you're so determined to help her. However, in your current condition, you couldn't even rescue yourself. It doesn't take a nurse to discern that, now does it? Hey, give it a rest. Hear you, Sana. Just take it easy for a bit. Namba said he'd go back to Japan with you. Akane san and Lani will be okay. I swear we'll figure it out. Remember, it's not just me. I've got Adachi san, Chichan, and Tomi too. So please, can you let us take it from here? Hear you, Sana. You know, it's pathetic. A guy my age, forcing those younger than him to ask that. And twice. Leave it to you, huh? You're right. I've been too scared to rely on others for too long. <laughs> scared? Here you son, you... Yeah. I think I'm finally starting to realize that. <laughs> the longer your life, the more surprises. <sighs> yeah, no kidding. All right. Sorry to ask. But Akane-san and Lani need you. Will you help them, Kasuga? Everyone. We're on it. Ichiban.
Nani-san and Lani need our help. Let me know when you find him. Hey, you know it. In fact, you'll be the first on the list. Seeing you, Ichiban. Uh, actually, hang on. You got a sick? Huh? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you. Barely just got here, and Chichan's got you wrapped around her finger. Sachan's old news now, is that it? You dog. Hey, look, it's nothing like that. But besides, man, she's like 20 years younger than me. Yeah, and I'm sure that's got its perks. Come on, say it with me. Chi-chan. <laughs> <laughs> You're nuts. You know, you came all this way. It's a shame we didn't get to hang out like this. Sorry about that. <laughs> it's been fun. <laughs> well, do me proud, Namba. <laughs> Always. See ya. of Dojima left everything to you. Bet you're feeling the pressure now, huh, Ichiban? <laughs> yeah. Still. I won't let him down. So, how about it? You got any more ideas for how to find those two? Don't tell me you're gonna upload another video and sit back. Hey, it's not like that was for nothing, right? For all any of us know, Akane-san could message him any second. Akane-san worked as the director of an orphanage. What's more, Polykana ran the place. There's a thought. Polykana folks will probably know a thing or two. We've already been there, though. We may not have known about Bryce's identity at the time, but we didn't find any clues either. Besides, they're not the type. None of them would have ties to a gang or anything. Maybe so, but it's a lead all the same. And it's the only one we got. We'll just have to go and see for ourselves. Sounds like a plan. A good cop always revisits the scene of the crime. So this is the place? Malikana's got quite a little setup going here. Yeah, but still, it's weirdly quiet today. Last time we came, there were kids everywhere. Oh, look, there's one. These kids are pretty friendly, right? Isn't that what you said? Yeah, no mistake. Something's off. Maybe someone's pulled the wool over their eyes, led them astray somehow. That bit about rescanning the crime scene holds true. Hey, Kasuga? Could mean something here's changed. Maybe. Let's find out. The flames roared and swirled about. And so the enraged Nele, in all her wisdom, cast the greedy into the purging fires. <gasps> Rice? Isn't he supposed to be back at the island? The heck is he doing here? Welcome, Kasuga. It's nice to see you again. Uh, these guys are definitely a new addition. You don't seem too happy to see me. 
There a reason for the bodyguards? Ah, yes. These are Haku warriors. They are acutely sensitive to those who would wish me harm, you see. Dana and Callan out or something? Errand duty? If you have business with them, I can oblige. Though, I cannot stay the Flame's judgment. Wong To's story. Was all that really true? Be real. What are you gonna do with all those kids? They're scaring me, Father Bryce. <laughs> Fear not, my child. No evil can withstand a Haku warrior's spirit. What we should do now is pray. Let us beseech Madame Nele to envelop them swiftly and painlessly. How do you like that? He's got him taking pity on us. Akane-san took Lani and ran from here. That's why you're after her. You might act calm, but I know you're getting desperate. <laughs> Normally, you keep the gangs out of the public eye. But right now, you've got all hands searching high and low. Palikana's flames purify everything they touch. They encompass all doubts, all hesitations, and return them to the ashes. What happens when you find them? Just kill them and move on? I will cleanse what I can, and must. And as for what that shall be, whatever, or whomever, <laughs> It is my role, granted to me by the Flames, to determine. You're stalling! Answer the damn question! <sighs> Arrogant demon. May her fires have mercy on you. Bryce! Heretics, be gone! I'll sue you! Let's do it! Okay, I'm up. That bastard! I guess we're not chasing after him. What's going on here? <gasps> oh, Dana! Callan! <sighs> Kasuga! I see. So Bryce really did send you out for errands, huh? Yes. He said the food bank was in urgent need of resupply and asked if we could pick everything up. We rarely get instructions like that from Bryce himself, however, so we did think it a little strange. Right. Then you came back to this. Yes. Uh, Kasuga, about what you said, Halekana's true intentions, I just find it so hard to believe. Where's it all coming from? Oh yeah, guess you wouldn't know. I mean, I had a feeling that was the case anyway. You and Callan and all. Well, you didn't seem like the type to hurt these kids. Not at all. Uh, honestly, we have no idea what you're talking about. We never knew Bryce was controlling the gangs, nor that he was after Akane's life. Callan, Dana, I know I'm an outsider here. Heck, I only touched down in Hawaii just a little bit ago. I can't blame you if you don't want to believe me. Not when these are such big claims. 
So, for what it's worth, I won't ask you to. That said, you saw what happened here with your own eyes. Those were Ganja, Barracudas, and armed Polycana members. They ganged up on us and tried to kill us. <laughs> as far as Polycana goes, I say there's a lot you don't know about, and more where that came from. Now with that in mind, if there's anything you forgot to tell us, would you please fill us in? For starters, we've been told that those who pilgrimage to Nele Island live in peace the rest of their days. As a result, many children here have been recognized as Haku and sent away. We've taught them they must keep the faith, that one day they can become Haku too. Of course, this has gone on for decades. <laughs> However, a long time ago, I told Callan about an experience I had. Nele Island had welcomed one of our kids. But I later saw them right here in Honolulu. Dana, you shouldn't. Uh... Once you go to Nele Island, Halekana says you're there for the rest of your life, right? Yes. So it shouldn't have been the case. At first, I thought maybe I was mistaken. Their face was totally different, after all. But still, they'd lived here for years and were practically family to me. The way they talked and behaved was just how I remembered. So, with that, I approached them and asked. They said I had the wrong person. You still think it was them, huh? I do. I don't know the details, but my guess is they underwent some kind of surgery. I mean, changing your face is one thing, but your voice is another. I'd know that voice anywhere. Without a doubt, it was the same child I thought to be on Nele Island. <sighs> I wanted to talk with them some more, but they ran off, almost as if they were trying to escape. I never saw them again. So, wait, what's it all mean? The Nele Island kids are sneaking back under new identities or something? Long Toe's story does line up if I remember right. Yeah, he said Bryce makes his followers faithful as can be. Then he slips them into Ganja and the Barracudas as spies. Dana, the kid you saw, what were they wearing that day? They were in a police uniform. Huh? Bryce isn't just shipping his pawns off into Hawaii's gangs. If he's got cops, he's probably got lawyers, politicians, and even businessmen. Anyone who holds some kind of power. Worse, he's built this over decades, with tons of people. Influence like that would give him control over the whole city, his own network. I see now. Nele Island's like a training facility. Bryce gets his pawns geared up and ready to go, then sends him back here. That can't be. He's a monster, that Bryce. He's been using your beliefs for his own gain. <sighs> what on earth do we do now? What are we supposed to say to that? I don't know. Look, you might have come to terms with all this, but I just can't do it. It's real, it's fake. I've got no idea. Even hearing all that, Polycana's teachings are all I know anymore. If they said I could go to Nele Island, I would go. I, I would want to go. That's what I taught the kids. That's what I believed. As far as my faith's concerned, I choose to stand firm. Oh. I need to get started on the children's dinner. Some of them won't ever have anywhere else, you know. This place is their last bastion from the world outside. If it's all right for their sake, can we not mention any of this in front of them? Hang on a minute. You'd really send more kids out there? Even after everything we said? The chosen children only get sent to the island twice a month, and that's at the very most, either on the new moon or a full moon. Suffice to say, they won't be doing so for a while. We've got to find Akane-san fast, before the next window rolls around. This orphanage needs answers, and we need to know if the island's safe. Maybe she'll have an idea or two, yeah? No 
our mission starting to pack on a lot of weight. Wonder the Dragon of Dojima was on the case. Yeah, but if we pull this off, we'll save more people than we know. Not a bad deal, if you ask me. Kiryu-san. Kiryu-san. No. Oh. Back in Japan already? Yep, you were out like a light. Almost thought I'd let you keep snoozing. Thanks for the wake-up call. That's yeah, sure thing. Anyway, just got an update from Ichiban. He said they nearly cornered the Sage of Palekana, but he ended up slipping away. And on top of that, Akane and Lani are still missing. Anything changes, he'll let us know right away. Sounds good. But as far as Hawaii goes, we're leaving that for him and the gang. Right now, you're seeing a doctor. Otherwise, you and I wouldn't be here. Yeah, I know. Nanbu-san? Doctor, how's our guy holding up? I'm sorry to say, but he's only getting worse. He seems to be aware of that himself. <sighs> Honestly, I'm surprised he made it here on foot and not in an ambulance. The cancer's taken quite a toll on his body. He must have a will of iron to have pushed himself this far. Is there really no hope for him left? To improve his chances, I recommend giving him round-the-clock care as soon as possible. Or, at the very least, some bed rest. Recuperating at home is another option. Yeah, right. But knowing him... Yes, he made it very clear he wasn't interested in any of that. And it is up to the patient to decide. All I can do as a physician is offer advice. Now, I imagine you've already done this, but if you could encourage him to start taking care of himself. Coming from a friend, his mind might change down the road. Yeah, that's what you'd think. This might not be my place to say, but he acts as though he's given up on recovery. It's almost like he's rushing to his death. I'm afraid there's no other way to put it. I'm sure it's frustrating watching him do that to himself. He's got a strong mind, a stout heart, and what was once impeccable physique. But he's also as stubborn as a mule. Yeah, tell me about it. Here, make yourself at home. Ichiban won't mind. Ugh, sorry it's such a pigsty. I'll find you a better place to hole up eventually. No, I'd honestly rather stay put. Less eyes on me here than some hotel. After all, I'm not even supposed to exist out there. All right, there's that. Hanawa-san actually told me a couple things. Like how I should call you Taichi Suzuki in public. That's my name whenever shit hits the fan. Sorry if it's throwing you off. No, I wouldn't say that. Uh, there is one thing, though. What? The doc was telling me earlier how you're not open to any treatment. Are you sure that's what you want? With all the recent advances in medicine, I'm sure you don't have much to lose by trying something. I can even ask around about options, things that are proven to help with cancer. Drop it. I've already heard enough. The Daidoji faction researched my condition to hell and back and found nothing. <sighs> and besides, it's not like I haven't tried anything. I was thinking I could hold myself together, at least until Akane and the girl were safe. But right in the thick of it, my body gave up on me. Guess I was a fool to hope. Curious, son.
Mind if I come in? Go ahead. <sighs> you know, I was hoping you would rest, not work yourself to the bone. I'm serious here. Why else would you come all the way back to Japan? I just thought it wouldn't kill me to lend some support from the sidelines. Now, I've been looking into Polycana. Sure, you can guess how that's going. The internet's a dumpster fire, ain't it? But hey, I'm sure Achan will figure something out. Look, I'm all for supporting the team, Kiryu-san. But sometimes, that means knowing when to take the bench. Don't waste your breath, Namba. Hmm? It's impossible to talk him out of anything. Namba, is this your doing? <laughs> yeah, I happen to bring some company. Oh, but don't worry. She's a face you can trust. <sighs> the moment you turn your back on him, that laptop's gonna be wide open. Even if all he does is type in circles. You brought Komi Jewel's leader? Yeah, why not? Son, he's an old friend. And apparently the queen of Ejincho. She runs the Liumang now, too. In other words, we're all outcasts here. And don't flatter yourself. You're not the only one I know who's dead on paper. So relax. I'm sure the Daidoji people won't give you too much grief about me. Why are you here? Just thought I'd save a dying man the trouble of paying me a visit. Besides, in our world, you're pretty much the top of the food chain. And in that sense, the privilege is all mine. Surely that's reason enough. Hey, uh, it's not like I ratted you out to her. She just caught wind of you first, like a spider to the fly. I remember. Nothing happens in this town without the Komi Jewel knowing it first, huh? Mind if I take a seat? I brought some of the best Korean medicine money can buy. Okay, but as a former nurse, I can't exactly sign off on that for him. Well, it's not every day a dragon comes to town. And what better way to pay my respects? That doesn't surprise me. Kasuga's gonna be Kasuga no matter where he goes. I wonder how he draws so many people to his side. Is it that heroic charm of his? Heroic charm? <laughs> you may be onto something. Yeah. He does have this certain effect on you. The more you're around him, the more you can't help but help him. Silly as it sounds, he might just be a real hero. Just don't tell him you said that. He'll be over the moon for weeks. What? I have something on my face? Kiryu-san, let me ask you. What's your all-time favorite food? Hmm. Why food all of a sudden? I'll put it another way. If you were about to die, what would you want to eat right before? Let's call it your last supper. Sunhi, what is with you right now? Is that really the way to ask? It doesn't bother me. But now that you mention it, what would be a good last meal? You see there? Nobody takes that long just to think up their favorite food. What's your point? I'm saying your complete lack of an answer only shows how little time you've spent on yourself. You've always lived your life for someone else. You even spent a decade in prison so your sworn brother wouldn't have to. Really? He did that? The crime he took the fall for was patricide. After you got out, you ended up losing Yumi Sawamura, so you took her daughter Haruka under your wing. And now, here you are faking your own death, all to protect your loved ones. But with the real thing on the horizon, why not use these precious last days for yourself? Uh, you do have a point there, son He. And I agree. The thing is, I can't help but wonder. Yeah. Why do you care so much about me anyway? There are a lot like you in the Komi Jewel. See, 
We once served the Jingon Mafia, who had absolute authority over our lives. But even with them long gone, their oppression still lingers in many of our hearts. I've seen too many of us waste away in fear and regret until there's nothing left. It kills me every time. Well, I don't remember asking for your guidance. True. But while you're in my town, you're on my turf. And if I let the Dragon of Dojima die full of regrets, I'd never stop kicking myself in the ass. You really got away with words. Do I look like I'm that close to death's door? Come on. I wouldn't say that. But from here on out, it really wouldn't hurt to focus on some self-care. At least, I think that's what Sunhee's getting at. Yeah, more or less. Focus on self-care, huh? Easier said than done. What would you guys do in my shoes? Huh? What would I do? Yeah, let's hear it. <laughs> Don't tell me you can't come up with something on the spot. I can. Now, uh, let's see. Actually, I'd probably go unwind at the batting center. Hitting the ball's a bit like therapy. Especially after Jungi gives me sass. Uh, I don't know. I'd rather not put Kyrgyz on through anything strenuous. Right now, the man needs rest more than anything. Oh, for crying out loud. I'm not gonna collapse from batting. Good. <sighs> then let's go score a few home runs. Now? <laughs> Come on, it's now or never. Besides, the night is young and there's plenty to do. Kicking things off with baseball sounds like the start of a good send-off to me. You're really serious. <laughs> hey, count me in. I think Sunny's got the right idea. A night on the town will be good for you. Not like you were gonna lie down anyway, right? All right, you got me. But there's still some drink left, you know. Don't tell me the legendary dragon's concerned over a few drops of alcohol. Okay, from now on, if you're ever thirsty, I'll be the one to pour. When you've been in the business as long as I have, it's nice to finally share a glass on equal terms. And, be honest here, would you rather get tipsy with me or Nanba? Well, when you put it that way. Oh, now you're just fighting dirty. No matter what you boys say, I'm coming with. My town, my rules. And don't forget it. Evening, folks! Can we ask you guys something? Huh? Oh, we just happened to lose our wallets. So, uh, mind handing over yours? Hey, Miss Queen of Ijinsho. Your subjects don't have any manners. Not my job to teach the village idiots. <sighs> and in true idiot fashion, they're embarrassing me in front of my guest. Worst possible timing, too. You don't have to feel embarrassed. They're also a plague where I'm from. Yo, we don't have a fucking day! You gonna give us your money or what? <laughs> Screw it! Let's just skip to the violence! Good thinking. <sighs> Hear you, son? We'll handle it from here. Excuse me? I already know what you're gonna say. Don't waste your energy on these knuckleheads. You're gonna need that energy for later. We're having the most damn fun you've ever had! Right, and didn't I just say, you're in my town, which makes you my honored guest. And it's a host's responsibility to clean things up. You guys. On that note, it's time to take out the trash. Get ready for some middle-aged whoop-ass! Bring it on! What? What are they? curious son, what's wrong? Feeling woozy all of a sudden? No, it's, it's not that. I... I just... don't know what I'm seeing. Huh? Wait a minute. This must be what Kasuga was saying about how his enemies would turn into monsters. Hold up. So now it's not just Ichiban hallucinating? 
You boys can talk nonsense some other time. We're in a fight here. Listen, I appreciate your concern, both of you. But letting others fight my battles has never been my thing. So I can't just sit back on the sidelines. Besides, I could use a warm-up for the cages. Fine. Just try not to overdo it, okay? Let's do it. Hold on. Hold on. Who are you? Do you want to fight? In for the kill! Got you now! <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Let's do it. Try to block this. Oh, geez. Waste of my time. You doing all right, Kiryu san? Yeah, thanks. Glad you guys were with me. Oh no. If anything, it's the other way around. I mean it though. Really. If it wasn't for you two, I never would have seen through Kasuga's eyes. Oh? When he first told me about it, I didn't believe him. But having allies at your side changes how you view the world. It really does make you feel like a hero. Kiryu-san? What the heck, so the battle visions are limited to you and Ichiban? Guess that's something special then, huh? What, you'd rather be hallucinating monsters too? Uh, maybe not so much. Well, in any case, I believe we were on a mission. Right.
battery's dead. Here goes. Just watch. I'll send him flying. <coughs> yes. Ha! Shit. You got there, Kiryu-san. Huh? Real nice batting. How you holding up so far? Uh, I'm good. Refreshed, actually. Feels like a lot of that stress is gone. You were right, Sunhee. Maybe this was all I needed. <laughs> you're kidding, right? No way you're satisfied with just that. Besides, we're only on our first stop here. Right. What's more, you're actually looking healthier by the minute. Whatever the reason is, it's great to see. So, what's next on our agenda? Good question. Why don't we grab a bite first and then think about it? Yeah, good idea. What are you in the mood for? Well, we could always eat and do karaoke. Rumor says the Dragon of Dojima is also a master of the mic. But, I guess seeing is believing in the end. Now I wonder where you heard that. It's been ages since I've had a real audience. Anyway, if seeing is believing, maybe I should show you how it's done. <laughs> I would love that. Uh, what's up? Uh, curious on, you ever thought of making a bucket list? Bucket list? Can't say I have. Well, with the way things are right now, I think you might want to consider it. I mean, you could be spending your final hours writing down your thoughts or divvying up your stuff, but that's not the point. All right. Then what are you getting at? I need to take things more seriously? The opposite, actually. I think it'd be best to leave things on the happiest note possible. And to do that, a memo of how to use your time wisely might help. Sounds nice enough, but wouldn't a will be more useful in the end? No, that's the beauty of the whole thing. Unlike a bucket list, when you're writing a will, the reason you buckle down and do it is to tie up any loose ends before you go. Right, I get that. But with a bucket list, the focus is on the present, 
What am I doing now? Not what happens after I'm gone. That's what makes a bucket list so different. As you think back over the years, a lot of things will pop into your head. Missed opportunities, forgotten plans, hidden desires. So you make a list of what you want to do. And then you put yourself out there and do it. I think I get the picture. It's like putting your heart's desires on paper to help you reach catharsis. That's exactly what it is. Now, Kiryu-san, I think you ought to take Sunny's advice. You really should be spending more time on yourself. Especially if you don't know how long you've got left. <clears throat> if you don't want to go through any treatment, I respect that. It's your body, you do what you want with it. But if you don't want to spend your last days in abject misery, I suggest you start making a better environment for yourself. Nanba? You look so much more alive right now. And all it took was working up a good sweat. You might not want to hear this, but you don't have to hold yourself back. I'm sure there's a ton of things you'd rather be doing. Fun things. To put those thoughts into words and then into action, it's never a waste of time. In fact, I think it's the best way to help you reach your best condition. Heck, as a former nurse, I guarantee it. All right. Maybe that is what's best. And with how you put it, a bucket list doesn't sound so bad. <laughs> Just make sure you help me see it through, since you're the one roping me into it. Oh, you bet I will. But how about we get started? That's about all I can think of for now. Hey, looking good. You got quite a bit on there. Let's see, sing my heart out at karaoke. Right on, right on. Drink all the best alcohol there is. Um, yeah, I'm gonna say you probably shouldn't do that. Stuff myself with Tamago at Sushi Gin. Oh, a tough guy like you loves egg, huh? I know it might seem crazy coming from me. But, for once, I want to eat what I want, without looking over my shoulder. Well said, Kiryu-san. That's what this is about. Things you always wished you'd done different, or never got to try in the first place. Everything and anything that comes to mind, now's your chance to do it. Eh, let's see what else you got here. Try out what's popular with the kids, starting with sweets. <laughs> I thought you said whatever comes to mind. Sorry, it's just that last bit caught me a little off guard. Yeah, I shouldn't be laughing. I, I really wasn't trying to make fun of you. In fact, that kind of got my heart pumping. You sure about that? Listen, this really is good, though. <sighs> I knew it'd be worth a shot. Let's say we get more people add to the fun. Oh, and I know just the gal we need. Yeah? curious son, how would you like to visit a cabaret club? I didn't see that anywhere on your list. You not like them or something? There's a lot you don't know about me. I was just about to write that down. Then it's settled. Hey, Sonny, you okay to go? <laughs> you do know women look at other women, too. I'd be there in a heartbeat. All right, then let's get over there. Good evening. Party of three? Yeah. Anyone you're here to see? Sachan, uh, I mean, Saiko-san, please. Right away, sir. <laughs> My apologies. You have guests at table three. All right, folks, that's my cue. <laughs> Here you, son? <laughs> this is certainly a surprise. Uh, I 
see. So Kiryu-san's going through cancer. Yeah, believe me, I was shocked when I heard the news, too. But right now, we're focused on finding ways to move through it together. Got it. So that's why you're doing a bucket list. Yeah. And with any luck, he's gonna check off everything on it. Sunhi and I are helping him as best we can. Gosh, just hearing that is getting me all fired up. <laughs> I knew you were our go-to gal, Sachan. I wasn't sure if just the two of us could pull it off. Thought we might need an extra hand. Aha! And that's where I come in? <laughs> you bet it is. I take it you'll join us? As if I'd pass on that. Besides, you wouldn't stand a chance without me. So sit back and enjoy the ride, Kiryu-san. I'll get you wherever you need to go. Uh, Won't I be a burden on you? Oh, please. That's the last thing you'd be. We've teamed up before, and we can do it again. Not to mention, your party could use a little feminine balance, no? Huh. What a curious thing to say. Then, if we're so lacking in that department, I'd love to see what you bring to the table. Fine by me. I was looking for a challenge anyway. Hey. What's the deal with those two? <laughs> They're enjoying a little bonding time, is all. Well, with that being said, I'm looking forward to tonight, Kiryu-san. All right, we got Sachan on board. Now it's Kiryu-san himself requested. Let's go do some karaoke on the double. You know, I was a little surprised. Hmm? I thought you might push harder for Kiryu-san to get treated, especially considering your background and all. To be honest, I wish I could. But it's like talking to a brick wall. Hmm? This is Kiryu-san, remember? You can't talk him into anything he doesn't want to do. But, the doctor said something that stuck with me. That a friend could change his mind down the road. So, I figured I'd switch my approach. We'll have Kiryu-san try to enjoy every last moment to the fullest. Eventually, he'll think, Man, isn't it great to be alive. And after that... After that, he'll change his mind and want to live? That's the plan. I need to let Sachan in on it, too. So we'll all know what this bucket list is there for. You'll help, too, won't you? I'm not letting him go out without a fight. Yeah, right there with you. Hey, Nanchan. Is Ichiban doing okay? Well, he stirred up all kinds of trouble in Hawaii. But for him, there's nothing unusual. Right, Kiryu-san? Yeah. When I first bumped into him, he was running around in handcuffs. <laughs> he doesn't change at all, does he? I take it that means you're worried about him? Mm, not so much. I was just asking, that's all. Yeah? You say so. <laughs> this is it, Kiryu-san. Our old Ichinsho staple. The name's a bit weird, and the owner hardly ever cracks a smile. But he's a good guy. It's also the only karaoke bar left. <laughs> At least that we like. Hey, Barkeep! Got a new customer for you. <laughs> Our friend here is Taichi Suzuki. <sighs> you two, uh, know each other? <laughs> no, I... Imagine he mistook me for someone else. In any case, Survive's glad to have you, Suzuki-san. Uh, you good? Actually, I had a friend who looked just like him. For a moment, I thought... 
I thought he had come back. My apologies, sir. Hey, don't beat yourself up over it. With a face like mine, this sort of thing happens all the time. <laughs> you think those two are just acting? It's hard for me to say. Sounds like a simple mix-up to me. I... We came here to sing, right? Well, what are we waiting for? Sure, help yourselves. Consider the place yours tonight. As a matter of fact, nothing would please me more. Thank you. Truly. Hmm. You fell down, you got hurt chasing sweeter dreams. You no, know, I wasn't sure how things would end up in Hawaii, but at least Kiryu-san seems to be doing better over here. Sunny, Sachan, it's all thanks to you too. No need to thank me, Nanchan. You know I'm happy to help. And I'll do everything I can for him on my end. Call it a debt of gratitude if you want. <laughs> right on. We all owe Kiryu-san a lot, especially those of us from Ijinsha. But more than anything, if there's even a slight chance he'll make it, I personally want to see him get there. And I'm glad you both are here. Because, to be honest, there's too much to bear on my own. Memories of you Twisting my view I've been a fool Oh, here you son, that was great! Uh, yeah, top-notch stuff. So the rumors are true. The Dragon of Dojima can carry a tune and then some. Seems to me you guys weren't even listening. Are you kidding? Of course we were. Well, I guess I just have a voice nobody wants to hear anymore. <laughs> but we really were listening. All right, who's up? The song's starting. Hmm, now how'd that happen? Huh? If no one's taking it, I will. You did that on purpose! We're starving dogs running the rail lines. Well, he's clearly feeling it. I say we back him up! Give it all you got! Yeah! yeah. We're breaking the law! Our fists race till we die We're living by our own judgment I need to take this Alright, just don't be gone too long Kiryu son, was this a good idea or what? I'm having the time of my life me too. Oh, bartender, can you fill us up? Hey, it's me. What is it? This better be important. I told you I'm out on the town tonight. I know that. But what do you expect? This is Kiryu-san I'm with, my lifelong hero. Yo, Sunny, what happened? You look pissed all of a sudden. Do I? I'm sure it's just your imagination. I take it you have business to attend to? Wait, are you for real? What is more important than living it up with Kiryu-san? Well, it was nothing urgent. That said, I did receive some rather troubling news. The buzzkill or not, can you tell us? The Siryu clan's behaving oddly. 
They're recruiting, and their numbers are getting bigger by the day. Huh? Wait, don't tell me that's what this is all about. You guys are the Komichul here. <laughs> See, Evina, the clan captain, is cooking up something called the Second Great Dissolution. He's even rallying the former Tojo clan and all these other groups to take part. That's right. Kasuga told me about that. To build a safe haven for all the ex-Yakuza roaming about. Supposedly, that's his big objective. Those with nowhere to turn can swear up for a time, in exchange for stable work. The waste management they do down by the docks is one example. You could almost say it's an expansion of what Kasuga was doing with Hello Work. What the heck? So you knew all along. The thing is, some of those ex-Yakuza joining up with the Seiryu, they had already gotten their lives back together. And it's not just a handful. I'm talking by the hundred. What? Why would that happen? If they were able to find jobs and all, what would even make the Seiryu clan appealing? Well, whatever's going on, I'm guessing Ebina's big plan is nothing more than a smokescreen for something else. And what his real goals are, remain a mystery. You really think that's accurate? Honestly, I'm a little insulted. You're talking to the brain behind the Komi Jewel here. Well, sure, but still, there could be some other factors at play. Maybe those Yakuza went clean only to realize the rat race was just as dirty above ground. True, I can't account for details on every single situation out there, but it's the overall pattern of movement that concerns me. The Seiryu clan's also pulling their waste operation out of Yokohama, and they're pulling right into Hawaii. Hawaii? Yep. All their fresh recruits are packing their bags and heading overseas as we speak. You were there just recently, as I recall. Could this be a mere coincidence? Or maybe there's a deeper connection here. What is it with that place? Why is everything going down there at once? Does anyone in the Seiryu clan have some sort of Hawaiian affiliation? Actually, think about why Kasuga is there in the first place. Oh, that's right. It was Sawashiro. Not only was he former captain, he was Arakawa's right-hand man. What's more, he kept the secret that Akane-san's been alive all this time. And now he's risen to the top of the Seiryu clan, right next to Ebina. Then it looks like I've got something to add to that bucket list. Make Sawashiro tell us what he knows. That's one way to use a bucket list. Seiryu Clan HQ is not far from here, right? It's not, but as of now, most of their officers are gone, including Sawashiro. They started a branch office about a week ago to accommodate all the new recruits. If you want to pay them a visit, I can take you over there tomorrow. Yeah, that'd be good. Hey there.
はい Thank you very much. Here you, son. No. Is this where? The Sari you set up shop? Yep. I'm sure it's hard to swallow seeing your clan's former headquarters like this. Guess it must have gone vacant after the Great Dissolution. Now here they are, the new owners. Ijincho's just not big enough for them anymore. That's how fast the Seiryu clan's growing. It's like they're quietly taking over. Hearing about it's one thing, but seeing it in person's another. Hear you, son? Unbelievable. The symbol of the Tojo clan, falling into the hands of outsiders. To think I'd live to see the day. Let's go. Standing around won't get us any closer to the boys in charge. Here you, son. Maybe hang back for now. You get caught here, it's all over. The well, same for Sunhi, I suppose. Guess it's up to me to sort this out. Hey, uh, good day to you. My name's Nanpa. I heard Sawashiro-san might be around. Can I help you with something? Oh, well, uh, you see, Sawashiro-san and I go way back. Uh, he actually paid for my trip to Hawaii the other day, so, uh, I thought I'd swing by and say thanks. Nobody told me he was taking any appointments. Now kindly get gone. Oh, don't be like that. What's wrong with popping in and saying hello? Besides, there's something important we need to ask him. Look, I can't let you through. And I already told you why. Oh, come on. Then how about you set me up a meeting with Ebina's son? You know, your captain? Why, me and him were having a chat just the other day. All you gotta do is tell him Nanba's here. What part of no don't you understand? You're trying to get yourself killed, pal? I'm Narasaki, Lieutenant of the Seiryu Clan. Seems here there was a slight misunderstanding. Allow me to set things straight. Finally, someone who can talk some sense. I have instructions from Captain Ebina. You're all to be welcomed as our guests. He also said there's no need to ask your name. Really, Narasaki-san? You're gonna take him in? They say the newbies don't know jack shit. But I didn't think it was this bad. How could anyone not recognize you? I'd like to personally apologize for this dimwit. I want to talk to Sawashiro. Where is he? You'll see him soon enough. But first, please come in. Him. 
Allow me the pleasure of welcoming you. It's truly an honor. I am Sawashiro of the Seiryu clan. Didn't expect you to roll out the red carpet. My apologies if we caught you off guard. However, we felt it was necessary. After all, with the Tojo clan and the Omi alliance now gone, it falls on us to become the banner for Yakuza all over the country. Such a task requires the utmost prestige. It's perhaps the only way to bring them all together. <laughs> right. So line up the troops and have them stare down your guests. That's your idea of prestige. Hmm. You'll have to forgive us. Well, there's little use in standing around out here. Captain Ebina is waiting for you inside. If you follow Narasaki, he'll lead you straight to him. I don't need a guide. Is that right? So your mind's still intact, huh? Glad to hear at least that's still worth a damn. I'm sorry, what? Do you know who you're talking to? Hey, take it easy, Sachan. We can keep this up if you really want to. But fair warning. If you're just testing your luck, pick another day. I don't have time for games. Are you kidding me? Excuse me. Ha ho! Right. Excuse me.
It's you. Okay. <laughs> well now, maybe I should have led you here after all. I was starting to think you got lost. Shut your mouth. If I needed you around, I'd have said so. <laughs> the Tojo clan's fourth chairman. <laughs> I can only assume you don't care much for what we've done with the place. However, you should know this building was all but left to rot. We took it upon ourselves to restore it. I take it you're Ebina? I am. And I presume you're familiar with Sawashiro-san? Yeah. Although, I've never seen him with the same pin twice. <laughs> you're supposed to be behind bars. But I see that's not the case. I'm flattered you've heard of me. It's quite an honor, Kiryu-san. Go on. Take a seat. Curious, son. I can only hope you're willing to talk, but maybe you ought to find a different chair first. What? Excuse you? <laughs> that chair belongs to the head of the Tojo clan, and no one else. Take my word for it. A lot of blood's been spilled over just the chance to sit where you are now. Maybe you don't mean any offense. But you're not even close to earning that spot. And I'll be damned if I play along. Bastard! You better watch your fucking words! It's all right, Narasaki. <sighs> Captain. This was to be expected. In fact, I'd want nothing less from a man of his stature. Let's try this again. <laughs> Please. Make yourself comfortable. <sighs> now then, shall we get started, Kiryu-san? I see the Seryu clan's grown quite big. With all the Yakuza left behind, it's no surprise. And your goal is to help them along? Yes. As I'm sure you're aware, the civilian world is far from forgiving to our kind. Okay, but what about all those people who were able to make it, yet you pulled them right back in? Sunhee here has plenty of data to back that up. Perhaps that data's oversimplified. There's rarely, if ever, a smooth transition back to society. What a Yakuza needs more than anything is structure, stability, and the means to make a living. So for them to join our clan is a temporary measure on that road to rehabilitation. Want to know what else I hear? That you're moving operations to Hawaii. You have keen ears. Queen of the Komi Jewel, indeed. At any rate, you could say we're blessed to have a business partner there. Business partner? Not sure if you would know, Kiryu-san. Our biggest source of income right now is storing waste that can't be disposed of. However, I can't take any credit for that idea. Someone else had thought it up, and they'd been doing it in Hawaii long before I met them. 
That would be Palekana, a local religious group. What? Palekana? They're also the ones who helped Akane-san escape to Hawaii 40 years ago. I take it you've already heard of them. You could say that. If I can step back a moment. I needed Sawashiro's reputation in order to set the second great dissolution into motion. And while he was still behind bars, he confided in me one of his deepest regrets. That was, of course, about Ekane-san. As such, the more I learned, the more interest I developed in the group that brought her to safety. And as I dug deeper, I learned about their waste management business. There's a special island Palakana owns where they run a facility quite similar to ours. You must mean Nele Island. Is that where Polycana stores its garbage? That's right. And when I reached out to them, they were extremely generous with their knowledge. They understood our objective as cleansing the sins of society, <laughs> and even offered to take in former Yakuza on our behalf. So you're saying all the fresh new faces in the Seiryu clan are getting sent to Nele Island? Correct. Everything that's happening in our Yokohama warehouse is simply a precursor to that. Right now, our joint venture with Palekana is our top priority. But I thought Nele Island was sacred to them. I hear only a select few of their followers are allowed to set foot there. Yet you plan to dump your Yakuza on their shores? I see you've done your homework. But yes, we've already worked out the details together. Besides, all our men will be doing is transporting the cargo by sea and unloading it off the boat. As it were, they'd hardly be leaving footprints in the sand. A far cry from desecrating their holy land, wouldn't you say? Polycana understands this as well. Never guess religion and the underworld would ever go hand in hand. Aside from that, why'd you send Kasuga over to Hawaii? I sent Ichi to Hawaii for one thing to reunite with Akane-san, who said she wanted to meet him. So whatever becomes of it, it's got nothing to do with the Seryu clan. Sawashiro, are you aware of what's happening to Akane-san right now? What do you mean? She's being hunted down by gangsters, all on Polikana's orders. But their real target is the girl she has with her. And if they're caught, they won't make it out alive. Impossible. Is that true, what you just said? I take it neither of you knew? I can assure you we did our due diligence in researching them. After all, they're integral to the Second Great Dissolution. So you're saying we're making this up? I'm saying flinging words at each other would be pointless. Do you have any proof you can show us? Well... That said, this is coming from none other than Kiryu-san. We don't mean to make light of that. How about you give us some time? We'll look into Polycana once again. What would you do if Polycana turns out just like what I told you? I'd rather not make any speculations at the moment. As the Tojo Clan fourth chairman, I'm sure you, of all people, understand the weight of a Yakuza's words. I see. And if that's your stance, I think we're done here. Thank you for the visit, and for the valuable information. Perhaps when things settle down, we can treat you to dinner. Yeah, let's hope that's possible. Well, we sure show their asses. Can't believe you got Sawashiro acting on his best behavior. Seriously? And even though we were deep in Yakuza territory, I didn't feel scared one bit. I don't know. Doesn't feel like we got much out of it. No? But didn't we at least learn that the Seiryu clan's connected to Palekana? <sighs> right. But we're still left to wonder whether Abina really knows what Bryce is up to. Guess we just have to wait and see. I suppose.
By the way, you think up anything else for the bucket list? You didn't forget about it, did you? No, I remember. And you know what? Maybe it's because I haven't been to HQ in a while. But I just thought of something important. Oh, what is it? Well, it might not be the fun activity you were thinking. But I want to pay my respects. Some people who were close to me. You know, I think that's terrific. Mind if we come along? <laughs> I'd be grateful if you did. Might get a little gloomy without some company. I'm happy to hear you think of us that way. We'll do everything we can to support you, Kiryu-san. I know you will. Thanks. Then let's go. I trust you know the way? Yeah, let's catch a taxi. Sorry to drag you all out here. Let's say we head back. You're all done? Yeah. I managed to clean up their gravestones. And talk to them a bit about my life. If I can ask, who were these people? Well, they're... my family. Of course, none of us are blood-related, but... It's never been about that. And it doesn't make them any less precious. Every time I come here, I get this strange feeling. I've always been the type to rush in and never think ahead. So I assumed if anyone was gonna die first, it'd be me. Yet here I am now, talking to them, even though they're long gone. Here are you, son. I come to pay my respects for the first time in forever, and who do I see? <laughs> Almost like Kazuma himself had a hand in it. Date-san. Long time no see. <laughs> Gonna guess your buddies there are safe. Oh, yeah. An acquaintance of yours, Kiryu-san? Wait, doesn't this mean your cover's blown? No. He's good. If anyone's aware of anything, it's him. I take it you must be Detective Date? And that would make you Sunhi, the so-called face of Ijincho. <laughs> Never could stay away from trouble, could you? <laughs> I think we'll be heading back, curious son. You look like you got some catching up to do. Appreciate that. Hey, no worries. You fellas enjoy. Sorry, didn't mean to scare off your new pals. But hey, what are the chances? I say we catch up on old times. That is, if you've got time. Sure. Been so long since the two of us have had a sip, I figured it ought to be here. And speaking of a sip, that one's all you get. Meanwhile, I'll be helping myself to the bar. Greedy old drunk. You sure Mama won't mind? <laughs> Just so happens today's her day off. Then I guess we'll leave it at that. Thanks. You're getting thin. I admit that caught me off guard. Really? You can tell that easy, huh? Well, yeah. When it comes to studying you, I hold a Guinness World Record. So, uh, is it that bad? Yeah. And when the doctor found out I was running around like this, he nearly burst the vessel. Let me guess. More nonsense from the Daidoji faction. In Hawaii, there was a girl who reminded me of Haruka. 
Her name's Lonnie. She's just an innocent kid. Yet here she is, running for her life. All for some asshole's convenience. I can't help but want to save her. Sounds like something you'd say. Always putting your neck out for others, aren't you? Well, with the clock ticking, I'm supposed to be enjoying my final moments. At least according to Namba and them. Sure. But you've never been the type to look after yourself. Well, there's been a lot on my mind. Now that it's come to this. Looking back, I almost didn't make it. When Nishiki and Yumi died, I thought, if only I could go with them. But what stopped me in the end was actually something you told me. I said something that important? You know damn well you did. Don't you have someone precious to protect? I figured that must be what's pushing me still. <laughs> in that case, you can't clock out just yet. After all, you want to protect that kid, right? Yeah. Then now's the time you get back your gusto. Still free to stick around a while? Come on. How long has it been? I'm sticking around whether you like it or not. <laughs> That's the spirit. Welcome back, Kiryu son. Hey, how much were you drinking? Not much. Only had one glass. So was everything okay with your friend? Yeah. What's more, we agreed to meet up every now and again, like back in the day. Hope that's all right. Of course it is. Just don't go overboard with the booze, okay? Yeah, I know. You sure about that? I don't want to find you passed out somewhere. I see you're not going to go easy on me. Fine. You have my word. Well, that's that. We should head back to Kasuka's apartment for the day. Date here. Date san. I'm in a jean show at the moment. Come out with me. We should talk. Don't try making out like you're too busy. Uh, is this important? That bucket list thing you were telling me about before. I've been mulling it over ever since. Got me thinking I have too much unfinished business myself. Uh, if I can be of some help, I'll come. There we go. See you soon. Where should we meet? Rose Blossom, the cabaret club. I'll tell the bar to expect you. Right, I'll be waiting. Took you long enough. Much obliged. We've got it from here. Going over to that table. Very good, sir. Please enjoy yourselves. Uh, well, what are we doing here exactly? I appreciate you coming down here, Kiryu. You won't regret it, I think. I'll trust you on that. Whose table was that just now, by the way? Do you two know each other? You were drinking together. Uh, I'd introduce you to the guy, but the Daidoji faction wouldn't be happy with me. Hmm? What's that supposed to mean? Kid's name is Taichi. The boy you raised at Morning Glory? That Taichi. What? Don't start gawking at him. He hasn't clocked you either, it would seem. Don't order another yet. 
I need a second. Any more and I'll pass out on my way home. It's all right, handsome. I'll watch over you until the morning. Oh, really? You do that? It's not an offer I'd make to just anyone, Tai-chan. But I feel safe with you. <sighs> That's really great. Yokohama girls are the best. To be fair, he's of legal drinking age. Back in Okinawa, he works as a fireman. I can't believe it. That's Taichi. What's he doing here? I heard he was visiting a friend in Tokyo, so I rang him up. Offered to take him around Yokohama. Not like I was ever that close to the boy. Couldn't think of any better place to go than here. <laughs> Jinsho women sure can work wonders on men like him. <laughs> Doubt he even noticed I left. What's the meaning of all this, Date-san? He's supposed to think I'm dead. Why would you invite me somewhere he could spot me? Because if he doesn't realize who he's looking at, there's no problem. Hmm? That's why you and I are keeping our distance. Much as I'd like it, I know you can't speak directly. I still thought seeing him like this would be better than never seeing him at all. <sighs> Date-san. <laughs> You've always been too stubborn to look backward. Tell me, how does it feel? Would dying have been easier without this memory? Don't your kids warrant a spot on your list? I I'd heard about him becoming a firefighter, you know. I, I still keep tabs on all of them, but... I never planned on seeing them again. I couldn't even risk hoping to. Hmm. That's why we're here. This is my unfinished business. You've gone through life telling yourself you have no regrets. It's not true. You just refuse to acknowledge them. And if there's anyone still breathing in this world who could convince you of that, I suppose it's me. Date-san. <sighs> I know. When the Daidoji helped you fabricate your death, I went along with it. And it cost you everything. Haruka, Haruto. A life cut off from the people you love. I replay those events over and over in my head, wondering if I could have changed the outcome. It was my responsibility. My death was the only thing that could have ensured their safety. Date-san, you have nothing to blame yourself for. Either way, that was a long time ago. Maybe now I could make a difference? Maybe? Mm -mm. Hold on. Who are they? Oh, I'm not sure, actually. Hey, why are all the girls hanging out here? Send some to our table. Very sorry, sir. We'll address this at once. You'd better. We're paying customers too, ain't we? <laughs> I apologize, everyone. I didn't know I'd be so popular in here. That's because Taichan is the cutest. I won't drink with anyone else. You mean it? Piss off, you dumb fucking tourist. You really think you're hot shit? Damn it. I might have tipped those girls too well. I wanted Taichi to have a good time, you know. This is dangerous. Everyone's too drunk. Hey, you're being very impolite, aren't you? Calm down, and someone will join you soon. Excuse me? I don't take lift from working girls. <gasps> whoa, whoa, what the hell? You can't do that. Never hit a woman. Hey, don't be a fool. As long as Tai Chi's there, you can't intervene. <sighs> All night's ruined now. I'm gonna discipline this chick. No! Huh? That's enough. You make me sick. The hell? Daichan! You, you're dead, punk! You want to discipline her, huh? Learn some discipline yourself. Huh. Well, I'll be. Who would have thought Tai Chi had it in? He's full of surprises. Not so fucking fast! Ugh. Hey, sick dick! Nobody likes a guy who hogs the tits. 
Ah, Titan, are you okay? Please get up, please. <sighs> Excuse me, that's quite enough. Leave it once or I'll call the police. Shut your mouth! This is your fault, scumbag! This ends right now. Or I'll pay you back for Taichi ten times over. Uh, uh, uncle... Is it really you, Uncle Koss? Uncle... Uh... Hands off of me! Everybody has a death wish tonight. The whole world's been shitting on me! Now, I'm gonna shit on all of you! Well, let's get started. Let's do it. Mm. In for the kill! <laughs> Here's a reward. <laughs> Try this on the side. Let's do it. Oh, if all the damn luck. It wasn't supposed to go like this. Will it be all right? Hmm? Oh, um, well, sleeping like a baby. He's more drunk than he is hurt. Maybe we overdid it a little. <laughs> <laughs> He's fine. Sir? He's gonna make a great firefighter. Boy's in good shape. Hell, he's a grown man. <sighs> Taichi's gonna wake up before too long. You should leave. We'll catch up. I'll stay behind and try to clean up this mess. Thanks. Uncle Goss! Hey, rise and shine, kid. What a night. Oh, um, I'm real sorry. I, uh, I remember there was a fight. Somebody came and defended me? Somebody? <laughs> you mean was Kiryu here? Huh? Joking. You were calling out for him, Tai Chi. Uncle Kaz, Uncle Kaz, you said. Uh, really? Weird. Guess I was dreaming. The good news is you held your own. Protecting that girl of yours. Huh. Not every man is the sort who'd do that, you know. Even if they wanted to. Actually, that's my trick when I need to be brave. I think about what Uncle Kiryu would do. When I remember the way he was, it's like... I can shut down any fear inside me. You don't say. That's a pretty clever technique. Should give it a try myself. Yeah, sure. It always works for me. This place good? Kanagawa PD Contact recommended it to me. Order one drink, sit as long as you like. From now on, consider this my Ijin Show hideout. Hmm. So you mean... Think I'll stay around town for a bit. You know, stay on top of that bucket list of yours. Taiji's little night out was only the start of it. I've got calls going out all over Yokohama. Stop. You realize that if the Daidoji faction catches on, we'll both pay. They haven't objected yet, have they? Not even Tai Chi knows you're still out there. Trust me, the fearsome Daidoji faction has nothing to worry about. You're testing them. Look, I realize I'm taking a risk here, but when it comes to your final days, I don't care. Nothing you say is gonna stop me. If Daidoji has a problem, they know where I am. <laughs> so then, Tai Chi stir anything in you? Do you regret what happened tonight? Because I saw your face just before you left. The way you looked at that proud young man. You have ties to this world. They don't disappear when you turn your back. <laughs> You're not wrong. Dragons don't have the luxury of dying forgotten. Tai Chi remembers you. 
people remember you. Kazumo Kiryu never walked the easiest path, but the steps he took always bore fruit. You have the responsibility to reap the harvest you've sown. I've never been more certain. I'll call you again. Kasuga and all that is important, but take some time for yourself, too. Date-san. Thank you. I don't have the words. I'll never forget what you're doing for me, Taichi and the others. I thought maybe I'd been able to let go, that even if I never saw them again, I'd be fine. But... When I heard his voice with my own ears, when he was right there in front of me, who knew I'd be so happy? I certainly didn't. That's more than you need to say. Now I've got quite some work to do. Not quite. Here you son.
I'll let you guys slow. I'm ready. What'd you say? Show me what you got. Right. Thanks.
Fine. Leave it to me. Son, it's Son He. Sorry to bring bad news, but it looks like the Seiryu clan set us up. What do you mean? Here, check the video I sent you. It was posted just now by Tatara, one of the more popular VTubers. VTuber? People, Tatara Channel coming at ya! As always, we're out to boldly reveal the evils this media's just too scared to touch. The title for today's episode is... A Super Big Shot Yakuza Long Thought Dead Suddenly Returns from the Grave? First off, let's take a good look at this photo. In it is Kazuma Kiryu, legendary Yakuza to some, hardened criminal to others. Known as the Dragon of Dojima and Kamurocho, he was also the chairman of the Tojo clan, the largest Yakuza group in the Kanto area. Seven years ago, in Hiroshima, Kiryu-san was shot to death as a result of gang-related activities. Or so we were led to believe. This video here recorded in Hawaii is no more than a few days old. And if we zoom in to get a closer look... My, my! He looks a lot like Kazuma Kiryu, doesn't he? I mean, they're practically twins! Now, let's continue the footage, shall we? Long time no see, Kasuga. Whoa. Kiryu son? Is that you? <laughs> Who else would it be? You hear that? The other guy just called him Kiryu son, didn't he? Does that not blow your mind, people? The dragon is back from the dead! Oh, and we're not done just yet. This footage hides yet another juicy surprise. Did you happen to catch it? Right here! Do you all remember him? Long time no see, Kasuga. It's Ichiban Kasuga, whose cover we blew on this channel before! Yokohama's so-called hero! So a long-lost legend is really alive and kicking, plus he's pals with Ichiban Kasuga? Okay, what is really going on here? To help shed light on that, I've invited some very special guests for this occasion. You'll be meeting the Underworld's top dogs, currently leading the most powerful Yakuza organization in Japan. Here we go! These gentlemen are in charge of a group called the Seiryu Clan. Thank you both for joining us today. Let's get right to it. You've seen the footage of Kazuma Kiryu yourselves. What do you think? That's him, without a shadow of a doubt. As a matter of fact, he paid a little visit to our office here only yesterday, which goes to show the man never died. It was an act. That, in turn, leads me to believe law enforcement might have had a hand in this charade. <gasps> You're saying the police helped Kiryu fake his death? How is that even possible? Kazuma Kiryu was the fourth chairman of the Tojo clan, and despite their rivalry, he was also quite close with Chairman Watase of the Omi Alliance. Naturally, he would have had a wide range of support from Japan's underground, being in it all those years. And that's to say nothing of the late Minoru Daidoji, whose cabal still straddles the political and finance sectors. If even one of those groups were to put pressure on the police, well, I'm sure you can imagine they'd comply. But let's move on. Take a look at this footage from yesterday. 
Kazuma Kiryu again! And sitting across from him... Is that...? Yes, that would be the two of us. Can you elaborate on what's going on here? Kazuma Kiryu, as you clearly saw in the Hawaii footage, is likely the one pulling Ichiban Kasuga's strings. Now why, after spending so long in hiding, would he suddenly emerge like this? I can only think of one plausible reason. The resurrection of the Tojo clan. He came here just as we'd finished refurbishing the old Tojo clan headquarters, stating he'll use any means to reclaim it. Need proof? The video here should be more than enough to convince you. Wow, I'm glad you're both safe. What a menace Kiryu is! How can he just be allowed to walk free? Well, he's been officially pronounced dead. It's why the police can't touch him. Still, in an effort to make a difference, we brought this to your attention in hopes that it would help. Oh, now it's all starting to come together. Thank you so much for this information. Well, everyone, Tatara Channel's on it. And we'll chase Kazuma Kiryu to the ends of the earth. Fear not. This state-protected, privileged class of Yakuza can't run forever. The truth will always win out. Above all, the Tojo clan must not be resurrected. Let's make sure to put a stop to it. That's all for today. And if you spot Kazuma Kiryu, drop me a line. Kiryu-san, we got trouble on the internet. It's that damn Tatara again. I guess you already know. Son, he just finished telling me. You gonna be alright? Now that your name and face are broadcast out in the open? Hmm. I'm not sure. We'll see how Hanawa responds. But either way, I don't have long to live. In that sense, it's not a big deal. Don't say that, Kiryu-san. You know, maybe I ought to give Ebina and Sawashiro a word of thanks. And then some. Seriously? I for one want to know what the hell they were thinking. And what was their goal in all this? Could be we got under their skin yesterday. And this was how they retaliated. Hey, didn't Tatara spread rumors about Ichiban too? Something like, former Yakuza makes a killing by forcing other ex-criminals to steal? He was only doing his job, but the video spun it completely out of context. Right. That channel's known for trying to expose the evil the media's too afraid to touch. And actually, their scoops are mostly legitimate. But why does their information get twisted when the spotlight's on Ichiban and Kiryu-san? Hey, if I knew, I'd tell you. Not only that, why is Ebina bothering to lend Tatara a hand? Seems pretty out of place for a Yakuza to go on camera like that. Plus, that footage with Kiryu-san was taken just yesterday. Yet they already had a smear campaign prepped and ready? Nice catch. You got a good eye, Psycho. Sunhee, did you come running all this way? The situation called for it. But this isn't about me. I don't have positive proof yet, but there's a good chance Ebina and Tatara were partners for a long time. Is that right? How long are we talking? At least before any of you even knew their names. How can you be so sure? Why else would Ebina and his lackey go on stream with some VTuber who has nothing to do with the Yakuza? Hmm. Anyone in the position to lead the Seiryu clan would never pull a stunt like that. It's too big a risk for one, but as you saw, they did it anyway. So, here's what I think could happen. Ebina might start using Tatara to broadcast any propaganda that suits his needs. And that's to 5 million subscribers, by the way. And I'll even take it a step further and say this. I think Ebina's been Tatara's major source of intel for everything that's happened so far. Wait a minute. So Ebina, a leader in the Yakuza world, is behind the Tatara channel of all things? What makes you think that, Sunny? Ebina's background tells it all. He used to be one of Tokyo PD's top elites. Was he really? And now he's a Yakuza captain. Talk about turning the wrong leaf. What would make him do that? I don't know the particulars. There wasn't any scandal I could trace it to. But with history like that, 
I'm sure he's got a wealth of stories the media's never seen or heard. Isn't that a fair bit of assumption, though? Sure, but it's not like it's unfounded. <sighs> oh, you know what? This involves Ichiban directly. Right after Katara effectively canceled him, Sawashiro goes and sends him to Hawaii. Meaning... Well, I just wonder, had Ichiban been able to keep giving work to ex-Yakuza, would he still have said yes to go in there? So then, Sawashiro wanted Kasuga in Hawaii for his own ends. And for that to happen, Tatara made it so he had to leave his job. The timing was too convenient. Exactly. So what I'm saying is, it's possible Sawashiro's been stringing Ichiban along. And if that's true, it's not a stretch to say they know more than they let on about Polykana. So, if everything was orchestrated by Ebina and Sawashiro, what would be their next move? Good question. I guess that's the part we're all stumped on. Should we go have another chat? I would love to, but the situation's changed. One false step, and we'll be staring down every last member of the Seiryu clan. After putting footage like that out there, they're obviously ready for a fight. And if Kiryu-san isn't his usual self, we shouldn't pick a fight we can't win. As much as I hate to admit it, I think you might be right. Okay, then why don't we do this? What? Now that the Seryu clan opened a branch office, there shouldn't be as many of them back at Ijincho. So, we should hit their HQ first. Figure we might be able to get who's in charge to talk. Nanba, that's... Actually, not such a bad idea. Yeah, let's give it a shot. Here we are, Kiryu-san. Seryu clan headquarters. <laughs> there he is! Been waiting for you, tough guy. I'm here with Men's Vice Journal. Great. What now? Feast your eyes, bros and bastards. You're taking an exclusive look at the most legendary Yakuza to ever walk the streets. Thanks to the Tatara channel, he's the talk of the town once more. Introducing Kazuma Kiryu. Ah, uh, I see what's going on here. They're hyenas lapping up a bigger man's fame. How about you give us an interview, Kiryu-san? Your story's, like, <laughs> incredible. A top dog faking his own death all so he could live in secrecy. How do you feel now that that's out in the open? Any comments? Concerns? Give me something. Out of the way. <laughs> oh! Ow! I think I broke a bone. <laughs> no way he got hurt just from that. Talk about bad acting. Yo, did you guys see that? Dude freaking wrecked me! That right there's the real, uninhibited Kazuma Kiryu- <laughs> I'm not in the mood for child's play, so get the hell out of my sight. This is the same Kiryu who's sick, right? Ugh. What the fuck, man? That shit really did break a bone! Guess what? It's all on camera. Huh. I'm surprised you didn't die on impact. Hurry up and get him, guys! I'll be right here recording. I even got a killer title. Legendary Yakuza Kazuma Kiryu gets straight up owned on camera. You really want another reality check, huh? Looks like your boys are too scared to move a muscle. That's all right. We got ourselves an arrangement. <sighs> Looks like Ebina knew we were coming. First he spreads lies, then he lays a trap. I'd say his true colors are starting to show. Right. This pretty much amounts to a declaration of war. Then how should we handle this, Kiryu-san? No question. If they want to fight, they've got one. Let's go! 
Bring it on. It's my turn. <laughs> we want some. Try to block this. Here we go. Try this on the side. Don't get carried away. I'm not that bad. <laughs> Much better. Allow me. Use it. Thanks. Right. It's my turn. Right before, you said you had an arrangement with the Seiryu clan. What did you mean by that? Uh, hard to say. Answer me now, or that bone's going back in its socket. And I can't guarantee you'll like it. <sighs> okay! Uh, uh, I got a message from the Tatara channel. They knew about you, said you'd be coming to Seiryu HQ. They also said to taunt you and get footage that the clan would protect us if we did. So Sunhee's guess was right. Ebina really has been pulling Tatara's strings. Yeah. And so Shiras is accomplice. They also made Kasuga go to Hawaii. There had to be a reason for that, too. What kind of reason, though? Let me ask what's happening in Hawaii. I've got a contact over there. Who would that be? He probably means Hanawa-san, the guy from the Daidoji faction. He's not picking up? Isn't it late at night over there? It could be they're all snoring by now. Nama just checked in with me. He and Kiryu-san made it back all right. They're staying at my place in Eugene Show while they rest up. Good to hear. So, Kiryu-san should be safe for the time being. Oh, sheesh, what a day. Akane-san has Lani safe and secure for now, at least. Problem is, finding him. Mm-hmm. Balikana's carving the island bloody searching. Hard to believe she's still out there. Listen, Akane-san won't be able to hide much longer. Shichan, has the channel gotten any comments that might be from her? Sorry. Still nothing. Well, guess ladies her age don't exactly follow what's trending. If she's online, Akane-san should have seen it already. By now, its saturation has peaked. Everyone I know has seen it. Hawaii's responsible for most of its views, geographically. I'm not following you. How many views does the thing have? A bit over 50,000 at this point. What? How many? That's a ton, isn't it? it? It sounds like a ton. Yeah, that's a hit video for sure. Hey, Chan, how do we get so many clicks? Well, I had some AI bots see the link on social media. Honestly, though, Kasuga-san, you're just pretty charismatic. Hey, don't you, like, earn money from ads or whatever? If that many people are watching, we must be raking it in, huh? That's cute. Our video is not even monetized. The channel would need way more subs. Double that view count, and we'd maybe have a hundred yen between us. No shit, huh? <laughs> Guess it's not as easy as I figured. 
Chichan, it's amazing how you know all this. Huh? Ichiban, everyone my age has run these numbers. <sighs> Anyone else feel an agent? So where's that leave us? Akane-san still in the wind? If you could simply locate her, the Daidoji faction is ready to help. We can arrange a flight out of Hawaii at any time. For Lonnie as well. Thanks for that much, I guess. Still, you Daidoji faction guys don't exactly put me at ease. That's understandable. I'm in the dark as far as my boss's interest in Akane-san is concerned. However... Hmm? This country's proven more than a match for you already. Leave this to the professionals. Unless you've got a better plan to cross international waters. Have you? Okay, point taken. But for all your talk, you're no closer to Akane-san than we are. Why not use Palekana's intelligence against them? Your last known sighting of the target was in Night Square. She's not a target, okay? Her name's Akane-san. Night Square, you said? That's Yamai's territory, isn't it? Yeah, not exactly on great terms with that one. Sure we should head back there? Seems like we're asking for trouble. But hang on. How long ago is last known, anyway? A little after they took off. About a week and a half ago. Hardly breaking news. You sure about this? You're free to ignore my input. Bear in mind, though. Yamai's the only force that can keep Palikana at bay. That is true. Yamai and Bryce are still locking horns. Considering how long they've been chasing the woman, it would make sense. This is all assuming she's still alive, of course. My condolence is otherwise. What do you say, Kasuga? With the orphanage a dead end, this could be our best shot. Yeah, night square it is. But to start, how about we check with that woman at the tattoo parlor? She seemed up on things. Again with her? Seriously. That's how it goes. Search 99 times, find a clue on the hundredth. Uh, yeah, yeah. That said, am I the only one who's beat? All right, let's rest up. Head out tomorrow. Okay. Goes without saying, probably, but we know our faces now. Bryce has too many eyes and ears for us to let our guard down. Right. Everybody stay close. Don't do anything stupid. Yeah. Just have to work together. Same as always. Polycana scumbag. We'll never find Akane-san if they keep creeping up on us. Damn it, Yamai's territory is infested with these guys. Screw it then! Let's give them what they want! You can't run from me! Ready to rumble! Okay. Could be alright! Are you getting scared?
kill them? Not even close. You think you won? I guess they saved the best for last. What's the call? We pulling out? No way. Kiryu san let this job to us. Run away now, and we just embarrass ourselves. That said, I'm starting to hit a wall here. Let's one shot this creep. What do you say? You guys with me? Just a bit longer? What's that you're spewing? Bastards, I'll slaughter you! We're in this together. Show them what we got! Get ready for this! Okay, you asked for it. Let's do this, guys! Hell yeah! Here's what true friends are made of! Okay, that's got him scattered. You again? Just can't turn down trouble. Huh? Oh, listen, Auntie. What are you doing here? Yamai hasn't killed you yet? This isn't about him. We came to talk to you. I've got nothing to say to any of you. At least hear us out. There are two people missing. Look, have you seen them? They were last seen here, about a couple weeks ago. Then Yamai's the one you want to talk to. Yamai's been after them too. He hasn't had any luck yet either. Hm. Sorry, I don't know him. Now get out of here. You people make my ulcer flare up. She doesn't mince words. <sighs> she didn't recognize Akane-san anyway. This is a complete bust. He only just got here. Searched 99 times. Well said, Chitose. You'd make a good detective. Fine. Guess we'll just ask around, huh? Kanesan and Lani were here at one point. Maybe somebody saw them. Yeah, okay. I'm okay. Hey. Thanks. Sup? Thanks. Huh. Mm -hmm. Ah. <sighs> 
Crisis goons. So this is getting old. No matter what we do, they're on top of us. Even if we had a Kane-san, we wouldn't be able to get away. Jeez, Adachi-san, you're right. If only one of us had said this was a bad idea. Shut your trap. What are you dumb shits doing in our part of town? Our part? So you're with Yamai? This is his territory, ain't it? Now scram your asses out of here before we kill you! <laughs> this guy. He really lays it on thick, doesn't he? <laughs> You're mine! Thought I threw you out last time. Where's Kiryu? Don't tell me he finally kicked it. He's back in Japan. Needed a vacation from his vacation. That's so. Hold on. Is that actual concern I hear? <laughs> You've got some sense of humor, you know. No! Come on! Hey, who's on whose side here? Yeah! What this? Are we fighting or not? <laughs> this isn't exactly going to plan. Boss, give me the word. I'll crush every one of these chumps into putty. I'll hold you to that. Don't disappoint me. Yes, sir. Okay, that's a little more straightforward. Let's go! You're next for the cutting board. Let's do this, Cole. You're stuffing up my house! Ready to make <laughs> Done. Okay. Do your work. Prepare yourself. I'm at a <laughs> Let's get it done. Brace yourself. Looks like I'm up. Damn it! Thanks for the help, Yamai. Just taking necessary action to defend my turf. You want to show your appreciation? Get the fuck out. We're not leaving, Yamai. You and me, we've got more to talk about. Oh... Asuga. <sighs> you just saw what Bryce has been throwing our way. The Barracudas and Ganja are hitting us from both sides. Pain in the ass, right? But Akane-san and Lani are still missing, and I won't stop looking for them. My sympathies. And that's why I need as many friends as I can get! You could help us out here, if you wanted to. Will you? What? Hey, Kasuga, this guy was hunting Akane-san for himself not three days ago. Sure, maybe he was. But once he found out what was up, he called it off. Maybe, but wasn't he ready to butcher us all the same? We managed to get past that, too. Look, Yamai had Kiryu-san in his clutches. He could have killed him, but he protected him instead. Yamai's not some cheap thug or a mercenary. He's real Yakuza. You're a smooth talker. But I'm not buying what you're selling. You all can throw yourselves into the wood chipper if you want. If I'm lucky, you'll last long enough to weaken them for me to swoop in later. We both know you're no scavenger. Maybe Bryce just frightens you. Shut up, Ichiban! What'd you say? The boss ain't frightened of jack shit! 
That's the best you've got, funny man. No more smooth talking, just cheap shit bait. Boss, how about I cut his tongue out for you? You're not gonna do a goddamn thing. You know why? Cause even cheap shit bait can hook a monster. <sighs> Jeez, you idiot! Huh? I guess I'll be filing my complaint with you later. Sorry, but your mice too important to back down from. All right, no putting it off any longer. It had to come to this sooner or later, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, it did. Yeah. Am I serious this time? He's pulling out all his stops. I'll say. Cause we better do the same. Yeah, I don't know, Brad. Go get you. Listen to me. I need your help here. You've been getting your way for years because you had the power, right? Well, what happens now that we've beaten you? <laughs> you and I are never gonna be friends. Got it. But you win. If we find the old woman, we'll keep her here. No safer harbor for her. That woman's name is Akane-san. Aside from that, thank you, Yamai. Not all that? Of course, sir. I'll spread the word. So the idea was to fight Yamai to get him on our side, huh? Guess that explains those lame-ass taunts. Yeah. Or at least to go down swinging. Can't you even pretend you had a plan? Sheesh. You there! Ichiban Kasuga, right? Uh, Auntie? Huh? What's up? Answer me. You're Ichiban Kasuga, right? Yeah. Come with me. I need to talk to you. Hey, we can talk right here. Do whatever you want, then. What the hell? Tomi, what's the deal with her? How am I supposed to know? Still, you should probably go hear her out, right? Rude to turn her down. <sighs> You're right. Let's see what she's got to say.
yeah. Okay. Ichiban. Okay.
Ah. Hey, lady, where are we headed? The sun's going down. Whatever, then. I'll just sit here. Could use the shut eye. We're here. We are? Uh, what? Excuse me, what do you mean we're here? Yeah, it's the middle of the ocean, lady. Oh, bursting for a piss, too. Don't you dare pee in my boat. Right there. See it? Uh -huh. Is that a cruiser? Here it comes. Listen. Huh? Okay. Right now, we're short on faith, but shorter on time. Trusting you is a gamble. For your sake, don't let me regret it. I'm not sure I get you. But when someone bets big on me, I pay off. <laughs> Hope so. Hey, how about you talk straight with us? Best place to hide a tree's the forest. Here, we've got something better. We keep precious cargo at sea. Huh? Suppose I should say hello, Ichiban Kasuka-san. Now it makes sense. Hiding out on the ocean. Bryce was scouring the city, but they were never there. And you, you were the old woman's contact this whole time. You watch your tongue talking about her. When she was a Palekana volunteer, she did a lot of good for people. You don't want to find out how far I'd go to protect her. <sighs> so this is who Bryce is tearing up the island for? It's okay. Introduce yourself. Nice to meet you. 
My name is Lonnie. My name's Kasuga. Ichiban Kasuga. It's nice to meet you too, Lonnie. Thank you very much. Which means... You're Akane-san, aren't you? Hmm, that's right. Akane Kishida. I appreciate all you've been through. Just for my and Lonnie's sake. I'm very sorry. Hey, everything we did was our choice. Yeah, you got nothing to be sorry for. Besides, you're Kasuga's mother, aren't you? We'd have followed you into hell itself. Your boy here knows how to inspire folks. <laughs> I'm so very sorry. How troublesome must it be to have an old woman interrupt your life, claiming to be your mother? To be honest, it still hasn't sunk in. I, uh, I'm not really sure how to process all this stuff. Don't worry. That's a very normal response. Sawashiro-san knew that I was being selfish, reaching out to you. I had to beg him before he'd do it. <sighs> Still, thank you for finding me. It's good to meet you. Oh, come on. <laughs> this is embarrassing. Um, Akane-san, it is okay to call you that, right? <laughs> of course it is. There's a lot we should probably talk about. But right now, your safety is top priority. Yeah, now that we're back on land, who knows when Bryce might sniff us out. Say, Lonnie, have you ever been to Japan? Mm -mm. Okay, well, Akane-san's gonna take you there, all right? It's colder than it is here, but the food's great. If we go there, Akane will be safe? Yeah! Akane-san can rest easy, and you won't have to hide anymore! It's true. Japan's a nice place. Okay. Then, let's go. Alright. We should get moving. Thankfully, the Daidoji faction's here. They've got a lot of pull back home. Daidoji? Yeah. They can get you and Akane-san to Japan in a snap. That sound okay to you, Akane-san? Mm-hmm. Kiyo-san and I knew that we could only keep hiding for so long. We'll put our faith in you from here on. Uh, Kiyo-san? Ahem. <clears throat> great, great name. It, it suits you. Sorry, we probably should have asked. Don't wear it out. All right, I'm gonna make the call. Hold on a second. Hanawa? Yeah. He said he could arrange a flight out for us. Let's hope these guys are as good as their word. Chitose, everything good? Oh, um, yeah. Don't mind me. Yeah. Make sure it's ready. We'll bring them by soon. Anawa's place is kind of far from here. Think you could get us a ride? The Daidoji safe house is the best spot for Akane-san and Lani right now. I can get you something sturdy, bulletproof, driver to go with it too. Just say the word. You may not know this, but I was a hell of a getaway driver back in the day. You may not know this, but I'm a former cop. How about that? Guess we'll just leave the past in the past for now. <laughs> Don't mind if we do. Okay. Say, Akane-san, mind if I ask something? These people, 
Why are they after the two of you? Uh, it's this. It's what Lonnie's carrying. Huh? Lonnie, would you show him? Um... It's okay. Kaskasan's someone you can trust. A pendant? That's Polycana's insignia. It is. I've seen this before somewhere. Oh! Before! Bryce was wearing one that looked like that. Callan and Dana and the other Polycana followers. They all dress pretty similar, but none of them had a pendant quite like this. No wonder it stood out at the time. This one's unique. It's the sage of Polycana's birthright. It's been passed down through generations since the Order was founded. A sacred relic. Truly one of a kind. One of a kind, huh? But that would mean... Right. Therein lies the problem. You see, I met Lonnie only recently. About two weeks ago now, I think. It was late. Close to midnight, best as I recall. The rest of the orphanage staff had gone. The children were all asleep. I'd been catching up on paperwork, staying overtime. Staying until midnight? I guess you had a lot of responsibility as director. <laughs> Thanks for saying so, but it's a rewarding job. Anyway, it was around then I heard a knock on the door. And there she was. Lonnie. In all my time at the orphanage, no one had ever come to us like that. Alone. In the middle of the night. Lonnie, what brought you to Akane-san's place? I never had a mom or dad. I grew up with my grandma. But then, grandma got sick. She went to the hospital. They told us she wouldn't get better. I'm really sorry. Grandma said, if she had to leave me, she needed to make sure I'd be okay. She gave me this pendant and a letter, and said that in Honolulu, there's a Polycana orphanage I should go to. What was in the letter? It's less of a letter, more of a will, but not from Lani's grandmother. It's 70 years old. Written by Pollock Hanna's sage at the time. Now that's pretty fucking interesting. What does it say, akane san I've memorized every word of it. If, in the event of my death, Bryce Fairchild is named Sage of Pollock Hanna, his claim must be deemed illegitimate and falsely gained. <gasps> The rightful sage, as elected by our officers, shall be born only of the Mililani family. To this true successor, I bequeath our most precious heraldry. Oh. The Mililani family has one living heir. Lani. When she brought that to me, I could scarcely believe it was authentic. Yeah, I'm sure. The whole time, Bryce must have seemed like a righteous leader. You couldn't have known he was hiding anything. That's why... That's why I fell into his trap. I called Bryce to ask him about it. You did what came naturally. That letter was way too much to handle on your own. It would have been standard procedure to inform Bryce, I'm sure. Thank you. But standard or not, it was the worst move I could have made. I got Lonnie something to eat and called Bryce's number. Despite how late it was, Bryce immediately said he'd come over. <laughs> that was when I started feeling like something was wrong. <sighs> Bryce got there acting like usual. <sighs> then he saw the pendant and the will. Before I knew it, Lonnie had a gun pointed at her. Oh. 
All I could do was take her hand and run away. But Bryce's men were already after us. We were being hunted. Everyone in Polycon I used to trust turned on us. But somehow, we got to Night Square, where Kyo-san was willing to give us shelter. You were in my turf from the very start, and I never found you. Ugh, I'll never live this shit down. Don't be so hard on yourself. Since you and Bryce are enemies, it meant Night Square was safe for them. Wait, didn't Dana say that Akane-san left a letter behind? With all his resources, I bet the Sage has a forger on payroll. I guess so. That means the police who gave up looking are probably with Bryce, too. Anyway, if he was ready to kill a little girl just like that, this is the real deal. That night, did he come alone? Mm. Maybe he didn't want his people learning the truth. And now every gang in Hawaii is trying to cover it up. By now, he must be desperate. Uh, hey, Akane-san, what did the will mean about him being illegitimate? From what I understand, the last sage was killed in a robbery, along with his wife. Bryce claims that the sage entrusted his pendant to him as he was dying. If falsely gained means what I think it might... Then Bryce might have been behind that robbery, huh? Seems like the last sage saw Bryce for what he was, according to the will. In that case, this pendant's the real thing. And Bryce's must be... Most likely, a fake. The last sage could have sensed something amiss and switched pendants in advance. Probably, considering what he wrote down. Now it makes sense. Bryce would do anything to keep that secret. So this Mililani family, what happened? They must have known the danger they'd face challenging him. Even after so long. Bryce is crazed when it comes to maintaining power. Uh, seems that way. And so, the Mililani family abandoned Palakana for their own safety. Lani's grandmother had no ties to them. I doubt she even fully knew the pendant's true worth. She may have only thought Polycana would look after Lani if she had it in her possession, never realizing the danger it put her in. This means Lani is the real sage of Polycana, doesn't it? Uh, <sighs> A child shouldn't have to bear that kind of burden. Polycana has gone this long without her. There's no good reason to involve her now. You're right. It's all gonna be okay, Lonnie. Sit tight. Let the grown-ups protect you. The grown-ups. It's really been 45 years. You're older now than Masumi-san was the last time I saw him. You should have seen me in my prime. Uh, sorry you couldn't. I should say the same thing to you, but I've always wanted to hold you again. <laughs> and now, oh, you're much too big for me to pick up. <laughs> yeah, don't want to hurt your back. The thing is, Akane-san, I know you best as the woman Arakawa-san told me about. Hmm? How you carried a newborn out of the hospital? Doing everything you could to protect it? I mean, that's just amazing. There was nothing amazing about it. All I did was run for my life. And when I stoked that baby away, I had given up on everything. Akane-san, look what you're doing right now. Running. <laughs> With a child, so I am. <sighs> Some people never learn, do we? Uh, you know, Arakawa-san said to me that... 
Of all the women over the years, there was only one. <sighs> Even if I've only just met you, I can tell why. Thank you for that. <laughs> Eyes on the damn road. Of course. I'll deliver you safely. I swear on my life, boss. Right here's good. The Daidoji safe house is just up there. Hold back a second. Tetsu. All quiet. Nobody in sight. Saji. Everything looks okay, boss. Coast is clear. That's all I've got for you. I appreciate this, Yamaya. It's usually too late for men like us to do right by the people we came from. Hmm. It's us. Kasuga and everyone. I've arranged for a private jet. We're preparing for takeoff now. Another 30 minutes or so. Feel free to rest in the meantime. Oh, that's posh. Perks of being an evil enterprise, huh? Well, hardly evil. We simply maintain the status quo. Can't see much of a difference there. Welcome. I'm pleased you're safe. I take it, you're Akane-san, then. <sighs> At last, we've searched for some time. I'm moved to confess. I'm curious why my superiors find you so valuable. <clears throat> Hanawa-san, you have any tact? Could I at least try putting him at ease? Hmm. Uh, let's sit, please. <laughs> What's wrong, Chitose-san? Just now, I saw you trying to call someone. Wh what are you talking about? Hold up. Something wrong, Chichan? That's what I'd like to know. <laughs> Quit playing games, Chitose-san. My phone. May I have it back? <laughs> Chitose-san. Hey. Chichan. Listen carefully, Ichiban. He was never the person you thought he was. Akane-san and Lani aren't safe here. Huh? <sighs> Forgive me, please. I'm sorry. He's been blackmailing me all along. I couldn't tell you. Uh, uh, uh. I'm confused. Is this some kind of private joke I don't get? Chi-chan, how could a be blackmailing you? With what? <laughs> Your guess is as good as mine. Chitose-san and I just met the other day. <laughs> hey! What are you doing? He can move his legs just fine. The wheelchair's a goddamn front! Ichiban, think about it. You used to care for someone in a wheelchair. Masato Arakawa, right? He reminds you of him, doesn't he? That was the plan from the beginning. Get in the chair, play on your sympathies. Wait a second. You're saying Achan. You're saying his legs work? He can walk? No. I... I... I'd have known. I... I would have been able to tell. Aichan wasn't... He's not... Aichan? <laughs> oh... 
look at you. Never been a bigger sucker. <laughs> Lidocaine, it's called. It's a fast-acting, localized anesthetic. At the time, I said, how hard could it be to fake being crippled? <laughs> Luckily, Ebina-san insisted you'd spot an act. <laughs> Ebina? As in Siryu Clan Ebina? <laughs> yes, yes! <laughs> the fuck? Who are you? Disappointing, Chitose Fujinomiya. You never had the heart. Never could see it through. You know what's going to happen now. Your life's not worth shit. Hey, John. You bastard. Ichiban, we don't have time. They're already here. <laughs> Who are you? Lani! <laughs> 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 Lani! Akane! No! 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 Oh, damn it! everyone she's unconscious but she'll be okay it's uh not good for them huh? hanawa san and wong they were both shot they're dead Q. 
you, Yusano. It's Kasuga. What's happened? Ono-san. He's been killed. Wong, too. And Lani. Polikana has her. She's gone. Forgive me. Everything. I screwed everything up. So, Eiji tipped off Dwight about the safe house. And if what he said is true, he's also got ties to Ebina. I have that right. Yeah. Then if he knows Dwight, I imagine he knows Bryce by way of association. That means it's Eiji, Bryce of Palikana, and Ebina of the Seiryu clan. All of them working against us. How could I let this happen? Everything. It's all my fault. h made a fool of me! We're dealing with someone who put himself in a wheelchair because he dug up your history with Masato Arakawa. I doubt many people could see through something so devious. So don't put this all in yourself. Yeah, but... Hanawa-san and Wong still died! Kane san got hurt. Lani's still gone. And now we're looking for her all over again. I know it's a bad situation. We're at rock bottom. It can't get much worse. <sighs> well, listen, Kasuga. That's all the more reason to keep your head up. Guys like us, all we can do is swallow the pain and push forward. Uh. Hitose. I still don't have the full story. You said Aja was blackmailing you? What did you mean? I wish I could tell you, but now is hardly the time. The police could be here any minute, and I'd rather be long gone. That said, I do need to get something off my chest. Here you, son. Ichiban? Yeah? You've heard of the Tatara channel, yeah? The one that put false accusations on Ichiban and the party, and outed Kiryu-san's existence to the world? What about it? The VTuber running the show, Hisoka Tatara. Well, that was me. What? I'll demonstrate. What's up, people? Tatara Channel coming at ya! Ready for another mind-blowing revelation? Cause here it is! The Dragon of Dojima's been spotted in Hawaii! That voice... Chichan? You're her? Yeah. And it was Eiji who pointed me at you. You wrote the script, I did the song and dance. Now you know the truth. I'd say that's pretty damning evidence. Still, I wouldn't have guessed it was Eiji behind all that. It's just like you said earlier. Eiji's been working with Ebina from the start. Everything he does is under Ebina's orders. Speaking of, Ebina starting some kind of garbage storing business with Polykana. Yeah, I heard it from the man himself. Now I know which parts he left out. Well, they've all been chasing Akane-san because she's sheltering Lani. Apparently, they thought sending Ichiban to Hawaii would help lure them out. And to see that through, Eiji's been keeping tabs on him from the moment they met on the plane. As for me, I was just another pawn in their game. Shichan. So it's confirmed then. We're up against Bryce. Ebina, 
and Eiji in the end. Not to mention Sawashiro. Uh, the captain? Yeah. When Jatara and Ebina outed me, it was right there with them on video. It's true, Ichiban. You put us through some major shit over here. Uh, no, hang on a sec. You really think... You really think that's right? What do you mean? I know this might sound crazy, but... Guys, I don't think the captain would put Akane-san in danger. Huh? Ichiban, you realize who you're talking about? He'll do anything and everything to get ahead, or save his own skin. For instance, wasn't he gonna kill Akane-san just to hide his dirty secret from his boss? But he held back. Also, it was for the young master. To give his son a better life. And now... Now that he's lost everything, all he's got left is making good on his debt to Arakawa-san. Think about it. Why else would he let himself get locked up for a murder he didn't commit? There's no way he'd leave Akane-san to the wolves. Not after all this. You're that sold, huh? Hurry it up, Ichiban. We need to go, now! Kiryu-san, when the captain asked me to go to Hawaii, he bowed to me. I know him. Bowing his head to me, of all people, can't be just an act. That's one thing he'd never do. Me meeting Akane-san would help the captain bury one of his last regrets. That has to be why he sent me. And Sawashiro, you really think Ebina hasn't looped him in on his real plan? <sighs> I do. That's true. Then he might not be on Ebina's team after all. Kiryu-san, could you talk to the captain for me? Right now, I need to go after Lani. If we don't act fast, she might be gone forever. All right, we'll take this from separate angles. If anything changes, I'll contact you right away. Guess we've got ourselves a date with Sawashiro. Anyone lower on the totem pole won't be worth the trouble. So, storming Seiryu HQ's on hold then? Yeah, but first things first, we need a way to contact Sawashiro. Hey, you heard that, right? You know how to get a hold of them. <sighs> like I'd tell you! Ha! Over my dead body! If I were you, I'd choose my words more carefully. <laughs> Don't waste your breath on this asshole. Hmm? Hey, Sawashiro may be elusive, but he's still in my town. Think I wouldn't already have his number? You were quick, Sunny. Hmm. Something wrong, Psycho? It's just... Didn't this AG guy completely pull the wool over Ichiban's eyes? Yeah. And now Ichiban's saying Sawashiro, of all people's, reformed. What makes him so sure? If you told me he was working for Ebina, I'd buy it. Yet somehow you believe him, don't you? Maybe he sees something we don't. After all, isn't that one of his strengths? Uh, how do I respond to that? That's cheating. Well, whoever side he's on, Sawashiro is still a key figure in all this. <sighs> True enough. Okay then, let's get moving. Right. When push comes to shove, you gotta keep your head up. Okay.
I see you got here quick. Should have known you two would hustle. Yeah, what took you? Hey, Zhao! Jungi Han! How are you? It's been so long. Hmm. Indeed. I see you two are as lively as ever. Well, hello there. <laughs> Taichi Suzuki-san. I've seen you two around. He used to lead the Yokohama Liomang, and I'm sure you remember Jungi Han. Sunny filled me in on the details, including those about your condition. Did she? Guess that saves us some time. Who are they? Some local detectives. I call them up every now and again to keep me informed on Ijincho's latest and greatest. They're still in the trial phase, of course. On that note, looks like your detective doesn't recognize our man Kiryu-san. Well, ignorance is bliss, as they say. So that's what's up. Sawashiro's a hard man to read, I'll admit. Depending on how deep he's in with Ebina, we may want to rethink our approach. The Seryu clan's been similarly hard to read, after Takabe, the next chairman, went to prison. But hearing this puts a lot into perspective. Yeah? How so? It goes back to Takabe's arrest. He was suspected of handing his men illegal firearms. Apparently there was a rat, and now it's smelling more and more like Ebina. Why? I heard a Seryu clan informant leak the details that led to Takabe's arrest. Now, if Ebina was truly after a second great dissolution, he wouldn't need his superior out of the picture. So at the time, we never pinned him as the traitor. However, if the dissolution is merely a ruse, and his true goal was to take the reins of the Seryu clan, then it's all but certain that Takabe's arrest is his doing. Is it possible he wanted to split up the Yakuza, but then change his mind after swearing up himself? Or maybe he joined the Seryu clan intending to take over from the start. And to do that, he even sacrificed his career with the police. Why do all that, though? That's what I'd like to know. Actually, if Sawashiro's always sticking around Ebina, I bet he'd have some clue. Yeah. Assuming he's not on board with Ebina's plans, like Kasuga says. Well, Sunny already knows how to contact the guy. Let's just dial him up and see if he'll talk. As long as Ebina's not breathing down his neck. What's up? Sawashiro speaking. It's Kiryu. We need to talk. Uh, Kiryu-san. Where are you right now? Your boss there with you? Before we get lost in the weeds, care to tell me what this is about? I just want to have a conversation. Somewhere Ebina isn't around. Ah, uh, well, that's unfortunate. Now things are rather busy on my end. As you may be aware, I've got my hands full training our men for Hawaii. You're nothing but a talking head to those men. 
When your hands are full, doing what exactly? Wiping Ebina's ass? <laughs> Cute. If it was Ichi who said that, I'd have slit his throat right now. Then maybe you should say that to my face. Or are you too much of a coward? I'm at the Siryu clan warehouse at the docks. Nanba should know how to get there. I trust Ebina won't be there listening? No. But it won't be a private meeting. We've got men posted up at every corner. And I doubt they'll appreciate intruders, so... Don't go expecting a warm welcome. Fair enough. Well, if you're that dead set on it, I won't bother talking you down. Best of luck. So, how should we take that exactly? If we go see Sawashiro, we'll be facing down enemies left and right. Yep, sure sounded like it. If you ask me, I think Sawashiro wanted to meet us. Yeah? Just think about it. If he wasn't interested, he never would have given his location or the warning at the end. In fact, it's almost like he was sending an SOS. Wait a sec. So does this mean he's actually on our side? Well, hell, let's get our asses over to him then. However, there's a chance we're playing right into his hand. Meaning once we set foot into that warehouse, we'll have to go through hordes of Yakuza only to find Ebina waiting. Uh, then how do we know whether Sawashiro's lying or not? Only way to know for sure is to pay him a visit. As risky as it sounds, I guess we don't have much choice. Oh, guess not. Okay, then why don't I lend you a hand? Huh? Huh? <laughs> what? I'm not invited? No, we could use your help, if it's all right. You think I'd rather chill here and let Sunny hog all the fun? No, but think about it. If you two make a big scene, could disturb what little peace hangs in the balance. That's why we have you to keep the scales from tipping. You make it sound so simple. I won't deny that we could use an extra ally. But given your position, won't it cause problems for you to start a fight with a Seiryu clan? Hey, there are problems in Ijin show as it is. And we've got the Seiryu themselves to thank. And it's them who started this shit. So I say... We shot some back in their faces. Besides, if I let my position hold me back, what kind of lame-ass friend would I be? That isn't stopping you, right? <sighs> Whoops. May have spoken out of turn there. No, I think I'm the one who's guilty of that. Forgive me. I take it you're on board? Huh. I suppose. I won't welcome him with open arms or anything, but maybe a pat on the head will do. Sheesh! What do I gotta do to get on your good side? <laughs> it's all good. Let's get out there and kick some ass together. Hell yeah! Chow's back to spice up the party! At this point, we're basically unstoppable, right? Must be nice, having all the fun to yourselves. Yo! <laughs> they even brought a couple of babes for us. All right. I can't wait to get my hands on this crew. Dumbass. That he has no idea one of these babes is the queen of Komichul herself. Eh, ignorance will do you in like that. Kirusan, I don't see Sawashiro anywhere. If anything, he's deep inside the warehouse. Here's the plan. We push forward until we see him in person. Anyone who gets in our way, gets taken out. Hey, what's with you people? You think you can waltz right in? Don't just fucking ignore me! You wanna get dumped in the bay? 
you're gonna bring it, then bring it. Yapping with you is a waste of my time. That's it, you're dead! <laughs> bring it on. Let's do it. Something wrong. You're weak. Who wants to go? In for the kill! I won't hold back. What an eyesore. Watch this. I won't hold back. Tell me something. Aren't you people here to turn your lives around? Or let me guess. You think you'll get a clean slate in Hawaii? And all you've got to do is follow orders. If that's how you see it, you'll never return to society, no matter how hard you try. If you're serious about making a change, start by thinking for yourself. I don't give lectures like him. Only thing my enemies get is a lesson in pain. That's how it works in Comey Jewel. <laughs> That's gotta hurt. Guess even Sun He cuts loose when she's mad. I see the men out front gave you no trouble. Yeah. They won't be getting up anytime soon. I take it they could use the rest. Ah, don't worry about them. Bargain Barrel thugs aren't exactly at a premium these days. What with the dissolution leaving so many ripe for the picking? Isn't your job to fix that? Or is this second dissolution of yours just a way to exploit them? After everything you've done... This was your chance to light their path. Huh. I won't deny that. You know, one of them said something rather profound. Going clean was like prison all over again. You know, people like us have no freedom. Of course, he must have had eyes on him everywhere. You never know what an ex-Yakuza will do, right? And I'm not even at the saddest part. We have nearly a hundred people working here at all times, but they only need a single supervisor, if that. What makes that possible is the structure of our warehouse. Take a look at this observation tower. It's designed so you can't see in from outside. Because of that, you never know when you're being watched. Meaning, you can never slack off. They call it a panopticon. Any idea why these were invented? To keep prisoners in line. And twisted, isn't it? These people wanted to escape the doggy -dog, dog world of a criminal. Yet what do they do? Crawl right into another form of prison. Tell me, why gather them under one roof and then ship them over to Hawaii? To rehabilitate them, of course. Is that the only thing Ebina said? If he hasn't let you in on anything else by now, don't get surprised when he casts you aside. You may want to mind your words. These four are some of the Seriu clan's strongest, and they don't take kindly to insults, especially when it comes to Ebinasan. They also won't hesitate to kill, whether they've been given clearance or not. Pretty bold for Yakuza in this day and age. Then again, I've seen plenty like that in my time. They have all come and gone. Now, you want to know what real strength is? Now let my fists do the talking!
Cane, huh? Don't see that every day. Probably not always got a sleep. Stay on our toes. <coughs> Follow my lead. You think you can win? You're good. Are you done with all the fun and games yet? Time to put you down. <coughs> yeah. Okay. Have fun with this. It's showtime. What a blast. Much better. Let's do it. <laughs> Easy. Waste of my time. We did it. We really did it. We beat Sawashiro. Way to go, Kiryu-san. You need to get me out of here. I can't speak freely around them. Hey, hey, let go! What do you think you're doing? That's a good idea. <laughs> Not much of a choice here. Meet up at Ichi's place after. Huh? Wait, Kiryu-san, seriously? What'd you do that for? We're done here. Next stop is Ebina. Guy's just full of surprises, isn't he? Ah, tell me about it. But I'll admit, hearing Sawashiro scream as he plummeted into the sea? Priceless. Sure didn't see that coming. Ah, now it all adds up. So Sawashiro wanted to get tossed in the ocean. Yeah, we made plans to meet up at Kasuga's place. Does this mean we're trusting him after all? Depends on how our conversation goes. Now, I imagine he'll want to keep a low profile. Maybe we'll get to see him in disguise. Oh, this is gonna be good. <laughs> so, Shiro. You should see yourself right now. I'd appreciate you sticking to the point. I'm not man of time, you know. All right. But first, we need to know where you stand. Who is Ebina to you? The visionary responsible for the Second Great Dissolution. And a man after Masumi Arakawa's own heart. We thought the same at first. But in light of his recent behavior, I'm sure you've noticed something's up by now. Yeah. The second dissolution's just a smokescreen. A shiny ad to pull in fresh recruits. But I found that out too late. After sending Ichi to Hawaii. Gee, isn't the timing convenient? It does sound that way. But if it was a lie, I'd expect something a bit more convincing. He has a point. Look at that. Your slimy reputation precedes you. And it's in your favor. Let's talk about Kasuga in Hawaii. He's there to lure out Akane-san, isn't he? And it was Ebina who proposed that. Likely to curry favor with Bryce. Sound right? Right on the money. If that's the case, why are you still working with him? You had to have known. 
hell Akane-san's going through, dodging death at every turn? Isn't she the woman your boss loved? Yeah, but don't forget, Ichi's over there. As long as he's in Hawaii, Akane-san's in good hands. Placing your bets on Kasuga-kun, are we? Sounds like you trust him. <sighs> Something like that. But with him on the job, I can focus on the real work I gotta do. Real work? <laughs> and that would be... Putting Ebina's fake plan into action. I'm gonna see the second great dissolution through. Huh? But if I have any hope of doing that, I need to know Ebina's true motive. Motive for what? The waste management business he's running with Polycana. It has something to do with nuclear reactors. Specifically, the waste these reactors pump out. What? Nuclear waste? As in, from power plants? Yeah. On one end, there's spent fuel rods, which can still be repurposed and weaponized. Without strict protocols in place, they could easily fall into the wrong hands. On the other end, there's dirt, water, concrete, equipment, and what have you that end up getting contaminated. These are considered low-level radioactive waste, and while they're not as deadly, there's a lot of it. And with Japan dragging its heels in the decommissioning process, we're left with mountains of waste that'll remain toxic for centuries. The best they can do is silo it off in temporary storage facilities and hope a solution arises in the future. Oh yeah, I hear about that on the news every now and again. No matter where they try to build these facilities, the locals always fight against it. That's precisely what Polycana honed in on. For over 20 years, They've been stashing nuclear waste from around the globe on their private island. You know it as. Nelly Island, right? According to Polycana, that's paradise. A reward for only the chosen. Yeah. Real fitting, isn't it? Using sacred ground to hide away toxic waste. Rice has a real sense of humor. Also, the fee they charge for processing the waste isn't cheap. And I'm sure Ebina gets a nice cut. But beyond that, I still don't know where all our ex-Yakuza factor in. My guess is they're needed for loading and transport. So that's it then. Ebina's yet another money-hungry maniac. Now, I know I shouldn't say this, but hear me out for a second. If Palikana's willing to bear the brunt of Japan's nuclear waste problem, in spite of all the issues, isn't it a win for the country? From what I understand, each country's responsible for its own nuclear waste. How does Ebina plan on going around the law? Well, he won't have to if they loosen regulations. Politicians, bureaucrats, and investors are all waiting to jumpstart the nuclear industry in Japan. And to keep the money flowing, they'd build even more reactors if they could. But naturally, they'd also welcome any waste disposal method that seems convenient. So if one day you hear the TV saying how the government wants to ship its waste offshore, that means they've already started trying to sway public opinion. And eventually, a change in legislation will follow. Wow, that's insane, right? There's a chance Ebina and Palikana could legally be in the clear. Hmm, if only it weren't the Yakuza and a cult, I might have just took it and shrugged. Sorry if this sounds biased, but there has to be an ulterior motive somewhere. There absolutely is. In other words, you're sticking with Ebina to figure out that motive. Yes. You say that, but did you really need to blow Kiryu-san's cover? You know, on the Tatara channel? I merely read the script I was given. Huh. <laughs> Alright. It's true that for Ebina, the second dissolution might just be a means to an end. However, if Masumi Arakawa were alive, this is something he would have wanted. And if whatever Ebina's planning would subvert that, I'll bring him down from the very foundation. I see. 
When that time comes, I would hope to have the Dragon of Dojima's support. That's why I went through all this to speak with you. How could the Great Dissolution be forged with the Tojo Clan and the Omi Alliance crumble like this? People put their lives on the line to open up a path for the future. But all it took was four years to fail. Oh, curious son. Guess your plans weren't so airtight. As a country, Japan's not exactly kind to those who make mistakes. Far from it, actually. So yeah, these ex-Yakuza had nowhere to turn but Ebina. Getting back on their feet wasn't an option. No, something's not right. It shouldn't have been like this. This wasn't the plan they told me about. The plan we all believed in. Sorry, who are they? The leaders of the Great Dissolution. Daigo Dojima, sixth chairman of the Tojo clan. Along with Goro Majima and Taiga Saijima. You've made a wise decision, gentlemen. Be it poison of the soul or the soil, trust that Palakana's fires will purify. Let it cleanse your sins and your refuse. You are all now members of my family. In due time, the leaders of your country will unveil a new energy initiative. Finally, your great nuclear reactors will come to life again, enriching us all. Truly, those fortunate enough to be gathered here will be made prosperous, will be made fat with wealth. We are in your debt, my generous sage. On behalf of all citizens of Japan, thank you for cleansing our nation. I've spoken to the Minister. We're clear to begin reopening the power plants. My humblest gratitude. If I may be so bold, you are a ray of silver light that has shone upon our burdened economy. In so many words, a savior. Let us not forget our silent partner, Ebina-san. We owe this day to you as well. You deserve far more glory than we can offer. Indeed. You've done a great deal for us, Ebina-san. You honor me, Chairman. Once my organization is restructured, I look forward to sharing the public eye with you. Till then, I graciously accept your guidance, now and in the future. Apologies, gentlemen. I fear our time is up. I'm overdue for a ritual with my flock. Farewell. Good news, Overseer. What is it? We secured the girl. She's coming in on the next boat. And am I supposed to be impressed by this? Uh... Had you settled this earlier, I wouldn't have relied on Ebina's help. If ever there comes a day when he uses this against us, it'll be your last, Dwight. There won't, I swear. Thank <laughs> you. 
You have all been chosen. Father Bryce has granted you the right of fire. Now, forsake yourself to the flames and save these lowly sinners. Keep going! Their impurities have not been fully purged. They are to be unspoiled, nothing less. You have made me very proud, my children of Palikana. Even if the world were to collapse into darkness, I'm confident your flames would light the way. You're still awake. You're no good to her exhausted, you know. <laughs> Lonnie! I'm so sorry, akane -san. It's all my fault. Ah, <sighs> fucking hell. What a sorry sight. Hey! I don't particularly give a shit if you run out the clock bawling like a child, but remember one thing. Kazuma Kiryu's still out there, and you've let that man down too many times already. He saw something in you. Somehow. <gasps> now get on. You're right. It's time to go. Start moving, then. You've wasted enough time. Yeah. Ah. Shit. Hey. No. Hey, Adachi-san. Is Chichon around? Hmm? She was here a while ago. Shit. You don't think. Could she have bailed on us? Seriously? Why would she do that now? This whole time, Age has been using her to play us like suckers. Maybe she figured, now that the truth's out, we'd take revenge. But Chichon tried to warn us, didn't she? When Polycana was on their way, she came clean. She has to know she's still one of us. Well, think of it this way. If Chi-Chan had given A.G. up just a few minutes earlier, Lani might still be here. Anawa-san and Wong might still be alive. <sighs> I'm sorry, Kasuga, but Tomi's got a point there. You too, Adachi-san. She must have had a good reason. Chichon wouldn't cut and run. I'm sure she's still around here somewhere. Chichon? Damn it, there's no answer. Chitose, her name was? I just got a report in. She took off on her own a while ago. Chichon? Matter of fact, she swiped one of our pistols on the way out. Huh? That takes skill. My men know how to keep them under lock and key. 
Yamai, when did Chichan leave? Do you know? We clocked the piece missing just now. Girl must have left half an hour ago at least. Wait, what would she want a gun for? Would she be going after Lani on her own? Huh, no way in hell. That's not what my gut's saying. She's going after them. A.G. and Palakana. She must know where they are. We can't let her! Chichan will get herself killed! Let's move, now! Hey, 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 wait! Hold on a minute. Chichan may know where she's going, but we don't. Don't you even dare. Uh, aloha again, Auntie. Lani's been kidnapped. Akane-san could have been killed? Guess word travels fast, huh? <sighs> what a fool I was, trusting a bunch of blundering punks. I leave them in your care and it all goes to pot? Lord, help me! Uh, come on, it's not like that. Uh, wait, let us try to make things right. Chitose. Do you remember her? Has she been by here? <laughs> Why? She finally get fed up with you, dimwits? <sighs> Actually, I think I did see her go by a little while ago. Please say you know where she was headed. What? Do I look like a mind reader? I've no clue, and plenty of times passed since. Uh, yeah, I get it. Chitose is going after Eiji. That much we can be sure of, either for payback or to rescue Lani. Either way, wherever he is, she'll be. What's that mean for us? It means if we find Eiji, we're bound to run into Chitose too. No oh, shit. Well, we don't have any leads on him either. Well, it's still another way to go. It's something. What do you think, Kasuga? The Daidoji safe house, maybe? Eichan. He was there the whole time, keeping tabs on our every move. Maybe he left something we could use. Well, stands to reason. All right, let's give it a shot. The only thing, at least you're probably still working the scene. We'll just, you know, keep our distance. Yeah. I'll, I'll be the one to say it. Chichan made this group feel a lot less skeezy. Am I wrong here? You're not, no. But, uh, it's worse when you call attention to it. We were right to bolt from here when we did. The police sure moved fast on this one. Yeah, I'd say they've already carried out the bodies. Either way, we're not getting any closer. Ichiban, if they catch wind of you, it's over. No passport, and now no Kiryu-san or Daidoji faction to back you? Really? Are you quite sure of that? <gasps> you guys! Whoa, whoa, who's this? You know him? Perhaps you don't remember us. We served Hanawise as elite aides. During the attack, we were procuring Akane-san's plane. We had no idea what was coming. We're aware of what happened thanks to the safe house's surveillance camera. Eiji Mitomura was a Polycana operative, it seems. Uh, this seems so. Um, about Hanawa-san and everything. You needn't say anything. His death wasn't your fault, Kasuga-san. Mitomura played his hand well and outwitted us all. We knew that Hawaii would be unfamiliar territory, yet we came short-staffed. Our focus on Polycana left us vulnerable to certain flanks. This was a miscalculation on the part of our superiors. We'll report it as such. Well, jeez. We are fully aware that, if not for you, Makane-san would still be missing or dead. 
Hanawa died believing in our organization and this mission. If you say so. But it's not that easy for me to believe I wasn't partly responsible. Hope you get that. That's why I'm still involved here. Believe me, we know your psych profile. We'd like to offer you our assistance. What's that mean? Let's find a better place to speak. Eiji Mitamura is in our sights now. We've much more intelligence than before. I'd like to share our findings with your party. It should prove useful. Well, what do you have in mind? Perhaps Kiryu-san's old hotel room would serve? I trust you remember it. Our group will head there first. We shouldn't be seen traveling together. Ah, uh, they're pretty polite for a bunch of lizard people. Hanawa must have raised them right. Okay, we should go. What are you looking at? We've been waiting for you. Come in. I'm curious. When Kiryu-san got here, were you the ones who booked the room? Yes, we arranged it. We were aware of Kiryu-san's condition, but once again underestimated the dangers he would face. Initially, Akane-san's procurement was our sole and simple objective. Yeah, but in that case, your mission would be accomplished by now. Akane-san's at Yamai's place as we speak. You could just grab her. Indeed. Why don't you have a seat? This may take some time to explain. To put it briefly, Daidoji's plans now extend beyond Akane-san herself. Polykana's actions have illuminated certain aspects of the mission which were otherwise obscured. That is, Akane-san's charge, the girl Lani, is Polykana's true target. So Daidoji faction, Yamai's gang, it's all the same story. Excuse me? Yamai was chasing Akane-san without any idea why, just like you. All over Hawaii, people were hunting Akane-san just because they knew someone else was too. Everyone, desperate for a little more pull underground or a one-up on their enemies. I understand. From your perspective, we may seem all too similar. Except, we have always known why Akane-san was sought after by Palekana. It was no mere spurious chase. What's it all about, then? This information is not to be uttered outside of this room. Palekana has... negotiated a backroom deal with our government. <laughs> oh, have they now? And so... you can do better than that? Nuclear power is returning, and as for radioactive waste involved, Polykana has offered to dispose of it. What? We've been told Nele Island, their nerve center, possesses the facilities to see it buried. Polykana was able to coordinate this arrangement thanks to one man, Ebina, of the Seriu clan. Ebina? Seriously? Waste is the ultimate quandary for any nuclear society. Reactors can pose more harm than good because of it. Considering that, Ebina and Polykana represented a true godsend. The men at the top couldn't be happier, of course. They could restart the generators, construct new plants, even export them to smaller nations for massive profit. However, the Daidoji faction knows when something is too good to be true. We are certain there's some sort of pitfall lying in wait here. Uh, okay, a, pit a pitfall? Wh what do you mean? We're not sure. The only people who would know for certain the ones who offered the deal. To understand Polycon's true intentions, superficial negotiations will not suffice. We have to dissect them. And the only way to manage that is with the proper bait. So they're just bait to you? Akane-san and Lani? Yes. The Daidoji faction has seen fit to share that with us under the circumstances. Hanawa's death was unusually blindsiding. So give it to us straight. You're Daidoji guys. You're like actual evil masterminds. We are a shadow power in Japan. That said, the shadows aren't what they once were. 
So why come to Hawaii and play proxy war with Palikana? It can't just be as simple as stopping a bad deal. You misunderstand us entirely. Our interests lie solely in the prosperity of Japan. We simply place our focus on long-term planning rather than short-term profit. Palikana's waste disposal is unlikely as secure as they claim, nor worth what they'd siphon from our taxes. When the future comes, what sort of country will our children inherit? That's the question every patriot must answer honestly. Huh. Spoken like a true man in black. I've got a question. Assuming we get Lonnie back, what would be your next move? Just as before, we would escort her out of Palikana's reach. We still have our aircraft prepared. Okay. In that case, let's say that right now, our goals are the same. Keeping Akane-san and Lani from Palikana's hands. Certainly. Only one impediment. The man who betrayed us for the enemy. Yeah. Hey, John. You said before, you found out more about him? Eiji Mitamura. Surprisingly, that's actually his real name. Started out as a political reporter for the Toto Post. Eichon worked at a paper? Indeed. Until his abrupt termination five years ago. After he was found guilty for vehicular assault. Some kind of hit and run? Seemingly. However, Mitamura insisted he was framed by Yakuza in his testimony. He specifically named the Arakawa family, saying they were colluding with the police commissioner. What? Apparently, he'd been on their case for some time, picking up evidence of corruption. Mitamura was good enough at his job to be considered a threat. And so, he had to be silenced. So, after another long, exhausting day on the beat, our reporter was driving home when... Suddenly, a pedestrian steps in front of his car. Eiji says it was the Arakawa family setting him up. No real proof, of course. Then the car's EDR footage was examined in court. The victim was moving erratically. Even so, there's still nothing conclusive there. And when the victim denied any connection to Arakawa, it was the final nail. Fortunately, with only minor injuries sustained, it was ruled a fairly slight driver's error. He got off with a fine of a few hundred thousand yen. However, his public reputation was another matter. Supposing the Arakawas really were behind the accident. Regardless of the verdict, they got what they were after the moment it happened. She said Eiji had no proof. Why do I feel like you know there's more to it? Even if the Arakawa family planned the incident, Masumi Arakawa's involvement is doubtful at best. No single reporter, however much noise they're making, would draw the patriarch's attention. That said, Joe Sawashiro is another matter entirely. We would have to admit, this seems quite like his handiwork. Well, if it's really true, then A.G. and I have way more in common than I'd have thought. Mafia, Yakuza, whatever. We both had our lives fucked by these people. <clears throat> All right, so where does A.G. go from there? After being let go from the post, he decided to take up a new cause. A non-profit organization, Leech Japan. Hey, Sean? No way. He threw in with those bastards? The Arakawa family had cost him everything. Yakuza abolitionists like Bleach Japan must have seemed quite noble. Hardly difficult to see why he turned to them. <clears throat> Mitamura flourished within their network. Ryo Aoki quickly took notice of him, gave him leadership over the entire Tokyo metropolis. Hmm. <clears throat> Wasn't Kume the head of the Yokohama branch? That's some trick of fate, huh, Kasuga? Yeah. One thing, though. So if Eichan hates Yakuza as much as he seems to, why would he work with Ebina? Does he actually buy into the whole second dissolution story? Well, that's about the only reason that makes sense, given what we're hearing. The guy's so desperate for payback on the Yakuza. He'll help another Yakuza take them down. Hold on, you really think so? Eiji's a true believer in the dissolution. Okay, maybe, but the things he's done? Helping the Mafia kidnap a little girl? I can't imagine crossing those lines for revenge. 
Well, maybe you're less alike than you think. H-Shot will just have to give us answers himself. All right, on. So what's next? Ebi now recruits A.G., who takes Chitose's channel over? Uh, once a reporter, always a reporter? Or a gossipy VTuber, in this case. And now, the channel's practically Ebina's mouthpiece. Mitamura is likewise Ebina's proxy in Hawaii. Halikano's support strengthens him considerably. Lonnie is the key here. Without her, we fail. Kiryu Sun's legacy, Hanuma's sacrifice, all will amount to nothing. Yeah, no shit, but we're still dead in the water over here. Oh, Shichan sent me a text! Whoa, what'd she say? It's just a picture. Looks like some kind of bar? She just took it. Think Chichan wants us to meet her there? Could that be where Eiji's hold up? Tell me, any chance you know this place? Please say you do! Oh yeah, don't worry, I got this. Shit, yeah! Kasuga-san, do you believe Lonnie's there as well? Better get there fast. Find out. Thanks, guys! Anuasan, I hope your faith in them proves wise. Ichiban. Hold on. Right here, Ichiban. Club guilty. Supposedly? one of the most exorbitant clubs in Hawaii, and seedy as hell. I wonder what's going down. <laughs> Chichon's calling! <laughs> Can you hear us? It's me! You okay, Chichon? I was searching for Eiji. It was the only way I could think to make amends to you all. You don't owe us amends! We can do this together. Just... Please, listen to me. AG is inside. In Club Guilty, all the way in the back. A VIP table. He's drinking, laughing. There's Polycana everywhere. <sighs> okay, gotcha. But Chichana, are you inside? Yeah. We're on our way. Let's do this as a team. Aegean's ours. We'll get Lonnie back too. Time. And what are you saying? We're not on the same team. I betrayed you. AJ manipulated you with my help. If you come after me, I might have to kill you too. Will you remember what I said to you back in District 5? <sighs> Chichana, nothing's changed since then. I made the decision to trust you. That was my choice. No regrets. Believe me, everything's gonna be okay. Never doubt this man's heart, girl. Hang in there, Chi-Chan. Tell her I said we're coming. For God's sake, tell me. I'm speaker. <laughs> okay. See you inside. Okay. as ever. Hey, Kasuga-san! Come on over! <laughs> now 
Now then. This should be one hell of a show. Go ahead and enjoy yourself. I'll be right up. Ready? Let's dance! I'm gonna make you spill. Let's do it! Yeah! Open one! Looks like I'm up. I'm up to hurt on you. Looking forward to this one. Hey, go. All right. Let's go. <laughs> oh, that's fine work. Kasuga-san, look! Standing ovation. <laughs> He's not with you? Where did you take her? Oh, my bad. I'm so sorry, but... Girls already dead. Huh? What'd you say? Shit! No more fucking around! Oh... If it's any consolation to you boys, we disposed of her ages ago. So, don't blame yourselves, okay? You'd have never made it here in time. Came all this way for nothing. Sucks, doesn't it? But, hey, you guys got to party at a trendy club, at least. <laughs> Night wasn't a total loss, right? Right? Oh, and, uh... Kasuga-san, you'll have to pay for the property damages. Sorry. See... This place has standards, after all. <laughs> huh? Oh, took you long enough. Lani's still alive, isn't she? Chito say. Chichon. I listened in on you saying that Bryce is expecting her. You were so good at spying on people. Never thought it'd be your turn. Where is she? <laughs> Bottom of the sea, probably. You really think I won't shoot you? <clears throat> fine, fine. You win. Just calm down for a second. <sighs> One question. How did you know I'd be here right now? I snuck a GPS transmitter into your back. Planted it at the Daidoji safe house, actually. Can't believe I missed that. Oh, Kasuga-san, you see this? This woman we're dealing with? Treachery just flows in her veins. The girl's a fucking genius at it. See, that's why I used her. Her channel made that clear from the start. I answered your question. Now talk. Tell me what I want to know. Where is Lonnie? <laughs> right away. <gasps> Lonnie! Chito, behind you! <laughs> <laughs> Bad cut. Hold still. I'll stop the bleeding. What were you thinking, Chichon? Leave me and get Lonnie! Just save your breath, would you? Honestly, you'd shoot a man in cold blood? You know, your parents would be mortified by your behavior. Don't you regret being such a disappointment? To Tara. Fuck you! That's garbage! Her parents would be proud! Anyone would with a daughter like her! Lani owes you her life. Great job, Chichon. Ichiban. Now. Lani's coming with us. You're damn right! 
Can't bear to see her like that. We'll save her! Let me fight, too. I know I have no right to ask, but I'm begging you. Let me fight! <laughs> For sure. Good with you? <laughs> like she'd even listen to me if it wasn't. Let's make this quick. One of our team needs first aid. Now! Yeah. That's right. Let's go! You're gonna regret this! Now you're going down! Okay. Get alive. Ah, uh, hurry up. Get up. Get down. I'm not Bring it up! Prepare yourself! <laughs> let's go, let's go. I can do this. All right, let's do it. Persistent. Hey, John. She's just a little girl. <laughs> uh, I'm still a John to you. Uh, don't you understand at all? We were both lying to each other. Everything was an act. I was the poor kid in a chair, and you, you were a yakuza with a human soul. Okay, Kasuga-san can have her. He's fought so hard. <laughs> ah, take this too. They come in a set. <laughs> oh, 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 don't squirm like that. These things explode upon impact. <laughs> you better stay still. There we go. You can relax now. Lani-chan's all yours. Well, Bryce might be mad, but he was only going to kill her anyway. This is more efficient in the long run. Please don't do this! Hey, John! I already told you. That's not my name. <laughs> Souls. It doesn't detonate on impact. <laughs> this is what sets it off. Tear gas! Damn it! Money, up here! How tenacious! Wrong way, though. Jason! Lonnie! Jason! Damn it! Hey, John! Oh, we ho, Kasugasa.
Lonnie, where would they take her? Probably Nelly Island, fast as they can. And delivered to Bryce. Nelly Island, huh? The mystery destination. Halekana's holy land. So, there's nothing more we can do? None of you owe me your forgiveness. But for what it's worth, I'm sorry. Everything. I did everything he asked. Eiji had me over a barrel. I knew that Akane-san and Lani would eventually pay the price for it. Can you tell us what you know, Chichan? Eichan and Ebina. Anything more about them. And the Tatara channel, too. Oh, yeah. And the channel really screwed us all, huh? <sighs> that VTuber character. I, I mean, the person inside of her. That was Chitose, huh? And you'd say whatever AG told you to. Right. But that only started about three years ago. I had been streaming longer than that. I started out on my own for about four years. But it wasn't a, a call-out channel or, or whatever at first, hmm? Right. When I debuted, all I wanted was to talk about stupid, frivolous stuff. I came up with the name. Even drew the character myself. She didn't animate well back then. Just flipped between my crummy still drawings. That's quite a difference from now. And then, AG offered the channel funds to commission a big-time artist and increase viewership. She was still the Tatara that I designed, but... She was different, too. Now, she was sexier. More chest shots and all that. <laughs> Tale as old as time. Being retold digitally. I can't imagine that felt too great on your end. Back in the beginning, getting ten viewers meant the world to me. It really was the time of my life. It was... the first time I felt something real. You see, since I was born, Everything was dictated by my parents. My hobbies, my schoolwork, even my best friends, people I trusted for years, turned out to be on my father's take. The housekeepers would spy on me. They'd tell my parents everything I did. How the hell can someone grow up like that? My only reprieve was crawling under the covers at night to hide the glare of my phone. Then I could stream as Hisoka Tatara, and I could finally feel like myself. How dumb is that? Fake name, fake appearance, fake voice. But that's when I felt like the real me. Mm. The Tatara channel was something I started because I needed to escape. And then three years ago, it changed. How'd it happen? Around that time, a Fujinomiya cargo tanker sank. Do you remember? Over 20 crew members on board. And all of them died. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that, I think. Containers were overloaded. I caught some of the press conferences apologizing for it. Well, totally missed that. The Fujinomiya Group's chairman, my father, wanted to cover it up. You're, you're kidding me. Completely by accident. I found the documents where my father ordered the information suppressed. Not only did they toss away human lives, they tried to act like it never even happened. <sighs> I made copies and mailed those documents to every TV station and paper I knew. And then, nobody did a thing. So as ridiculous as it seemed, I brought it up on the Tatar channel. Seriously? What happened then? <laughs> On a channel with an all-time high of 10 viewers? Absolutely nothing. Well, no. There was some response. Fake. Who cares? Shitty vibes tonight. People peeled off one by one, till I was talking to an empty chat. Hard to imagine it going differently, I guess. Everyone swallowed the cover story about an out-of-season typhoon. That was when he found me. When Eiji Mitamura tracked me down. What do you mean? He came to you in person? <laughs> Eiji was a reporter at a paper before that. The Yakuza ruined him, though, somehow. 
Yeah. And then, he found my stream. Tatara, he figured, must be someone close to my family. He also deduced that it was most likely a student. After that, I was the only one who fit the profile. We talked, and Eiji gave me a present. It was a script to read on my stream, written in much more provocative language. A script? So he really was feeding you lines this whole time. We called out the Fujinomi as poll among the wealthy elite and the media. Named every name. Then, that video got picked up everywhere. It really had a buzz. Once it was all over the net, mainstream outlets couldn't ignore it. People started cutting deals. Executives who knew they were culpable coughed up more evidence for leniency. Right, that explains it. Those press conferences I remembered seeing. Yeah. The public's outrage kept growing. And soon, my father couldn't avoid the line of fire. He told me to get out of the country until things cooled down. Been in Hawaii ever since. It was nice first. So, in a roundabout way, you ended up freeing yourself from your family. Now I get it. Bet your parents would have never let you dress like this. What, too much skin for you? Actually, it makes for a pretty good disguise. So they don't object. You wouldn't know it by their faces when we video call, though. Because of the tanker scandal, and AG guiding the narrative, the Fujinomiya group finally faced consequences. Honestly, I thought of Eiji like a savior back then. He was like some kind of modern day hero fighting for justice. Chichon, anyone would have felt that way. So if all of that happened three years ago, what came next? Eiji and I started operating the Tatara channel jointly. Our entire focus was calling out corrupt public figures. Eiji would unearth scoops and write our scripts. His stories were accurate, well-researched, and most importantly, they were sensational. Politicians, CEOs, celebrities, he exposed anyone in power with something foul hidden in their closet. More and more people started watching our videos, of course. Our subscriber count kept growing, kept growing so fast it was ridiculous. Uh, that sounds like the Tatara channel we're familiar with now. Believe me, I thought I was doing the right thing. With news media bought and paid for, they never would have gone after the people in charge like we did. And then, little by little, Eiji's script started going off the rails. He wrote about an ex-Yakuza who claimed he had reformed, but was still double-dealing in secret. At the time, it seemed like another legitimate expose. But after that stream went out, more and more scripts came in about former criminals who were trying to make a new start. People who'd already paid their debt to society, made a spectacle of. Well, you must have sensed his game plan at that point. Feed you and the viewers real scoops first to amass an audience, then start on his actual objective. Hisoka Tatara became a puppet, dancing on his shitty little strings. And I was being used to ruin the lives of people who didn't deserve it. I never wanted that. Tatara was never supposed to be like this. This vindictive little tattletale. <sighs> it was all too much to take. So I told Eiji that I was leaving. Except, he wouldn't let you quit. That was when he threatened to go public with my real identity. And the name Ebina, his Yakuza benefactor, started getting thrown around. So I shut up and read the next script. The hero of Yokohama, exploiting ex-Yakuza to do his bidding. Now I get it. After that, you all know the rest. Let me ask one thing. You defied Achan, even though he could ruin you. What made you do that? <sighs> Akane-san, Lani was all alone, and she protected her. She's an old woman, Still willing to risk her life to do good. Once I saw her, I just couldn't live with myself anymore. I see. But I know. I know that doesn't make up for the channel. 
for all the evil I've done. Eiji frightened me so much, I... I couldn't openly oppose him. Back at Akane-san's house, when I, um, did what I did to you. It was to buy you time, hoping you'd find Akane-san on your own. Because Eiji had given me orders. Pose as the housekeeper, he said. And when Ichiban comes, get in with him. He was betting you'd find her before anyone else. And so, Chichan, you thought that by stealing my clothes and getting me arrested for indecency, you were actually helping me out in the long run. Yeah, I'm not a pro spy or anything. I was desperate. When AG asked what happened, I figure I'd make something up about unexpected trouble. Well, only... Then Kiryu-san showed up and got involved. So at District 5, he gave me one last chance to start following you. If I failed again, he would tell my family everything I'd done. What a scheme. In the end, I was too weak and scared to do anything but go along with it. And now Hanawa-san and Wong are dead. Akane-san and Lani are still in danger. I can't make any more excuses. No more lies. And you're not keeping anything else from us, right? Right. I swear to you. Can we believe that? A born traitor will stab you in the back again and again. You're right. I guess. There's nothing left to say. Hey, you all right with this, Kasuga? Tomi has a pretty valid point. Maybe traitors can't be trusted. <gasps> of course, Tomi also betrayed Yamai, so that's rich coming from him. I just knew someone would bring that up. I knew. <laughs> Chichan, when we first met, for whatever reason, you took everything I had on me. Except this. <gasps> you knew I wanted to give it to Akane-san. That it was important. We talked about it while we ate, remember? That's why you left it with me, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> maybe. Or maybe I just thought I wouldn't be able to pawn it. Could be. Either way, I appreciate it. Because it really is something important. And I never got to say this. Thank you, Chi-chan. <laughs> this fucking guy. <laughs> this was supposed to be my apology. Why are you like this? Okay. Thank you too, Ichiban. Awesome. That takes care of all that. Lonnie's still Hawaii's hottest commodity, and Akane-san can't protect her anymore. As it is, there's nothing in the world that'll keep me from seeing this through. Everyone, I'll need your help, though. Let's make things right for them. Count on me. <laughs> Come on. You even have to ask? Mm-hmm. I'm here to stay. Yeah. Welcome back, Chichan. So then, the Kasuga party is reunited once and for all. <laughs> Damn right! Now! Cheers! Cheers. Yeah. Huh? Whose number is this? Kasuga, we've got trouble here. Some of my men have flipped. They're giving Palikana the old lady. Hold on! Yamai? Is Akane-san all right? Just get over here. He's ready to go to war. Akane-san's in trouble? 
We need to get to Yamai's place, now! Open this goddamn door! You got five seconds before we break it down! What the hell? Aren't those Yamai's people? This is crazy! Boss, Kasuga's here. Good. Show him my face. Hey, incoming. That guy doesn't look like he's Yakuza, does he? Jew! Aloha, Ichiban Kasuga. What? You behind this crap? Buddy, I'm just a messenger. Which reminds me, my business partner would like a quick word. Oh, you just never give up, Kasuga-san. Hey, John. Didn't I tell you? Stop calling me that. Hey, John. You were in Bleach Japan, weren't you? And a reporter before that. The Arakawa family set you up, though, right? So? All of this, is it all payback against the Yakuza for wrecking your life? <laughs> what if it is? If it is, why endanger Akane-san and Lani for your revenge? They've done nothing to you. You want to get even? Why don't you take me alone? Huh? I'm an Arakawa family member. I'm why Bleach Japan went under. Ichan, if there's anyone in the world who still deserves your hatred, it's me. What do you want? You could torture me, skin me, kill me! Where are you? Oh, come running! Hey, Ichiban, think this through, would ya? <sighs> oh, how quintessentially you, kasuga -san. Really, now? Why would I ever trust you? A Yakuza with his back to the wall would say anything. <laughs> Besides, Lonnie's a more important capture than you'd ever be. I want every Yakuza to suffer, not just one. Ebina-san can make that happen once he has the girl. Heiji, listen, it's me! What are you trying to do? No, I'm not interested in your questions. Don't you have more pressing matters to attend to? Little old Okane is going to need your help very soon. Yamai's territory is up for grabs, you see. Dwight's offered it to whoever snatches her first. Naturally, Polycana supports his decision. The hell? This is a white, Caron. Gang or police? Polycana signing the jacks. Any guppy Yakuza who wants to survive in this bond better swear up to the Kauna. And words out, Yamai and the old woman are the price to buy in. To be frank, Lani is all that we really needed. Old Akane is of no practical use to me. Save for one precious thing. Her being your mother. Kasuga-san, you want me to torture you, you say? What better way than this? <laughs> now go! Find the boss and the old woman! Your deaths will be streamed worldwide. This is our last Ohio, Kasuga-san. We'll see about that. Nobody's dying here tonight, and you and I are far from done. Let's do this! <laughs> Okay, I'm up. Let's go. Oh, come on. Bring it. Go. Get Oh, yeah. Time to go all out. 
Nicely done, Kasuga-san. Oh, but I'm afraid there's no time to rest. Oh, man. We're gonna be here all day at this rate. Chitose's right, Kasuga. We should pull back for now. Damn it! Let's try that building! I think we lost them. Uh-uh, not quite. I knew you'd run in here eventually. Say John again. Where the hell is he? Are there cameras here or something? Oh, indeed there are. I'm watching every move you make. Now then, try your best to stay afloat. They're over here! Little game of runaround for you, eh, Kasuga-san? The battle is on! All right. Shit. Yo, let's do that thing. Right on. Watch where you're looking. You might get hurt. Let's go. And second time. Go time. Nice job. There you are. I was starting to get bored. But because you've made it this far, Kasuga-san, I have a special present just for you. Oh, come on. Who'd have thought we'd be doing this song and dance again? I'm sorry, again? What the hell is wrong with you guys? Here they come. Get ready. I'm up! Going in! Yeah. Most impressive. Still, I wonder how long you'll last. Hey, this way! Come on! Some guys just can't take a hint. Shit! What the hell do we do now? Ichiban! Over here! Hop on! Hey, good idea, Tomy. So we're gonna fight them with this, right? Are you nuts? A mob that size, they'll flood us in no time. You think I don't know that? Just shut up and let me drive, all right? Wait, you're not... Oh, no, 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 no! Here we go! Welcome, Kasuga-san! Heichan? Oh, you didn't think you'd outwit me, did you? Really, Kasuga-san, I know you all too well by now. Every simple little 
thought. <laughs> Must be easy squawking up in your perch like that. This coming from your mice pet? Say what? Hey, throw whatever you want at me. I'll just bash my way through. I'm a simple man after all. You'll lose your edge sooner or later. And I can't wait. Anyway, I think we've said enough. Best of luck to you. I'm gonna school! Come on! Okay. Let's go! You ain't shit! Let's go! Present for you! Alright! You're in it now! Break yourself! Okay, I'm up. Son, staying right here. As for you, Achan, you'll be seeing me soon. There's lots of things I need to say to you. Hang tight. <laughs> Forgive me. I'm nothing but trouble. Akane-san, were you hurt? Nah, not a one could make it past me. Fucking a shame they ever wore my colors. It might still be dangerous here for a while. Who are you talking to? It's been dangerous here from day one. Besides, I'm pretty sure I got all the backup I need. <laughs> I wouldn't mess with you. I screwed up. Lonnie was taken during the attack. So, what's next? She's at Nelly Island, if she's anywhere. Akane-san, no one knows where the place is. Is it possible you two? I'm sorry, I don't. They guard that secret tightly. Even among the devout, it's only the few in the inner circle who are told. Uh, I understand. No use worrying about it then. We'll find her, no matter what it takes. Now, I just need you to get yourself somewhere safe, okay? <sighs> See you soon. Right. Ready to move? Chill there, Kasuga. Huh? Akane-san, take a few minutes together. <gasps> it's just... Lonnie's still out there, and... You can get back to Lonnie as soon as you do this. Talk to that one now. Talk, while there's still time for talk. <sighs> All this time, we haven't had a chance to speak. There are things I'd like to say. Uh, me too. Yumai was, uh, right about that. Uh. <laughs> Sawashiro-san wrote me letters. I actually know quite a bit about you. Shangri-La's manager took you in as a baby. Kamurocha folks looked after you growing up. <laughs> By middle school, you were a hellion. Fighting must have come naturally to you. Well, wait a sec. Things back then... I, I made a lot of mistakes. Uh, hey, if Captain Sawashiro told you all that, does that mean he kept tabs on me as a kid? Hmm. Sawashiro-san always had an eye on you, for my sake. Uh. But then... You called Masumi-san for help one day. Mm. Almost like it was fate. I don't know if I believe in fate. 
I'm sure grateful it happened that way, though. Hmm. <laughs> I know what happened to you after all that. They had you take the blame for a murder. <laughs> Eighteen years. So much lost time. Son. The skin's gone tough. You've been fighting for so long. No, no, uh, it, it's not how you think. Forgive me. I left you and Masumi San alone. I was scared and ran away. I'm sorry. With all my heart, I'm sorry. Don't apologize to me, Akane-san. There's nothing to be sorry for. <laughs> of course, I had tough times now and then. <laughs> you wouldn't believe what Captain Sawashiro put me through. <sighs> so yeah, maybe I've had a pretty crazy life, all things considered. <sighs> know what, though? Everyone else has to. Akane-san, we all deal with life as it comes. You did, and I still got to meet you. What more could I ask for? <sighs> like you said, I always had people looking out for me. And the boss was the best father in the world. Honestly, I'm so lucky. Look, um, Akane-san, truth be told, I don't know for sure if you gave birth to me or... Uh, you know what I mean? But if it was you, then I've only got one thing to say. You gave me my life. I'm very grateful. Ichiban. I'm grateful too. Thank you. How strange. What? Just now, I saw Masumi-san standing where you are. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> you know that's the best compliment I can imagine, right? Hey, that's right. I remember now. Uh, here, the Kane-san. I came here to give you this. The boss's Masumi Arakawa's remains. I'd like you to have them. Thank you. Thank you. I've... I've missed you, Masumi-san. Daigo Dojima, Taiga Saijima, and Goro Majima, huh? <laughs> yeah, add Kiryu-san to the mix and you've got yourself a Yakuza Hall of Fame. Yeah, maybe in the sense that we're all retired. So you're going, right? To see him, I mean? Yeah, I'm leaving now. Is that a fact? Don't know if you meant this, but uh, you don't think you're flying solo, do you? Like that, it helped. Come on now, Kiryu-san. 
Someone's gotta watch your ass. Not exactly how I'd have worded it, but he's right. We're in this together. Thanks, guys. Gonna be a long trip. Let's make sure we're ready. Ha ho! Yeah. ran into you. Ah, uh, no, it's okay. Sorry. She's a go. Wait up, wait up. Come on. I was calling your name and everything, She's a go. Oh, sorry, Miki. Hmm? That keychain. You know, I've been wondering, that little guy on your keychain, who is he? <laughs> oh, him? Ono Michio. He's Ono Michi's mascot. Didn't you know? Uh, no. Why would I? I mean, yeah, I know you said you were from there, but seriously, like, the heck is he? <laughs> he's just a mascot. And he's my favorite. I'm not kidding. He's really special to me. <laughs> you sure have strange taste, Shizuko. You think? Someday, I'm gonna marry Michio-kun. Surgery's the only way I'll get better. If I don't get that surgery, I can't marry Michio-kun. Uh, but I'm not brave enough. Oh, I'm so scared. Do it. It might hurt, but I'll push through. I'll do whatever it takes. I'll be brave for you. It was Shizuko. Hey, Shizuko, we're going the same way, right? Let's walk home together. Mm, sorry, nothing came up today. I'm going to some place called Kamurocho Hills. You are? That's kind of far. Are you okay walking by yourself? You only just moved here after all. It's not like you know where you're going. <sighs> I'll be fine. I looked up directions. Seriously, don't worry. See ya, Miki. Okay. It's a rough neighborhood, so just be careful. See ya. Hmm? 
You got time, right? Wanna hang out with us? There's a great little spot nearby. My treat, of course. Uh, no, thank you. I really have to get going. Hey, hang on a sec. There's no need to act like that, is there? What are you even doing over here? You looking for a sugar daddy? Uh, not at all. I, I just got lost and... Hey, come on. Like we buy that? Now, let's make some memories. What do you say? Someone help! Please! Get your hands off her. Touch Shizuko again. You're dead. <laughs> Yo, what? Who the fuck is he? Wait, you know my name? <sighs> You're out of your league. Now get lost. I won't wait around forever. This guy's a freak. Hey, are you good, man? Let's bail. We won't forget this. You old fuck! Damn kids. Um, thank you so much. Hmm? Oh, no, no. Uh, don't mention it. Take care. Um, sir? I wanted to ask. Hear you, son? Right? It's you, isn't it? <clears throat> <laughs> it is you. I know it. The same Kiryu who introduced me to Michioku. Oh, wow! To think we'd meet in a place like this! It's been so long, Mr. Kiryu. Uh, yeah. Uh, been a while, Shizuko. Uh, all this time you still remember, huh? As if I could ever forget? As far as I'm concerned, you saved my life. Your life? It's true. I've been wanting to see you again, Kiryu-san. Kiryu-san, this is such a nice surprise. Really, I'm so glad. Yeah, me too. You were just a kid last time I saw you. Sure enough, you became a young lady. No, not even close. I'm still just a high schooler. So back then, I take it the surgery went well? Yes, sir. The doctor did everything just right, and rehabilitation went well, too. Now I'm better than ever. I got my life back, and I have you to thank for it. But I didn't do anything. No, you really did. I was terrified of surgery, but then you brought Michio-kun to see me. Thanks to Michio-kun, I finally had the courage. Without that, well, I might never have... <sighs> Things might have gone different. Truly, you and Michio-kun changed my life. I've wanted to say thanks ever since, for all you did. Trouble was, I had only met you once, and never learned anything else about you. It's been my one big regret. I'm so happy I got this chance, more than I can say. Yeah, honestly, I'd often worry about your surgery. Thanks to today, I don't have to. <laughs> Well, I never guessed you lived in Tokyo. <laughs> no wonder I couldn't find you in Onomichi. That reminds me, why are you in Kamurocho? Did you move away recently? I did. Actually, I'm studying to become a doctor. Just recently, I got accepted into a special school. So with that, my family moved out here. A doctor? <laughs> That's wonderful. If I become one, that is. My classmates are so smart, I have a hard time keeping up. Still, it's my hope I'll save someone's life someday. I'll help them, just like my doctor helped me. So with that, I'll keep on studying. I'm gonna make this dream of mine come true. You've really grown up, Shizuko. And it's a great dream. Keep going, and I'm sure you'll get there. Right! And hey, if you ever get sick, look me up. I'll help you get better. You never know. Hey, thanks. If that happens, I'll know who to call. <laughs> okay! Uh, well, should we get going? If I recall, you've got somewhere to be, right? I'll walk you. People aren't too friendly around here. Okay. 
Thank you so much. For the future, try not to come here alone again, okay? Yes, sir. I got lost, is all. I'll remember not to walk around Kamurocho by myself. Your keychain. It's Onomichio. Guess you're still a fan, huh? <laughs> of course! It's like I always say, I'm gonna marry him someday. Yeah, I remember you said that even way back. So it's become a doctor and marry Michio, huh? Personally, I think you can find someone better. Huh? But why? Michio-kun's so funny and gentle and strong. <laughs> what more could you want in a husband? Nah. Truth be told, he's a handful. He's also stubborn, clumsy, and awkward to a fault. Um... Hear you, son? Hmm? This may be kind of forward, but... Uh... The man in the Michio-kun costume back then... Was that...? There you are. Been looking for you, old man. Thought I'd pay back what I owe you. Figure with my buds here, I'll add a little interest. Hear you, son? Just hang back, Shizuko. You're safe with me. But wait, if you get hurt... If it means protecting you. A couple scratches is more than worth it. Hey, now, what's this? You gonna run for it, huh? You're gonna wish I had. But sorry, no. I'd never embarrass myself in front of a kid. I'm not holding back. If you've got a death wish, take your best shot! Bring it on! Okay. <laughs> Follow my lead. Kiryu san, are you all right? Yeah. Believe me, that was nothing. Are you okay, Shizuko? Thanks to you, Kiryu san, you saved me. Like you did last time. Great. Anyway, let's go. Y y yes, sir. Thanks so much for everything today. You even showed me around. <laughs> Nonsense. Happy to do so. Please, I want you to have this. My way of saying thanks. Use it, wear it, whatever you like. <laughs> and look, kiryu san, we even match. You sure I can have this? It's pretty special to you, isn't it? Oh, no worries. I have like 50 of those at home, so it's fine. Kind of excessive, don't you think? <laughs> but thanks. I want you to know I have nothing but gratitude for you, kiryu son. Look at me, I'm no good. I might be older now, but I'd probably be dead without you. I just keep taking and never get back. kiryu son, forgive me. I wish there was more I could do for you. Shizuko, you've done enough. Huh? I said you've done enough. In fact, today I got more than I could have ever asked for. The little girl I once knew, she shivered at the thought of surgery. Now here she is, all grown up, chasing her dream, and making every day count. Might come as a surprise, but... Do you know how much courage you've given me? you, son Trust me, you're gonna be a great doctor. As long as you don't give up, I know you'll make it happen. So keep at it. Do your best. Eventually, when you see people suffering like you once did, you'll know how to help. And remember this. I'll always be rooting for you. And your special friend, Michio-kun? I'm sure he feels the same way. <laughs> so long, Shizuko. Take care of yourself. Um, Kiryu-san. Hmm? Well, I just... Thank you, Somichi. <laughs> Back at you. Thank you, Somichi. Thank you, Kiryu-san. No. 
Nichiyo-kun. Hmm? A cabaret club. Guess it's being renovated? Not surprising. This town's always had a high turnover rate. Oh? Forshine. Same name as that club I helped out in Sotombori way back when. I nearly went under because of a rival club. At least until I stepped in as their manager. It was tough work, but still a great experience. I haven't seen Yuki, Koyuki, and Yoda-san since then. Hope they're doing well. But if this joint's got the same name... Hmm. Did they open up a new location? Um, excuse me. Did you need something? <laughs> Not good. Wait, have we met before? N no, I think you've got the wrong guy. Uh, take care. Hmm? 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 Uh, do you need something? Oh, my gosh! It's Kiryu-san! You just vanished into thin air one day! I thought you kicked the bucket somewhere! You really ought to show your face more often! But wow, it's so good to see you! How's it going? Uh, it's been going. What about you, Koyuki? You doing okay? Is this the same Forshine? Sure is! Forshine, the hottest cabaret club in Osaka, is coming to Kanto! In fact, we're gonna have our grand opening soon! Oh yeah? That's great. So how's business? Doing well? Well, no. Not really. Yo, you Kansai clown still haven't hit the road yet? Look, you people are the problem here. Outsiders can't just waltz on in and pop up a club whenever, wherever they want. That's not how we roll in Kamarocho. You hear me? You old hags got no place here. How many times we gotta tell you that, Koyuki-san? Ugh, here we go again. Hmm? Who's he? Some guy from one of the rival clubs. He doesn't like that we set up shop here, so he's been harassing us. Thanks to him, there are some nasty rumors going around. And to make matters worse, a few of our girls got scared off and quit. Ugh, that man's nothing but trouble. Come on now, we just want to settle things peacefully. But if you insist on running a club here, we're gonna have to insist you comply with our ways, alright? And this conversation's over. Honestly, I'd rather die than take orders from you. Rude bitch. Find them. I'll just have to beat them into you myself. And how are you gonna do that? Who the hell are you? One of their hires. And as far as I know, Kamurocha doesn't roll any which way. You've got no right to mouth off about how things work around here. Right back at you, old man. Whatever. Guess I'll have to beat your ass first. I'm gonna send all of you packing. You'll wish you never sent foot in my city. Well, let's get started. Let's do it. Okay. My heart is yours. On. Yeah. Out of my way! Yeah. All good. How's this guy eating? He's way too strong. Now beat it. Come back here, and you deal with me. You won't catch me here again. I'm so sorry about that. You helped me out of a tough spot there. The same as ever. <laughs> right, Kiryu-san? No, not necessarily. 
Anyway, before we were so rudely interrupted, I was just about to ask you to come on in for some tea. Step this way, please. Right behind you. Real spacious here. Not bad. <laughs> we pretty much took over the previous club. It's a great spot and all, so we went ahead and rented it out. So, what happened to Forshine after I left? Well, after you made Forshine the number one club in Sotenbori, Yuki-san, Yoda-san, and I worked as a team to keep it that way. And for 15 years, we were the best of the best in all of Kansai. Impressive, right? <laughs> sure is. Much harder to stay up top than to get there. Then, why are you here in Kamurocho, now of all times? Actually, I discussed branching out with Yuki-san and Yoda-san, but you know them. Not a greedy bone in their bodies. They didn't want to risk the club's quality dropping either. But after they retired, I was the one who ended up in charge. I figured, since I'm taking their place and all, maybe I ought to try something new, you know? I see. So Koyuki, the new owner on the block, wanted to give the Kanto expansion a shot. Well, it didn't have to be Kanto, honestly. I just really love Four Shine, and I want to share it with people outside of Kansai, too. The girls back in Sotenbori are golden. They don't need me there to run the club. That's why I thought I should challenge myself. Do something only the owner could do. That's great. I'm not surprised you went for it, given how much you cherish the place. Thank you. <laughs> Still, I never knew how tough it is to run a business. It's so different from serving the customers. There are way too many factors to take into account and no end to trouble, like that guy from earlier. To think Yuki-san and Yoda-san have been doing this for years. <laughs> I can't help but respect them even more. It was one heck of a wake-up call. I had no idea so many people were looking out for us hostesses in ways we never even knew. Well, now that you realize that, I'm sure you'll do just fine. Sorry for dropping in at such a busy time. Oh no, you're perfectly fine! To be honest, I wish you'd stay. Having you as the manager would be a huge weight off my shoulders. Hey now, you're gonna put me to work again? <laughs> Give me a break. <laughs> just kidding. I'm serious about being short-staffed, though. We've lost a few of our girls to some threats, and some of our staff have even been headhunted. <sighs> it's gotten me kinda down recently. I guess some things never change, no matter the times. But why not ask the Sotombori Club for help? I mean, I could, but the girls there are really popular. And since we'll be opening soon, I doubt I could adjust everyone's schedule in time. Hmm. Then why don't you ask Yuki for help? She used to be the legendary hostess, didn't she? Yeah, she'd really turn things around. If I could even bring myself to ask. What's happening with Yuki? Yuki-san's out there making her own dreams come true and trying something new. And what's that? Running a restaurant. She used the money she saved up from her hostess days to start it up told me herself that she's been super busy since it took off. I just felt like I couldn't bother her with my problems. Not when she's got enough on her plate. And I'd feel real bad disturbing her if she's on track to success. Wouldn't want to drag her down or anything. That, and uh, I can't keep crawling to Yuki-san for help. I need to handle this on my own. Ow, no, ow, ow. What's wrong? Oh, nothing. It's just because I've been buried in work, my stomach's not feeling too great. Don't push yourself too hard, all right? So, Yuki's got a new place, huh? What kind of restaurant is it? She hasn't told me much about it. All I know is that she set up shop in Yokohama in a corner of a building that's got a lot of bars. Sounds like Ijincho. It probably is. Given the location, and how she was the legendary hostess, I'm sure she's running a bar or something. I wish I could swing by, but since this is a new venture for her, I'd feel like I'd be a bother if I showed up. Well, I'm actually staying in a Jincho right now. Oh, 
Wow, small world. You should drop in and say hi then. That'd totally make Yuki-san's whole day. I mean it, go. Hmm? Uh, all right. Cool, let me know how it is. And if she's worried about the club, just tell her everything's going fine and to focus on her place. Got it, I'll uh, pass on the message. Thanks so much, and I hope you can stop by for our grand opening, Kiryu-san. If I have the time, I will. I know things are tough right now, but don't overdo it. That's always been a bad habit of yours. Right, I'll keep that in mind. But still, I'm really happy I got to see you again. And I'm real proud of how much you've grown, Koyuki. I'll catch you later. All right. I can't breathe. <sighs> hey, what's the matter? Are you all right? Maybe a fit. I can't breathe. <sighs> Got it. Just hold on. Don't move. No. Stop. Don't call an ambulance. I can't afford it. This isn't the time for that. You could die. Even if I survive this. I'd just be assumed dead if those thieving debt collectors come after me. Damn it. Then what should I do? If he's refusing an ambulance, how can I help him? Should I look for a hospital nearby? But what are the chances of finding a hospital in the heart of Kamurocho? Hmm? Wait a minute. Aren't we right near? That's right. Emoto Medical Clinic. Home to Kamuroto's best physician. Who we'll treat this guy for free? It's been ages since we first met. It wouldn't matter if all of society turned its back on you. Doc Emoto doesn't refuse anyone in need. I respect the man. Good to know he's still kicking. Hang in there, all right? I'm gonna get you to a doctor. You could have always stayed back in Yokohama, you know. <laughs> well, maybe. If I'd have known we were gonna take the scenic route. No kidding. Still, Kiryu-san's probably better off with a friend or two. So there's that. Hmm. <laughs> Agreed. Looks like it's gonna snow. Sorry about this. None of the taxis were willing to make the trip. Uh, no surprise there. Long distance is a gamble for them. You need someone who will hitch a ride back, and where we're going, those are few and far in between. 
Rare sight to behold, honestly. Not many people would want to go up this way. You might even be the first. How come? You guys work in television or something? No. Just visiting a couple of old friends. It's been a long time. The Second Great Dissolution is the only way to dissolve the remaining Yakuza groups within the country. Perhaps to Ebina, it's just a means to an end, but to Arakawa, it was his dying wish. Knowing that, I swallowed my pride and left prison to see it through. However, Ebina's taken more control of the Seriyu clan than I could have imagined. He's got me under 24-7 surveillance, no matter what I do. I can't even be alone unless I take measures like this. If we're really going to pull this off, I need reinforcements. Reinforcements? Yes. That includes you, Kiryu-san. If you'll permit me to do so. Granted, I understand your situation's tricky. I can't ask you to step back into the limelight. Certainly not at the moment. Now then, this may come off as rude, but instead, I'd like to ask you a favor. What is it? Daigo Dojima, Goro Majima, and Taiga Saijima. Three of the most legendary Yakuza of all time. If anyone can help the second dissolution, it's them. You want me to ask them? Yes. I believe we need their influence in order to fulfill Arakawa's will. And rightly this time. After the disbanding of the Tojo and the Omi, its former members established a security company out in Osaka. It was a refuge for old Yakuza who'd lost their way. But for all their efforts, the company went under after just a year. Since then, Daigo-san and the others have disappeared. Well, sorry to say, but I don't know where they... But even if you can't contact them, you must have some idea where they might have gone, yes? <sighs> You're not the type to leave them alone for good. You're the only person who could drag them back out into the open. Please, I don't have anywhere else to turn. I do know that they disappeared. However, I'm not really sure why. So, guess we start from there. Sorry, guys. In case it wasn't clear, I'll be out for a few days. Mmm. Old friends, huh? Gosh, these fellas must be pretty eccentric. Don't mean to be rude, but <laughs> no one in their right mind would live out there. No, sir. Who knows? I'm sure they've got their reasons. Reasons, sure. Well, give it two, maybe three more hours on the road. Oh, there's that snow. Better bundle up, friend. <laughs> I'm sure you guys have a lot to talk about. We'll hang out here. Appreciate it. One thing? Maybe try to make it quick. The sooner we get out of this cold, the better. Sure. It may be a shack, but it's still home. 
Maybe try knocking. Little manners will go a long way, after all. Shit. You're getting old, Kiryu-chan. Time will do that, Majima-san. Kiryu-san. A lot's happened. Guess that goes for all of us, eh? Yeah. Well, <laughs> grab a seat. Least we can do is pour you a drink. Haven't seen you since the dissolution. It's been four years already. Last I'd heard. You had a security company out in Sotambori. <laughs> had. And hey, look where we are now. What about you, Kiryu-san? You doing okay these days? You don't look yourself, if I'm being honest. Actually, that's no surprise. I've got cancer. They gave me half a year. <sighs> you what? <sighs> okay. Even the dragon, huh? Guess no one's safe. Guess not. Well, if you're short on time, might as well drink up. Doubt Hell's got a good selection. Majima-san, the man's dying for pity's sake. It's all right, Daigo. Might be crude, but he's not wrong. Better to enjoy things while I can. Long as I'm still here, I'll keep pushing along. Well... Better not waste your time with us, then. Fine. What happened to you? How'd you all end up here? Who cares about us? This is no place for someone in your condition. You need to be back in the city. I'll get you a car and... Daigo. Honestly, you think you'd learn by now. You think Kiryu-chan here's gonna listen to that? <sighs> it's been so long. I'd almost forgotten. <laughs> really, I suppose this is just like old times. So, you wanna know what happened? Is that it? The world happened, that's what. We lost. <sighs> Settle in, cause this'll take a minute. Now, when we set up the company, we knew from day one there'd be risks involved. I mean, this happened right after we dissolved two major clans. How could there not be? We knew we'd get people's attention, especially since we were all former Yakuza. Knowing you, I'll bet you tried to mitigate that. Of course. Naturally, I tried to take every precaution possible beforehand. I used all our connections from both the Tojo clan and the Omi Alliance. Talked with the media and the higher-ups. Granted, those things don't come for free. Close to 70,000 lives were on the line, and the five-year ex-Yakuza clause would have swallowed them whole if not for that. I did what I felt was necessary. I'm not here to tell you whether you made the right choices. There's only one thing I want to know. Where did it go wrong? Well, things were great at the beginning. Gradual as it was, we built a fairly large clientele. I mean, plenty of businesses need protection. And we had the men for the job. When it came to reintegrating criminals back into society, it seemed like we were doing just about everything right. All that said, after the first year, we started seeing some issues. Something with the employees come up? No. Online accusations. A popular channel did a feature on our company. Thanks to that, all of our ex-Yakuza employees were exposed. 
They even aired out the backdoor deals I'd made with the government and media. Hang on. This channel, it wasn't... The Tatara channel. <laughs> Who else? Same one that hit Kasuga. And it wasn't just the deals. It was everything. They got their hands on every scandal they could find. They stretched the truth paper thin, and we ended up taking the heat. Maybe. But even with all the stretching, we still did what we did to get ahead. In light of that, there wasn't much we could say in our defense. Before long, our customers started leaving one after another. Government boys washed their hands of us, too. Talk about heartless. From there, all eyes were on us. The world was watching our every move. We were at a standstill. And the company's finances dwindled as a result. It was then word broke out among the employees. The Yakuza life was calling them back. I mean, you got former Chairman Daigo up top, and we're right there with him. Ain't hard to see. If we wanted to start things up, we definitely had the means. Among some employees, there were even talks that we were planning to revive the Tojo clan. All sorts of rumors made their way around. The company was in shambles, and in such short time. <laughs> it's a miracle we didn't go sooner. Thanks to the Tatara channel, society wanted nothing to do with us, and those inside started longing for the old days. For their sake, we figured we ought to shove off. They needed a fresh start, and we weren't helping their case. I see. That explains why you're out here. If we really wanted to see the great disillusion through, this was the best way. That's what we concluded, at least. <sighs> I think I get what happened. Do you know Ebina of the Seiryu clan? He took over the Great Dissolution once you left, at least on the surface. Yes, I know the name. I've never met him, though. Two years ago, we got a tip that he was out looking for us. Two years ago? That was right around when Takabe got locked up. That's right. Ebina replaced Takabe. It's more or less all he's known for. His name alone isn't enough to unite the Yakuza. Not on a grand scale, anyhow. He'd need a few poster boys, which is probably why he wanted us. Little did he know, that ship had already sailed. Yeah, that was part of it. However, there was something else that bothered me. <clears throat> the man was due for a background check. And what we found was odd to say the least. Ebina was raised by a single mother, but she died when he was in middle school. Afterward, his family name was changed. He became the Ebina we knew today, but the name he had before, it was Hikawa. Hikawa? Ebina's mother's name is Yuriko Hikawa. She's the Hikawa family patriarch's daughter. Hikawa family? You mean Masumi Arakawa's old family? That Hikawa? Correct. And did you know that Arakawa-san and this Yuriko Hikawa were once engaged? Right. The Patriarch pushed the proposal on him, I'm pretty sure. Yes, but Arakawa-san already had a woman he loved. That was Akane-san. However, despite that fact, he couldn't just go against his own boss's wishes. And so, he kept a relationship with Yuriko-san as well. Now, this brings up a good question. Just who is Ebina's father? You don't mean... This is all just speculation, of course. But Masumi Arakawa may in fact be Ebina's father. Ebina is around Kasuga's age, give or take. Even their birth dates are similar. So Kasuga and Ebina... You're saying they could be... Half-brothers? We told you it was odd, didn't we? But if that's really the case, I can't imagine Arakawa would just abandon his own son. Judging from when Ebina was born, Arakawa-san must not have known about Yuriko's pregnancy. And after the Hikawa family all but collapsed, Yuriko gave birth without a soul knowing. From her perspective, Arakawa not only killed her father, he also abandoned her son, leaving them completely.
completely alone. I can only imagine the anger and spite she must have felt. And what if that anger was passed down to Ebina? Ebina does hold a lot of hatred for Arakawa. Exactly. So it's hard to imagine that Ebina would take up Arakawa-san's legacy. The second great disillusion was all the man ever wanted. So you guys kept your silence, and as a result, Sawashira was chosen for the task instead. <sighs> yes, I believe that's the case. Yep, that about wraps it up. But hey, I'm sure you didn't come all this way for story time now, did ya? That's right. Actually, I have a favor I want to ask you. I want you guys to help out Sawashiro. As it turns out, he's trying to fulfill Arakawa's wish too. Bringing about the second great dissolution. Ebina's watching him like a hawk, like he's the Seryu clan's prisoner. If he just had your help, Sawashiro could step up and knock him off his throne. You all started it. The second great dissolution should be yours to finish. I've said it already. There's nothing we can do. Come on. You don't have to like any of it, but at least pay attention. Kill you. Look, they're right. We got no business in the limelight anymore. I mean, sure. It's true we got the power to rally, folks. And we can get them moving, too. We join Sawashiro on stage, and we'll get the attention of every Yakuza in the country. It's called charisma. Nobody's stupid enough to say that for themselves, but... Hell if it ain't true. <laughs> how it goes. Slice it however you want. That's the Yakuza way. The dreams we ended up giving others... They're what keep them coming back. The Yakuza we knew was strong. That Yakuza had money. <sighs> Those dreams ain't worth handing out right now. They need guys who can help them get back into the real world. in hell, that's us. Especially not with our recent track record. The moment we learned something was off with Ebina's history, we knew there was a lot to consider. Yes, there's a chance he's taking advantage of the second great disillusion for his own interest. However, if he pulls it off, who are we to interfere? If anything, we should keep our distance. Right. So this is how you're taking responsibility? It is. We'll act as if we don't exist. That's the best we can do. Honestly, even death had its appeal at one point. But if we're dead and gone, our names will just carry on into the future. Kiryu-san, are you aware of what they all say? All those Yakuza. Do you know how they see you? They act like you're some great mythical hero. If we ended up just like you, the illusions of the Yakuza life would be stronger than ever. Just look at your own life. Shintaro Kazuma was everything to you. How'd that turn out? Sawashiro would sacrifice himself to take down Ebina. But that alone won't be enough to save everyone. He's counting on your help. Uh, I'm sorry. Fine. I'll be there for Sawashiro as best I can. You guys can just keep rotting away. Huh? Guess I was wrong. Hold it! The hell's that supposed to mean? It's just as I said. I was stupid to think coming up here would change anything. Go ahead and run. Just remember that for all your excuses, you still have a job to do. possibly know about what we've been through. You have any idea what it's like? No, I can't say I do. 
and I wouldn't want to. Damn you! What's wrong? If you want to fight, don't hold back. Boy, do I hate getting worked up over petty shit like this. Better than sitting around being pissed off, though. <laughs> sure, why not? Let's throw a few punches. For old time's sake. Hey, what's going on? Ain't you guys supposed to be having a nice, friendly chat? Cause, uh, they sure as hell don't look like one. Sorry for the wait. I'll need just a little more time. Quit acting so tough! We're not gonna leave our friend out to dry like that. <laughs> more importantly, if we stay out here any longer, we'll all freeze to death. So you've got five on your side now, huh? Suppose that's fine. I'll just have to tag in, too. Ooh, oh shit. How about this? Never thought we'd be going toe-to-toe -to -toe with all three of you. <laughs> yeah, sure. Like you got any business with us. Maybe stay in your fucking lane. <sighs> oh well. Guess I'll try and make this fun. One express trip to hell coming up! Well, that's scary. Probably have a few bruises after this. Hey, we can't back down now. We're locked in, sister, so buckle up. Let's do it. Just give up already. so afraid of are you scared of screwing up people's lives <clears throat> or maybe maybe you just don't want to fail again whatever the reason you'll never know if you don't try you act like it's so simple say we do try what happens if it all goes to hell again, huh? If that day comes, you keep on pushing through. As long as you're breathing, keep moving, keep trying, and figure it out. There you go again. Always the hero. Say what you want. It's the only way I know. Besides, this is the last time. Anyway, I'm gone. You won't be hearing from me again. Wait. Don't go. Kiryu-san, I get that you don't have a lot of time left. Still, it's not worth it. 
That's no reason for you to run off and get yourself killed. You're wrong, Daigo. What? Honestly, it's a weight off my shoulders. My death's finally worth a damn. Kiryu, what are you saying? I'm the same as you guys. I've screwed up more lives than I can count at this point. Not to mention, I'm a Yakuza. I haven't exactly lived a life that I can be proud of. Yet even then, through it all, I'm somehow still here. So that's it. The Yakuza have made a huge mess for themselves. Once I grab hold, I am taking it with me. You're talking out of your ass, Kiryu! That's no excuse to... Wait till things settle down. Come then, Kasuga's gonna need your help. The Yakuza have one chance. Their future depends on him. Don't you leave! Don't you dare leave! Kiryu-chan! <laughs> you know, it's funny. I came to ask you guys for help. But maybe, all I wanted was one last fight. <sighs> Wait, Kiryu-san. We're back. And no Daigo Dojima, Taiga Saijima, or Goro Majima. Ah, oh, man. If they just get off their asses, we'd have wrapped things up by now. <laughs> You're probably right. <sighs> they seem to have made up their minds, though. It's not like we can force them to help out. You got me there. I swear. To think the Tatara channel got a hold of them, too. Yeah. Hey! Oh, whoa! Isn't that Kiryu? Yeah, look! It's gotta be him! It really is! What's going on? <clears throat> if we let this guy roam free, the Yakuza will just keep coming back! I don't care if I get locked up! He's never gonna hurt us again! You don't have time to take these guys on. Let's lose them and get back to Kasuga's place. <sighs> get back here, dammit! <sighs> Tatara Channel coming at ya! As always, we're out to boldly reveal the evils the media is just too scared to touch. Let's jump into today's topic. Now look here, everyone knows this face, right? That's right! Photographed in Hawaii just the other day, it's Kazuma Kiryu! But this latest video comes to us from right here in Japan, in our own backyard! That means Kazuma Kiryu's come home. And why, you ask? Well, feast your eyes. This is the head of one of the biggest Yakuza groups of all time, the Tojo Clan's sixth chairman, Daigo Dojima. And that's not all. With him are Tojo Clan officers Goro Majima and Taiga Saijima. These are all major players, Yakuza all-stars if you will. How about our longtime viewers? I'm sure they recognize these guys, right? Yep, these are the guys who ran that security company from Sotenbori, the same one yours truly covered a while back. A wicked security firm run by former Yakuza members, the company was dissolved shortly after we featured them on our channel. At first, we thought they had well disappeared, but it seems they've simply been hiding out. Now, what's this 
mean for Kazuma Kiryu? Why would he visit them now of all times? To find out, we've invited the man who risked his very life to bring us this footage. Ah, uh, yes. Hello there. Now, right away, if you don't mind telling us, sir, just how did you end up with this video? Well, I'm a truck driver, you see, and yesterday I picked up this hitchhiker. I didn't know the guy was Kazuma Kiryu at the time. That said, I, I do have an eye for seeing through people. I figured he was way too fishy, so after I dropped him off, I decided to follow him. And that's when you filmed this, after you chased him down, right? So, what were Kazuma Kiryu and his Tojo clan cohorts discussing in their little shack? Did you hear what they said? From what I could hear, at least, it was stuff like going back to the Yakuza and reviving the Tojo clan. Going back to the Yakuza? Did you hear that, folks? And coming from Kazuma Kiryu and the like, does this mean everything we feared is coming true? The Yakuza really are planning their return. What does that spell for the rest of us? When did this video go up? Earlier this morning. It immediately went to number one in trending, and it's even being reported on TV. And that wasn't Chitose, was it? Nope. From what Kasuga told me, Chichan completely cut ties with Eiji after all that happened. My guess is he found a substitute. Actually, some of the more passionate fans have noticed, but only a small percentage. The channel's grown, and now even the numbers alone are drawing in more viewers. Right. And to the majority of them, it doesn't matter if they're getting the truth or not. Dwight said something similar a while back. People will always choose the flashier lie over the duller truth. Of course. There's just one thing we need to figure out then. And that's how to take the second great dissolution out of Ebina's hands. We need Daigo and the others' help. And that won't come easy. Hey, hold on a second. Check the video, there's more to it. They say something kind of odd right here. Hmm. Well now, if that's not a shock, I don't know what is. As always, folks, I'll be sure to keep you posted as soon as I hear more. On that note, our next video is a special treat. That's right, tonight I'm going live! We had some guests recently, Ebina-san and Sawashiro-san from the Seiryu clan. Remember them? Well, as it turns out, they just offered to make an important announcement right here on my channel! I'll be visiting the Seiryu clan offices in Tokyo up close and personal, so don't miss out! Ebina and Sawashiro? And it's tonight. We don't have much time. Plus, if it's a live stream, that means they'll actually be there. Not only that, but Eiji should be there too. The Seiryu clan's Tokyo office. That's the old Tojo clan headquarters. We'd better head over there. Hmm, there's nobody here. I figured fans would be storming the place. Well, it's still Yakuza territory. Still, maybe not the best place to go in person. Be a pretty ballsy move, yeah? It would be. That said, what does that say about us? <laughs> Ugh, what a pain. Who's that? One of my guys. I wonder what they want. It's me, what is it? What? Hmm? Huh. I see. Right. Thanks. It's Takabe, the Seriyu clan chairman. Someone stabbed him in his cell. Someone what? Takabe? How is he? Unresponsive and in critical condition. Ah. Ain't that convenient timing. Right? This has to be Ebina's doing. With him gone, the Seriyu clan can do whatever they please. And in light of that, I get the feeling they're about to try something big. <sighs> <sighs> Stream starting. What's up, people? 
Chitara Channel coming at ya! Amazingly, this is my second stream today! What's more, tonight's show is huge! Unlike anything we've ever seen! We might even witness history in the making if we're lucky! As I announced, we're on the town tonight! More specifically, the Tokyo offices of Yakuza Titan, the Seiryu Clan! Now then, a special word from their top two! One Masataka Ebina and one Joe Sawashiro are in the building. Seems they've got important news for us. That's some fanfare. And what do you think they'll say? Looks like they're about ready, so let's give them a warm welcome! Take it away, gents! Thank you, one and all, for your time today. I'm Ebina of the Seiryu Clan. Likewise, I'm Sawashiro of the Seiryu Clan. Regarding tonight's announcement, we've asked this channel for their time for but one reason. I'm sure many of you out there are feeling anxious, having heard rumors of the Tojo Clan's return. As it stands, we would like to clarify the Yokohama Seiryu Clan's position on the matter. And that is, we of the Seiryu vehemently oppose the revival of the Tojo Clan. I see. And is this out of concern that you'll have more competition as Yakuza? No, on the contrary. It goes without saying that the Seiryu clan is a Yakuza group. Furthermore, we have been increasing our ranks as of late. However, despite these truths, we are currently planning our disbandment. Disbandment? It's already been four years, but the two largest Yakuza groups, the Tojo clan and the Omi Alliance, came together for the same purpose. Their simultaneous disbandment should still be fresh in everyone's memories. Regardless, as a result, many former Yakuza members flooded society, impacting public safety. And in response, former Tojo clan officers have since planned to rebuild the group. If I'm being quite frank, their attempt to disband was a failure. Being a seasoned Yakuza myself, I believe it was a colossal blow to all of us. Now, the Great Dissolution's ringleaders were Daigo Dojima, Masaru Watase, and of course, Masumi Arakawa. These three men plunged Japan into chaos, and needlessly ruined the lives of their peers. This is not an opinion. This is fact. You know, I'm sure he's only playing the part here. I wonder how much he actually believes. I guess he is putting his life on the line for Arakawa-san's legacy. At this point, it's tough to say. Uh, huh? Sawashira wasn't told about the Great Dissolution back then. He was kept out of it. I'm sure in some sense, had he been included, things might have worked out better. Might be distorted, but his desire to help Arakawa is no less than Kasuga's. That's never simple, is it? What else is new? Therefore, myself and Sawashiro here, in order to fulfill our duties as part of the Yokohama Seiryu clan, now the largest Yakuza group, have developed a plan to truly disband the Yakuza, once and for all. Really now? And how do you plan to do that? Right now in Japan, the five-year ex-Yakuza clause is a shackle to many. Those longing for a normal life can expect but one thing, complete and total exile. One may as well be dead. Noble efforts aside, the previous dissolution failed to consider this. To that end, I have created a support program that will reintegrate every last member of the Yakuza back into society upon its inception. Thus, would mark the second great dissolution. The disbandment of the Yakuza, in the truest sense imaginable. To aid the project, we've since begun talks with the Japanese government and hope to receive their cooperation soon. A government? Gotta say, this is a big deal. As a matter of fact, their involvement is crucial to our plan. The goal of this project, you see, is to simultaneously provide a solution to the other issue Japan's currently facing. 
That issue being, of course, the disposal of nuclear waste. Nuclear power plants work non-stop, producing copious amounts of waste daily. There are no proper disposal areas within Japan. As it stands, said waste has only continued to accumulate. Nevertheless, we have also procured a means to not only contain it, but also dispose of it. The answer lies with Hawaii's very own group, Palekana. For years, Palekana has contributed to both charity and environmental causes. As to the latter, they even have their own disposal site, one suited for nuclear waste. After long negotiations, Palekana has agreed to take in and dispose of Japan's low concentration waste. On top of that, they have also committed to hiring former Seryu clan members following the upcoming dissolution. So you won't just solve the nuclear waste issue, but you'll help your colleagues back on their feet as well. Well, well, this really was an important announcement. Indeed. And please, let it be clear that the reason we're here is to, above all, convey the good faith of the Seryu clan. We'd like to show our sincerity that our plan is more than empty words. And in order to do so, we've decided to take that first step right here on the stream. And what would that be? But what else? As of this moment, the Yokohama Seryu clan is officially dissolved. You mentioned you were preparing to disband, but you meant right now? That's right. Tomorrow, we will be reborn as a new organization, a wholly legitimized non-profit. Our name, Bleach Japan. Bleach Japan? The hell is he talking about? Uh, uh, back from the dead. How do you like that? <sighs> and that wraps it up. If this project actually goes through, could that mean a huge turning point for Japan? That's it for today's stream. Catch you at the next update. <sighs> Jerks. That was all talk. I should still be inside. Are they waiting for him? No, they might not come through here. We should go to them. I had a feeling you'd say that. All right, let's go! Trudging back to dig up the old Tojo clan. Your little breakup might have been a wash, but you don't got a butt in on ours. I'm here for Ebina and Sawashiro. Out of the way. You still don't seem to understand the situation you're in. Come on, you want to embarrass yourself in front of the whole world? Says the little man in the phone. You want embarrassing? Take a look at yourself. <laughs> All right, wait. No. Not a loser. Let's do it. Something wrong? You want to fight? Thank you. Who wants to be this?
Here we go. Watch this. It's showtime. No problem so far. I think we're clear. I don't see any enemies. So it sure should be this way. Keep your eyes peeled. Little walk down memory lane, Kiryusa. Narasaki. Should really take it all in. Might be the last time you ever see it. Afraid I don't know what you mean. You're not the first person to come after me. You want my head? It'll take a lot more than you. That's some tough talk. Let's see how long you keep it up. All right, you bastards. Bring me the dragon's head. Whatever it takes! Now! Get him! Let's do it! Are you done with all the fun and games yet? Here we go. No begging for mercy now. What is this? Use your fried rice. Come on up. You kidding me with that shit? This private army wasn't enough? He's making a mess of the place, too. Ought to teach him some manners. <laughs> Size of that thing. Good swipe will split you in two. Better stay clear, yeah?
You're through. Don't mess with me. Allow me. Wanna play, do we? Now we're coming. Wanna play? Let's do it. Pain in the ass. That old the hold up. You're going down. Shit, they got away. <laughs> you morons. Ebina-san and Sawashiro-san. They were never here to begin with. That live stream of theirs was a recording. Yeah. You all bought it. Just like that. Sure, we might not have gotten rid of you, but I think we'll be fine either way. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Wait till you step outside. Kill you. Your history. Have fun running. <sighs> Sounds like there's no reason to stick around. Let's go. Yeah, good plan. Whoa. You don't think they're dead, do you? Holy shit. Did Kiryu really do all this? Whoa. Who are these people? Do they even realize where they are? Rubberneckers. And the media's here too. Crazy they just waltz through the front door like that. Hey! It's Kiryu! Hey, 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 Kiryu did do this! I can see them! No way! Amazing! The legend busts in right as the Seiryu clan's about to disband! The absolute madman! Finally, Japan's nuclear byproduct disposal agreement with a private individual, Bryce Fairchild of Polycana. But who is this enigmatic philanthropist? For decades, Polycana has been known for its volunteer work on the islands. Under Bryce Fairchild's leadership, they've expanded their charitable outreach to all corners of society. The sage, as he's called by followers, adheres to a personal creed of relief for the helpless. Perhaps his decision to accept Japan's nuclear waste is another form of providing such relief. Unbelievable. They're talking like he's a goddamn hero. Yeah, but Lonnie is still our focus here. We need Nelly Island's location. That's the thing. As far as anyone knows, Nelly Island doesn't exist. I even went to the library to look it up. Makes no difference if you can find where it is or not. From what I hear, unless they know you, they won't even let you near the coast. Whatever's going on there, the rest of the world is blind to it. Nelly Island is basically Bryce's little black box, it sounds like. Shit, man. Finding this place is hopeless, isn't it? Come on, don't talk that way. Nah, Tomi's honestly got a point. Looking for the island isn't getting us anywhere. Ichiban, not you too. I mean, maybe we should start looking for something else. Nelly Island's no good. But what about ships heading to Nelly Island? Ships? Hard to imagine an island remote enough to store radioactive waste as totally self-sufficient. Whatever they can't get there, they need shipped from the Hawaiian mainland, right? What if we snuck aboard something bound for Nelly Island? Cargo ships. You're right. They'd have to have them coming in and out. As a matter of fact, I do recall at some point Bryce mentioning receiving boats. 
Unfortunately, I don't know what kind or where they depart from. Well, I might have an idea. Only place I know decent-sized ships can dock is the Harbor Street Marina. Nice. Let's check it out. Hold on. Are you expecting to find something with a Polycana logo on its side? If you could tell which were theirs, some prying journalist would have hopped on one by now. They must be disguising themselves somehow. Ah, uh, leave it to me. I got a buddy working there. We go back, too. If I ask him about any suspicious boats, he'll tell me. Whoa, way to come through. You might... Mind looking after a kane a little bit longer? Bryce could still send more people here. Hey, Ichiban. I've got to ask, are you really sure about this guy? Handing akane san over to Palikana would solve a lot for him. It's all good, Tommy. He won't do that. Why so certain? Tomizawa-kun isn't wrong. If I gave up the old lady, I could keep my turf without any more hostilities. Sure, but that'll never happen. Because you'd be giving her to Bryce, wouldn't you? And a man like you doesn't work with people he hates, right? Smarter than you look. Kane san, we'll be back before long. Just be careful. <clears throat> From the looks of it, she seems more comfortable with you. Think so? <laughs> Still too stiff to ever be mistaken for mother and son, but hey. You got time now. Just take it slow. Thanks, I guess. Suspicious ships. Something that comes by regularly. Maybe loads up on supplies and essentials. You can't think of anything, Takata? I haven't seen you in how long, and now this? Are you some undercover cop, man? We don't have time to waste. Can you think of anything or not? Uh, there's one boat like that, maybe. Docks about every two weeks. Showed up again this morning. Shit, for real? It's here? Now? Yeah. No one's there, though. The crew's out at the moment. Perfect timing, then. Can you show it to us? I guess so. Follow me. I gotta say, this was damn good thinking, Tomazawa. Hey, I've always said I got connections. So, uh, Tomi and you go back a while? Yeah, maybe. A couple of Japanese boys who can't shake each other. Oh, really? Well, same to you, asshole. <laughs> so, why has it been so long since you came around last? Kasuga-san here probably knows you better than me now. According to him, you two are good buddies. Hey, lay off. It all worked out, didn't it? Takata-san? Yeah. How did you know my name? Uh, uh, you introduced yourself. No, I didn't. Ah, <clears throat> uh, Takata? What the hell is this? Heretics! May the flames purify you in death! Come on! You're all Polycana? Seriously! Madam Nele, bless us in this endeavor! Run on home! Okay, you asked for it. Okay, you Ready as I'll ever be. Do your work. Come on, bring it. Let's get this over with. Don't get caught. I'm up. Nakata, damn it. When'd you join Polycana? 
Quinn, from my very first breath, you faithless bastard. Polycana is everywhere. All of Hawaii is brimming with the devout. And those of us righteous enough to be named Haku are all around you. Seeds sown in the soil, waiting for the bloom that will cleanse this fetid land. You're a Haku? Haku are in the city. They're not just all holed up at Nelly Island. Remember what Dana said at the orphanage? That's Bryce's strategy. Deploy the Haku like sleeper agents throughout the state. So they could be anywhere at any time? This is bullshit! The Sage's will is inescapable. There'll be no refuge for the damned. May it be. Madam Nele, embrace us all. What? Hey, hey, Takata! The hell? He just... It must be some kind of poison capsule or something. Bryce! He's completely insane! He doesn't care who he sacrifices! Just to stay the man in charge! I'm not seeing any cargo ships, by the way. And I bet the cops are coming fast. We need to back off for now. <sighs> Fine. Uh-uh. Miss Madam Nele, or whoever's up there, don't be too hard on the guy. Yo. Your face pisses me off. Oh, wait, wait, time out. I need a break. I'm gonna make this quick.
We're in a pinch here, aren't we, guys? I can't believe Bryce is so many steps ahead of us. Yeah, but like, why now? Huh? If Lonnie's on Nale Island, it doesn't make sense to spread out like this. I mean, if I were Bryce, why move my best people to the mainland now? He should be playing defensively, protecting what he already has. Might have a point there. Is it possible that Lonnie's still in Honolulu somehow? That makes sense. If they haven't moved her to the island yet, Palakana's still vulnerable. And since we're running around all over the place, they need guard dogs to hold us back. An astute observation. Impressive, oh. Kasuga-san. However, it might behoove you to lower your voice. Junji! Hey, when did you fly in? Hello. <laughs> hmm. I confess, it's been too long since I've gotten so much sun. It's a pleasure to meet you both, Jungi Han. I'm the Komijul organization's right hand. Kasuga-san and I met there. So he's not an enemy? Um, guess not. Now then, shall we catch up? Sonny is always asking about your well-being. In spite of her demeanor, she's something of a busybody. Sunny, huh? She's still in Ijinsha with Kiryu-san and Namba now, right? Indeed. They're in touch with Zhao as well. That's why Sunny decided Hawaii would be a more useful place for me. I arrived two days ago. No kidding. Where you been for 48 hours? Carrying out my orders. Determining Nele Island's means of transportation. Hold on. You've been after their cargo ships too? Yes. If their shutters were to come down now, the game would be over. Therefore, Palikana's point of access must be found immediately. Such are Sunhi's instructions. Then we're on the same page. Well then, were you able to find their ships? Please, take a look at this. I retrieved this photo by hacking into a government satellite. I'll keep which nation a secret. This is Nelly Island, here. That's it? Nelly Island? Yesterday, this ship was photographed departing from the island's port. Advancing the time, we can follow its route across the sea. Until finally, it docks on our island here. Considering its size, it must be a cargo transport. Knowing what we know, I expect Lani will be aboard when it next embarks. Where's the ship now? Honolulu Bay, somewhere out of sight beneath the cliffs. Wherever it is they docked their ships, Palikana was smart to keep it obscured. As of now, the boat seems to still be safe in harbor, which means that Lonnie is as well. All right, let's get to that dock. When Lonnie shows up, we'll intercept them and get her back. That would be a fine plan, but the cliffs are 200 meters tall with almost a 90 degree ascent. Even for an expert climber, that would be a challenge. And what about Palikana? They must have a way to get cargo on board. I would presume there to be a concealed pathway to the harbor from land. Unfortunately, I've been unable to find even a hint of such a thing in the photos. Were I to guess, could be located underground. Somewhere below street level. <gasps> what is it, Chichan? Remember back when I went to District 5 on my own? Yeah, that was just after you left me naked on the beach, right? I didn't ask you to remember that part. Anyway, we took the subterranean path to Dwight's hotel to get there. Along the way, I saw the route branch off in another direction. What's that way? I asked, and the barracuda with me just said, nothing, you didn't see that. Back then, I didn't want to think too much about it. That could be it! That could be exactly what we're looking for! Bryce owns the barracudas, so it only makes sense they'd run that tunnel. I know you're all excited. District 5 again? Every time we go there, I eat shit. If it's any consolation, we're gonna eat shit everywhere in town now. Ugh, the undercover cultists. God damn it. Damned if you do, damned if you don't. Wouldn't you rather die trying? 
<sighs> Fine. What's one more ass kicking if it wins us the war? Atta boy. <laughs> I must say, Kasuga san, you remain a curious fellow. Everywhere you go, you're able to attract the most dangerous foes and most reliable allies. I envy you. To be honest, I could do without the foes. Anyway, man, Polycana really needs to get theirs. Are you flying back soon? Not at all. If you're willing to have me, I'd be glad to rejoin the party. Oh, hell yeah! I was hoping you'd say that! Kasuga-san. Sup? Understood. Okay. Now. You want to go? <laughs> wow. You're right. Oh! Oh. Yes. No. <laughs> Naturally. 
Yo. Okay. Gasga. Uh huh. Yep. Yes. Damn, Adachi san. Already at it, huh? Hey! Now I figured I'd go ahead and have myself a drink. You know, booze here in Hawaii is not half bad. <laughs> Good to know. Glad somebody's enjoying themselves. But man, I never imagined the two of us kicking back and drinking at a resort like this. Yeah, I'll say. <laughs> Better play it cool. Unless we want folks to think we're from way out in the sticks. You know, you kind of blend in with the locals. Yeah, actually, maybe you blend in a little too well. You think so? I guess we're on the same wavelength. I was just thinking this hairstyle's got a bit of a Hawaiian vibe. <laughs> yeah, I can see it. Maybe I'll get a little makeover myself. After all, what better time to do it? Oh, what would you even go for? Well, then how about something like Kiryu-san? The man changed up his entire look, yeah? Yeah, and he looks damn cool, too. But isn't it pretty lame to just copy him? Oh, y yeah. All right. Point taken. Besides, I'm older than Kiryu, so anything I do has to be bigger and better than what he does. Ah, but still, what went down back in the Eugene show feels like ancient history compared to what we're up to now. Getting fire from Hello Work... Getting roasted online? Man, we've been through a lot. Uh, you can say that again. Everything we spent time and effort building up just poof in the blink of an eye. I really am sorry for getting your agency involved, man. No matter how hard I try, I, I don't think I could ever make it up to you. Oh, come on, knock it off. There's nothing you need to apologize for. Anyway, don't worry about the agency. I just wanted to know what it was like, to, you know, being your own boss. Uh, you had everything all planned out, like, uh, with the company values and stuff. It uh, seemed like you knew what you were doing. Did I really? <laughs> I guess you're right. Yeah? I wanted to put my experience as a detective to good use. After all, there are some things a civ can do that an officer can't. And preventing crimes before they occur is a field that still has plenty of room to grow. I was planning on working this old body of mine to the bone. Be a little more useful to society, you know? You finally hit the ground running, too. Heck, you, you were even ready to take your business to the next level. Right. I mean, my goal was to develop subsidiaries for consultation and security. But that dream's pretty much dead in the water now. Yeah, anyway. No use crying about it. Figure it's better to put one foot in front of the other and keep on moving along. Hey, isn't it too early for you to give up? Everything was going great till we got cancelled. I had no clue you even had a knack for this business stuff. <laughs> well, I'll take that as a compliment. But no matter what, I'll be sticking around. At least until this mess in Hawaii gets cleaned up. I'm real glad you're here, adachi san When you came running with Namba, I just... I was just so grateful. <laughs> yeah, you're pretty much the only one who ever says that kind of stuff about me. 
But helping you out makes my day-to-day -day a little more meaningful. Hey, you scratch my back, I scratch yours. Oh yeah? <laughs> then tell you what. What? We're gonna have each other's backs for the long haul. Even if I'm the only one getting help right now. Don't sweat it, cause I'll cash in and have you pay me back double. Ha, <laughs> sure you will. Ah, that's the stuff. I ever tell you how much I like Hawaiian booze? I do not drink too much. This ain't survive, so you're not just gonna add it to your tab. Nah, I got it covered. The bartender and I are pals now. Isn't that right, barkeep? Sure. Enjoy the drinks, Adachi. What the heck? Wh when did you two get so close? <laughs> Didn't you know? Blending in at a bar is an essential skill I perfected back when I was with the Force. You sure are a man of many talents. Must be the years of experience. You gotta teach me some of that. <laughs> All right, how about another round then? On me. I'm feeling generous today. Sweet! Hey, barkeep, hit me with the priciest drink you got. Whoa! Easy there, tiger. I'm gonna have to take out a loan, but I'll pay you back once my next venture takes off, yeah? Yeah, actually, barkeep, could you just get us another round of what we're having now? Phew. That was one hell of a trip. I must say, even if they're cultists, it's not exactly uplifting doing battle with people who look like ordinary citizens. No survivors! I want every one of them gutted and left to rot in the sand! Ah! How about these guys? Do you feel all right about taking them on? I believe this is a fight I'll savor. Same here. Let's make this fun. Don't think you can run! Come on! Well... Do your run! Do you think I'm stupid? Are you no, let's dead? go! Come on! <laughs> Take this! Do your work! <laughs> Let's go! Ah, four, ah, four, ah. Mm. Uh, I'm up! Nosy bunch of chumps! You think you can move in on us? Think again! You're outnumbered! Better start saying your prayers! No turning back now, is there? <laughs> Like that was ever part of the plan. <laughs> I see you haven't changed. Same Kasuga, different day. Well, aren't you sweet? Now then, how about we let loose? Yes, let's. Should've thought twice. Now you're going down. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Ow. Ow. Ooh. Oh, damn, there's no way. Hmm? Watch me. Damn it, there's no end to them. Indeed, they have more numbers than expected. All right, then let's hunker down for now. Hey, that place looks clear. Follow me. Huh? What the? I'll take you down! How exciting. Watch me. 
You're in it now. Are you getting scared? Here I come. Let's turn up the heat. Good to go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, little lady. You got a ticket for Nelly Island. One way. Lonnie! Katsuka. <sighs> you got some shiny brass ones. Coming this far. I'll give you that much. Sorry, but you're gonna have to turn your ass around and head back. If you don't, who knows what might happen to the girl. Are we supposed to believe you'd kill her when she's due on the boat? You're under orders to bring Lonnie to Nelly Island, alive and well. Achan pulled that same crap on us, unfortunately for you. Am I wrong? <sighs> Price is the only one making decisions, isn't he? You are nothing but a pawn to him. What a bunch of fools. When you think back on this, remember, it was your own damn fault. <laughs> Money! Shit! Good going! That was beautiful! This is why children need to learn discipline. But what hope do they have? When all the adults think they're heroes! You know something? In Hawaii every year, sharks only attack three, four people at most. I think we can do better than that. Let's set an all-time record. All you heroes, you're nothing but goddamn shark food! Any last words? How excited. Watch me. Oh, super power. Time to clear the way. It's okay to come out now. Uh, the bad guys are, uh, taking a nap. Mr. Kosuga? I know it was scary. Are you feeling all right? Are you hurt? Mm-mm. That's good. Akane-san's been so worried about you. Want to come back now? Yeah. Um, thank you so much. <laughs> no trouble at all. Look who's here! Lonnie! Akane! I'm so glad you're safe! Thank goodness! Thank goodness! Akane! Forgive me, Lonnie. I can't imagine what you've been through. You're okay? Mm-hmm. Mr. Kosuka rescued me! Ichiban. Just keeping my word. <laughs> well done. You saved the day, Kasuga. Kiryu-san, I made you a promise. Oh, hey! Lonnie-chan wants to say hi, I bet. Feel like talking to her? 
Not yet, at least. Lonnie still isn't out of the woods, sorry to say. I won't breathe easy until then. You're right. Polycon is still infesting the whole town. Hawaii's not safe for us. Not with them around. Lonnie could get taken again. I see. Kasuga. Arakani-san and Lonnie ready to come to Japan. For the both of them, Japan will be much more secure. Yeah, no doubt about it. Problem is, we're not sure we can use the airports anymore. The Daidoji faction safe house was bugged by Aichan, so they must know all our plans. That private jet of theirs is too vulnerable. In fact, I bet Bryce is drooling over the chance to sabotage it. That could be. But Lonnie needs to get out of there somehow, before they close in. Time's not on our side. Okay, I'll find a way, I promise. Thanks. I think we got most of that. Hawaiian vacation's over. But the question is how we leave. Ichiban's right. Planes are a no-go. What about ships, then? Can we hop a cruise to Japan? Any method of travel with other passengers or crew would be a risk. Maybe the Fujinomiya could charter us another private jet or something. Not an option. It's what they call an impasse. Not your concern. What, are you kicking us out? You're so cold to me, Tomizawa-kun. Would it thaw your heart if I said I could get you to Japan? Uh, really? Does this strike you as the appropriate time to mock us? Don't mean mug me, son. You still think I can't be trusted? Fine. Good luck to you all. Stop. I want to hear your plan. Shh. Come on, Ichiban. Tomi, I get why this is hard for you. But Yamai's helped us a lot already. Can we please just hear him out? I guess so. Okay, then. How do you plan to get us back to Japan, Yamai? Simple. I got a boat of my own. I'll give you a ride. Your boat? Yeah, pretty little tugboat. We took it as collateral for a loan once. Never had much cause to use it before. Which means old Bryce don't know about it. That is somewhat promising. Hawaii is 6,000 kilometers from Japan, though. A tugboat can't make that trip. But it can get you off the mainland. After that, you fly home courtesy of Japan's Coast Guard. It's already arranged. The Coast Guard? Oh, wait a sec, what's already arranged? This all seems way too easy. I don't have to explain myself. It's an offer, and you can take it or leave it. This is some kind of trick that's really fucked up. Hmm. <laughs> What do you say, Kasuga? It sounds perfect. Doubt I know you'd say that. You're a credulous man. What am I gonna do? We haven't got anything better. Kiryu-san said it already. Time's not our friend. Besides... Besides what? Like it or not, you earned my trust. In fact, I think the two of us are pretty alike. Huh? You and me, we're both willing to carry the load for someone, right? You half-wit. If I thought we were alike, I'd eat a bullet. All right, okay, point made. But our answer's still yes. We good? Hmm. We leave tomorrow morning. Make sure you're all ready to go. Thanks. So, everybody in? Seriously? What's the point of asking now? For real? I've got to get packed. Who knows how long I'll be away? The complaints aside, we're together on this, yeah? Yamai still creeps me out, but Ichiban knows I'll follow. Oh yeah, we've been through so much by now. What's one more bad idea? Exactly. As I said, you have the most reliable allies, no? Oh yeah!
Hey. Okay. What's that? Apologies for the wait. Bryce will know something's up by now. Let's get going. Boss, be careful out there. We'll be praying for your safe return. Keep your goddamn voices down, and don't die before I'm back. Boss, good luck! <sighs> Boss! Ichiban! I wish you well! Huh? Tomi? Are you serious? Why aren't you in the boat? Because! This is my home. What am I doing going to Japan? Wait, isn't your father Japanese? You never wanted to see the homeland? I think about it sometimes, maybe, but it's still a foreign country. Don't think about that right now, okay? It's dangerous. We need you with us. about things, Tommy. Oh, okay, okay. If you guys really insist, I've got no choice. <laughs> it's obvious you just wanted to make us beg, you know. <laughs> Admit it. The nervous homebody act is pretty cute. I'll stuff you in a suitcase next time. <sighs> We're pretty far out here. Yeah, that's the idea. Hopefully we can reach the Japan Coast Guard unseen. I'd hold that thought. Cavalry's coming. Huh? <sighs> Dwight. <sighs> Stubborn bastard. <sighs> Hit the brakes. Stay inside. You might. Look after them. Better make it quick. We shouldn't linger. These are feeding grounds. The feeding grounds? My advice? Stay clear of the water. I don't follow, but okay. Let's go! You weren't planning on leaving, were you? Not even a goodbye, Kasuga? <laughs> Far as I'm concerned, you and I already said our goodbyes, and then some. Dwight, Dick, where do you get off showing up here? Need I remind you, I've still got you a little glamour shot. <laughs> Tommy's hour. <laughs> that was it, huh? You folks don't understand them sins. A real man never leaves things hanging. I should have stuck that machete into your heart. Huh. Hawaii might have thanked you. Ever since I came here, I've taken everything by force and never left nothing half done. Real impressive. Sounds like we need to teach you how to tell when it's time to quit. <laughs> 
You couldn't teach me shit on your best day. <laughs> Besides, take a look at all the men I still got. Oh! 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 Don't tell me. The feeding grounds. Look around. More coming. No. No way. <laughs> Interesting turn of events, I'd say. Guess you fucks are gonna be chum twice over. Barracuda and shark feet both. Rest, dude. Keep an eye on those sharks. If they get a hold, that'll be it. Time to clear the way. Time to clear the way. Over, pal. Now what? Gonna beg Bryce for forgiveness? <laughs> Funny how easily you say his name. That man has no forgiveness in him. Not for me, or for you. I get that Polycanus big in Hawaii and everything. Still, though, you talk about him like he really is some kind of prophet. And you haven't got a clue. To you, Bryce must seem like some kind of small-time con man, leeching off true believers. So, that sounds about right. Polycana has more power than you could ever imagine. The Sage, he's more monster than he is a man. What? <laughs> You'll see for yourself before it's all over. Like they say, believe. And you shall be saved. Mm. Too late for me. I've let him down too often. <laughs> All of Hawaii will burn before long! <laughs> I hear the smoke of Switzerland are beautiful this time of the year! <laughs> what a jerk! 
throws his own people to the sharks. Quiet. Keep watching. Am I? Sharks have a peculiar way of looking at the world, you know. Most just hunt by scent. But if they happen to catch something casting a bright light at sea... All that flashy jewelry of his sure did shine real pretty at night. He goddamn draped himself with dinner bells. There. The man who would be king ends his sorry life as shark shit. People come swarming to paradise trying to suck it dry. But no matter how tough they are, there's still nothing to an island's natural guardians. How's that for a moral? Well now, those natural guardians gave you a pass this time. Maybe they appreciate the help. So... You gonna hang on to that picture of his? Yeah, not for long. Let the dead rest in peace. You pissed, ain't? We actually made it. This is Japanese soil, right? Yep. Official air base of the Japan Coast Guard. We're really home. Ah. So this is Japan. It's pretty dreary, to be honest. Are you serious? You're past the airport, at least. It's very curious. Yamai procuring this route so conveniently. You got a point. Uh, hey. <laughs> huh? Wait a second. Hi there, Adachi san. And you, Ichiban Kasuga. Been a while. I see. This must be Lonnie. Date-san? Mako-chan! The hell are you doing here? Hmm. Yamai didn't fill you both in? Hey, Yamai. Let's get this over with, Inspector. Yutaki Yamai, I presume. But to put a face to the name. I'm with Division One, Makoto Date. Yeah, that's me. So you're Date-san, huh? Mm-hmm. Didn't believe my ears when I got your call. Yutaki Yamai, you confessed to the murder of Shuji Tabata? Yep. I'm the one who offed Tabata. Wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Can we slow down? Somebody want to explain what's happening? This isn't exactly information for the public. I suppose you all hardly qualify as that. Yamai was once Tojo clan, serving in the Tabata family. You were aware of that? Yeah. He killed his patriarch and fled the country, right? You already know that much. This will be quick. Following that, Yamai spent nearly the next three decades overseas, until just recently calling to give himself up after all this time. In fact, he asked for me by name. You what? Always heard you were a decent enough guy for a detective. Spare me, would you? Murder or not, 30 years is an eternity. The file was collecting dust. When the call first came in, I almost brushed it off as a prank and hung up. Then, he started describing details on this case most cops aren't even old enough to remember. So I knew, it really must be am I after all this time. He gave us one condition for surrender. That the police assist in discreetly bringing a small party into the country alongside him. But we had no reason to agree. America has a long-standing extradition treaty with us. Bringing in Yamai through the proper channels would be simple. Of course, when I told him we refused his condition, he insisted it was non-negotiable. <sighs> At that point, I considered forgetting the call entirely. 
but maybe I'm a fool for a last chance on a cold case. I have an acquaintance of the Coast Guard I was able to work something out with. <sighs> Haven't had to bow my head so much in a long time. Uh, seriously? You really turned yourself in on a murder charge to get us all into Japan safely? Tell me, Sawako. Don't give me them fucking eyes. I'm just an old criminal, tired of hiding. Yeah, maybe so, but still, I just can't believe that... Imagine my surprise when he told me who the party was. <sighs> well, that pretty much covers it. <sighs> Yamai, I'm placing you under arrest. Come along. Hmm? Detective, all these years and you never learned not to trust killers? Huh? Oh! Yamai! Sir, are you okay? <laughs> Get after Yamai, damn it! Whoa, hold on! Tomi? I can get him to come back. Just give me a little time, please. Excuse me? I know he's a fugitive. But believe me, that man does not run away from responsibility. I should know better than anyone being his goddamn errand boy. There has to be something going on. <sighs> Stop it! Yamai can deal with this himself. We're so close to getting home. Indeed. Our priority here is Akane-san and Lani's protection, not his. Date-san, let us get him back. He brought us all this way. I'm not going to leave him on his own. Ichiban! Ichiban, Junki, you're right. But after this, if we don't calm the situation down ourselves, they'll start a brand new manhunt. I owe you my too much for that. I'm sorry, but I can't abandon him. Ah, <sighs> oh, Ichiban. Screw this! Move aside! Wait! Date-san? Kiri, you filled me in on all the details. This girl, Lonnie, he's been risking his life to bring her to safety. <sighs> Is Yamai really more important to you than coming through for him? They're both important. You can't make me choose just one. I don't need reminding. He entrusted me with Akane-san and Lani, no one else. We'll split into two groups. Let me handle Yamai. He isn't brought back soon. My superiors may consider you his accomplices. Understand? Yeah, loud and clear. Uh-huh. Hmm. Those eyes, they're the kind that look for trouble, just the same as his. Adachi-san, I barely know Kasuga, and the other one even less. You're the person I'm betting on. Am I making a mistake here? Nope. Mako-chan, one thing I can guarantee you, you're a good bet. Adachi-san. You've always been too trusting. You're one to talk. Hey, Kasuga. Sir. You might could have run off to a lot of places, but I'd check with Yui Tabata myself. That name? Yamai was in love with her, right? That's right. If Yamai regrets anything he had to leave behind, I imagine that it's her. Thank you so much! You, is there a toilet around here? Stomach's been acting up all morning. The toilet, sir? Ugh. I'm bubbling like a cauldron down there. This'll take an hour or two, I'll bet. But wait, Date-san! Mako-chan just gave us a two-hour time limit. You better move fast. Uh, uh, Date-san, thank you for having our back. <laughs> I gotta come through sometimes, too, you know. Jungi, can Akane-san and Lani stay with you? May I expect your swift return? But where are we gonna look? If Yamai's after Yui Tabata, then he's headed to Kamrocho as the crow flies. Whatever's left of the Tabata family, we hanging around there. Got it! Let's hurry!
Yo! Okay. Adachi's on. Yeah. Yo! Mm -hmm. So. Okay.
Sup? Sorry. Gasga. Sup? Go.
Yeah. It's been a long time, Matriarch. Who's there? Yui Tabata. That's her? Yumai, what did you come here for? If you knew I'd be here, you obviously did your research, no? Revenge? On an old lady in the hospital? Even for you, that's some selfish shit. You fell in love with her and killed her husband over it. I'd say you got your revenge a long time ago. You're right. I've got no excuses. Aw, oh, come on. Look me in my face. You gonna let me get away with that? You know something? You're a hard man to please, Tomizawa-kun. Alzheimer's disease. Woman's only 57. That's too old to be called early onset. But still too young. She doesn't even know who I am. Thirty years ago, she had everything a woman could want. She'd go on million yen shopping sprees, order champagne towers every night. We would bleed and kill to make that money. And she tossed it away like paper. And I loved her for it. I shouldn't have. But I just fell further and further. Seems uncharacteristic for you tolerating all that. Maybe it's the uncharacteristic things about us that make us human. Boss was willing to look past all her faults. Except having another man in the picture. And of all the men she could have, she chose his captain. The boss was always going to find out. That's when she finally noticed this big, dumb lummox. She could tell at a glance I was crazy about her. She got me alone. She whispered to me, If the boss ever finds out about me and him, I'm dead. You have to kill him for me. Kids are stupid. Growing up is learning that jobs like that have no happy endings. But you did it anyway. I thought it was my only chance. I remember saying, anything for you. Who was that 20-year-old boy who used to think like that? The matriarch had a plan for it all. That night, I'd accompany her to the boss's office so she could talk to him. She would tell him about the captain. He would hit her, and I would kill him to save her from his rage. And she'd protect me from the police and the family. A good deal. So we went through with it. The moment she saw he was done breathing, she ripped her clothes and ran. 
Yamai killed the boss and came after me, she said. What the hell? She set you up? Picture perfect frame job. Huh. I have to hand it to her. The best Yakuza couldn't have done it better. <clears throat> Had to go on the run after that. I only got to see her one more time. The dirt had just settled on the boss's tomb, but she and that captain were living happy and openly. Huh? You know, I think that was the moment I started getting shivers. My blood's run cold ever since. Made up my mind to flee the country then. I wanted to forget it all. That's really how it happened. You recall whether or not you believe me. If it all went down like you said, why were you just staring at her when we came? If you wanted revenge, we'd have been too late to stop you. I thought that's what I was coming here for. And then I saw her. Is it already time for breakfast? Now, there's nothing romantic left to this. My whole life, she was always far beyond my reach. Hmm? <sighs> okay. Story time's over. I can imagine we've got somewhere to be. I'm afraid that's true. We've been here too long, listening to all this. <laughs> Turns out I was right about you. Huh? Like it or not, you are the type to carry the load for someone. Oh, do you ever shut up? I can't get over this. Never thought I'd hear you say so much about yourself. <laughs> Me neither. Maybe after all this time, I had to let it out. Just to you guys. Wow. Right. Let's not keep the detective waiting. I'm heading back. Pardon? Could you turn the heat up in here? I'm very cold. <sighs> that feels good. Thank you so much. Bleach Japan. Can't say I'm used to that yet. Same for me. Still, to see the Seiryu clan so openly transition to a non-profit and even be welcomed by the public? Well, I've never seen a chairman do that before. Please, I'm just thinking of the future. Nonsense. This was by no means an easy feat, you know. Here, here. For years. Anti-gang laws had given us a choice of two options. Stay small, or go underground. And now, we're basically endorsed by the country. Finally, there's another way out. The Yakuza have been aiding this country for decades. Ever since all that chaos snaked its way in after the war. This is the evolution of that. Better yet, I'd say it's exactly how things should be. Absolutely. It might even help the world to see the truth. 
that the Yakuza are still needed. A necessary evil, if you will. Yeah. We'll take our rightful place at the heart of it all. Secure our legacy for years to come. <laughs> the future of the Yakuza's looking real bright. Hell, it's brighter than ever before. Yes, and for that, I'll need you all to be at your absolute best. I'm counting on you. Now then, let's call it a day. Thank you, everyone. I thought I told you to cut that out. Oh, <laughs> sorry about that. Anyway, thanks again. Narasaki, a moment if you would. Sir? I wanted to discuss some personnel changes. Honestly, I'm ashamed. Only Yakuza filth would resort to a cheap tactic like this. Still, you want to let your hate run wild, well, a knife in the back's just the thing. Minimal effort, maximum suffering. <laughs> the future of the Yakuza? <laughs> it was a pipe dream from the start. When the trash is full, the only thing left to do is take it out. <laughs> All this time they've put their trust in me. And they've had no clue. It's almost tragic. Isn't it, Sawashiro-san? Abhinna. I was hoping you'd live long enough to see it. The only future your kind have waiting. Now then, it's been about a week since the incident. Could you tell us more about the people who attacked the Seiryu clan offices? Well, firstly, it should be said that this marks a historic shift for the Yakuza world. A few years ago, the Tojo clan and the Omi Alliance, for decades the Yakuza's two biggest players, mutually disbanded. Among those in the trade, this event was labeled the Great Dissolution. The largest remaining Yakuza group thereafter was the Seiryu clan who, of course, was the target of last week's attack. Right, and? And now, the same Seiryu clan, the current frontrunner, has taken up the torch to disband every other group still in Japan. Yes, I see. That certainly does sound historic. But the real question is, is it possible? You'd be fair to ask. At the very least, it does seem unrealistic. However, as a first step to seeing it through, the clan officially confirmed its disbandment to the police just the other day. So the torchbearers took initiative, set an example to the group still active. Correct. Additionally, the Seiryu clan also aims to reintegrate former members back into society. They mean to implement an occupation support program in partnership with a Hawaiian volunteer group, it seems. And in order to officiate things with the government, they've since reformed into a non-profit naturally as the country can't just openly cooperate with organized crime. Of course, while it may be a means to an end, it does show how serious the Seiryu clan's taking things. Let's not forget, they did disband. It's also expected that the other Yakuza groups across the country will follow suit, leading this movement to now be called the Second Great Dissolution. Now, some out there won't take too kindly to this, as you might have guessed. And there's a spark the connection to the incident at the Seiryu headquarters. Ah, so those were the dissenters? They were responsible for the attack? Looking at those involved, yes, it seems highly likely. Speaking of, actually, 
The man pictured here is the one they call Kiryu. It's suspected he's the central figure of those opposing the Yakuza's disbandment. Really? And just who are we dealing with here? You'll recall I mentioned the Tojo clan earlier, previously one of the largest Yakuza groups in Japan. He's one of its former chairmen. In short, a true blue Yakuza big shot. Rumor is, Kiryu wants anything but disbandment, which can only mean he wants the Yakuza back on top. I see. Well, regarding Kiryu, it's also said he has ties with the so-called Hero of Yokohama, that being one Ichiban Kasuga. He too has been in the news of late, after forcing former Yakuza to commit theft under the guise of reacclimating to society. And Kasuga's also a former Tojo clan member on top of that. As it stands, there's a good chance he's acting under Kiryu's command, a cog in his machine. Therefore, we're looking at a unique conflict. In one corner, the Siryu clan who seek to tear down tradition and forge a new path. And in the other, Kazuma Kiryu, who aims to revive the old ways for his own interests. A clash between new and old ideologies. So it seems. Thank you for your time. Following the attack, the culprits promptly went into hiding. As citizens remain frightened, it is imperative that these assailants be found as soon as possible. Got word from the lookout. Doesn't seem like people know you're here. Sorry to trouble you like this, Chief. With all that's happened, this was the best place I could think of. Hey, I'm not one to turn away women and children. That being said, I never thought I'd see you back here again. <laughs> you even brought friends this time. Our apologies, Chief. We really appreciate it. The world outside says you're a criminal certainly got the face for it. But I'll tell you, I only ever trust what I see for myself. I've seen a lot. You're not the kind of man to shake things up. Still, <laughs> that mug's terrifying. <laughs> he heard you the first time. Thank you, sir. When the time comes, I'll be sure to repay you. Well, y'all just kick back for now. I'll check in again soon. The Chief really helped us out. Thanks for doing all this, Kasuga. Nah, I can't exactly say we're in the clear. But we're lucky to have a safe zone, especially with the world watching. Yeah, and plus we can't stay hidden forever. Maybe nice moving quick. Once the Waste Disposal Project on LA Island's in motion, countless Seiryu Clan members will be exploited. We need to act before Ebina gets the chance. Right. <laughs> Ebina! It's been some time, Kasuga-san. Missed Japan, did we? Japan? Wait, how'd you know I was here? <laughs> and I thought you wouldn't be surprised. But no matter. I got reports from Dwight's men, just as you were often on your way. Bryce and I are still business partners, you know. Anyhow, Kiryu-san's there with you too, yes? Kiryu-san? And what if he was? What do you want, Ebina? Kiryu-san? It's fine, Kazuga. With all his resources, Ebina probably knew we'd meet up. Glad you see how it works. And with that, I've got some great news for you. Our Yakuza rehabilitation program was approved. Just yesterday, the government gave us free reign to see it through. Well, isn't that nice? So what? You call us just to get your kicks or something? Of course. The least I can do is share the joy with others. <laughs> Goody. Actually, there's one other thing. Thought perhaps you'd want to know. Huh? It seems I've caught myself a rat. And I must say, it's a big one. Kasuga-san should appreciate this. Captain! Uh, 
Did you really think I wouldn't notice his betrayal? Of all people? Knowing his intentions, I let him roam free until the proverbial ball started rolling. In fact, sawashiro san was quite instrumental in gathering our colleagues. They poured in left and right. What do you plan to do with him? Are you still set on taking revenge against the Yakuza? I doubt you'd make this kind of display otherwise. Who would? Revenge? <laughs> Who's to say? My reason for this is simple. I could think of no better bait to reel you in. You wouldn't leave him to die, would you? It's not in your character. Don't worry. About me. Apologies. Now, if you all would please come to the top floor of the Millennium Tower by 10 p.m. tomorrow. Miss our little appointment, and I dispose of the rat, plain and simple. Till then. Aiding us with a hostage? Guess he wants us out in the open. Yeah, we know the truth about his plans. That's the last thing he wants. This guy must be special. What with Ebi not holding him like that, right? It's our hero, I mean. No way! You could just ignore that. I mean, we got the talent, don't we? So, let's go save him. No. Ebina's not the only issue here. Not with what's happening overseas. As just announced, the Seiryu clan, now known as Nonprofit Bleach Japan Rehabilitation Program and all, has been officially approved by the Japanese government. It is believed the government and Bleach Japan had been coordinating their plans behind closed doors for some time. A week prior to the announcement, a cruise ship carrying former Seiryu clan members left Japan for Honolulu. The ship arrived in the city just earlier today. On location, Hawaii's governor and Bryce Fairchild of partner organization Polykana welcomes the vice representative of Bleach Japan, Eiji Mitamura, as he stepped ashore. Oh, sneaky bat! The first wave's already there. The ship is scheduled to depart for Nele Island tomorrow, where the program will officially get underway. They're bringing the Yakuza to the island tomorrow. Once they touch down, neither the state of Hawaii nor the Japanese government will care what happens next. They'll have wiped their hands clean, and that'll be that. And from there, they'll work as Bryce's slaves, dumping nuclear waste till the day they die. What a joke. We don't have a lot of time, not for Japan or Hawaii. What's the call? We split up. Might be dangerous. We can't let either one go. Kasuga, about Ebina. Mind if I handle things out here? You go and stop Bryce in Hawaii. Huh? Any reason? Actually, I'd like a word with him. There's some speculation, of course. But it's about Ebina's origins. His what? We can talk outside. I'll be waiting. Excuse me. Yeah. No.
<laughs> What's up? Thanks. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. Thanks. Here you son. Yes. So, Abby and I and I are Brothers? If what Daigo said is true, then, yeah, you'd be half-brothers. Assuming you're Arakawa's son, which, of course, still isn't clear. There's no black or white for a Yakuza. Only the boss makes that call. And you're sworn to go along with it. Ebina probably didn't care much for that line of thinking. That's my guess, at least. The Hikawa family patriarch, that being Ebina's grandfather, forced the marriage between his daughter and Arakawa. He never once considered their feelings. And when Arakawa asserted his love for Akane-san, that same man tried to have him killed. Why was Hikawa angry? Because his daughter was shamed. Not even close. It's because he made the call, yet Arakawa made his own. For all the man had, Ikawa just couldn't let that go. And the result? Maybe not lost the father, while his mother could only go so far. He was born of the Yakuza, and that would follow him the rest of his life. This isn't anything special either. I've seen similar tragedies happen countless times. I even had the chance to change those old ways once or twice. I was the fourth head of the Tojo clan. But even then, I chose a different path. So that's it. You feel like you gotta step up and take responsibility. Ebina's made his choice, and I can't change it for him. Taking responsibility is already well out of the question. I know that. 
Regardless, I don't want him to stray past the point of no return. If he goes any further with this, that'll be it. So I'll give all I have to stop him. I have to. It's the only way I could ever make amends. I've been part of this since the beginning, after all. And with that, Kasuga, I'm leaving everything else to you. No matter what era you're in, there's always someone who breaks the rules and strays from the rest of the pack. People just like us, for what it's worth. Those people deserve a place to call home, a chance to keep going. Can I ask you to give that to them? Me? I'll take on the Yakuza's past. But you... I want you to handle their future. <sighs> well, tall order. And just like that, you realize what you're asking me to do here, right? Anyhow... You can count on me, Kiryu-san. You know, I joined Hello Work for all kinds of reasons. But now I see it's really just because I wanted the same future you do. Thank you, Kasuga. That said, I do have one thing I gotta ask of you. Hmm. Don't go throwing your life away. Ebbing has got to be stopped, and you may be short on time. But don't treat this like it's the end. Kiryu-san, you gotta live. You live every last second you can. When you go, you go out strong. I won't let you otherwise. Hmm. Once this is over... I'll need help cleaning up all this dissolution business. I mean, come on. You were a part of it too, right? All right. It's a deal. <laughs> what? Just funny, you lecturing me. <laughs> well, you live this long, you're bound to hit a surprise or two. And, hey. I'll bet there's more to come, right? <laughs> right. I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. No doubt. All right. Now, I've got a lecture for you. Yo! Back then, just what did you tell Saiko? They must have... Really been something to set her off like that. Uh, 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 so, she's still pissed at me, huh? <laughs> you proposed to her, didn't you? Uh, I did. <laughs> and she turned me down hard. I even talked it out with Namba and Adachi san and apologized to her a ton. Oh, she was being all short about it. Hey, come on. Don't be so pathetic. Oh, sure. Wait, well, I, I'd love some advice. I... Actually, uh, never mind. You don't seem like a, a ladies' man. And what's that supposed to mean? Oh, no, 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 no. I, I meant you're a good dude. Well, give me some credit. I've been around a few times. Wait, have you really? Jeez, I, I'm sorry. I, I just didn't expect that. So what, you, you've actually proposed and stuff? <laughs> of course. For real? What all you say? You know, for reference and stuff. Hmm. When I proposed... Actually, I said I love you. 
And that was about it. I love you. <gasps> no! Hmm? <gasps> Idiot! Why do I gotta be such a dumbass? <laughs> hey, what's gone into you? Hey, sorry guys. We got an emergency. The heck are you? You're from the Daidoji. You've really made a mess of it now, Kazuma Kiryu. Not only did you ignore Hanawa's standby orders, you went and made yourself famous. Last I checked, you're supposed to be dead. This is a serious breach of agreement. But I don't really need to tell you that, do I? That all said, the truth of the matter is, you've done some great work. In addition to securing your target, Akane, you also protected the key figure in the case, this Lani girl. You even brought them safely to Japan. You've got an iron will, and you're a superb fighter. Furthermore, Ichiban Kasuga calls you a friend. No one else would have what it takes to pull this off. You make it sound so official, like all that was according to plan. No, far from it. But after everything, you've certainly made things convenient for us. Right now, it's not hard to imagine what you're all thinking. Stop the Seiryu from getting shipped off to Nele Island. Is that right? It's the same on our end. But didn't the Japanese government officiate that? Aren't you with them? You seem to misunderstand. Far as government goes, our allegiance lies with the Citizens' Liberal Party. However, four years ago, with Ryo Aoki's failures, the CLP quickly lost trust and therefore the race. Which means the current government is our political enemy. <laughs> Sounds like you just want to drag them down. With them out, you guys might just find your way back in, is that it? Make of it what you will. Now, you'll have to travel in secret, so we've got a private jet waiting. Just give us the word, and we'll get you there in no time flat. You're pretty cooperative, provided our interests align. Call it a politically informed decision. However, that's not the only reason we're helping you out. Is another. Hmm. Hanawa, you see, was tasked with submitting a daily report. These would usually include a brief summary, but on one rare occasion, he added his own impressions. They were about all of you. These people are not motivated by any self interest. They'll risk their very lives, whatever the mission. They are to be treated with respect as equals. Do so, and we'll surely achieve our goals. His words. As it turned out, that would be his final report. <clears throat> you know, he rarely ever praised people. You should be thankful. The private jet leaves tomorrow morning. Those headed to Hawaii be ready to go first thing. So Japan's future's on us. Didn't expect that, but hey, what's one more thing at this point? You scared yet? Not a chance. Tell me, Adachi-san, Chungi, Chichan, will you guys go back to Hawaii with me? Of course. Think that's pretty much a given. Nanba, Sunhi, Saigo, Zhao. It's all come to this. Will you join me at Millennium Tower to see it through? We're with you all the way, Kiryu-san. Right. We settle things tomorrow, then. Make sure you get some rest. Huh. I like your spirit, pal. <laughs> 
And speaking of spirits, what say we enjoy a few, huh? Hey, wow. You sure about this, Chief? <laughs> well, it ain't free. So come home safe, all right? You can pay me back then. Chief, you got it. We'll definitely take you up on that. Don't you worry. I got some soda and candy just for you. Trouble sleeping? Oh, uh, what? Ichiban? Uh, sorry. Did I scare you? Oh, <laughs> no, it's fine. But Ichiban, shouldn't you be asleep? Uh, yeah. I don't know if it's nerves or something, but uh, I can't catch a wink. Uh, uh, oh, uh, yeah? <laughs> So, uh, Sachan. Uh, yeah? Um, what's up? Well, uh, 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 Sachan, if we both make it back safe, uh, well, there's something I need to tell you. Y yeah? Uh, when the time comes, will you hear me out? Wait, what's this all about? Please. Just a word. That's all I ask. <sighs> okay. All right. Then we better both come back in one piece. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> you be careful, Sachan. You too. <sighs> Well, uh, uh, good night. Uh, good night. <sighs> long since I've been home, I guess I'm a little restless. I'm sorry, did I wake you? Are you cold? I'm okay. Thank you, Akane. Hmm. 
Hmm? For staying with me this whole time. Hmm. You're welcome. So, um, do you like Polycana? Hmm? I do. It's, well, it's a special place for me. Then, I think it's my turn to protect you. I'm going to keep your special place safe. Lani. I mean it. I know I can do that. So rest easy. I won't let anything happen to it. Thank you, Lani. That means the world. Okay? Let's both get some sleep. Okay. Good night. Thank you. Got somewhere to be? I'm not running away. I'll be back by morning. So, please, just give me some time. So that's it. Just like that, it's all gone. Looks like you're about ready. Whoever's going to Hawaii, now's the time. Stay safe. It goes for them and you, Kiryu-san. Sing to you. Till we meet again, Kasuga. Kiryu-san, I hope he's okay. We just do what we gotta do. Namba and the others are with him. He'll be fine. Right. The bleached Japan ship has already left for Nelly Island, and it won't take long. We need to hurry after them. It may be, but we can't just rush in. Let's make sure we're ready. This fight's our responsibility. Kiryu and the others are counting on us to win. Right. Let's make him proud, then. What are you looking at? Totally! Okay, gang. Everyone ready? Let's finish it. Akane-san and Lonnie are counting on us. Right. We're moving out.
Still can't see the island. Perhaps, but we should still be on course. <sighs> What's up, Ichiban? That face ain't like you. No, just curious about something. Something? Nelly Island's basically Bryce's lair. Its location should be top secret. But for all the guy's secrets, that info was pretty easy to get. <laughs> Speak for yourself. As if hacking a satellite wasn't enough. Do you have any idea how many photos I had to sift through? I'll say. It might have turned up with a good bit of digging, but... Sure as hell wasn't easy. All things considered, the chance of it leaking on its own is pretty low, right? You're probably right, but still... This is Bryce we're talking about. Look, hear me out. So Bryce, huh? even if his secrets were in danger, who's to say he doesn't have some kind of backup plan? What? What do you mean by back- <laughs> Who is that? <sighs> what in the hell? Is this what you meant, Kasuga? Yeah, and man, do I hate that I was right! What do you mean? I mean nobody was ever making it to that island, even if the whole damn world found out about it! You're telling me this is Bryce's? His or not, this boat is no match. We have to stop it! Damn straight! Hope you guys know how to fish! Here it comes! So we can't just smile at it, whack it on the nose or something. Cool. Let's do this, guys. Hell yeah! Here's what true friends are made of. <laughs> uh. Uh. And it's gone! All right. Cool. <laughs> Kidding. World's just full of surprises, huh? Nelly Island's more secure than we thought. Seems anyone who gets close enough ends up a meal. <sighs> well, no way it's Bryce's pet. I doubt even he can work that kind of magic. Really, I'll bet the island's just its chomping grounds. Sail in and your shark food. With that in mind, Nelly Island's like a puzzle. You'd never get there off location alone. Oh, you need the route. Right. If you don't have both, you're done. Gills up before you even see the shore. The island's just bait. It lures people in and springs the trap when they least expect. So Bryce was counting on this. We sailed straight into his hands. Yeah, but his trap was a bust. It'll take more than that to get rid of us, won't it? Damn right. Now, let's get this tub back on track. Oh, you guys! We're finally here. We are. I can see a dock up ahead. Probably don't want to draw attention, though. Yeah, let's find a place where we can sneak ashore. A lot 
lot of layers, guys. Aren't you hot? <laughs> hey, these are our fighting clothes. When the going gets tough, the tough dress to kill. <laughs> right, it's just a routine of ours. No need to worry. Yeah, amen to that. <laughs> I'm ready to rumble. Well, honestly, I'm getting hot just looking at you guys. That or now I'm fired up for what's ahead. Ah, sure is peaceful here. If you didn't know any better, you'd think we were on vacation. Maybe. But Bryce is in there somewhere. It's time we drag him out. We've got three objectives here. First, we capture Bryce and shut down his whole operation. Second, figure out what's going on. We get to the bottom of this whole nuclear waste disposal business. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, three? What's the last one? We all walk out of here alive. That's your number one priority. Don't forget it. <laughs> Just what I'd expect from you. Uh, here comes our warm welcome. Yeah. Let's greet him back! Come on! <laughs> I'll let you guys slip. All right, let's go. All right. Dance shut you up. Feeling good. Come on. I'll show you a fight. Okay. Hey, Kasuga. I get that this is urgent. Slow down. You can't be too careful. Yeah, I know that, but... Don't forget, we're deep in enemy territory. Out here, we're almost like lambs to the slaughter. If I were them, I'd have to set up a trap. Or execute an ambush. Oh, you wanna go? Okay, you asked for it. Watch. <laughs> Cool. Looks like I'm up. I'll show you a fucking <laughs> 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 So close. Except these wise guys chose both the trap and the ambush. And here I thought they moved to Nele Island to live out the rest of their lives in peace. Yeah, I guess the real intention was nobody leaves this island alive. By the look of it, there's no way they set all this up just for us. Yeah, but it reeks of Bryce's handiwork. 
sick bastard that he is. Keep in mind, it's said that landmines leverage the enemy's own careless mistakes against them. All right. Means we have a shot at this as long as we stay focused. Everyone stay sharp, all right? Up ahead! Light! We can finally say goodbye to this mess. Huh? Stop! What? Ah! Are you hurt at all, Kasuga san? <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. You saved my life there, pal. <gasps> Junki! <sighs> hey, let me have a look. Oh, man, your arm. Nobody panic. I was just grazed by a piece of shrapnel. Oh, I'm so sorry. But you paid the price for my own mistake. Like I said, it only takes a single moment of carelessness. And as you can see, I got sloppy. So this was my mistake, not yours. Uh, We're finally out of the woods. We should hurry on. Are you guys okay? What? Is there a reason you're out here? A little girl? Yeah, could this kid be a Haku too? Sir, you're not hurt, are you? I'm fine, and no need for a sir. I'm not that old. Hannah, what have you done? You've been warned never to step foot in the forest, child. <gasps> Mother! <sighs> Who are you people? Mother, it looks like that man got hurt. You're injured? Well, I did hear a lot of noise just now. Did something happen out there? Hey, what's your gut saying, Kasuga? She seems genuinely caught off guard. I think so too. But are there really people on this island who aren't under Bryce's control? Well, wouldn't rule out the possibility. If you folks are injured, you definitely need treatment. Please, follow me. <clears throat> Our journey's far from over. So let's get you fixed up now, Juki. Hey, Kasuga-san! All things considered, it's better that we take the risk. Ah. Right. We can never be too careful. Everyone, stay vigilant. Helena, who are these strangers? I'm not sure, but it seems they were injured in the forest. Oh, what a shame. Go on and use the shed. The first aid kit should be in there. Thank you, Elder. Sorry to intrude. We're really grateful here. To lend a helping hand in a time of need is to live by Madame Nelle's teachings. Look, look! I found some strangers lost in the forest! That's the shed over there, right? Let's go. Whew. Finally got a chance to breathe. Yeah. We should rest while we have the chance. All right, that ought to fix you up. Sorry for the trouble. I owe you one. Well, best not overstay our welcome. Let's get moving. You said it. Hey, does anyone smell something burning? Huh? Yeah. What's it coming from? Shit, look! It won't budge! <gasps> Are you serious? <coughs> Guys, it's getting hot in here! Fucking open! 
unclean what? trespassers of this sacred land. May Madame Nelle forgive you as your bones are reduced to cinders. <gasps> so much for the warm welcome. They were gonna roast us to death all along. Damn it! Open up! At this rate, we'll suffocate before the flames even reach us. Everyone, we'll kick it down together on the count of three. One, two, three! <laughs> Ichiban! They're coming! Utter fools. You've squandered the chance to receive divine salvation. Look, no offense, man. But tell your goddess we're taking a rain check. You ready? Yeah. Let us purge the wicked from this earth! This will be a good workout. All right, let's go. Well. Right, time to... That's enough! We want Bryce! Tell us where your shoddy sage is hiding! He headed for... the training grounds beyond. That was the last we saw of him. So that was the training grounds we saw. It looks like we were on the right track after all. <laughs> Scamper around all you like. Your sins will catch up with you in the end. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Time to go, guys. Hold up, Ichiban. What's wrong? Aren't we forgetting someone? Spit it out. Where's Wangto's son? Huh? Chichan. Don't bother playing dumb. We already know you're hiding him here. <sighs> or would you rather us take turns making you scream? Okay, I get it. I get it. But as you said, the boy has been kept here with us. Fantastic. Then, would you kindly show us the way? <gasps> he is merely asleep. Though he is imprisoned, he is still well respected. You're lucky he's unharmed, but you definitely wouldn't be. I've only seen the kid in passing, but this is him, right? Yeah, no doubt. You can expect us back here as soon as we're done with your boss. So you better crank up the quality of his care till we return. If anything happens to him, guess what happens to you. <clears throat> Understood. I'm impressed, jitose san but how did you know the boy would be here? That's the thing. I didn't. I was bluffing. How the heck did you keep a straight face? Well, I was acting on more than just a hunch. I figured, with what happened to Wong, Bryce was forced to think about the future of Ganja. And from his perspective, who better to appoint as leader than Wong's own son? Right. Bryce could easily set the kid up as his successor, then send in one of his own goons as his assistant. That lunatic was looking to establish his very own puppet regime. Bet you brainwashing the kid was the first thing on his list. In that case, Bryce needs him alive. Otherwise, he'd have to start from scratch. So yeah, I figured he might want to keep the kid locked up. A place like this is perfect. I get you. It's just... It's gonna be hard breaking the news about his dad. Yeah. All we can do right now is put a stop to this madness. And the sooner, the better. I agree. Then let's keep moving. To the training grounds.
What are they doing? God's sake. And these guys are on the same side? Huh. I've actually heard about this sort of thing. There are cults that force their disciples to perform ritual murder as a test of faith. Often, it's among their own community. Whoever dies, whoever kills, none are held accountable. And the survivors are willingly cut off from the world, thus binding them to their beliefs all the more. Super fucked up. You there! Who dares disturb our training? Glad you finally noticed. Look at what you're doing! Hasn't it occurred to you you're a team? The team's always supposed to look out for each other! So why? As if an outsider could grasp the nobility of our vocation. Behold! The devils that wish to taint our faith! See them well! Their heresy shall not go unpunished! This is your final trial before you approach divinity! Exterminate these wretches! So, your trials are done! Time to wake your asses up! You already know what time it is! Come on! Well... Oh, shit, power. Time to clear the way. Mm. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Damn. Sense any hostiles in the vicinity. All right, this calls for a break. We'll keep at it once we catch our breath. said back there. 
I find that rather ominous. What, all that crap about a guardian or whatever? Yes. It was a little too easy to get him to lead us here. I don't sense any enemies nearby. That's exactly what's so creepy about all this. Whoa! Is this an earthquake? Well, there's a volcano nearby. Maybe it's erupting? Ugh. Hey, hey, guys? What's that? Monster, what is up with this island? Far down and we gotta go. My ears are starting to ring. Must be a pretty deep cavern to be able to fit in all the waste. Oh, we here? Prepare to be executed in the name of Madame Nele! I guess we should have seen this coming. Look alive, guys! I'll turn you in a big face! Now you're going down. Ha <laughs> ha. Time to clear the way. Okay. What the hell? 
back? Wait a sec. Is this all nuclear waste? Seems to be. For all that talk, I expected much more than a cave out at sea. <laughs> to think they made it sound so official. Hell, they're just stacking crap everywhere. And some of it's rusting. Disposal facility, my ass. This place is a dump. A real crock of shit. If they keep this up, the whole island, even the surrounding ocean, is screwed. <sighs> Greetings, Kasuga. Bryce! Long time no see. Unfortunately, I'm afraid I can't welcome you here. This place is holy ground, meant only for chosen Haku. None but they may enter. Your presence is a stain upon the land. Yes, we can't argue with you there. Once we drag your ass to jail, we'll be sure to make amends. For now, we got work to do. A little waste disposal of our own. You hear that? For the sake of Polycana, we're taking you down! Spoken by a meddlesome outsider. Surely you recognize the arrogance in that. Oh no. I got a good idea of how you run things. You're nothing but a damn crook. You spit on people's faith like it's a sport! And it's not just money, is it? You've taken lies, too. Rice. I'm here for Takara. Had he died peacefully, who knows? Maybe then I might have let it go. But no, that's not what happened. Not even close. You used his faith for all it was worth and just to toss his life away. He had a family, a wife, a kid, and everything. Bastard, you used him. Ah, so one of your friends was a Haku, was he? Well, well. Yes, that is unfortunate. This Takata of yours, it's a shame he lacked the faith needed to make a difference. What? To a Haku, giving your life for Palakana is the highest of honors. But it would seem your friend was at odds with this. A true Haku wouldn't think twice. As Palakana's sage, I must say, I'm disappointed. You son of a- Tell me. I know. I'll hold back for now. When Akane-san fled Japan and ran off to Hawaii, it was your group that gave her shelter. Polykana gave her peace of mind. In a way, I feel like I owe them for that. And what's more, it's people took care of me, too. Same. I'd probably have starved to death if not for that. For all they've done, we felt someone should return the favor. That means taking it back from you. Dear me, you really don't understand how faith works, do you? You claim I'm abusing the faithful, but is Palakana truly all that different with me in charge? Believers are asked to trust in some imaginary god, then pushed to do charity work and Offer relief. Seems to me the fault lies with them. Yes. What? Am I wrong to think so? They choose to die for their salvation. The problem here is entirely their own. Maybe they do choose it for themselves. But it's no reason not to knock your ass out! Couldn't agree more. You know, I thought I was over this place, and my love for the islands was up and gone. But after seeing all this, I'm more than ready to defend them. <laughs> Something I don't get. How's a rat like you do all this? You're seriously the sage? I must say I'm hurt. As a matter of fact, I was appointed the title by my predecessor. That must have been 70 years ago now. Wait, what? How old is this guy? Back then, Palakana, by and large, was steeped in charity work. Thanks to the sage and his wife. 
It was, perhaps, the least religious the group had ever been, you might say. Nevertheless, the Order had been gaining more and more wealth, even before Hawaii was annexed into the States. <laughs> they seemed a valuable asset. The Mafia thought so, at least. Uh, so that's the hole you crawled out of. Believe it or not, the two groups aren't so different. An absolute hierarchy built off principle, creed, or a set of rules. Now, what is that? A religious organization or a mob family? Tell me, Kasuga, what would you call it? I'd call that twisting your words. Yes, maybe so. But regardless of opinion, my entry into Palakana went rather smoothly. It was all too familiar, you see. I knew quite well how to conduct myself, especially in those kinds of groups. It took time to garner trust, and my ascendance to Sage certainly didn't happen on its own. Still, things went as planned in the end. So what was the goal? Assume power and rake in all of Polycana's money? <laughs> the money was an option, yes. But I only had one goal in mind, this sacred land. Nele Island would be mine. Huh? An island in the middle of the Pacific, almost entirely cut off from the outside world. Furthermore, it's owned and operated by Palikana. Religious freedoms protect this place by law, including its secrets. It's a haven. Secure, secluded, one of a kind. The ultimate black box at my disposal. So what? You turn the place into a sludge dump? The waste disposal project is only the beginning. It's a big world out there. And everyone's got something to hide. Something to keep from prying eyes. And the more a country depends on you, the more you need hidden away. Things, people, information, possibilities abound. As long as this island exists, I'll take out whatever trash comes my way. Oh, so that's it. Ebby not learn his little scheme from you. Very perceptive. As business partners, it was necessary to provide Ebina with some incentive. And with knowledge of the world's deepest, darkest secrets, we gain an inseparable connection to those in power. You mean you'll have dirt on them? Let's not dance around it. When that day comes, even my title as Overseer will seem trivial. I'll have global influence by then. Would that not, in a sense, make me a god? A god with his head up his ass, maybe. Well, I'm sure by now you see the value in this place, yes? Not all do. It takes a sense of ambition. Something he didn't have. He? The island's previous owner, the Sage, before me. I had climbed my way up the ladder. My rise to Sage was all but certain. Guaranteed. That charity-obsessed fool! He nearly ruined everything I'd worked for. <sighs> Nele Island was to be sold. The proceeds put toward further volunteer work. What a waste it would have been. Worse, the deal was well in the works by then. I'd intended to take over as quietly as I first appeared. But no island meant all of this would have been for nothing. Which is why... I had no choice but to take matters into my own hands. Pity it had to end so tragically. No matter. I'm sure their precious Nelly embraced them with open arms. <sighs> you know, I'll bet you just love it. Swindling people for all they've got. They were one step ahead, weren't they? 
That fake pendant of yours can attest to that. But dear, I did want to talk about Bryce. They'd already had you pegged for the snake you are. That's why the previous sage left a will. You're the last person he wanted in charge. You and that necklace are two of a kind. A couple of cheap imitations. And if that wasn't enough, you tried to kill a kid. An innocent little girl. You think you're on the path to godhood? <laughs> you're a false idol at best. The girl had to go. Too much risk. However, it wouldn't have mattered either way. Even now, regardless of what truths about me come to light, I have plenty of followers who will remain loyal. Shit outright. You think people would stick around with a screwball like you? It's why you rolled out every gang in Hawaii. You are getting desperate. And in the end, it turned around and bit you in the ass. Bryce, the one who really exposed all your BS was you. Though, you did have help. All those years, some people in Polycana, despite you, actually cared. Like how Akane-san cared for Lottie. Huh. I'd say that's more than enough talk, wouldn't you? To tread upon these sacred grounds. To interfere in the affairs of the Divine. The Goddess Nele will not take kindly. <laughs> Seems we've all said what we can at this point. A good punch ought to shut him up. Yeah. Make it too. Sounds good. Bryce, this ends now. <laughs> Have it your way. Nelly's divine wrath awaits. Dear children, the time for our crusade is now! <laughs> Show the whole world the truth about your little disposal area. That it's nothing but a dump. <laughs> Do you really believe that's enough? As if it would make all this go away? Huh? This whole operation involves countless other countries. All of which produce nuclear waste. A scandal here could collapse an entire government. You think any of them would allow that to happen? <laughs> Shall I spell it out for you? Those countries need me. Every last one of them is on my side. <sighs> so what? We came all this way for nothing? Sorry to break it to you, but you might want to recount on that. Huh? Chichan?
Rise and shine, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, wait, I guess it's still nighttime back in Japan, huh? Sorry for the surprise stream. Tatara Channel coming at ya. That's right, go out and spread the word. I'm here live and in person. Now then, you guys getting all this? Yep, straight up drum city over here. And guess what? This little work of art's right here in Hawaii. That's not all. It's Bleach Japan's big project. You know, the one everyone's talking about? That's right. I'm smack dab in the middle of their secret waste disposal site. Weren't you listening? You can spread this all over the net. But as long as I have backers, they'll just keep wiping it away. Let's see. According to Ebina of Bleach Japan, the waste disposal process was to use former Yakuza under some very strict safety protocols now. Do I have all that right? Oh, but what's this? This doesn't look very safe, does it? Well, I'm no expert, but it looks like a dingy old cave, and one that's not even that far down below the surface. You mean all this hazardous waste has just been sitting down here? <laughs> so much for rules and regulations. And wait! <gasps> Could it be? It is! Did everyone watch the news? That Hawaiian volunteer group was helping out. Oh, what was the name? Polykana, I think it was. And wow, we've got their sage right here! Excuse me, you're Bryce, right? If you're here, then this place is legit. Yeah, wow, this really is the waste disposal site everyone's been so obsessed with. Care to explain what's going on here? Hush, hush, I see. We've got a professional here. All right. Maybe someone else can help shed some light on this. What? Hello? Can you hear me okay? Yes. Loud and clear. Who's that? Wonderful. And may I ask your name, sir? Indeed. This is Kazunari Fujinomiya. I'm chairman of the Fujinomiya Group. What? Fujinomiya? That's chi -chan's... Oh, wow! Chairman of the Fujinomiya Group. You're a pretty big deal in Japan's business world, huh? On behalf of us all, thank you for joining us. Right, Fujinomiya-san. My reason for calling you today is simple. Leech Japan's Waste Project. I'm told the Fujinomiya Group is a major contributor. Do I have that right? Correct. Fujinomiya Shipping, a subsidiary of our group, handles the delivery of nuclear waste for this very project. Ah, I see. Well then, Fujinomiya-san, would you care to comment? Any thoughts about what you're seeing right now? <sighs> Honestly, I find it all difficult to believe. However, if this is the truth, then we will take the proper actions where need be. As you're also a key member in this, will you accept responsibility? Do you believe that's fair? Whoa, Chi-chan! To that end, yes. I believe so. When the time comes, I intend to account for my actions. And will you hold yourself to those words? Of course. Well, thank you very much. Now, Bryce, you heard what the Fujinomiya chairman said, didn't you? I mean, a declaration like that's gotta sting. It'd take a miracle to cover all that up, huh? Chitose's <sighs> ah, good, man. All those secrets and she cornered Bryce just like that. She really stuck her neck out, too. <sighs> Well, I guess I just wanted to help out. Before we left Japan, I went back to my family. I told them everything that happened. We got in a huge fight, and I asked if money was really all that mattered. And bingo, here we are. Chichana. Hey, don't look at me like that. There's still one more thing I've got to do, after all. What? Yep. They 
can see me. Wait, Shichana. This next part's pretty important. You see, I've got one last matter of business to tend to. And that is... to formally address the mistakes I've made on this channel. Tatara channels a lie. I, Chitose Fujinomiya, knowingly spread false information to the public. Information about otherwise innocent people. In doing so, I deliberately manipulated how they were seen. I was forced to do this, under the looming threat that my identity would be exposed. However, that's no excuse. Fact is, I still make those choices. To those I've wronged, to everyone, I'd like to apologize for what I've done, for all I've ruined. Truly, I am deeply sorry. Chichana. Thank you, Ichiban. Remember what you said? That I could pack up and go if I wanted? You saying that was just what I needed to hear. Thanks to you, I finally found the courage to face things head on. I'm done running. From both my family and myself. You're really something, Shijan. <laughs> Am I? <laughs> Bryce, you've got a lot to answer for. Don't try and sneak your way out now. <laughs> fools. Huh? I said, you're all fools. You think you've gone and done some great noble deed. Think again. Despite what you tell yourselves, nearly every country on Earth sought to make this happen. Of course, that includes Japan as well. We would purge the world of its nuclear waste, and all at the expense of one remote little island. Everyone was chasing after the same impossible dream. I'm simply the one who caught it. Call it a... necessary evil. You say we're acting noble? You may have stopped me here, but I won't let it trouble me, not one bit. You're a covetous little nest of ants, clasping for power. To hell with the risks, so long as you're not the ones held responsible. <laughs> Let's see what happens. See how you face a world without my influence. Will it call you to embrace the very same evils I did? How I wonder. Don't you worry, Bryce. People aren't as weak as you say. No matter how tough things might get, rest assured. They can always find a way through. <laughs> I'm not so sure. If only I could watch from on high. Alas. It seems I'll have to consent to my view through the flames below. What? You're not going anywhere! Not on my watch! What are you doing? I've had more than enough fishing for one day. Last thing I'm gonna do is pull your wrinkly ass out of the muck! Clear these drums out later. Think I want your freaky corpse staring at me. I'd rather eat my shoes. No one else. I made a promise. I can't just let you die and be done with it. You're not getting the last laugh. If you think you're going out in style, you've got another thing coming. Enjoy your flight, asshole! Ichiban! Ichiban! 
End of the line, Bryce Fairchild. Thanks to Chitose, you've got nowhere else to run. I'm sending you to the police with a nice big ribbon. I'd say that's mission accomplished. Hey, Kasuga. No. We're not out just yet. Okay, I'd say that's our cue. Yeah, for all they did, for all Chitose sacrificed, we need to do our job. Definitely. Makes me feel like we gotta, especially after seeing it for ourselves. Oh yeah, I got a real fire burning now. I'll say, our boy Ichiban sure knows how to pull it off, huh? Well, why are you looking at me? <laughs> Uh, no reason. <laughs> Sounds like we're ready. Fine. Just so long as we don't get cocky. Sure thing. Time to roll, Kiryu-san. Yeah. Got it. All set to head out? We'll get you to Kamurocho, quick as we can. Understood. Akane-san and Lani don't need protection. All part of the orders. Besides, we don't intend on wasting your efforts. We wouldn't do that to you. You mean you guys finally grew a conscience? Just get in the car. Next stop's the final act. Well, onwards and upwards. <laughs> yeah. Let's get this over with, shall we? I've been away from the club long enough. Yeah, I'm sure. I've got a mountain of work back home. Well, all right. Glad we're feeling confident. Hmm. Huh? Second thoughts, Kiryu-san? All of you. Are you sure about this? Yes. I'm the one who needs to settle the score with Ebina. This isn't your fight. You'll just be risking your lives. Ugh. Come on! Is now really the time? Yeah, man. Gotta say, I'm a little hurt. Kiryu-san, we've got our roles. This is our business as much as it is yours. Helping Saurashiro, taking down Ebina. We're with you every step of the way. Yeah, besides... We can't just let a friend waltz headfirst into danger by himself. Uh, friend? They say you're some legendary Yakuza, but for me, it just doesn't fit the bill. Kiryu, I know. He loves good booze and karaoke, and he throws a hell of a punch. He's also a friend like no other. Does that sound about right? You're carrying way too much on your own. And why bother when you've got us? Isn't that what friends are for? <sighs> yeah, you're right. So much has happened. Sometimes I just forget. <laughs> now then, what do you guys say? Think you can lend me a hand here? Don't mess 
with me. Here we go. Okay. I'll take you on. Use a breather. Oh, I'm wiped. Ugh. I mean, they sent all those guys to Hawaii, and we're still up to our necks. Uh, since when was the Saver You clan this big? Well, if I had to guess, oh. I'd say most of them just joined. <clears throat> Probably old Tojo or Omi boys. The Saryu clan were likely their last hope. What with the five year claws taking its toll. Get up. Uh, hold your horses a sec, huh? We've got a clear floor. No. There's a reason this room's empty. Take cover! <laughs> what do we do now? We wait till he runs out! Oh, sir! Sure, we got plenty of time for that! Come on! Get down! Oh, is that all you got? You came. You know, ever since our little scuffle, I ain't felt right. Like I had an itch I couldn't scratch. I wanted blood, and lots of it. So after giving it some thought, we figured we ought to indulge ourselves. Huh. Why go it alone? Cleaning up the Yakuza was always a team sport after all. It's about time we stepped in. You mean... You'll fight with us? We will. Provided you're okay with that. We're more than okay. Talk about a lineup! <sighs> well, look a here. Kazuma Kiryu's one thing, but this is just too good to be true. Three years has been a long time coming. Three years since what? What? <laughs> Ain't it obvious? We're ex-Omi, and we weren't just some grunts. We were there for the big split. That's right. You fellas really did us dirty that day. It's time we return the favor. You can try. If you're angry with us, then by all means. Give us your best shot. Kill them all! I'll settle the score. Here, your son! We've got your back! Leading into you. Here we go.
Damn, there's no end to them. Kill your son! We got it here! You keep moving! Right, we're off. Try to stay alive, yeah? Dumbass. Seriously? That's my line. Get going! on time, as I'd expect, Kiryu-san. Welcome to Bleach Japan. Gee, thanks. You know, I get this place is just another front for you, but still. Little on the drab side, don't you think? <laughs> as long as it keeps people from sticking their nose where it doesn't belong. And why care? I'm done with Palakana. It was only a matter of time before that deal ran its course. What? Well, surely it was obvious. Nele Island, the disposal site. It was nothing but a cheap hole in the ground. The cave would naturally fill up at some point, which would mean, of course, pollution. It wouldn't work. Even with influence over the other countries involved, eventually the truth would come out. Frankly, I'm not sure what Bryce was thinking. Whether the truth remained hidden or not was of little consequence in the grand scheme of things. It was destined to fail, and nothing could have changed that. <laughs> so, what? You don't care? Then why? Why do any of this? Much as it pains me, my own aspirations were never meant to be. Ebina, where's Sawashiro? Why he's right here. <laughs> Sawashiro. Ebina, you bastard! What are you all so angry about? He's done the same to others countless times, has he not? Time and time again. An eye for an eye. A tooth for a tooth. I merely gave him what he rightly deserved. Of course, there's also those on Nele Island. They'll receive due punishment as well. What's your problem? What do you have against the Yakuza? <sighs> Why ask what you already know? My mother, as you learned, was the Hikawa Patriarch's daughter, Yuriko Hikawa. And my father, just as you surmised, was Masumi Arakawa. 
Regardless of whatever her father intended, my mother loved Arakawa with all her heart. On the other hand, she also knew that the man harbored deep feelings for another woman. Thus, she felt both joy and guilt. Indeed, she was engaged, but it was undeniably a mixed blessing. Perhaps if she bore their child, Arakawa couldn't ignore that. Surely his feelings would sway. <laughs> Wishful thinking on her part. And then you came into the picture. Correct. But before the pregnancy came to light, Hikawa came under Arakawa's wrath. The family was destroyed. My mother was always frail, you see. Once she had me, the burden of raising a child alone was too much. A Yakuza's bonds are thicker than blood, we were told. <sighs> foolish words from foolish people. They never gave my mother a chance. When Hikawa died, the family went with him. I watched his men scatter like the rats they are. And yet... Please don't hate them. Not your father. Not any of them. Those were her last words. She was a fool too, it seems. Betrayed by the man she loved. Used by her own father. And tossed aside by those who called her family. If not her, if she couldn't take revenge, then why on earth shouldn't I? That's when this started. You wanted to make the Yakuza pay. That's right. Still, you said it yourself just now. Your aspirations were never meant to be. <laughs> How could they be? What would I have done? There's too many of you to count. Do I go around killing them one by one? Believe me, I would if I were able. Everything I've accomplished, why, it was simply the next best thing. A compromise, you might say. Honestly, it's been a long road. I first tried to eradicate your kind as a police officer. But you were one step ahead of me. Your great dissolution scattered you all to the wind. And that wasn't all. In the confusion that followed, Masumi Arakawa went and got himself killed. That's when I realized vengeance would never be mine. That snake. I wanted to wring his neck myself. <gasps> Masumi Arakawa. It's true he was loved among the Yakuza, oh yes. But all I see is the wretch who left my mother to die. Ichiban Kasuga's reverence for him is a joke. A sick mockery of my life! Kasuga's blind as they come. He's no different than those that Bryce fooled. Another Palakana pig suckling at shit. You son of a... <sighs> anyway, my dream to strike back at Arakawa had clearly been denied. It took a good deal of time to recover, but I knew I needed a new plan. So I set sights on the Yakuza freed in the dissolution. All those years preying on those weaker than them, and now they wanted an honest life? Their dream would be as futile as mine. Then it dawned on me. So what if they're scattered? I'll just round them up. The Tojo and the Omi might have disbanded, but not the Seiryu clan. I baited new recruits however I could. A new Yakuza life? Fine. A cushy seat in society? But of course. Sure enough, they came marching in by the droves. Ants! Trickling in at the promise of sugar. <laughs> if they only knew how stupid they looked. No later than that, I began thinking of a way to get rid of them all. When from Bryce comes a special business venture courtesy of our very own Eiji. 
By then, they'd already secured Nele Island, with Fujinomiya shipping as the means of transport. They just couldn't find the manpower. Now, they were dealing with radioactive material, so that was only natural. But to me, well, it all sounded very convenient. Those stooges in the Serio clan, I knew just what to do with them. It was clear as day. I could make them suffer, subject them to far more than just unloading waste. Nele Island is effectively a giant black box. There'd be no running away, no refuge from their pain. Their cries would never escape the island. They'd be at my whim, wouldn't they? What a gift the island turned out to be. Like an antlion's trap, before long, it would drag them all to hell. <laughs> Eiji <laughs> proved more valuable than I thought. Nele Island wasn't all he brought me. I haven't told you, have I? Eiji's the one who figured out the truth behind Chairman Hoshino's murder. Wait, what? While at Bleach Japan, he learned much about Ryo Aoki. Or perhaps I should call him Masato Arakawa, yes? That hit on Hoshino was a ruse. Sawashiro was, for all intents and purposes, innocent in the affair. Amazing what a little leverage can do. He joined the Serio without hesitation. Right. And then you had Eiji's web skills. Tatara Channel was your ace in the hole. Indeed it was. Well, I suppose that's enough. It's almost ironic, wouldn't you say? Masumi Arakawa leaves two sons behind. One who worships the ground he walks on, and the other who spits on his grave. One works to rehabilitate the Yakuza, and the other, in all his hatred, sends them to their doom. We're mirror images, he and I. <laughs> You're not wrong there, but Ebina? There's one thing you might add to that. Care to guess what it is? <laughs> Go on. You said the nuclear waste project was a compromise for taking revenge on the Yakuza, right? You said it was impossible to go after all of them. Ichiban's different. <laughs> that moron. He seriously tried to give every one of them a normal life again. He sat there day after day, no matter how impossible it might have seemed. <laughs> Hot dog. I wish Ichiban could have heard all that. Tell him and I'll knock your lights out. Ebina. It's clear you're angry. I won't deny you that. I wouldn't have the right. It was a different time. But when I was chairman of the Tojo, I had a chance. I could have changed the Yakuza for the better. I should have. But I did no such thing. Uh, Kiryu-san. Still, this has to end. I can't just sit back and watch as you burn it all to the ground. It's up to me to stop you. And believe me, I will. I'm gonna set this right. The sins of the Yakuza are mine. And if I have to, I'll take on every last one. Hmm. How very noble of you. Come on. You forget what we said downstairs? You and the lone wolf routine, I swear. Yeah, seriously. Now let's finish this together, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Huh. Well then, let's begin. Kazuma Kiryu is about to make his final stand. And at the Millennium Tower, no less. What could be more fitting? Yeah, I was thinking the same thing.
time to die. Kazuma Kiryu! Come on! Abina! Ideals all you want, you're still Yakuza. That's all you'll ever be. Try to drop this. You asked for it. This'll be hard. Here we go. No begging for mercy now. Are you done with all the fun and games yet? enough now. Why don't we finish this? Yeah. <sighs> Kiryu-san! Kill me. Kill you, son. This is your problem. It's why the Yakuza keep rearing their ugly heads. 
The lot of you. Whether you retire, whether you disband, you always come crawling back. You're a Yakuza through and through, and you can't erase that no matter what. You'll say sorry again and again, and then find some way to justify it. The bigger the Yakuza, the bigger and better the future they promise, all so they can keep on fighting. If you let me live, how long before I too come crawling back? You may have put things on hold for now, but someone can pick up the pieces, rid the world of your filth. If not me, then someone else. The country's elite demand it. They were counting on me to see it through. If you don't finish me off, the future stays the same. I'll still make an example of the Yakuza one way or another. If you truly want them all to break free and find their place in this world, then hurry up and put an end to this before it's too late! I've lived in the twilight of the Yakuza all my life! You get rid of me, or I will keep cutting back! Do you understand, Kazuma Kiryu? Ebina. Nothing I say would ever be enough, and I've no right to try. The hate you have for Arakawa. For Ikawa. The crush you've carried. I get it. But please, I beg you, for their sake, give them the chance to atone. There's one way to do that. We all have to live on, whether you're scum or not. That doesn't matter. You can't change a thing if you're dead. All of us, we have to keep going. And it's not light, nor is it dark. It's the grayest road there is. So please, Ebina. Please. You have to live. You have to keep moving. I'm asking you, please don't kill them. Please. I'll apologize. I know it won't be good for any of this. But I... I'm sorry. Forgive me. No! <laughs> Kiryu-san! Stay with us, Kiryu-san! 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 Open your damn eyes, Kiryu! Kiryu-san! Don't die! You can't die! Kiryu! Yo, long time no see, Eichan. Oh, 
Kasuga. Well, the public wants what it wants, I guess. And right now, it looks like that's you. Funny how the tables turn sometimes, huh? How'd you find me? What? You haven't looked outside yet? Quite an audience brewing down there. Still, they don't know you're in here. They might have got the building right, but that's about it. Me? I got a little help from the police. Didn't take too long to find you after that. Why did you come here? It's not just them, you know. It's everyone. Every Yakuza in the country wants your head on a plate. Abina's master plan. Anyone who's anyone knows you were a part of that. Just tell me what you want, damn it! Turn yourself in, Achan. I'll even come with you. Huh? You can run, but I guarantee you won't last. They'll kill you, eventually. Even more than that. I want you to have a chance to atone. If you can see that through, well... Let's head back to Hawaii, all right? You... Why are you still acting like we're friends? Because we are, man. I mean it, Eichan. After all said and done, you're still my pal. <sighs> and you know, I'd be pretty stoked to know you feel the same way. Honest, I would. How can you even think that? After everything I've done to you. <laughs> I guess I just can't help it. We spent all that time in Hawaii together. I mean, great food, plenty of bullshit, and... Just a heck of a good time, really. Yeah, the truth kinda killed the mood. And you were a real pain in the ass, but... I could never forget what fun we did have. No way. Hey, John. You can't take those things back. And running away isn't gonna help either. Even if you do serve your sentence, those choices will still be there. But... You always have a chance to start over. Accept what you did. Be real with yourself. Only then can you take that first big step forward. If you really want to start your life over, guess what, man? You can. Katsuka. I'm telling you, Eichan. If you really feel like you want to give it a fresh start, then we'll do it together. I promise. I'll be right there waiting. The day you get out, whether it's years or even decades, I'll be there. <sighs> you can't be serious. No one would ever believe that. <laughs> and yet, somehow, I know you're telling the truth. <laughs> it's who you are. Who you've always been. You're as rare as they come. <laughs> to think I get to meet you. Yeah, well, <laughs> you say rare, others say foolish. <laughs> foolish, huh? The only foolish one here is me. <sighs> so give it to me straight. Can I really go to the police? Like this? Seriously, I don't even have ID. <laughs> yeah, you'll be all right. <laughs> I'm used to this part too. Just leave it to me. <laughs> Appreciate the help. chased on my way here, among other things. <sighs> I guess all that pretending finally caught up to me, huh? <laughs> how it goes, I suppose. 
Okay, the fact you think that's a good thing means you'll be just fine. What? If you didn't think that, then who knows how you'd feel. Better to feel bad, right? That means you can make amends, without a doubt. <laughs> Here, grab my shoulder. <clears throat> Bukuragatani ばかりもしもかれらが君の何かを盗んだとしてそれは下らないものだよ返してもらうまでもないはずなぜなら価値は命に従ってついてる彼らが手にしてる僕らは数えない Sole Kazuka-san, please. It's all my fault. I'm sorry. No, man. I'm used to this kind of thing. Besides, if they want to hate, I say let them. The hell should either of us care? We know where you're at. Your heart's in the right place, that's all that matters. That said, if you ever feel down, or even a little lost, by all means, give me a ring. I'll hear you out. I mean, what are friends for, right? <laughs> そうなら勝つは命に従ってつけるほらね君には富があふ
Hard to believe it's been a month. Time sure flies, huh? Ebina, A.G., Bryce... They've all but vanished. Guess people have moved on. Yeah? So what's trending now? Some two-timing politician who got caught in the act? <sighs> he figures as much. <laughs> well, just the way of the world, man. The public eye came through for us, at least. Who are we to complain? Let alone care. Life will go on either way. As long as we remember that, that's all that matters. Okay, what about this? Ebina's angle. Why keep Sawashiro alive that whole time? He hated the Yakuza for all they're worth. That is true. What do you mean, why? He said so himself, right? That bit about his own aspirations being forfeit from the get-go. Yeah? Well, the dude still had a role to play. From what I gathered, he was probably hoping someone would speak up to him before things got out of hand. Tell him, yeah, I get that you're angry, or hey, it's gonna be all right. I'm sure that would have made all the difference. I mean, you're looking at a guy who had people telling him who and what he was from day one. Crazy as it sounds, the two of us might as well have shared shoes. How I need to live is one thing. But how I want to live is another. Get those mixed up, and life don't make a whole lot of sense. <laughs> or maybe it's just that Sawashiro was a lot tougher than he thought. <laughs> yeah, what was I thinking? <laughs> <laughs> well, Ebina had his reasons. Guess that one will stay with him. Besides, it's not like all's said and done. Lonnie's got a lot of responsibility coming her way. Huh, to think a little girl like her's their new sage. Almost seems cruel, don't it? Look, Lonnie made that decision herself. She had good reason to. Rebuilding the group will help her keep that orphanage going. <laughs> That's true. Plus, Akane-san's with her, too. <laughs> As a matter of fact, uh, I'm planning to help out once I'm back stateside. Oh? All right. Oh, yeah. Their soup kitchen saved my ass loads of times. It's the least I can do to say thanks. Uh, Bryce aside, Polycana still did plenty of good for others, and Hawaii's homeless need help too. I figure, now's the time to step up, you know, lend others a hand. Tomizawa. <laughs> I'll be darned, you've really grown up. <laughs> Come on, man. I'm just trying to do what I can. I mean, I'm nothing compared to Lani, even less so Chitose. That's right. She's chosen a difficult road for herself. Not only did she expose their misdeeds, but she became the Fujinomiya chairwoman soon after. Well, she wasn't too keen on her family, either. <sighs> right. You know, I think I kind of get how she feels. When you're around Ichiban, there's this feeling like you gotta do your best, no matter what. And it's natural. It's not like he's barking orders at you left and right. No, I get what you mean. It was the same for all of us, too. It sure was. That's just the kind of man he is. Through and through. <sighs> so, you guys think old Kasuga-kun might actually set things straight this time around? Huh? Oh, <laughs> yeah. You still uh, hemming and hawing out there? The beer's gonna get warm at this rate. <sighs> Ichiban... Seriously, can I go back inside? Uh, uh, sorry, Sachan. Just wanna check this one last time. Am I waiting a little bit longer? <sighs> Quit dicking around! Man up or shut up, Ichiban Kasuga! <clears throat> right. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry to keep you waiting, Sachan. You see, there's something I want to say. <sighs> Sachan. Well, since last year, all I thought about is you, ever since our date that day. For all I said, I didn't once consider your feelings. As if my selfish ramblings were the problem, and that was the only thing I'd done wrong. Uh, and it's not like those weren't stupid things to say. 
But I finally get it now. That wasn't really the issue. In fact, there was something I should have told you right off the bat. That was something I missed. And it was dumb of me not to see it sooner. It took me a year, but I finally figured out what it was. So with that, Sajan, it's time I say it. I want you to hear how I feel. Sajan, I love you. I'm in love with you. Finally, finally you say it. <laughs> oh, I swear it took you long enough. Uh, yeah, well, sorry about that. <laughs> no, I should say sorry too. I totally ignored you. <laughs> cool. Guess we're even? <laughs> yeah, we're even. <laughs> Man, I really did keep you waiting, huh? But hey, this time, I, Ichiban Kasuka, promise to make it up to you. <laughs> Actually, I've been saving a little something special for today. Ooh, what? What? <laughs> Don't freak out, all right? <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> so, what do you think? I figured just saying it wouldn't cut it. I really wanted to put it out there. Hey, guess what? I even got one for you, too. We can wear them together. Show them off all over Yokohama. I mean, what better way to start our journey? Saigo? Son? Well, he tried. Can't fix stupid, I'm afraid. True. You know... Dumbasses like that rarely give up. They'll tough it out, no matter the odds. Hey, wait! Hang on a second! Sunshine! Hey, Mom, how come Grandpa isn't here? It's okay, Harto. If I know him, we'll see him soon. I know we will. Hello. You're the inpatient with the 11 a.m. this morning, is that correct? If you would, could you please provide your full name, sir? It's Kiryu. Kazuma Kiryu.